Chapter 226 The Sky is Dead In the evening, Zhang Yi and others held a banquet to welcome the arrival of Yang Xinqin and Lu Karen. It had been a long time since they had eaten such good food. Even the elites of aristocratic schools, after being reserved for the first few seconds, began to look a little exaggerated in their eating habits. Zhang Yi silently put down the chopsticks in his hand. Just admiring the two girls eating like this made him feel particularly interesting. Yang Mi and Zhou Kier felt distressed. While picking up food for them, they asked them how they managed to stay at Tian Qin College. Lu Karen stuffed a lion's head in his mouth, then poured a large bowl of seaweed and egg drop soup carelessly, and said vaguely that there was no shortage of food in the school. Our school only has more than 300 students, but there are 12 cafeterias of various sizes. There are too many ingredients in the warehouse to eat all. Not to mention there is a supermarket inside. Zhang Yi smiled faintly. He couldn't understand the so-called aristocratic school. He could only imagine it through Lu Karen's words. Lu Karen swallowed the meatball into his mouth, looked at Zhang Yi gratefully and said, Thankfully, brother, you saved us. Otherwise, in such cold weather, we may not be able to hold on for long, no matter how much food we have. Zhang Yi smiled and said it's okay. You are underground and there are many people. So the temperature won't be that cold. Ice and snow are also very good thermal insulation materials. And at least they are really wind resistant. After the houses in Sudong village were submerged by ice and snow, they relied on Su Chunlei to build them houses with ice and snow so that they could maintain their current life. Work hard here from now on. And you won't be hungry. Lu Karen's character fits Zhang Yi's taste very well. It's not that he has any thoughts about Lu Karen but that he likes to deal with straightforward people. Lu Karen couldn't help but nod. Thank you, brother. Zhou Kier and Yang Mi looked at Zhang Yi, and they looked at each other, and finally the big stone in their hearts was relieved. They were very worried that Zhang Yi would despise these two people as a burden. After all, if there are two more people eating, the material consumption at home will increase by half. But what they don't know is how much materials are stored in Zhang Yi's alien space. Even if the five of them eat and drink every day, they may not be able to use it up in 200 years. Moreover, Johnny can go out and look for frozen supplies without having to worry about food. After dinner, Yang Mi took the initiative to clean up the dishes. Recently, she has basically done all the housework. Even when Zhou Kier was around, she would take over the work. Her mentality towards Zhang Yi went from being wary at the beginning to trusting him later. And now she actually feels a little guilty. In this family, Zhou Kier is a doctor. Yang Xinqin is a computer genius. And Lu Karen is a mechanical genius. And what about her? What else can she do besides resting with Zhang Yi? Although Zhang Yi didn't say anything to her, Yang Yi was a very strong woman, and she didn't like being a useless base. At the dinner table, Zhang Yi was chatting with Yang Xinqin and Lu Karen about the rules and the shelter while eating. The harmony between several people made her feel slightly disappointed. She also hopes that she can become a useful person. It's best to be the same kind of a replaceable existence like Zhou Kur and the others. After eating, several people rested on the sofa and watched TV. Zhang Yi leaned on the sofa, and Zhou Kier and Yang Mi sat next to him. Since the two little sisters were there, their postures were not too intimate. However, Yang Xinxin noticed something unusual, but she didn't speak. With her intelligence, she naturally understood that this kind of situation is very common in the last days. Only Lu Karen was sitting on the bed with his legs crossed and bare feet, staring directly at the huge TV. What you can see now, in addition to previously stored movies and TV series, is official media news content from around the world. Domestic ones are basically ignored, and there is not much valuable intelligence. As he watched, the atmosphere in the living room became weird, because in today's news, they got a very important, but also very disturbing news. The snowstorm has been coming for more than a month, and there is no sign of stopping. The temperature continues to be cold, and the connectivity between most regions of the world has begun to break. The resulting competition for supplies has become increasingly fierce, especially between countries and between regions. Extremely severe weather has caused officials to lose control in many regions around the world. Most armed organizations emerged and began to use force to control resources and surviving humans. Such news undoubtedly makes people feel very depressed because this also means that the world has officially entered an era of disorder. Then, the armed forces will lose control. Now it's a bit bad. Zhang Yi crossed his arms and murmured. Yang Mi didn't understand. Didn't chaos come long ago? Only. I didn't expect it to be so scary. She sighed softly in her heart. She originally thought that the world would return to its original state, and she would continue to be the star that attracted everyone's attention. 
Now she basically doesn't dare to entertain this idea. Different. Zhang Yi said that in the past, even if some organizations with armed forces wanted to do something, at least, they would still be afraid of higher level forces. However, the extremely cold weather that has lasted for more than a month means that the ice age will not pass in a short time. In this case, the armed forces in various places will not have to worry about being liquidated. Then there will be no taboos on what they do. Yang Xinxin added that it is like the rules and regulations of some units. It's there. But maybe not everyone has to abide by it. But with it there, everyone will be a little wary and won't go too far. But now, there is no order in this world. That's not entirely true. Is it? Zhang Yi glanced at Yang Xinxin. The most powerful force still belongs to the highest level. It's just that due to the extremely cold weather, they were unable to control other areas in a timely and effective manner. This led to the emergence of forces similar to warlords in various places. How to say? Much like the Shang and Zhou dynasties. The emperor of Zhou sat in the imperial territory and commanded the strongest military force. Other areas are governed by the existing local armed forces. Unless the end of the world passes, this phenomenon will continue for a long time. Yang Xinxi nodded and agreed with Zhang Yi's words. Yang Mi blinked her eyes and said with a smile, Isn't this good? Speaking of which, it won't be much different from before. At least they have something to fear. Zhang Yi smiled. Of course not. Why is that? Because in the past, all power belonged to the top. But now the area has to be handed over to the local armed forces for management. This also means that the era of chaotic wars between feudal princes may be coming. Zhang Yi took a deep breath. The era when human life is like a piece of grass is coming. The battle between ordinary people and ordinary people has limited casualties. After the alien comes to an end, the scale of death will increase rapidly. But this is nothing compared to the next battle of the armed forces. Zhang Yi once spent a month killing more than a thousand people in the community. But when the armed forces of various regions ended up competing for resources, the number of casualties was incalculable. The safety of civilians cannot be guaranteed even more. Chapter 227 Cat Zhang Yi will always pay attention to changes in the external situation. Because it will affect whether his future life is safe. Maybe all this is just unfounded worries. And there will be no powerful organization to attack here. But he must be prepared for all precautions. Xin Xin. Come and see your new equipment. Zhang Yi stood up from the sofa and wanted to take Yang Xinxin to the supercomputer. Yang Xinxin sat in the wheelchair. Zhang Yi asked the others to stay and pushed her to the control room. After pushing the door open and entering, Yang Xinxin looked at the console in front of her. With bright light blooming in her eyes, the scene layout of the control room makes people feel like they are in the universe. Wang Siming is a person who pursues luxury. So even the floor of the control room has been equipped with OLED screens. The blue light was flowing like a galaxy in the universe and the buttons of various colors were neatly arranged on the huge console in front of him. From now on, the network information security here will be left to you. Zhang Yi patted her shoulder, but his eyes couldn't help but fall on her legs that couldn't walk. A genius with an extremely developed mind, but contracted polio and was paralyzed in the lower half of his body, there was simply no more suitable candidate than her. Yang Xinxin nodded and rolled the wheelchair to the console. Zhang Yi used his highest authority to grant her secondary operating authority preventing her from modifying the core content of the system. It just allows her to maintain network security. Yang Xinxin said nothing, walked over, put her white and tender hands on the console, and started dancing like a pianist playing the piano. Black and blue panels appeared on the big screen, and codes slid across quickly. Zhang Yi couldn't understand either, so he just stood next to her with interest. In less than 10 minutes, Yang Xinxin checked the entire shelter network. How about it? Are there any loopholes in the network? Zhang Yi asked. Yang Xinxi looked at him and said that this Galaxy Light system was the top personal network system 10 years ago. With very powerful performance. Even now, it can crush most network systems in the world. Its artificial intelligence is very powerful. And theoretically there are no security vulnerabilities. At this point, her tone suddenly changed. But top hackers can create loopholes. In the past two weeks, the system has suffered thousands of cyber attacks. If it is not discovered in time, the entire network system will be paralyzed in up to one month. Zhang Yi's eyes narrowed. His guess was indeed right. After Lu Fengda's incident, he and this shelter inevitably attracted the attention of interested people. And people who can do this kind of thing are definitely not ordinary. He asked Yang Xinxin, Can you fix the vulnerability and prevent these attacks? The corner of Yang Xinxin's mouth curled up with a hint of contempt. Brother Zhang Yi, don't forget what my major is. 
as the world's top hacker. Her specialty is network security. And she is especially good at attacking others. Although the other party also has network experts. They are obviously far behind her. Fixing the vulnerability is very simple. And I will recreate an encrypted network for you to use. Don't use the previous router. Otherwise, hacking through wireless networks is almost effortless. John, he said. It's up to you. It didn't take too long for Yang Xinxin to perform the operation. She raised her head with a smile and said to Zhang Yi, Brother, I'm done. There were four words written on her bright little face. Praise me quickly. Zhang Yi smiled slightly and touched her head. Xinxin, you are awesome. Yang Xinxin's touch on Zhang Yi was very helpful. But she still said that it was just simple maintenance and there was nothing difficult about it. A cunning light flashed in her eyes. And she seemed a little excited. Next, let me see who is trying to hack into the network here. She stuck out her pink tongue and licked her lips. It would be so interesting if she could invade the other party's network in turn. As a top hacker, it is her instinct to constantly challenge more difficult tasks. After Zhang Yi thought for a moment, he asked, How confident are you? In other words, what are the risks if it fails? Zhang Yi was also very curious about the organization that was secretly spying on him. He has no intention of taking the initiative to attack. But it would be great if he could learn some information about the opponent. Yang Xinxin said it was hard to say how sure it was. After all, there had not been a formal fight yet, and she didn't know the opponent's strength. So far, their cyber attacks on shelters have been modest. But don't worry. Brother, even if I can't hack their network, I can at least hide my whereabouts and not be discovered by them. Zhang Yi nodded with satisfaction. Well, if that's the case, go ahead and do it. Since everyone else had already done the first grade of junior high school, he naturally wanted to return the favor. While the two were talking, Joe Keir's panicked voice suddenly came from outside. John E. It's not good. Weird, weird, weird. Monster. R. John E. and Yang Xinxin looked at each other. That cat really likes you and chases you. John E. smiled. Yang Xinxin tilted her head. Maybe I am the only human being it trusts. Because he couldn't trust me. He followed me. Johnny had already discovered that the cat demon had followed him. He himself also had plans to subdue this cat demon and use it as a weapon in his hand. However, it is indeed necessary to conquer it as soon as possible. Otherwise, many people will die on the other side of the river. Come on. Come with me first and take a look. Johnny pushed Yang Xinxin's wheelchair out of the control room. Zhou Kier's face turned pale, and she hurriedly hugged Zhang Yi's arm for comfort. Zhang Yi. There's a big monster out there. He kept meowing outside the window and into the house. Karen said that he had to call Xinxin over. And it came with Xinxin. Zhang Yi said don't be afraid. It is Xinxin's friend. Let's go over and take a look. Zhang Yi pushed Yang Xinxin to the living room. Outside the window. There were two huge eyes in the night. Staring into the house like red lanterns. The cat demon Hua, Hua howled from time to time. But it didn't look malicious. Instead, it seemed like she was urging others to give it food. After seeing Yang Xinxin, it sat down quietly in the snow. If you ignore the steel nail-like hair all over its body, this is a completely large cat. Yang Mi hid behind the table and stared at it with her two eyes exposed. Luke Karen was a little better. After all, he knew that it was a stray cat that Yang Xinxin had fed. He was not that scared. But he also kept a sufficient distance from the glass window. Chapter 228 Cultivating Feelings Zhang Yi looked at the huge demon cat. It had been squatting in the wind and snow for a long time. And its body was covered with a layer of snow. But it didn't have any hostility. It just stared here with bright eyes. Occasionally when it blinks, it can be seen that it has a tired look. It seemed that the battle with Liang Yu was very tiring for it. The demon cat fought with Liang Yu, who was holding a sword. Liang Yu's physical strength was almost exhausted. And his condition was not optimistic. At the very least, it had a lot of wounds left by the sword. That's why it chose to follow Zhang Yi and Yang Xinxin. After all, to it, Yang Xinxin is the only human being worthy of its trust. In this case, Zhang Yi has a chance to conquer it. Come on. Let's go out and feed the cats. Zhang Yi said to Yang Xinxin. He put on his own equipment and put on thick cold-proof clothing for Yang Xinxin. Then open the door and walk out of the shelter. Meow. After seeing Zhang Yi, the demon cat shouted vigilantly. But from its expression, Zhang Yi could feel that its spirit was not very good. Yang Xinxin, who was sitting in a wheelchair, waved at it and said, Don't be afraid. Come to my sister. But the demon cat Hua, Hua just stared at Yang Xinxin. 
then glanced at Zhang Yi, whimpering softly, and did not choose to get closer. Zhang Yi knew that it was still wary of him, especially when he first went to Tianqing Academy. He had some conflicts with it. Zhang Yi smiled and stretched out his hand to open the door to the different space. Hua la la la. Dried catfish and bags of cat food fell like small mountains. Hua hua is good. Come get some food. The environment outside is really bad. As long as you become my pet from now on, you will get food and shelter. Hua hua stared at the pile of food on the ground. Especially when she saw the cat strips. Zhang Yi even noticed that its throat squirmed a few times. Zhang Yi was overjoyed. Cats are cats. As long as they have food, they are easy to deal with. But the next moment, the facts hit her in the face. Although it was very jealous of the food Zhang Yi brought out, it still did not approach. Instead, it took a few steps back and stared at Zhang Yi and the food. Woohoo! Its voice also began to change, and its eyes seemed to be provocative, as if to say to Zhang Yi, do you want to conquer me with this small favor? You are looking down on this cat too much. Yang Xinxin in the wheelchair smiled and said to Zhang Yi, Brother, Hua Hua is a stray cat, and he is very vigilant. It also took me more than a month to establish a good relationship with it. Zhang Yi rubbed his face and said with a smile, More than a month? I don't care. But I'm worried that it will attack Fatty Su's village. Although he doesn't care about the life and death of the villagers in Sudong village. Fatty Su is his favorite younger brother. If Wawa causes trouble, it will always be bad for the relationship between the two people to become tense in the future. After all, this cat was attracted by him. He thought for a while and said to Hua Hua, Hey, Hua Hua, I know you don't trust me yet, but I can provide you with food. But you have to promise me not to attack the villagers across the river. May I? Zhang Yi pointed at the village in front of him. He has always felt that this cat demon is intelligent, which can be judged from its behavioral patterns. Sure enough, Hua Hua turned her head and looked in the direction of Zhang Yi's finger. Then looked at the pile of food in front of Zhang Yi and nodded slowly. Meow. This is considered an agreement. Well, let's do it. Zhang Yi understands that cats, especially stray cats, are the most difficult to build trust in people. So take your time. Anyway, he has a lot of pet snacks in the different space. And he doesn't eat them. So he just feeds them to them. But such a big cat has a big appetite. I have to find other food to feed it in the future. Zhang Yi pulled Yang Xinxin's wheelchair and returned to the door step by step. They returned to the room and suddenly heard the girls inside screaming in surprise. Zhang Yi turned his head and looked out the window. But there was no trace of the cat demon. Zhang Yi. Look. Look. Zhou Care pulled him excitedly and pointed to the pile of cat food. Zhang Yi took a closer look and couldn't help but want to shout. Hack! The huge cat demon, which was more than 10 meters long, turned into an ordinary sized civet cat. The women probably hadn't seen the cat for a long time. They were all lying in front of the window, looking at the cat with peach blossoms in their eyes. Can it change its body size? Zhang Yi was quite surprised. In this way, a lot of food needed to raise it can be saved. Isn't this natural? Lu Karen folded his arms and laughed. Brother, it seems like you're not very good at biology. If it had always been this size, those guys from Tianqing Academy wouldn't be able to fill its belly. Yang Xinxin stared at the little civet cat, her eyes becoming gentle. I've always had this suspicion. It appears and disappears very suddenly. Logically speaking, for such a large body, even if it is just close, there will be huge movement. However, even teacher Liang Yu, a master of martial arts, couldn't find it, then analyze it through the amount of food it eats. And there is a great possibility that it can change its body shape. Zhang Yi crossed his arms with a relaxed smile on his face. This problem is solved. How much can a tabby cat eat? Yang Xinxin suddenly frowned and said with some worry that Hua Hua was bleeding. Zhang Yi looked over carefully. Sure enough, there were mottled blood stains on his body. Although it was frozen, it could be seen that it was relatively fresh. It should be the wound made by Lian Yi using Long Ming. No wonder Hua Hua looked so tired. But when it was eating, it didn't seem to care. After all, injuries have become a common occurrence for stray cats. Zhang Yi thought about it and planned to put some medicine on it tomorrow to help it recover. But it certainly can't pass now. When stray cats eat, people who come close to them will be regarded as enemies snatching food. Originally, Zhang Yi could let Yang Xinxin do it for him. But in that case, he would not be able to develop a good relationship with the cat, which is obviously not what he wants. That night, Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen slept in the same room. The room is large, 
more than 80 square meters. And the color inside is warm pink and yellow. The huge double bed is covered with a cloud soft mattress. And the quilt is a thin velvet quilt. Because the indoor temperature is relatively high. There is no need for a thick quilt. The closet, dresser, and desk in the room are neatly arranged. And there are even some cute large plush toys placed in the corners. This is totally the little princess's favorite bedroom. Yang Xinxi was wearing a white silk pajamas. With her long hair hanging smoothly behind her like satin. She sat on the bed with a happy smile on her face. Luke Karen also wore blue pajamas. Sat cross-legged on the bed. And had a lying talk with her. After the end of the world. They haven't had a peaceful sleep for a long time. Luke Karen sat on the bed and said to Yang Xinxi. Xinxi. I really want you to hit me. It feels like a dream now. In the clear daylight. We were still starving and freezing under the ice and snow. Now I have settled into such a comfortable room. Isn't it nice that Yang Xinxin smiles tenderly? All this is thanks to Brother Zhang Yi. Speaking of Zhang Yi, she picked up a pillow to cover her face that couldn't help but smile. Zhang Yi's calm, rational and powerful image has been deeply imprinted in her heart. Lu Karen couldn't help but sigh and said, Yes, Brother Zhang Yi is so awesome. How can we create such a good shelter in the apocalypse? She raised her fist and said seriously, I have decided. I must work hard in the future and live up to the care that Brother Zhang Yi has given me. Yang Xinxin asked curiously what did her brother ask you to do? Lu Karen said, Brother, let me get familiar with the equipment first. Then, there are some things that I need to modify myself. However, in addition to helping him repair equipment, there is a high probability that he will also build weapons. Yang Xinxin smiled and asked, Weapons are not that easy to make. Right? Lu Karen nodded. Um, if it were an ordinary firearm, it would not be difficult to make. However, some complex firearms cannot be produced without professional equipment and molds. Even if it is built according to the model, the error in use will be relatively large. Yang Xinxin smiled and suggested. I think my brother will not be short of ordinary firearms. Bullets and bombs may be more useful to him than guns. Lu Karen suddenly realized. Yes. It is too difficult to manufacture high-precision firearms. But making bullets and explosives is much less difficult. Ordinary demolitionists can make unearthed explosives according to the proportions. For a professional like Luke Karen, it is definitely not difficult to create a bomb with greater power and higher stability. I will discuss it with my eldest brother tomorrow. See what weapons he needs. Luke Karen smiled happily. She is a person who knows how to repay kindness. She must find a way to repay Zhang Yi's kindness so that she can feel balanced in her heart. Early the next morning, Lu Karen came over to Zhang Yi excitedly and told him his thoughts. Zhang Yi was also very moved when he heard this. He was still thinking that his traps were too crudely laid out and could not cope with more powerful enemy attacks. It would be nice to have more mine explosives. He immediately said to Lu Karen, Very good. Just make a batch of these things. Be sure to pay attention to safety. Tell me what materials are needed. Lu Karen patted his chest, making a thumping sound. Don't worry, brother. I'm professional in this. Zhang Yi glanced at her chest subconsciously, slightly worried about her future children. Work hard. I'm optimistic about you. Zhang Yi patted her shoulder and encouraged her. Chapter 229 Someone comes from Shishan base. Two flowers bloom. One on each side. After Zhang Yi left Tianqing College with Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen, Liang Yu also climbed onto the snow with the students. They didn't know that the cat demon Huahua also left with Zhang Yi and Yang Xinxin. Otherwise, they will most likely stay at Tianqing Academy. After all, the supplies here are still enough for them to live for a while. But things are unpredictable. And they don't know the details. After reaching the top of the snow, everyone was shivering from the cold wind outside. And had no choice but to go back to the snow cave below to take shelter. The monitor, Wu Qingyu, happily took out his cell phone and called his father Wu Jiangwo for help. After the call was put through, Wu Qingyu's father's voice came over there. Wu Jiangwo asked about the specific situation at Tianqing College and asked them to stay where they were and not move around. He would contact someone to rescue them. Everyone was excited when they heard the news. Great. We are finally saved. I don't have to stay in this damn place anymore. Monitor. As expected of you. It's just awesome. Others have tried to contact their families. They are all children of wealthy families. And none of them is from a prominent family. But except for Wu Qingyu. No one could contact anyone at home. This made them feel very bad. Could it be? Have their families already suffered? Students are afraid to think about the worst. The pain and despair of the past few days have made them numb. Even if the phone call doesn't work, 
Maybe we can still retain the last glimmer of hope. However, the teacher Liang Yu felt a strange feeling in her heart when she looked at Wu Qingyu, who was standing tall in the crowd. Is Wu Qingyu's father really capable of coming to rescue them? If there is, then even if Wu Qingyu had no way to contact the outside world before, as a father, he would bring people over to investigate, rather than wait until now. However, if Wu Jianguo was unable to rescue them, why would he agree? Liang Yu couldn't explain it clearly, but she instinctively noticed that things seemed a little subtle. Everyone had been waiting in the snow cave. More than ten hours had passed when there was a sudden noise outside. My dad is here. Wu Qingyu climbed out of the snow cave excitedly. Other students also hurriedly followed, fearing that they would be left behind if they arrived late. Liang Yu's strength recovered somewhat. She stood up and climbed onto the snow with the help of two classmates. At this time, there were four dog sleds on the snow. The dogs are all large sled dogs like Alaska, and they are wrapped in standard cotton clothes. Apparently these dogs are well trained and of a special breed. Seven or eight people got out of the car. They were wearing white clothes and white helmets. Even their weapons were wrapped in white cloth. At first glance, it seemed somewhat indistinguishable from the snow scene, but it also gives people a sense of majesty and solemnity. Liang Yu had come into contact with such people and recognized them at a glance as battle-hardened veterans. Moreover, they are definitely elite. After the soldiers saw Liang Yu and the group of students, they whispered to each other for a few words, then looked at them and nodded from time to time. The eyes seemed to be looking at a group of goods, but the excited students didn't notice. Wu Qingyu took a step forward and asked, My father is Wu Jiangwo. Are you sent by him to save us? At this moment, a man walked out from behind the group of soldiers in white clothes. He lifted up his mask, revealing a haggard face, and said excitedly to Wu Qingyu, Xia Yu, Xia Yu, I am your father. Wu Qingyu took a closer look and took two seconds to recognize that this was his biological father. Don't blame him for not recognizing it immediately because in the past, his biological father, who was the head of a certain bureau in Tianhai City, was very wealthy, with a fat head and big ears, and a look of wealth on his face. But after not seeing him for more than a month, his fat face had obviously lost weight, and he was almost out of shape. Wu Qingyu was a little confused, but he still walked over and hugged Wu Jiangwo very excitedly. Dad, you are finally here. You don't even know how I got here during this time. Wu Jiangwo patted his son on the back and said excitedly, Just be okay. Just be okay. Wu Qingyu was a little dissatisfied. Dad, why didn't you send someone to rescue us before? It caused me a lot of hardship. They almost died here. Wu Jiangwo's eyes were a little embarrassed. So let's not talk about it for now. Anyway, you're fine. Go back with Dad. Wu Qingyu pointed to his classmates and said, There are also my teachers and classmates. At this time, those soldiers in white clothes and armor came over. The captain asked, I heard that your school still has a lot of supplies in stock. Right. Please lead us. We need to bring all these supplies back to the base. Leon Yu frowned, feeling that things were a little subtle. Didn't you say they were here to save people? Why did you come here for a long time and not mention anything about people? Instead, you started asking about supplies? Wu Qingyu said diligently that the supplies were under the snow. However, there is a mutated monster here. We dare not go there. When several soldiers heard this, they talked to each other. The captain said that it doesn't matter. If any monster appears, we will clean it up. Little brother, it's up to you to help us lead the way. Wu Qingyu's face suddenly turned pale. I, he didn't want to go back to that dangerous place again. The captain said, don't worry. We have experience in dealing with mutant creatures. You do not need to worry. Although he said this, Wu Qingyu was still very worried. He thought for a moment, then gritted his teeth and pointed at Liang Yu. In fact, our teacher Liang has always been responsible for searching for supplies. She knows where the supplies are better than I do. For his own safety, Wu Qingyu did not hesitate to sell Liang Yu, who had protected them for a long time. Many classmates quietly looked at him with contempt. Liang Yu's heart sank, but she just sighed and stepped forward. Let me show you the way. Several soldiers came over to confirm Liang Yu's identity, and then followed her down. Other students came over and asked the soldiers how to arrange themselves. Don't worry. We will arrange things for you later. A soldier responded coldly. These students did not dare to ask any more questions. They felt that the atmosphere was a little subtle and different from what they imagined. After a while, two soldiers came out and said to the students, Come here and help move the things. 
The students followed him obediently. Since Wawa has left, there is no danger down there. These soldiers directed the students to pack all the found materials and then carry them above the snow. Chapter 230 Entering the Base While the students were working, some people were already complaining secretly. Aren't they here to save us? Why do we still have to work? We have all suffered so much. And we thought the rescuers would take good care of us. I didn't expect that we would be used as coolies. Someone came to Wu Qingyu and whispered to the monitor. Why is this different from what you said? Wu Qingyu also looked a little embarrassed. He has always boasted in the past that his father Wu Jiangwo is an important leader of the Shishan organization. But now it seems that the situation is not at all what he imagined. His father's status in the Shishan organization does not seem to be very high. But it is not convenient to talk about these topics in front of other soldiers now. Wu Qingyu said in a low voice that these are extraordinary times. And people don't want to raise idle people. Work hard. They just lack manpower. We can rest when we get to the base. Others have no choice but to do as they are told. The soldiers outside carry the supplies onto the sleds. Unexpectedly, Tianqing Academy still has a lot of supplies. And the sled is actually full. The soldiers also nodded with satisfaction. They made a simple arrangement. And a few people pulled the sled back first. And Wu Jiangwo was also arranged to escort the supplies back. After all, he looks like this. If he doesn't follow the car, he won't be able to go back. Only two soldiers were left to take Lian Yu and the students back to the Shishan base. Let's go, said the soldier, looking at the sleigh going away. The students were all stunned. Do you mean, let us walk there? Where's the car? Why didn't you drive over? These students are all little emperors and princesses at home. How had they come such a long way? From Tianqing College to the base of the Shishan organization. It is at least a dozen kilometers away. They had been hungry for so long. How could they still have the energy to walk more than 10 kilometers in the snow? After hearing the students' protests, the two soldiers looked at each other with a sarcastic look in their eyes. Shut your mouth! After a soldier yelled, these students were immediately frightened by the soldier's majesty and murderous spirit. If you want to live, follow me. If anyone is unhappy, get away from me now. After the soldier finished speaking impatiently, he turned around and left without looking back. Another soldier said to them coldly, Remind you, no matter what your past status was, now is the end of the world, and your identities have all been lost. If you want to survive, you have to be obedient. After saying that, he threw down a bag of energy bars and turned around to leave. The students were all numb, obviously still unable to accept this fact. Leon Yu said, Let's follow. Students are ignorant, but teachers are not. Seeing what Leon Yu said, the Liashin was whose students had no choice but to follow her closely. Now, Liang Yu has become their biggest reliance. The journey of more than 10 kilometers seemed like a distant horizon to them. They were cold and hungry. The cold wind was howling on them. And many students fell down halfway. The two soldiers ignored them at all and just waited for a while when their pace slowed down. If someone really couldn't get up, they had no intention of helping him. Liang Yu organized students to help each other. Listen, we have no other choice now. We must go to the Shishan base to survive. Everyone must persist. The distance is not far away. With Lian Yu as the backbone, hope gradually ignited in everyone's hearts. They just moved forward step by step with such difficulty, encouraging each other. It took them more than half a day to reach the destination, which was more than 10 kilometers away. If I can't hold it any longer, I eat an energy bar. These energy bars are military supplies and have miraculous effects, even keeping them from falling in the snow. It must be said that this is also a scientific miracle. After a while, they finally arrived at Shishan. The base of the Shishan organization is located in the Shishan community in Tianhai City. Its entrance is at the foot of a mountain. Liang Yu and others followed the two soldiers and came here with difficulty. At the foot of the mountain, a huge iron door slowly opened, revealing a bottomless staircase leading underground. The two soldiers said nothing, just stood guard on both sides of the door and then winked at them. A group of people came over understandingly. Even though they were exhausted, they still managed to gather their energy and walked inside. In their view, this place is a safe haven and their hope for a better life. Liang Yu and others walked all the way down the stairs for who knows how long before they arrived at an empty room similar to an air raid shelter. There are passages in several directions around it, all locked with thick green metal doors. What's next? What do we do? The students were both looking forward to and afraid not knowing what they would face next. Don't be afraid. They took so much trouble to bring us here. They probably won't hurt us. 
Liang Yu tried his best to comfort the students. At this moment, the door to the right passage suddenly opened with a rumble. A group of people wearing protective clothing and carrying pesticide sprayers came out. As soon as they appeared, they immediately raised the nozzles in their hands and started spraying on Liang Yu and others. Thick disinfectant spray enveloped them. The students coughed frequently, but understood that this was a necessary process to enter the shelter, so they could only grit their teeth and persist. After the disinfection was completed, a middle-aged girl came over and told them that everyone should line up in two lines. Let me explain it to you. In order to ensure the safety inside the shelter, you must undergo comprehensive disinfection and physical examination. Please cooperate with our work. Medical staff brought two tables and placed them in the room. Liang Yu and others had no choice but to line up as required. The medical staff took blood samples from each of them and then took them to an empty room and asked them to wait for the test results. Liang Yu and others were already exhausted. They did whatever others asked them to do and they didn't even have the strength or courage to ask. A group of people were locked in a room. During this period, someone wearing protective clothing provided them with food. Everything to eat was placed on a plate. And it was a white, viscous liquid. I didn't know what it was. But everyone was so hungry that they didn't care about so much. They rushed up and wolfed down all the food. I just thought that the thing seemed to taste pretty good. It tasted a bit like yogurt. But it was definitely not yogurt. After eating, everyone's strength recovered a little. And some people began to fall asleep. An unknown amount of time passed before a fat woman in her fifties wearing glasses appeared. Beside her, Wu Zhengwo also followed. Wu Qingyu was very excited to see his father. Dad. Wu Zhengwo glared at Wu Qingyu and signaled him to stop talking. The girl with glasses glanced at Wu Qingyu, and a smile flashed in her eyes. She asked Wu Zhengwo, Is this your son? Wu Zhengwo's figure was a little stooped. And he said flatteringly, That's right. Director Su. He is my son Wu Qingyu. Director Su nodded and said nothing more. Instead, he told him that after inspection, there were no infectious diseases or suspicious germs on your body. This is great. Come with me next to do a cleaning. And then, I will send you to the four survival warehouse. Chapter 231 There is no heaven. Next, Director Su arranged for Liang Yu and a group of students to do a death cleaning. Wu Qingyu also planned to leave with everyone. Director Su said, Come with me. Wu Qingyu's eyes lit up when he heard this. And he happily said to his classmates, I told you. Right. My father is not an ordinary person here. The classmates cast envious glances at Wu Qingyu. Wu Qingyu happily walked up to Director Su and Wu Jiangwo. Wu Jiangwo leaned into his ear and said to Xiaoyu, You must obey your superiors here. You have to do whatever Director Su asks you to do. Do you understand? Wu Qingyu nodded happily. He thought he would be assigned to some good job next. Director Su came over with a smile. Xiaoyu, come with me. Liang Yu and others took the passage on the left. While Wu Qingyu was taken away alone by Director Su, everyone's eyes were full of envy. Very nice. Wu Qingyu followed Director Su as he walked through the shelter. The underground area of Shishan Shelter is very large. Although the temperature is not very high, it is still 6 or 7 degrees above zero. He was very curious about the surrounding scenery along the way. And there were soldiers in white military uniforms everywhere guarding the place with guns. Everything looks extremely strict. And there are not many pedestrians coming and going. But they are walking in a hurry. Everyone is busy in their own way. And it looks very orderly. Director Su took Wu Qingyu to a separate room. She pointed to the bathroom and said, Go take a shower first. Wu Qingyu felt a little weird. There were women's clothes in this room. And it looked like it belonged to someone. But Wu Qingyu didn't think much about it at this time. He hadn't taken a bath for a long time. When he heard the news that he could take a hot bath, he couldn't wait to run in. After half an hour, he walked out of the bathroom refreshed. But after opening the door and seeing the scene in front of him, Wu Qingyu was stunned on the spot. The light in the room turns to an ambiguous pink color, which comes from the rose-shaped bedside lamp. Director Su was lying on the bed, wearing only a pair of loose sexy underwear, holding his head with one hand and looking at him charmingly. Two elephant legs are like two fat piles of pork piled together. What are you waiting for? Come quickly. Director Su smiled and patted the bed. On the other side, Liang Yu and the students finished taking a shower, and someone inside prepared new clothes for them. The clothes are uniform, and the gray color is not beautiful at all. But they are very convenient for movement. Come with me. Next, I will take you to the place where you will live and work in the future. A woman who looked like a leader came over and said calmly. Behind her were two soldiers armed with weapons. 
a gloomy feeling emerged in everyone's mind. The life in this shelter is completely different from what they imagined. The students were very uneasy. This was dozens of meters deep underground. The dim lights and soldiers with live ammunition made them feel like they were in a prison. They could only cling to each other tightly and then turn to Leon Yu for help. At this moment, they could only pray to Leon Yu, the responsible teacher, to protect them. Leon Yu frowned slightly, but didn't say anything. The rules here are not clear yet, so it is not suitable to act rashly. Leon Yu quietly put her finger in front of her lips to signal her classmates not to speak. Everyone nodded understandingly. Under the leadership of Leon Yu, they obediently followed the female leader and continued to move forward. The shelter is really too big, and there are passages extending in all directions below. After half a day, they had no idea where they were going, let alone where they were. The lights above the head also seemed dim, and even flickered occasionally, going on and off indefinitely. This made the exhausted students all look pale. Fortunately, this situation ended soon. The female leader took them to a huge workshop. After the door is opened, what is in front of you is an underground cave that is three meters high and covers an area of thousands of square meters. After opening the door, a creaking sound came over. Liang Yu and his classmates were surprised to find that there were so many bicycles here. Those bikes were fixed to the ground. There were at least a thousand people inside, pedaling hard. The scene was so spectacular that those who didn't know it thought it was a sports scene in a large gym. However, the expressions of those people riding bicycles did not look like they were in motion. They were numb, rigid, and tired. But no one dared to stop. What are these people doing? A wealthy lady was stunned. The female leader glanced at them, looked at Liang Yu and said, This is where you will work from now on. Your job is to generate electricity for the base. These bicycles are actually generators connected to the base's power system. I will send each of you the base's code of conduct later. The female leader's expression was extremely calm, without any impatience. But this calmness made people feel a little scared. Because of her attitude, it was as if she was not facing a group of survivors, but a group of tools. Finally, she emphasized that if you want to stay in the base, you must completely obey the rules of the base. Otherwise, the consequences will be serious. After briefly introducing the situation at the base, the female leader started to ask them to go to work immediately with a straight face. A girl suddenly started crying and pulled Leong Yu's sleeve aggrievedly. Teacher Leong. Teacher Leong. She was crying and crying for a long time. She only called Leong Yu. But she didn't know what she wanted to say. Other students can understand this feeling. Because everyone has been hit by the cruel reality. After arriving at the shelter, this oppressive living environment was like a sweatshop from two centuries ago. Although they lived in danger when they were in Tianqing Academy, at least they had freedom. Liang Yu also protected them. The female leader was indifferent to the girl's cry. It's okay to cry, but you have to work first. Liang Yu quickly comforted the girl. Everyone should go to work first. There were two soldiers with guns next to the female leader, and Liang Yu did not dare to take risks. She originally thought that this was an official shelter, and that she would be properly accommodated after arriving here. But now it seems that he was still too naive after all. A group of students cried and followed Liang Yu to ride bicycles. In Director Su's room. Under the red light. Director Su was putting clothes on his fat body. There was a satisfied expression on her face. And it was obvious that the new boy who had just arrived tasted good. She got dressed. Opened the door and walked out. Wu Jiangwo had been squatting outside. After seeing Director Su. He came over to say H. Low to Director Su with a flattering look. Are you satisfied with my son's service? Director Su glanced at him and smiled with satisfaction. Not bad. As expected of Director Wu's son. He is very good in bed. Did I get your true biography? Wu Jiangwo apologized and said with a smile. Don't call me that. It's all in the past. Director Su said calmly. Please help me clean up the rest. From now on. I will ask the logistics team to take care of you too and distribute more supplies to you. Wu Jiangwo was so happy that he nodded and bowed and said thank you. Director Su. Thank you. Director Su. If you need anything in the future, just give him any instructions and I'll bring him over right away. Director Su twisted his plump butt and left with satisfaction. Wu Jiangwo's eyes darkened. He reached out and opened the door. Under the red light, the room was filled with a strong smell of hormones and the fishy smell of blood. Wu Qingyu sat on the bed wrapped in sheets, his eyes having lost focus. His body was bruised and bruised, and there were mottled blood stains on the sheets. It was hard to imagine what he had gone through during this period. Wu Jiangwo closed the door inside. Son, 
Are you okay? As he walked over, he said that if you want to survive here, you must learn to accept it all. It's okay. Just get used to it. Wu Qingyu looked up at his father, tears streaming down his face. Dad, why didn't you tell me before that this place was originally like this? Aren't you the director of XX Bureau? Why is this happening? He couldn't understand. Shouldn't he come here and continue to be his second generation official? Xiao Zheng was sat beside the bed and said in a low voice that this is what this place is like now. My title as director is no longer useful. He slowly told his son what had happened here since the end of the world. At the beginning, the people who came here were the group of people at the top of the pyramid in Tianhai City and their families. Zhao Jiangwo's rank in Tianhai City seems to be high, but his power has not reached the top level. After all, the nature of his unit determines his status. On the night when the snowstorm came, he was notified at short notice by an acquaintance and hurried over. In the entire Shishan base, everyone is a senior official or their family member, and everyone is a direct descendant of the Tianhai family. Wu Jiangwo's status was only at the middle and lower reaches, and he had no ability to mobilize troops to rescue Wu Qingyu. In the beginning, people here got along fairly well. According to experts, this snowstorm will last for a month or two and then end. At that time, everyone can go back and continue to preside over the work. At that time, we still respected each other. After all, cooperation is still needed after coming out. But not long after, the tide changed. Some people have discovered that the impact of supernova explosions on blue stars is greater than imagined. The world has officially entered an ice age, and it may not pass in three to five years, or maybe in thirty to fifty years. Wu Jianglo's voice was sad. This means that the identity and status we had in the past will no longer exist. Later, the group of people who control the armed forces launched a rebellion and killed the leaders of the base. The leader of the rebels then became the new leader of the Shishan organization. His methods are ruthless and cruel, and anyone who goes against his wishes will be severely punished. It was also him who classified the Shishan base into different levels. Wu Jiangwo looked at his son with a heavy tone. Of course, wherever there is human activity in society, there will be hierarchical divisions. Even without ordinary people, the providers and those in power will be separated from those of us. Everything that happened today is the first lesson you will learn at Shishan Survival School. If people at the bottom want to live, they must unconditionally obey those in power. You should be happy. Maybe this is how you get out of your current class. Wu Jiangwo forced a smile on his face and touched his son's head. Even if you use your own body to sell your appearance, it doesn't matter. In this circle, as long as you can succeed, there is nothing that cannot be sacrificed. Chapter 232 Organization Dozens of teachers and students from Liang Yu worked hard all day before they could rest. At the end of the day, they had a general understanding of their current situation. I have to get up at 6 o'clock every day, have half an hour to wash up, and then participate in group activities before eating. The job content is to generate electricity by riding a bicycle. Each bicycle has a data sheet that counts the amount of electricity generated. And if it does not meet the standard, it will be deducted from the food quota. No one is urging you to work, but your workload will be reflected in the portion of the food. To reach normal standards, an adult needs to pedal continuously for 8 hours. Remember, these 8 hours do not include rest and eating, excluding rest time. Basically everyone spends most of the day on their bicycles except for eating, sleeping and group activities. The food, without exception, is protein paste. It is said that this is a high-tech meal replacement that can meet the energy needs of the human body in the smallest amount. The rest period is 6 days and 1 day off. But the time should be divided during holidays which is equivalent to taking shifts. On the first day Leon Yu and others came here. Those students were all spoiled and could not adapt to such high-intensity work and repressive environment. Therefore, the food they get is only half the amount of normal people at most. At night, the sleeping area is a dormitory with bunk beds for a dozen people. The power supply is very scarce. The lighting is relatively dim. And there are no entertainment facilities such as televisions. Even charging mobile phones every day should be provided for a limited time to prevent them from wasting. After the workday was over, everyone gathered in a dormitory. They surrounded Liang Yu and began to cry bitterly. Teacher Liang, why do we still have to work? Why is life in a shelter so hard? This is completely different from what we imagined before. I have been riding a bicycle for a whole day. And my butt is almost worn out. And my thighs hurt so much. If I have to live like this every day from now on, I would rather die. In just one day, they feel like their lives have fallen into H. L. Seeing the students in great pain, 
Liang Yu felt a little unbearable. But what can she do? These are extraordinary times. And it is extremely difficult to survive. Have you seen those people riding bicycles around today? None of them had a lower status than you in the past. I even saw several bureau chiefs from Tianhai City riding bicycles. Liang Yu took a deep breath and lamented that a world where everyone was happy and enjoy did not exist in the first place. She hopes to wake up these students and make them understand their current situation. But if you think about it on the bright side, at least we can all live well now and don't have to worry about survival. Right? Liang Yu is an adult and can still accept her current living situation. Even from an inner perspective, she does not reject her current life, but feels a lot more relaxed. After all, when she was at Tianqing Academy, she was the only one responsible for taking care of all the students and always be on guard against demon cat attacks. Now, after arriving at the shelter, the food supply can be obtained by self-reliance. As a martial arts expert, this level of labor is no problem for her. And the most important thing is that she no longer needs to worry about protecting the students. But those students didn't think so. In their world, it is natural to get something for nothing. They are aloof and are born winners in life. The work is hard. These words have nothing to do with them in this life. One student immediately cried and shouted, But we are all elites! It will be up to us to rebuild the world in the future. We are so young. Just a bunch of kids. Why do we have to suffer like this? Teacher Liang. Can you think of a way? Liang Yu was a little helpless. I. I'm just a teacher. My status is no different here. Just kidding. Even a random person from the power generation workshop would have been her superior leader in the past. How can she speak? At this moment, the door to the room was suddenly pushed open. Everyone immediately shut up and looked outside cautiously. Wu Qingyu walked in dejectedly. The clothes on his body were wrapped tightly around him. And even the collar stood up to cover his neck. When everyone saw Wu Qingyu, their eyes shone with hope. And they left Liang Yu and surrounded him. Wu Qingyu, you are finally back. Is your dad the leader of the base now? Can you take care of us so that everyone doesn't have to work here? Even if we are allowed to work in an office. I can be a clerk. Wu Qingyu glanced at his classmates and said coldly. Stop dreaming. After coming to this place, everyone will have a division of labor. According to your class, you can only step on the generator here. Wu Qingyu crossed the crowd and came to Liang Yu. Teacher Liang. Liang Yu nodded. Wu Qingyu. Where have you been? A flash of pain flashed in Wu Qingyu's eyes. And my father and I went around the base. Now I have a general understanding of the situation at Shishan base. Someone next to me diligently brought a chair. Monitor. Sit down. Wu Qingyu quickly waved his hand. No. 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 I won't sit down. You're welcome. Now everyone is counting on you. No need. Wu Qingyu gritted his teeth and said. His buttocks clenching involuntarily. His heart was bleeding when he thought of what that old woman had done to him. The classmates were frightened by Wu Qingyu's attitude. I. I just want you to sit down and rest for a while. Wu Qingyu came to the bed with his head lowered and carefully placed half of his buttocks on the mattress. Teacher Liang. We can only rely on you in the future. He stared at Liang Yu and said. Liang Yu thought for a while and roughly understood what Wu Qingyu meant. If the old status and status are all gone, then in the end of the world, the status will be determined by force. Liang Yu is a master of martial arts himself. And he has awakened his superpowers. So he will definitely be reused in the base in the future. She asked Wu Qingyu calmly. Do you know what the current situation is at Shishan base? Wu Qingyu nodded and told everyone the information he got from Wu Jiangwo. The Shishan organization now holds the highest power. And the person called its leader is Qin Xinyan. A high-ranking official who used to control the armed forces of Tianhai City. There is no ordinary person in the Shishan organization. Like Wu Qingyu's father Wu Jiangwo. Who is in the middle and lower reaches in terms of status here. In addition to these high-level figures, there are also many technical talents, such as top doctors and experts in the scientific field. There is also a huge collective, which is the armed force of the Shishan Defense Organization. In order to balance the entire organization, Qin Xinyan divided the base into four areas, also called four life warehouses. The first life warehouse is where leader Qin Xinyan and his family are, enjoying the highest level of material supplies. It can be said that the living conditions there are no less than when they were in the outside world. Supplies that other three-level life warehouses can't even imagine are readily available to them. The second level of the life warehouse contains Qin Xinyan's direct relatives, including his former cronies, as well as cutting-edge scientists, doctors and other technical talents. 
although their living conditions are not as good as those in the first life warehouse. They can still enjoy a comfortable living environment and taste delicious food. The third level is the armed forces protecting the Shishan base. There are more than a thousand soldiers in the entire Shishan base, all of whom are elite soldiers. They are the best in Tianhai City in terms of personal combat qualities and weapons and equipment. The living conditions of these soldiers are second only to the second level. It can be said that they have enough food and clothing and don't have to worry about daily necessities. The fourth level of life warehouse is where Liang Yu and others are currently. These people cannot provide much value to the base. They can only perform physical labor, generate electricity for the base, or engage in some lowest level labor. The characteristic of this level of life warehouse is that the living standard is extremely low and can only maintain basic survival. The supply of both materials, energy and entertainment is pitiful. The residents of the fourth level life warehouse account for the majority of the entire Shishan organization. Wuching you said, but don't even think about resisting. The guards on the third floor were standing between us and the first and second floors. It is impossible for us people to fight against those well-equipped soldiers. Wu Qingyu deliberately reminded his classmates. Because he himself also knew that these students, who were accustomed to being pampered would not be willing to work as laborers, and would try every means to plan a resistance. It's not like he didn't think about resisting when the fat woman was pressing on him. But the huge gap in strength forced him to compromise. When the students learned that there were thousands of elite warriors stationed just outside the area where they lived, they felt completely desperate. If that's the case, wouldn't we just have to work here for the rest of our lives? I don't want it. It's better to just let me die. Several girls hugged each other and cried. They usually don't touch the spring water with their fingers. And they don't know what labor is at all. After a busy day today, their soft inner thighs and buttocks were worn out. And this situation will become their daily routine from now on. Others were also on the verge of tears. Looking sad and desperate, Wu Chiyu closed his eyes and said in a cold voice, Why do you think they agreed to let so many of us come to Shishan base? just to replenish the labor force they consumed before. Many people, like you, cannot accept this reality and choose to commit suicide. They don't care about our lives. If that doesn't work, they can also go out and capture other survivors to fill the labor force. Suddenly, a boy suddenly picked Wu Qingyu up and shouted at him with a ferocious expression. It's all your fault. It's all your fault for letting us come. If you hadn't exposed our location, how could we have ended up in this damn place? Wu Qingyu just looked at him coldly and stayed at Tianqing College. Wouldn't you die? The boy was speechless for a moment. Freedom or life? This is a difficult choice. Wu Qingyu pushed the boy away and then looked at Liang Yu, who had been silent. Teacher Liang, if we want to change our current situation, we can only rely on you. You are an extraordinary person. And in this Shishan base, extraordinary people can have privileges. Teacher, please help us. Chapter 233 Morning Meeting Wu Qingyu's words reminded the students. They all turned their pleading eyes to Liang Yu and gathered around her one by one, trying to grab the hem of her clothes and gain her blessing. Teacher Liang, you have to make the decision for us. You are a teacher, and it is your responsibility to take good care of your students. We can't do hard work. Can you help us talk to the base and let us do some light work? After a day of recovery, Liang Yu's physical fitness has been restored to a certain extent. She is now very powerful in combat. Even when faced with soldiers holding firearms, they can be killed quickly. But she is a rational person and will not be impulsive because of temporary emotions. After listening to Wu Qingyu's words, she did not find that there were no serious problems at the Shishan base. It's nothing more than social stratification, which has been a normal phenomenon since the beginning of human existence. Liang Yu also disagreed with the idea that these students did not want to work. I will keep you safe. As for labor matters, I still have to observe and observe. The students were obviously not satisfied with this answer. But Liang Yu is their last hope now. And they don't dare to be as polite to this physical education teacher as before. So they could only pray around Liang Yu and turn a deaf ear. Liang Yu was a little annoyed and said it was getting late. So everyone should go back and have some rest. I have to work tomorrow so as not to lose my energy by then. After hearing this, the students had no choice but to leave reluctantly. Before leaving, they did not forget to ask Liang Yu to help them adjust their work. Liang Yu does have this plan and will talk to the person in charge of the Shishan base tomorrow. After all, today's living environment makes her feel particularly depressed. If the living environment here can be changed, she is willing to contribute. At 6 o'clock the next morning, the speakers in the dormitory began to roar. Everyone was woken up. The new students followed the previous ones and went out to wash up. 
half an hour is enough time for them to wash up. Liang Yu and others followed the large army to the canteen. The female leader in charge of the power plant came over with several soldiers. She looked at the hundreds of electrical workers below and forced a smile on her face. Good morning. Dear ones, today is the 48th day of our survival. Let us thank the great leader comrade Shen Xinyan for leading us to survive happily until now. Someone below immediately raised their hands and shouted. Long live the great leader comrade Shen Xinyan. Others quickly raised their clenched fists and shouted loudly. Long live the great leader comrade Shen Xinyan. He shouted three times before stopping. The female leader added that yesterday. Our team was outside again and rescued a group of survivors. When we come here, we will all be a family from now on. She looked in the direction of Liang Yu and others and said with a smile, Here are some family members. Please introduce yourselves to everyone. Crash. Everyone else looked at Liang Yu and others and began to applaud enthusiastically. Liang Yu felt a little numb on his scalp. She is all too familiar with this kind of scene. This is brainwashing them. What's even more frightening is that Liang Yu knew this kind of brainwashing method. Don't think you are smart. Stay alert and you won't be assimilated. The hurt effect can cause people to slowly develop a sense of identity with everyone around them and even the environment after integrating into the group in this way. The final result is that even if you keep telling yourself that this is just hypnosis and brainwashing, your mind and body will adapt to this environment. As a result, you cannot escape from this environment. This is why so many highly intelligent college students and social figures fell into the trap of pyramid schemes that they despised. Do you use this method to manage people at lower levels? Liang Yu took a deep breath. Although I understand in my heart, there is nothing I can do about it. Hurting itself is ubiquitous. She led the students to the front and then introduced herself one by one according to the female leader's instructions. Next comes our regular daily morning meeting. Who is today's host? The female leader asked. A middle-aged woman raised her hand. It's me today. Well, let's get started. After the female leader finished speaking, she didn't leave. Instead, she walked to the first row and stood with the others. Then the middle-aged woman walked up to the stage in high spirits, with a cheerful smile on her face, looking at so many people in the audience. She regained the feeling of being a leader outside. The first item in the morning meeting is to praise the organization. The middle-aged woman took the lead and everyone sang in unison. Use the light of the rising sun to light up our dreams of Shishan. Holding hands and shoulder to shoulder. We share the snow, rain, wind and frost. Use our passionate yearning to ignite the heroic power of Shishan. You and me. Me and you. We will create new glory together. Dreams come true. Passion is released. We embrace each other tightly and bloom the glory of the next second. Realize your dreams. Let your passion fly. Let's ride the wind and waves together. Let's set sail together. Liang Yu and others sang along with the song of the Shishan organization in a vague manner. The host specially told the newcomers that they must learn to sing this song within three days. And someone will check it out then. The next step is not over yet. It has entered the minigame stage again. We played three minigames in total. Including carrot squat. I guess you draw. And group exercises. After doing all this, everyone returned to their respective jobs under the command of the female leader and began to generate electricity for the Shishan organization. Liang Yu discovered that after the morning meeting, the expressions of those students also underwent some subtle changes. Although he also looked unhappy, he seemed to have begun to integrate into the group and was able to chat with the co-workers he met during the mini-games. That's fine. If you can't resist, then just accept life obediently. At least you can survive. Liang Yu thought so in his heart. If life could continue like this, it would be better than waiting to die outside. But in life, you never know which surprise or surprise will come first. At around 10 o'clock in the morning, several well-armed soldiers suddenly came to the power plant. Their arrival immediately attracted everyone's attention. The female leader of the factory walked over quickly. Several soldiers stood at the door. And then a young woman wearing a suit and burgundy glasses slowly walked in. Secretary Gu, why did you come to a place like this in person? If you have any questions, just ask me and I will help you. The female leader said to the young woman, with a flattering look on her face. Secretary Ji's eyes did not stay on her, but said that there were a group of survivors who had just been discovered yesterday. Miss Lian Yu, are you there? Chapter 234 Adopt a Cat Hearing Lian Yu's name, the surrounding students looked over. Wu Ching Yu hurriedly whispered to teacher Lian, Don't forget us. Lian Yu got off the bicycle and said, I am Lian Yu. Secretary Ji's eyes met Lian Yu's in midair. She suddenly smiled and walked over. Everyone's eyes were looking at the two of them. 
wondering why this aloof secretary would come to a place like the Fourth Life Warehouse in person. Secretary Gu came over and shook hands with Lian Yu. Hello, Miss Lian Yu. I am Guro, the leader's secretary. Our leader would like to see your excellency. Wow. The entire workshop instantly became agitated. And everyone was talking crazily. The leader of the Shishan organization wants to meet this newcomer. Doesn't this mean that she will rise to the top? The students were even more excited. Teacher Leon. Teacher Leon. When Secretary Gu heard these noisy sounds, he just looked around briefly. In an instant, these people shut their mouths and no longer dared to make any sound. Secretary Gu smiled and stretched out his hand. Please come with me. Leon Yu was also very curious about what kind of person Chen Xingyan was. But it's always good to have a chance to escape this sweatshop. She nodded and left with Secretary Gu. After Secretary Gu left, a soldier called the names of two more students. Luo Nianchen. Dong Fang Qingming. Come here. The two students were so excited that they quickly climbed off their bicycles and ran over amidst the envious eyes of others. The soldiers took them away from the power plant. Liang Yu was led by Secretary Gu through the underground space of the Shishan base and all the way to the office of Chen Xinian, the leader of the Shishan organization. This is a middle-aged man in his fifties, with gray hair combed meticulously, and he looked smart and capable. After he saw Liang Yu, he came over and shook hands with her with a smile. The soft smile on Chen Xinian's face made Liang Yu feel a sense of warmth that she hadn't seen in a long time. She was too tired to take care of the half-year-old children of Tianqing Academy. The students forgot that she also needed others to give her a spiritual haven. After a conversation, Liang Yu was deeply attracted by the vision of Shishan base described by Chen Xinian. The structure including the four-story life warehouse was also approved by Liang Yu in order to preserve the seeds of Chinese civilization and maintain this base. I hope you can lend me your power. Miss Liang. Chen Xinian said to Liang Yu sincerely. Liang Yu thought for a moment, then nodded and agreed. If you can find my place, Please feel free to ask. The smile on Chen Xinian's face became even stronger. He immediately called his secretary Guro over and arranged a place for Liang Yu to live. Liang Yu was directly promoted from the fourth life warehouse to the second life warehouse. There are single room houses here. And the internal structure is like a high end office building. The lights are so bright that people can forget that this is a space hundreds of meters underground. There is also delicious food to enjoy, as well as unlimited hot water. Isn't this place nice? Liang Yu's heart was filled with warmth, and she felt that she had come to this place at the right time. And those students working in power plants are still waiting for her to return. This side of Yunk Manor. Zhang Yi's main task during this time is to feed the cats. The demon cat Hua Hua was the first mutant animal he saw. Zhang Yi was deeply attracted by the powerful body shape, hair as sharp as steel needles, and the innate fighting ability of cats. He had already planned to get this demon cat and make it his pet because animals are often more reliable than people. As long as you have a good relationship with it, it will definitely be the most trustworthy thug. Perhaps last time, Zhang Yi asked Fatty Su to stop the fight between it and Liang Yu, which made Hua Hua realize Zhang Yi's kindness, and its attitude towards Zhang Yi gradually improved. At noon that day, Zhang Yi squatted at the door, with a large cat basin in front of him. It was filled with cat strips, high-end cat food, and even two fresh fish, not far away from him. Hua Hua returned to her normal body and was eating big mouthfuls of food. No cat can resist delicious cat strips, which are also known as a stray cat trap. Zhang Yi smiled and said to Hua Hua, I have been feeding you for a week. You see, you have eaten so much from me, and you will be my cat from now on. Come home with me. Okay? Meow. Hearing this, Hua Hua raised her head and glanced at Zhang Yi, narrowed her eyes slightly, then buried her head and continued to cook. As long as you come back with me, I guarantee that you can eat this kind of food every day. The room is very warm, and there is a fireplace for warming yourself. Look, how strong the flame is. It's freezing outside. What are you doing here? Zhang Yi is good at tempting. Hua Hua finished a large bowl of food and squatted on the ground to clean her paws and hair. When it heard what Zhang Yi said, it looked through the glass at the fireplace in the room. For the first time, there was a hesitant look in its eyes. Maybe it only followed him at first because of the girl who fed him. But its intelligence far exceeds that of ordinary animals. And it also realizes that the home of the man in front of it is really comfortable. Zhang Yi fed it for a long time and gave it medicine to treat its injuries. Anyway, there is no more suitable place to go around now. So just following this man doesn't seem to be a bad choice. 
Zhang Yi saw the longing for a warm room in its eyes. Cats are not animals that can withstand cold weather. They have an innate desire for a warm environment. Perhaps it's because their ancestors lived in the deserts of Egypt. Zhang Yi felt that the opportunity had almost arrived. So he slowly walked towards the house and opened the door. Hua Hua, do you want to come in and visit? It's very comfortable inside the house. Zhang Yi is as gentle as an old father. In recent days, even Zhou Kier and Yang Mi would feel jealous after watching it. Because Zhang Yi was not as kind to them as a cat. But for Zhang Yi, animals are indeed more trustworthy than people and can be pampered without any burden. Hua Hua tilted her head. And after licking her for twice, she finally rolled her eyes, raised her tail, and approached cautiously. Zhang Yi's eyes lit up. There's something going on. There are other goodies in the house. Would you like to come in and have a try? Step by step, he lured the cat into the house. And Hua Hua actually followed him into the house. Done! Zhang Yi was ecstatic. Until Hua Hua wandered into the house. It moved around curiously, and then jumped onto the sofa. Facing the sofa worth millions. His claws began to scratch. It left its dirty plum blossom prints on the floor and the sofa. Zhang Yi didn't look unhappy at all. Instead, he generously encouraged him and said, It's okay. You can take a look everywhere here. This place will be your home from now on. Joe Kier said with some jealousy that it was a good thing that this cat couldn't turn into a woman. Otherwise, I'm afraid I wouldn't have any family status at all. Chapter 235 Network Intruder The first day Hua Hua came to the house. She started making trouble everywhere. The whole shelter was so big that it was full of curiosity and wanted to take a look at every corner. Zhang Yi was very tolerant of it, letting it leave footprints everywhere and even breaking exquisite antique vases without caring. The most important thing about getting along with a cat is to establish trust at the beginning. Once this process fails, it is extremely difficult to make amends later. After Hua Hua wreaked havoc in the room for a long time, she finally seemed to be tired of playing, jumped in front of the fireplace, and stretched out lazily on the floor. Zhang Yi breathed a long sigh of relief. He knew that Hua Hua was completely satisfied with this new environment. He walked over cautiously and wanted to touch its head from behind. Meow. Hua Hua turned back and stared at him. And Zhang Yi stopped. One person and one cat just stared at each other. After a few seconds, it put its head on the floor again. Zhang Yi breathed a sigh of relief and said to himself that I have never had such trouble dealing with women. However, he was still satisfied and put his hand on Hua Hua's head. Snort snort. Hua Hua purred comfortably, which was regarded as recognition of Zhang Yi, the shit sweeper. Phew, it's done. Zhang Yi was completely relieved. A genuine smile appeared on his face. The joy he felt after successfully adopting a cat was indescribable. Hua Hua joins this big family and brings a new kind of happiness to the shelter. The girls compete to feed the cat every day and even compete to pet the cat. But I don't know why. It still likes to stay by Zhang Yi's side the most. Even at night, he often sleeps on Zhang Yi's bedside. Even Yang Xinxin, who had fed it before, was surpassed by Zhang Yi in Hua Hua's heart. Cats probably prefer to be with boys. During these days, the two new partners, Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen, were not idle. Yang Xinxin is responsible for the network security of the entire shelter. With her here, and the supercomputer in the shelter, no one in the world can break through here. But as a top hacker, Yang Xinxin is obviously not just satisfied with defense. She used her powerful hacking skills to start counter-intrusion along the intruded network information. It only took her a few minutes to determine the source of the information. After Zhang Yi received the news, he immediately rushed to the console. Xinxin, are you making any new discoveries by calling me here in such a hurry? Zhang Yi asked. A strange smile appeared at the corner of Yang Xinxin's mouth. The person who tried to hack into the shelter network has been found by me. She showed Zhang Yi the notebook on her lap. Above is a map of Tianhai City. Zhang Yi saw one place marked with a five-pointed star, and another place marked with a flashing red dot. When Zhang Yi looked carefully, he realized that the five-pointed star marked the location of Yunk Manor. The flashing red dot is undoubtedly the location of the intruder. This place is the border between the southwest part of Shishan District and the northwest area of Lujiang District. It's only more than 30 kilometers away from here. South close? Zhang Yi's eyes became solemn. I didn't expect that there was a powerful organization hidden at such a close distance. Yang Xinxin said lightly that the other party's technical methods were extremely crude. And it was probably just a good thing done by some inferior engineer. And the equipment is not advanced. So I hacked it easily. The data in the computer has been encrypted. And it will still take some time to crack it. However, 
based on the information that has been obtained so far. There is indeed such a huge organization in Shishan district. Yang Xinxin raised her head and looked at him calmly with her light blue eyes. Maybe we will meet them soon. Zhang Yi crossed his arms and said calmly. You can't avoid what is coming. I, Zhang Yi, don't cause trouble, and I'm not afraid of it. If anyone wants to destroy my peace, I will kill him. Today's Zhang Yi is no longer what he used to be. He has a huge, impregnable fortress and a large group of elites under his command. There were three aliens, including him. Even if he encounters a powerful armed organization, he believes that he can handle it. Xin Xin, if you continue to track their signals and then decipher the data, I want to get more intelligence about that organization. Zhang Yi patted Yang Xinxin on the shoulder and asked her to continue working. Then he left the console and turned to look for Lu Karen. With his help, Lu Karen's mechanical studio has been set up. As a genius who was specially recruited by Tian Xin College, Lu Karen is very professional in the mechanical field. Although the instrument was too precise for her to handle on her own. But weapons and ammunition are not very technical things in themselves. Today in 2050, industrialization has also achieved tremendous development. Even for some people, as long as they have a 3D printer, they can print their own firearms. The manufacture of bullets and explosives is not very difficult. Now, Lu Karen followed Zhang Yi's instructions and started making large quantities of bullets for him, mainly sniper rifle and pistol bullets, because he currently lacks the most bullets for these two firearms, which are also the ones he uses the most in actual combat. Zhang Yi came to the studio and knocked on the door. Combustible. It's me. The door to the studio was opened, and a clanking sound came from inside. Zhang Yi walked in and felt that the temperature in the room was frighteningly high. Even though he was wearing single clothes, he started to sweat. Over at the workbench, Lu Karen was wearing shorts, a green suspender shirt on his upper body, and a black leather skirt tied to his chest. She was covered in sweat. Her back and chest were completely soaked, and her hair was stuck together. When she saw Zhang Yi, she said H. Low to brother with a bright smile. Why are you here? Zhang Yi smiled and said, Come here and see how your work is going. Lu Karen is only 18 years old. And with his natural personality, he looks like a big child. When Zhang Yi is in front of her, he can't help but treat her as his little sister. Lu Karen smiled, showing 14 white teeth. Then she took something from the shelf next to her like a treasure. Brother, let me show you something good. Zhang Yi took it and took a look and found that it was a silencer for a sniper rifle. His eyes lit up. Good stuff. This is so important to him. Zhang Yi's special ability, precise shooting, can double the power of firearms. If he uses a sniper rifle, he can snipe enemies within a range of 3,000 meters. The only problem is that the sound of the gun may attract enemies. With it, this problem can be solved very well. From now on, you can leave as soon as you're done secretly, and you don't have to worry about exposing your position. Chapter 236 Good Brother Bravo! Zhang Yi smiled and praised. Lu Karen put his hands behind his back, hooked his fingers, and said with a shy smile, Try it first to see if it works. Although I built it according to the size of your sniper rifle, I can still adjust it if you have trouble using it. Zhang Yi nodded. Well, that's great. Being praised like this by Zhang Yi, Lu Karen's face turned red with excitement. Brother, if you need anything in the future, just tell me. I will definitely try my best to help you create it. Zhang Yi smiled and said that this was the purpose of my coming here this time. He put his arm around Lu Karen's shoulders and led her to sit on the chair next to him. Being hugged by Zhang Yi's warm hands, Lu Karen's heartbeat couldn't help but accelerate a little. She has always been a tomboy to the outside world but there seems to be some kind of emotion slowly sprouting in her heart. Can you make flammable? Grenades? Mines and explosives? When Lu Karen heard this, he turned to look at Zhang Yi, his eyes widening. It was as if I heard some incredible words. Zhang Yi blinked, smiled and asked if it was difficult. How can it be? Lu Karen stood up all of a sudden and said, as if he was a little unhappy. Brother, you underestimate me too much. I thought it was something complicated. Hum. What you are talking about is not as technically difficult as a new energy battery. She pouted and said with some dissatisfaction. I feel like I have been underestimated by you for asking me to make these things. Zhang Yi couldn't help but be dumbfounded. Boy, are those things low-tech for such a genius? Lu Karen saw Zhang Yi's dumb look and knew what he was thinking. She explained that the things you mentioned are no longer of much use in modern warfare. Perhaps a hundred years ago, 
these weapons and equipment suitable for individual combat were useful. When it comes to gunpowder, even a junior high school student can make it if they have the materials. Isn't it just monosulfide, dinitrate, and charcoal? Zhang Yi smiled and said that things are different now. After the arrival of the extremely cold era, almost all aircraft and aircraft carriers became scrap metal. Today's wars are between people, and the scale is getting smaller and smaller. In this case, the mine explosives will be effective. Zhang Yi told Yang Xinxin what she found. Our shelter is already being targeted. It is still unclear where the other party came from, but it is likely to be an organization with powerful armed forces. In order to protect our safety, I must increase the defense level and strengthen the trap layout nearby. Do you understand it? After Zhang Yi's explanation, Lu Karen's expression became serious. So this is all. Sorry, brother. I didn't know these things just now. Has she ever experienced a war between people? It's normal not to understand this. Zhang Yi smiled and said it doesn't matter. Just do your best. You don't need to worry about anything else. I'm here. I will protect you well. Zhang Yi put his hands on Lu Karen's shoulders. His gentle eyes filled with sincere friendship. How could the inexperienced Lu Karen endure this? She was immediately moved to tears. Big brother, you are so good to me. Me. I don't even know how to repay you. Tears fell down patter. Zhang Yi stretched out his hand to wipe away the tears from the corners of her eyes and said softly, Actually, you don't know. When I first saw you, I felt that I had a special affinity with you. You look very much like one of my sisters. As soon as I see you, I can't help but want to protect you. Lu Karen sniffed and looked at Zhang Yi eagerly, his innocent big eyes flashing. Really? Of course it's true. Can I still lie to you? Zhang Yi smiled softly. Lu Karen smiled happily. In the end of the world, how happy it is to have such a gentle man taking care of her like a sister. But for some reason, she felt a little dissatisfied. Younger sister? Can it only be a sister? Before she could think, Zhang Yi's right hand was already touching her hot face. But Lu Karen's face became even hotter. And her head even became a little overheated. Listen to your brother carefully. You don't need to worry about anything. I'm here for everything. As long as your brother is around, he won't let you suffer any harm. Lu Karen's head was completely confused and his eyes were blurry. This is the first time in my life that I have been treated so affectionately by a man. Well, well, well. She lost the ability to speak and could only nod her head to show her approval of Zhang Yi's words. Zhang Yi smiled and said, Okay, you can continue your work. Take care of yourself. But don't work too hard. After saying that, Zhang Yi left the studio with her confused eyes. After going out, Zhang Yi took a deep breath and sighed that he had once again captured the heart of an innocent girl. R. But for Lu Karen, this treasure girl, he had to keep her close to him. He had to make her wholeheartedly agree with him. When necessary, it is not impossible to betray your hue. After all, dangerous things like weapons must be in the hands of one's own people. Zhang Yi thought for a while, took out his mobile phone, and sent a message to Uncle Yu and Fatty Su. Tell them about the existence of the unknown force, and let them be more vigilant. Recently, we discovered that there are unknown forces nearby, very close to us. Everyone must be careful not to trust anyone at this time. Due to the snow disaster, official organizations have been unable to effectively manage various places. Therefore, any person or force that appears under the official banner must be extremely vigilant. In particular, we must remember not to expose our abilities. This is extremely important. Remember, remember, remember. After seeing it, Uncle Yu and Fatty Su were awakened in their hearts. They quickly agreed to Zhang Yi's request and said they would be more vigilant. And this is all Zhang Yi can do. After all, now, if he can't leave the shelter, he won't leave even one step. With the shelter of this fortress, he has enough confidence to deal with enemies that are hundreds of times stronger than him. However, the most dangerous one now is Fatty Su and his friends. Zhang Yi thought of the marks he saw on the map before. Spying on their signal source, the straight path between them and Yunk Manor happened to pass through Xujia Town. Zhang Yi frowned slightly and sent another message to Fatty Su. If you are in danger and you can't resist, run to me. An ice and snow ability user was so useful that Zhang Yi was reluctant to let anything happen to him. Chapter 237 Scout Seeing Zhang Yi's warning, Fatty Su showed a happy smile on his fat face. It feels good to be cared about. But he didn't take it seriously. In the past, Xujia Town was just an inconspicuous rural area on the edge of Tianhai City. Not only are housing prices extremely cheap, 
but the people in Xuzhou town also have little status in the eyes of urban residents. How could anyone care about such a place? Brother Zhang is really serious. Even if someone is thinking about something, they are still thinking about the villa you live in. Fatty Su put his phone on the table and continued to read his erotic comics. At this time, it was 27 kilometers west of Xuzhou town. This used to be a newly developed urban area in Tianhai city. And buildings can be seen through the ice and snow. From among the buildings in this new city, two people slowly walked out. This is a very strange combination. A man over two meters tall and as strong as a giant bear. And a woman with thin clothes and a nimble figure. They were all wearing white clothes. And they couldn't be found in the snow without looking carefully. There are very few clothes on the woman's body. They are white leather clothes that are clothes fitting and perfectly highlight her curvy figure. In the severe cold of more than 60 degrees below zero, it was unimaginable that anyone could wear so little. She didn't even wear a hat or scarf and face the cold temperature. She looked calm. The tall man next to her carried a rifle wrapped in white cloth, leaving deep footprints on the ground with every step he took. The man obviously hated this feeling and it was very difficult for him to take every step. I really don't know when this snow will fall. If it rains for a few more months, maybe the whole world will be buried. Lu Ziang raised his head and looked at the snowy sky with a depressed look on his ironclad face. Xia Huan Huan, the second lieutenant of Shishan base who was standing aside, smiled slightly and said slowly that the snow would not fall endlessly. The water molecules in the air have almost condensed without the evaporation of water in other areas. Where would ice and snow form? She stretched out her white and tender palms to take a petal. I heard that even at the equator, the temperature reached minus 20 degrees. So there will only be cold in the future. And the falling of ice and snow will become increasingly rare. This is probably the Lord's last mercy on the world. Lu Ziang scratched his head. He was not very able to understand the true meaning of CF Wan Huan's docile rhetoric. CF Wan Huan ignored him and walked straight to the sleigh tied to the roadside. She was sitting on a big dog. Her light body seemed to be weightless. Then he crossed his legs and took out a palm-sized instrument from the cotton bag at his waist. This is a device used to communicate with Shishan base. When Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang came out, their main task was to investigate the situation around the Shishan base. The investigation of Yisen City east of the original Haixiang Road in Shishan District has been completed. There are more than a dozen locations marked on Xia Huan Huan's instrument. Lu Ziang asked where should we go next? Xia Huan Huan looked at the instrument and said that originally our investigation scope was limited to Shishan District. But this time, according to the instructions above, there is another place that needs to be searched in particular. Lu Ziang asked curiously, special search? From here, we can see the status gap between the two. Xia Huan Huan is above Lu Ziang. At least Xia Huan Huan has always been in control of the course of action. The special tasks given by the upper management did not specify the specific task content. But thinking about it, it's not particularly important. As usual, go check it out and then go back and resume your life. Xia Huan Huan suddenly stood on the sled, holding a pergola with his hands and looking into the distance. At the end of the line of sight, a large river reflected light. That place is right by the river. We can find it along the river. Due to the impact of extremely cold temperatures, many base stations around the world have been damaged. Therefore, various positioning devices are also difficult to operate. Even if you can see the location on the map, the map is from before the end of the world. It is only for reference now. And you still need to manually confirm the location. Let's go! The last stop. Call it a day. Xia Huan Huan smiled and got on the sleigh. Lu Ziang whistled at the four Alaskans in front. Then pushed the sled from behind. And then stood behind after the speed increased. Obviously, with his size, it would be difficult for even four large sled dogs to pull him. More than an hour later, Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang arrived at Xijia Town. When they approached the snowy field, they both couldn't help but look shocked at what they saw in front of them. Their destination was originally the Yunk Manor by the river. But when we came along the river, we saw a village made of ice and snow from a distance. Especially the huge ice and snow castle in the middle of the village is particularly eye-catching. Somehow, they planned to come over to see what was going on here. When the sled arrived outside Sudong village, it immediately aroused the vigilance of the sled dogs raised in the village. Woof woof. A dog at the head of the village barked. And all the dogs in the village also barked. This kind of movement made everyone in the village, young and old, feel like they were in danger. Ever since the last time they went to attack Yonk Manor and Zhang he killed hundreds of people by himself. They have been living in fear all day long. 
Although Zhang Yi and Fatty Su reached a reconciliation and promised not to touch their people in Sudong village in the future. But these villagers were really frightened by Zhang Yi. Whenever they heard the slightest movement, they would worry whether Zhang Yi was attacking. As a result, the villagers all rushed over with their tools and dogs. When Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang saw so many people, they couldn't help but look surprised in their eyes. I never thought there were so many survivors in this place. Not only did they not die of cold or starvation, but they maintained the size of the village. Which is incredible. They became more curious about this village. A group of villagers guarded them outside the village. The leader of a branch held a shotgun and asked coldly, Who are you? What do you want to do in our Sudong village? Lu Ziang frowned. His right hand already pressed on the safety of the rifle. But Xia Huan Huan smiled slightly, stepped forward and said, I am the second lieutenant of the Tianjin Navy Division. This time, I represent the official organization to search and help the survivors of the snow disaster. Don't be nervous. As she spoke, she took out her ID from her pocket and showed it to the villagers. She knew very well that these survivors still had great expectations for the authorities. Therefore, showing your identity can avoid a lot of trouble. Chapter 238 Visiting for Guidance Sure enough, after Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang reported their families, the expressions of the villagers in Sudong village immediately became much gentler. Even in the apocalypse, the reverence for the officialdom engraved in the bone still exists. The new village chief Su Dong Tang stepped out of the crowd and carefully checked Xia Huan Huan's ID. Seeing them dressed in standard clothes and looking extraordinary. I believe what they said. Su Dong Tang's expression changed at every turn. Just a moment ago, he was still keeping a straight face. But now, he was smiling to please. It turns out that the leader is here. Welcome. The villagers immediately put down their weapons. Their eyes looked at Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang curiously. With many questions in their hearts. After all, network communication is not as developed as it was before the end of the world and they cannot obtain information from the outside world. So they don't understand what the world has become. Are the authorities still operating? Where are they? And how are they prepared to control snow disasters? Everyone doesn't know. However, this did not affect Su Dongtang's fawning over Xia and Lu at all. Su Dongtang invited the two people to the village and immediately arranged for people to prepare food to entertain them. Go and prepare some wine and food. Today the superior leaders are coming to inspect. We must entertain. Su Dongtang ordered the villagers to ask every household to take out some of the stored food. Some people questioned, Mr. Lu, it's not clear what they are here for. Why are you so enthusiastic about them? Su Dongtang meaningfully told them that as long as they represented the official government, that would be enough. Now, in the year of great calamity, the world is in chaos. It's time for us farmers to turn over. As long as we can establish a relationship with the authorities. Maybe our Sioux family will have the opportunity to rise to prominence in the future. Besides, isn't it just some food? We can still afford it. After some instruction from Su Dong Tang, the villagers suddenly understood and went back to their homes to pick up the good things in the warehouse and entertain Xia and Lu. It was also the first time for Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang to see such a popular village. Seeing how orderly their lives were, as if they were not greatly affected by the snowstorm, I couldn't help but be secretly amazed. Accompanied by Su Dong Tang and a group of Su family elders, the two wandered around the village and took in everything in the village. Xia Huan Huan asked the old man, Your village seems not to have been affected by such a big snow disaster. How is this done? When Su Dong Tang heard this, he immediately puffed up his chest and planned to express himself in front of the leader. First of all, it must be because we people in Sudong village are self-reliant and have a tenacious fighting spirit, and we have not been knocked down by the snow disaster. Secondly, I, the village chief, also played some roles. Ha uh ha. -huh. To be honest, I teach them on weekdays to store plenty of food in case of unexpected needs. Therefore, when there was a snowstorm, our villagers did not worry about food problems. I am not boasting. But in the entire Sudong village, not a single person has starved to death. Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang looked at each other, with a hint of meaning in their eyes. As for the elders in Sudong village, they were very speechless when they heard Su Dong Tong's words not to show his face. How many days have you been the village chief? Everything in the past was all directed by third master Su Dong Sheng. Besides, the entire Xuja town is mainly engaged in agriculture and fishery, and has the habit of stockpiling for many years. Why did it reach your mouth, and it was all your fault? Xia Huan Huan asked casually. Speaking of which, your Su Dong village has a lot of food. Right? Speaking of this, Su Dong Deng smiled proudly, and said with his hands behind his back. This leader, 
you don't know much about the farmer's market in Tianhai City at first glance. To be honest, Xujia Town supplies 30% of the vegetables in Tianhai City. When Su Dongtang said this, he suddenly felt that something was wrong with his words. Because he was eager to highlight the importance of Sudong village in front of his superiors. He exposed the grain storage in the village. What if the people above asked them to contribute part of their food to support other areas? Su Dongtang hurried back to make amends. However, the heavy snowfall over the past month has also damaged many grains and vegetables. We are now just maintaining a level of food and clothing. Xia Huanhuan smiled slightly. There must be at least a thousand households in your entire Xuja town. Right? Being able to maintain food and clothing is also very impressive. Su Dongtang smiled hurriedly and said that in Xuja town. Our Sudong village is currently in the best condition. Do you look at these igloos we built? Those were all built by me. Which perfectly solved the housing problem. Other villages were not so smart. Many houses were buried by heavy snow. And many people died. Su Dongyang pointed to the igloo in the village and proudly took all the credit on himself. The other villagers were speechless. But it was difficult to reveal his identity as the village chief. Xia Huanhuan and Lu Ziang looked at Su Dongtang in surprise. They secretly marveled that this little old man didn't expect to be so talented. Lu Ziang looked at the ice and snow castle in the village. Are these igloos artificially built? It's incredible. There are so many skilled craftsmen in your village. Su Dongtang said with a blushing face but not a beating heart. We are all farmers in our village. Naturally, we need to have some skills to make extra money and support our families. Xia Huanhuan and Lu Ziang nodded without any doubts. However, Su Dongtong's sweeping offer made Su Chunlei's existence deliberately hidden. Xia Huanhuan and Lu Ziang took a tour of the village and found nothing more valuable. Lunch was prepared in the village, and Su Dongtang warmly invited them to come and enjoy it together. Naturally, Xia Huanhuan and Lu Ziang had no reason to refuse. They went out on missions and ate compressed food. They hadn't tasted anything hot for a long time. So the two of them were invited by Su Dongtang to his home. And a group of senior Su family members accompanied them. The thermal insulation performance inside the igloo is quite good. And it is very wind resistant. When there are more people, it doesn't seem so cold. There is a stove set up in the igloo. When eating, I will light the fire directly and then make hot pot to eat. Even so, being able to eat steaming hot food is still a luxury in this day and age. In order to entertain Xia Huanhuan and Lu Ziang, the villagers donated all the good things at home. Some bacon, cured chicken, and frozen fish that are often eaten locally were poured into the pot and became a famous dish. You two leaders, please don't be polite and eat more. Eat more. Su Dongtang and the elders in Zijiakan enthusiastically asked Xia and Lu to use their chopsticks. Looking at the delicious food in the steaming pot, Xia Huanhuan secretly thought that this is a rich village. Chapter 239 leaked. While eating, Su Dongtang and others were also making insinuations, inquiring about some matters organized by the official organization. Leader, when will our officials deal with the snow disaster? Su Dongtang took out the Maozi that he had treasured for many years and poured a glass for Lu Ziang. Lu Ziang lowered his head and drank all the Maozi in the cup. The white wine went into his throat, and a warm current suddenly rose from his chest and abdomen making his face turn rosy. Lu Ziang didn't say anything, but picked up the chopsticks and continued to pick up the food. Xia Huanhuan next to her reply. Don't worry about this matter. Officials have formulated a plan to solve the snow disaster and will implement it soon. Hearing this, Su Dongtang and others showed expected looks on their faces. Great. Great. This life is really hard. There is no hope for ordinary people like us. The country needs to take action to control the snow disaster so that we can live a happy life again. A villager couldn't help but ask if any experts could give accurate information on when the snow would stop? Xia Huanhuan smiled and said soon. The snow will not last long. Look, isn't it much smaller now? It will stop snowing in a few months at most. Lu Ziang next to him couldn't help but glance at her. Xia Huanhuan still looked calm, as if what he said was the truth. Lu Ziang was stupid. So he stopped talking and ate the food in the pot. Xia Huanhuan took a sip of white wine her face slightly rosy. She didn't dare to drink more. After all, she was on a mission. But it was freezing cold. And she couldn't help but drink a little of something as good as liquor. Although based on her physique, she is not afraid of severe cold. But alcohol can bring people a pleasant feeling, which she can't resist. After a glass of wine, Xia Huanhuan also began to inquire about news from the villagers. Has anyone in your village undergone any strange changes recently? Su Dongtang frowned slightly when he heard this. Not only him, 
but everyone in Sudong village thought of Su Chunlei immediately. However, Su Dongtang pretended to be confused. What is a strange change? The people in our village are very normal. When Xie Huan Huan and the others came out, their main task was to investigate the surrounding population centers and resource points. They also had a special task, which was to find the awakened ones and bring them back to the base. However, because the number of born aliens is too rare, they have not found a few in their base so far. So Xie Huan Huan just asked casually and didn't hold out much hope. But as a soldier, her observation skills are still very keen. She noticed the changes in the expressions on the villagers' faces. She immediately put down the wine glass in her hand and said lightly that they were those characters with mutated bodies and abilities that were different from ordinary people. I believe that if you get a long day and night, if anyone has a mutation, everyone can see it. If you can provide useful information, the organization will reward you very generously. The villagers lowered their heads, their eyes flickering, and they were weighing the value of Xie Huan Huan's words in their hearts. But no one said anything. Su Dantang, the patriarch and village chief, was here, so it was not their turn to speak. Behind Su Dantang's gold rimmed glasses, his small eyes flickered with an uncertain light. The person the other party mentioned was undoubtedly Su Chunlei. Do you want to expose his existence? Su Dantang was not in a hurry. Instead, he asked, I dare to ask, what do these people do in the organization? Xie Huan Huan was even more certain that the people in Sudong village had information about the stranger. With a kind smile on her face, she told Su Dong Tang that such people are precious talents of the country. We must make use of their abilities and contribute to rebuilding our homes. Village chief, if you know about this kind of person, you must report it in time. The organization will give you a big credit. Su Dong Tang nodded. So that's it. He lowered his head to pour the wine. But a smile flashed in his eyes. It sounds nice, but I haven't seen any real benefits. Su Chunlei. He is the most important treasure of our Sudong village. Without him, I don't know what the village would be like in the future. I won't hand him over. I will pay close attention in the future. If I find out that such a person exists, I will report it to the leader in time. Su Dantang said, taking out his mobile phone and handing it to leader Xia Huan Huan with a smile. Let's add our contact information. But Xia Huan Huan's expression suddenly changed. She raised her head and looked at Su Dantang and said with a half smile, Village chief, are you hiding something from me? Being dishonest to an organization is very bad behavior. The atmosphere at the scene suddenly became very solemn. Everyone was stunned and didn't know what to say. Only Lu Ziang was still eating heavily. Su Dantang's hand froze in midair. He suddenly showed a puzzled expression, frowned and said no. Leader, what do you mean by this? I am absolutely loyal to the organization and I cannot even tell a lie. Xia Huan Huan asked lightly. Are there really no strangers around you? Think carefully before answering. This is something that the organization attaches great importance to. Once you conceal information, the consequences will be serious. Of course Xia Huan Huan cares about this kind of thing. Once she can find a natural stranger, the organization will give her a lot of credit. She could see that Su Dantang and others had concealed very important information. These ordinary people don't manage their expressions well enough and they can't even hide their lies. Su Dongtang's lie was exposed, and the smile on his face was a little embarrassing for a while. But soon, an inspiration suddenly appeared in his mind. Got it. Su Dongtang quickly said to the leader, If you say that, I would be suspicious. But that person is not from our Sudong village, and we don't know much about him. That's why I didn't dare to say it casually. Xie Huan Huan asked who that person was. Su Dongtang gritted his teeth and said that man's name is Zhang Yi and he lives in Yonk Manor across the river from us. When Zhang Yi was mentioned, everyone in Sudong village gnashed their teeth with hatred. They all had family members who died in the attack that night. How could they not hate Zhang Yi? When Xie Huan Huan heard the name Zhang Yi, her eyes lit up. This was the name mentioned in the special mission she received. If there were no accidents, the Zhang Yi mentioned by Su Dantang was the person she needed to investigate. What a coincidence! Xie Huan Huan said to himself. We can just take advantage of this opportunity to obtain information about Zhang Yi from the villagers of Sudong Village. Chapter 240 Target Yonk Manor In order to make up for his omissions in words, Su Dantang sold Zhang Yi cleanly. After all, Zhang Yi is also a strange person, and mentioning him can successfully fill in the loopholes and hide Su Chunlei's existence. That Zhang Yi is a devil-like figure. He killed more than a hundred people in Sudong Village by himself. We were too angry to speak out against him so we could only break our teeth and swallow it in our stomachs. 
leader. It would be great if you are here now. You must make the decision for us. As soon as Su Dantang took the lead, the villagers of Sudong village also came to their senses and hurriedly addressed all their problems to Zhang Yi. No one wants Su Chunlei, the protector, to be exposed. And coincidentally, the purpose of Xie Huanhuan and Lu Ziang's trip was to look for Zhang Yi. They got the information here by going wrong. The two of them were also happy. As long as they complete the last investigation task, they can return to base and resume their operations. Moreover, the existence of Xujia Town is also an unexpected surprise for them. Xie Huanhuan quickly asked the villagers for information about Zhang Yi. Su Dantang thought about it and found that he had no idea about Zhang Yi's age, height, and appearance. After all, that night, they fought in the dark and were chased like dogs by Zhang Yi carrying a big sniper. We only know that there are many traps near their home, and he has a gun in his hand, and a car that can drive on snow. Xie Huanhuan and Lu Ziang wrote down this information word for word. In particular, weapons and traps will play a very important role in their subsequent investigation. Then what is his superpower? Who among you knows? Xie Huanhuan asked the question she was most concerned about. The abilities of aliens are also divided into three, six or nine levels. Some people's mutations are completely negative. Instead of gaining powerful abilities, they cause physical abnormalities. There are also people whose abilities are not very useful. And a powerful ability user is useful to the Shishan base. Mentioning this, Su Dongtang and others were dumbfounded. Because when they fought with Zhang Yi, they were beaten by traps and sniper rifles. I have never seen Zhang Yi use any abilities. They heard this from Su Chunlei. Su Dongtang smiled awkwardly. How could we understand this? I don't know much about what is superpower or not. I just feel that this person is very abnormal and does not look like an ordinary person. Leader, you need to come forward to investigate this matter. A flash of disappointment flashed in Xia Huan Huan's eyes. Only by understanding the abilities of an alien can you know how to deal with him. This is very critical information. But it is a pity that it was not obtained. She asked again and again unwillingly. But these villagers really don't understand. Don't talk about them. Until now, Su Chunlei didn't know much about Zhang Yi's abilities. He only knew that he was from the space system. Zhang Yi did a very good job of keeping his abilities. Weapons and ammunition secret. Even the people around him don't know how many cards he has. Not to mention this group of people. After Xie Huanhuan and Lu Ziang finished their meal and saw that they could not collect more information, they planned to leave Sudong village. Su Dongtang was still unwilling to give up, hoping to let Xie Huanhuan help him find an official position. After all, a second lieutenant was already a huge military rank in his eyes. Xie Huanhuan smiled and nodded in agreement. From now on, you will be in charge of Xujia town. If you find useful information, please report it to me in time. Su Dongtang felt happy. Yes, yes, I will definitely contribute all my strength to the organization. Please trust me in the organization. When the two of them left, Su Dongtang stuffed them with a lot of things. Xia Huanhuan didn't like anything else, but he kept a few bottles of good wine. The two people left Sudong village. Xia Huanhuan took out his instrument and reported the events in Xujia town to Shishan base. It was discovered that Xujia town a large village, had a surviving population of about 2,000 people and stored a large amount of grain. No strangers found. After finishing the report, Xie Huanhuan put away his instruments. Lu Ziang was on guard duty. After Xie Huanhuan finished his work, he asked, Why did you lie to those people in the village just now? Lu Ziang didn't understand that almost none of what Xie Huanhuan said to Su Dongtang was true. For example, the snowstorm is about to end. Another example is that they can help Sudong village rebuild after the disaster. Everyone knows very well that there is no telling how long this snowstorm will last. And even the top brass of the Shishan base cannot be sure when it will end. Xie Huanhuan glanced at the silly guy next to him and smiled indifferently. If we tell the truth to them, do you think we can still be treated like guests here? Entertained with delicious food and drinks. And provide us with information honestly? Lu Ziang scratched his head. I also understand the reason but I always feel that this look is not very good. After all, those villagers were very nice to us. Xie Huanhuan lowered his head and smiled, and said meaningfully, You can only be my subordinate. Lu Ziang smiled helplessly, and shook his head. As an elite soldier, he is indeed far inferior to Xie Huanhuan in terms of human sophistication. Xie Huanhuan said nonchalantly, that what I said was what they really wanted to hear. Not only will they not resent me, but they will also be grateful to me for giving them hope. Lu Ziang asked in confusion. But one day they will find out that what you told is a lie. 
What will you do when that time comes? By that time, I will have new words. CF101 had a look of being in control. If we represent the official word to them, then whatever we say will be legitimate. Lu Ziang's eyes were a little confused. However, can we represent the official government? There was a turmoil at the Shishan base. And the power changed from the official leadership to Qin Shinyan, who now controls the troops. Strictly speaking, they are all rebels. But in this world, it is difficult to distinguish between right and wrong. Lu Ziang only knew that he was a soldier. And it was the duty of soldiers to obey orders. He shook his head, not wanting to think about these complicated things anymore. Xia Huanhuan didn't care what Lu Ziang thought. She is the commander of this search mission. And Lu Ziang is just a subordinate who assists her work. Let's go meet Zhang Yi for a while at the next stop. She flipped her hair, with a bit of curiosity in her eyes. According to the villagers in Sudong village, this guy is very unusual, and it is very likely to be a stranger. When Lu Ziang heard this, he smiled happily and said that if we could bring him back, we would have done a great job. A meaningful smile appeared on the corner of Xia Huan Huan's mouth. Compared to him, there are things above that he is more concerned about. No one knows whether Zhang Yi is a stranger. However, the information handed over to her clearly stated that the investigation was focused on its relationship with the Walmart warehouse theft case. Originally, the senior management of Shishan base did not pay much attention to Zhang Yi. But after listening to the descriptions of the villagers in Sudong village, Xia Huan Huan thought that things were not that simple. Perhaps through Zhang Yi, we can find the stolen materials in what is known as the largest warehouse in South China. A look of excitement flashed in Xia Huan Huan's eyes. If those things can really be found, this huge contribution will be enough to make me the number two person in the base. Even. Chapter 241 Infiltrator. Since the ground had already been covered with snow and the surrounding area of Yonk Manor was relatively open, Xia and Lu thought that they would easily be discovered by Zhang Yi if they went there rashly. Therefore, Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang did not go there rashly. Instead, they first used telescopes to explore the surroundings of Yonk Manor. Through the words of Su Dongtang and others, Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang became a little wary of Zhang Yi, knowing that this person was not that easy to deal with and might be a powerful stranger. It wasn't until late at night that the two went over to investigate. From Sudong Village, they have learned that Villa Number 101 is where Zhang Yi lives, and that there are many traps around it. So when they came over in the evening, the two of them were fully prepared. Lu Ziang took out a military tactical eyepiece. Looking at the snow in front of him, all the traps buried under the snowdrifts were clearly visible. Fortunately, we got the news in advance. Otherwise, we might get hurt if we rush over. Lu Ziang said in a deep voice. Xia Huanhuan looked up at the luxurious villa in front of her, but couldn't help but sigh that she could live in such a luxurious villa and enjoy a comfortable life in the apocalypse. Even I can't help but feel jealous. Lu Ziang said. What's there to be envious of? It's freezing outside. And heating such a big house consumes a lot of energy. Where did he get all that fuel to keep warm? Not to mention daily food and clothing expenses. Xia Huan Huan glanced at him and didn't explain much. Lu Ziang didn't know anything about the South China warehouse. After all, he is just a soldier and does not need to know the content of the mission. He only needs to obey Xia Huan Huan's orders. Send me there. Xia Huan Huan said to Lu Ziang. Lu Ziang crouched down with his burly body and Xia Huan Huan nimbly jumped on his shoulders. Lu Ziang carried Xia Huan Huan on his shoulders, stepped on a section of the rockery exposed on the snow, and jumped quickly to the wall on the right, jumping up to a height of more than 5 meters. He grabbed the eaves with his right hand and swung towards the corner of the shelter like a swing. As quickly as a rabbit rises and a falcon falls, the man has landed on the snow. The weight of the two men fell into the snow, and half of their body sank in. But he didn't let a piece of snow touch Xia Huan Huan. It was very easy for them to dismantle simple traps in the snow. But the two of them didn't want to alert the enemy. So they decided to sneak in quietly. Xia Huan Huan stepped off Lu Ziang's shoulders and observed the black villa in front of her. A thick and solid feeling suddenly filled her heart. It is indeed the residence of the richest man in the past. Although it is flashy, its defensive power is comparable to that of a bunker. A smile appeared on the corner of Xia Huan Huan's mouth. Unfortunately, for me, there is no unbreakable fortress in this world. Lu Ziang behind him said in a deep voice, Are you really not considering negotiating with the other party? Your abilities are not combat-based. And it may be dangerous to sneak in rashly. Xia Huan Huan frowned and said coldly, Lu Ziang, don't forget. Even if I don't have powers, I, Xia Huan Huan, am still a member of the special team. 
Lu Ziying suddenly did not dare to continue arguing about this matter. Then I'll wait for you outside. If there is a situation, shoot immediately, and I will find a way to break in. Xia Huan Huan smiled disapprovingly. Don't worry. That Zhang Yi can't imagine that there is such an intrusion method in the world. After she finished speaking, she walked towards the corner. The thick wall, which was made of a special alloy and could withstand direct gunfire, suddenly turned into air. Or it can be said that Xia Huan Huan turned into air and walked in as light as nothing. The next moment, she arrived at Zhang Yi's shelter. This location is the living room. Xia Huan Huan didn't understand the structure inside the shelter, but it was already late at night, and she entered it only after confirming that the lights in the room were turned off early. As soon as she entered the shelter, she was completely enveloped by the warm feeling. Xia Huan Huan was very surprised that this place was even warmer than the Shishan base. The luxurious interior decoration and furniture around her made her feel envious, jealous, and resentful. Although these things are not valuable in the last days, they are everywhere outside. But it is basically impossible to bring them back to the Shishan base. After all, the underground base only has such a large space. And even a special operations team member like her only has a small room of more than 10 square meters. I can now confirm that he must have a large amount of supplies in his hands. Whether it is food or energy, he will not be lacking. Otherwise, it would be impossible to enjoy such a comfortable life. Xia Huan Huan raised a smile at the corner of her mouth. Just when she was about to continue exploring the room, she suddenly heard a cat meowing. Xia Huan Huan was suddenly shocked, thinking that she still didn't know the details about Zhang Yi. She didn't dare to take any more risks. The importance of this shelter is much higher than the senior officials of Shishan Bay's thought. However, Xia Huan Huan was not willing to leave just like that. She decided to leave something for Zhang Yi to shock his heart. Then, maybe we can take this place without a fight. Xia Huan Huan pulled out a saber from his thigh and placed it on the table in the living room. After doing this, she turned around and entered the shadow of the room, disappearing as ghostly as before. Xia Huan Huan walked out of the wall, and Lu Ziang was still waiting outside to pick her up. Seeing her coming out so quickly, I hurriedly asked if she had discovered anything. Xia Huan Huan's eyes were full of excitement, and she had gained a lot. Let's go back first, and I'll talk to you slowly on the way. Lu Ziang was a little surprised. Go back first? He and Xia Huan Huan worked together and they had never encountered an unsolvable problem in so long. Even if they encounter some former gang forces in Tianhai City, the two of them can easily handle them. But this time, Xia Huan Huan actually chose to go back. Was he planning to ask for assistance from the base? Did you meet a strong opponent? Xia Huan Huan quickly said that although it was not clear, judging from the current situation, the man named Zhang Yi was definitely not simple. I'm not good at fighting. So there's no need to stay here and take risks. Go back and report the intelligence here to the higher-ups. And sending a large force is the safest option. Xia Wan Huan's ability is very suitable for external search. Because she can perfectly blend into the environment. The severe cold of ice and snow cannot harm her. And she can break through even the strongest fortress. But her powers are not suitable for direct combat. This is why she needs Lu Ziying by her side. Lu Ziying obeyed the order. Let Xia Wan Huan sit on his shoulder. And then quickly left Yunk Manor. But at this time, Zhang Yi, who was sleeping, was also awakened. Chapter 242 Chase Hua scream woke Zhang Yi up. Ever since Hua Hua came home, she likes to crawl into Zhang Yi's room to sleep every night, nestling on the head of his bed. Zhang Yi also likes to pet cats to relieve stress, so he does not chase it away. This voice almost took Zhang Yi away because the scream was so unpleasant. Zhang Yi opened his eyes and saw Hua Hua staring at the door cautiously, with all the hair on his body standing on end. As a stray cat, Hua Hua is extremely alert and would not show off like this normally. Zhang Yi suddenly realized that something happened at home. He instinctively rolled over and got out of bed, already taking out the gun in his right hand and holding it. Hua Hua, what's going on? Zhang Yi asked. Hua Hua's IQ is very high, not much worse than humans. It could understand everything Zhang Yi said to it. But the problem is it can't speak. Hua Hua just stared outside and called. But after meowing a few times, it suddenly stopped meowing, but its eyes showed incomprehension and looked around curiously. What's the situation? Zhang Yi felt baffled. Could it be that it was having nightmares at night? I have never heard of cats having nightmares. Zhang Yi was worried and picked up his phone to check the surveillance of the entire shelter. As a result, no unusual scenes were found in the shelter. Instead, Hua Hua walked to the door and put her paw on the door to signal it to go out. Wait me a moment. Zhang Yi quickly put on his clothes 
then opened the door with a gun. Wawa quickly ran towards the stairs. Zhang Yi looked around cautiously, then stepped lightly and followed quickly. Wawa came to the first floor, sniffing here and there, and kept making that weird chirping sound in her mouth. Then, it jumped onto the table in the living room. Zhang Yi followed it step by step. Soon he discovered the black saber on the table. Zhang Yi's pupils shrank suddenly, and a layer of white hair sweat appeared on his back. This kind of saber definitely does not belong to him. And it is even less likely that several other people in the shelter have such things. So who put it here? What's even more frightening is who was able to bypass the shelter's invulnerable defenses. Quietly come to the living room. And put it here. Just because the other party was able to sneak into his house quietly. Does that mean he could sneak in one day and take his life? Zhang Yi swallowed his saliva. But quickly came to his senses. There are surveillance cameras everywhere in the house. Just check and you will know who has come in. He immediately came to the TV and told the smart system at home to play back the surveillance video in the living room. Adjusted to 10 minutes ago. And then fast forward until someone appears. Soon, the surveillance from 10 minutes ago appeared on the big screen. As the video fast forwarded, Zhang Yi finally saw the strange figure. He slowed down the video playback speed, not daring to blink for fear of missing some details. Then he clearly saw a woman in white tights slowly walking out from the shadows in the corner of the room. In large, Zhang Yi amplified that influence and observed carefully. Only then could he see the clues. The woman did not appear out of thin air, but slowly walked in from the wall. That solid wall, like air, didn't stop her at all. However, Zhang Yi understood what was going on. There is such a superpower. Since the emergence of mutants in this world, more and more incredible things have become less bizarre. Zhang Yi continued to check the video. After observing the room for a while, the woman was about to walk towards the stairs. At this time, Wawa's screams rang out, scaring away the woman in white tights. She put down a dagger on the table and walked out from the direction of the wall again. After watching this video, Zhang Yi felt like a haze appeared above his head. The existence of such a strange person is a huge threat to him. No matter how strong the shelter is, it will have no effect. What's even more terrifying is that when she left, she placed a saber on the table. Zhang Yi is also a knife player. So he understands that this kind of knife is not something ordinary people can own. It is probably a standard weapon in the army. If such a person lets her go, how much threat will it pose to him in the future? In Zhang Yi's eyes, strong murderous intent emerged crazily. That woman must die. She must not be allowed to live. Hua Hua. Come out with me and kill the intruder. Zhang Yi said to Hua Hua, who was squatting on the table. Meow. Hua Hua opened her mouth wide and shouted. Her eyes glowing blue like light bulbs. Zhang Yi did not rush out, but first armed himself in the living room. There was no engine sound nearby, so it was impossible for the other party to drive here. So she can't run far. While getting dressed, he called up the surveillance outside the shelter to check for signs of the other party's departure. Through the infrared camera, he captured two departing figures. Two people? It doesn't matter. Let's kill the woman who can sneak into the shelter first. It was the opponent who came over to declare war first. And Zhang Yi would not show any mercy. Together with Hua Hua. His combat power is enough to deal with any opponent. R. If time were not urgent. He would have wanted to shake Uncle Yu and Fatty Su over. But time waits for no one. And if you chase them too late. You will be afraid that they will run away. Zhang Yi put on his equipment. Holding a large sniper in his hand. And then went out with Hua Hua. Hua Hua. Can you smell their scent? Zhang Yi looked at Hua Hua. Meow. Hua Hua howled confidently. Isn't that natural? The next moment, its body expanded rapidly and turned into a behemoth more than 10 meters long. Hua Hua laid down in front of Zhang Yi and motioned for him to sit up. In the snow, its speed is faster than a snowmobile. Zhang Yi looked at the hairs on its back that were sharper than steel nails and said with some worry that I was afraid of having its butt pierced. Hua Hua reacted, and the hair on her back quickly became soft. Only then did Zhang Yi sit down with confidence. Don't get too excited and suddenly pierce my butt. Zhang Yi reminded Hua Hua Dao. Hua Hua rolled her eyes and meowed unhappily expressing her dissatisfaction with Zhang Yi's distrust. After he sat firmly, Hua Hua's soft big feet kicked hard on the snow. And he jumped 10 meters away. Zhang Yi held the sniper in his arms and stared straight ahead through the tactical eyepiece. Tonight, no matter what, he couldn't let that woman leave alive. One person and one cat quickly disappeared into Yunk Manor and chased towards the northwest. At this time, Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang were riding the sled, preparing to go back with joy. In this search, 
the results can only be described as a bumper harvest. In addition to finding a village with a prosperous population and abundant supplies, they also discovered the secrets of Zhang Yi. As long as you go back and report it to the senior management, it will definitely be a great achievement. Chapter 243 Close to the Truth After leaving Yunk Manor, Xia Huanhuan and Lu Ziang rushed back to the Xishan base. Xia Huanhuan had an unstoppable smile on her face. Not even the freezing ice and snow at midnight could weaken it. Lu Ziang was greatly surprised when he saw it. Xia Huanhuan is his superior. When he carries out the tasks assigned by the top management, he also directly communicates with Xia Huanhuan. So along the way, Lu Ziang didn't know the specific content of many things. But today, Xia Huanhuan looked obviously overly excited. This inevitably aroused Lu Ziang's interest. The two are also old partners and have a relatively good relationship. Lu Ziang asked Huan Huan, What did you see in Zhang Yi's villa that made you so happy? At this time, the two of them had already left Yank Manor far away. Xia Huan Huan was in a happy mood, just waiting to go back and report the news so that he could be rewarded based on his merits. So she told Lu Ziang about this matter. Lao Lu, logically speaking, you are just an ordinary soldier in our team. There are some things that you are not high enough to know. But my sister is in a good mood today. So it doesn't hurt to tell you this. Zhang Yi's matter itself is nothing but a trivial matter for the leaders of Shishan base. So there is no requirement to keep it strictly confidential. Coupled with today's special circumstances, some rules have gradually become less binding. Xia Huanhuan told him the secret. There were rumors before that Zhang Yi was related to the theft case at Walmart South China Warehouse. Have you heard about that case? Lu Ziang frowned slightly, as if he was impressed. At that time, he was still in the army and was not very clear about the news from the outside world. You've always heard of Walmart, right? Oh, I do know this. That supermarket seems to be quite large. And it must be famous all over the world. That's right. Not only is it famous all over the world, but it is also the largest supermarket chain in the world. They have more than 800 large chain stores in China. The South China Warehouse in Tianhai City stores more than one-third of their supplies in China. The value of its goods is said to have reached tens of billions. Lu Ziang was also shocked by the tens of billions of supplies. Is it that scary? After so many years of preparation and mobilization before the snow disaster, the Xishan base's stored supplies combined could not reach this level. You mean? Zhang Yi knows where those supplies are going? Lu Ziang reacted keenly. Xia Huanhuan smiled slightly. At the beginning, the top leaders of the base thought so too. They just regarded Zhang Yi as an insider and asked us to come over and investigate. However, after going to Xijia town and personally entering their home to investigate, I found that things were definitely not that simple. Xia Huanhuan's tone became serious, with the joy of discovering a huge secret in his seriousness. Lu Ziang frowned. Me? Not understand well. Xia Huanhuan rolled her eyes at him. This stupid guy's brain was a bit slow. If Zhang Yi was just an ordinary warehouse manager, then the tens of billions of lost supplies would have absolutely nothing to do with him. Even if you find him for questioning, the information obtained will most likely be of little use. After all, now that we have found the mastermind behind it, we may not be able to recover that batch of materials. But, what if he is someone who hides deeply and actually possesses powerful energy? Xia Huanhuan thought of what the villagers of Sudong village said to her, and lightly blew out a puff of white smoke. Can an ordinary person survive for so long in the apocalypse and still have powerful firepower? Can an ordinary person single-handedly fight off the siege of hundreds of villagers and kill more than a hundred people? From this we can judge that Zhang Yi is anything but ordinary. While the two were talking, the sled dog began to become a little restless. But its mouth was covered with a bit and it couldn't make a sound. It could only whine and run forward as hard as it could. Neither of the two people, who were chatting enthusiastically, noticed this problem. After all, the weather is too cold, and it is common for dogs to get into moods. Xia Huanhuan said that I had only doubted this before, but after entering their home to investigate, I was even more convinced of this. The living conditions of their family are so good, even more luxurious than the life of our Shishan base leaders. Without enough supplies, who would dare to enjoy such a luxurious life at a time like this? When Lu Ziang heard this, he slowly came back to his senses. I see. You mean? Zhang Yi must have a very large amount of supplies in his hands. Is it possible that this is part of the lost supplies from Walmart South China Warehouse? Xia Huanhuan blinked and said in a deep voice, Maybe it's not just a part. It's possible. It's all of them. What? Lu Ziang's jaw almost dropped in shock. Huanhuan, 
Your joke is too big. Where can he store so many supplies? Sia Wanhuan said that the case itself was complicated and confusing. No one could explain at the beginning why the South China warehouse, known as the world's largest warehouse, was packed out in just a few hours. But now, the emergence of mutants has made many impossible things possible. Lu Xiang frowned slightly. Do you mean that he has some kind of ability to hide supplies? Xia Huanhuan said that I was just guessing and could not be sure. However, even if there is only this possibility, it is worth letting us take action. Xia Huanhuan's eyes were filled with excitement. After we return, we will report the news immediately. And then the leader will send a large force. As long as the entire A team dispatches a quarter of its strength, it is enough to destroy any stubborn enemy. Even though his house is very strong, it becomes vulnerable when I'm around. Although Xia Huanhuan's abilities tend to be auxiliary, they are extremely useful when it comes to fighting tough battles. She couldn't bring particularly large objects in. But there was no problem in throwing some bomb gas inside. No matter how strong a fortress is, it is easy to break through from the inside. Lu Ziang looked at the confident Xia Huanhuan with a look of envy in his eyes. So good. The abilities you possess as natural strangers can create infinite possibilities. Xia Huanhuan saw a hint of loneliness in Lu Ziang's eyes. As an elite warrior, it was a huge regret for him not to have the same talent as Xia Huanhuan. Xia Huanhuan suddenly patted his old partner on the shoulder. Lao Lu, don't be too depressed. You will also receive a big reward when you return from this mission. From now on, my sister will become a senior member of the base and will not treat you badly. Ha ha! Lu Ziang looked at the high-spirited Xia Huanhuan and couldn't help but smile. That's it. From now on I'll be entirely dependent on you for support. The two returned to the Shishan base talking and laughing both feeling happy about the huge gains from the trip. At this moment, in Lu Ziang's sight, Xia Huanhuan's head suddenly tilted to the side. A string of blood spattered from her temples. Her smile still stayed on her face, but her eyes quickly lost their luster. Boom! Xia Huanhuan's body fell from the sled without any warning. Chapter 244 Don't Let Go of Any Possibility Xia Huanhuan's body fell on the snow. What happened was so sudden. A second ago, she and Lu Ziang were happily talking about their future promotions. But now, she has become a cold corpse. In a dangerous world. No time is absolutely safe. The heads of aliens are not necessarily much harder than ordinary people. It is even more unable to withstand the shooting of a 5.8mm sniper rifle blessed with supernatural powers. Lu Ziang watched his old partner die in front of him. In less than a second, it felt like a long century to him. The next moment, he instinctively drew his gun with his backhand and pointed it behind him. Under the night, a huge black shadow appeared in the distance. On the back of the demon Kathawa, Zhang Yi held up a sniper and accurately sniped the woman who could pass through the wall from a distance of 2,000 meters. In Lu Ziang's sight, Zhang Yi and Hua Hua were too small, and his gun didn't have such a far range at all. But when he hesitated, Zhang Yi had already finished changing the bullet and fired another bullet. After adding a silencer, the noise is much smaller when sniping others. From such a distance, the opponent can only judge his position through ballistics. Zhang Yi originally thought that one shot could take away the strong man. But in his sight, the man's figure suddenly changed like a ghost, leaving after images in midair. Relying on this ghostly movement technique, he even narrowly avoided Zhang Yi's bullets. Damn it. How many aliens are there? Zhang Yi's scalp felt numb. Although he had guessed that it would be such an unfolding, he still couldn't help but be secretly frightened when two strangers actually attacked at the same time. But now, no matter who the other party is, he must let the other party die here. Absolutely. You cannot let the other party take back information about him. But during this gap, Lu Ziang had already grabbed Xia Huanhuan's body with skillful skills, and then hid it in a snow pit. Looking at Xia Huanhuan's cold body, Lu Ziang's heart felt like a knife. After working together for so long, he actually had vague feelings for Xia Huanhuan. It's just that due to his identity, he has never dared to confess. But his lover died tragically in front of him. And he was still heartbroken. Damn it. I'm going to kill you. Lu Ziang's eyes were bloodshot. But the discipline of a soldier did not make him lose his mind. The opponent was an extremely powerful sniper who could accurately hit Xia Huanhuan's head from such a long distance. Even when he was in the army, he couldn't do it. Lu Ziang judged that this was most likely a supernatural power. Fighting at a distance, he has no advantage, and can only become a living target. But what about close combat? How does he get closer to the other party across the distance of 2,000 meters? And running away is the worst option. When the opponent is a sharpshooter, 
He is in danger of being sniped as soon as he shows his head. Wait a minute. I can't be in a hurry now. He should be the anxious one. If I guess correctly, he is Zhang Yi, the owner of that villa. After discovering our traces, they were eager to kill us and silence us. So, my best course of action is to confront him here, then call for help. It takes about two and a half hours to get here from the Shishan base by snowmobile and about four and a half hours by sled. Lu Ziang took out the equipment from his body and sent a distress signal to Shishan base. Just as Lu Ziang thought, Zhang Yi is now eager to kill him. But after one sniping error, Lu Ziang hid. And it was impossible to give him a second chance to snipe. Judging from Lu Ziang's skills just now, this is another warrior with strong melee strength. If the two of them fight in close quarters, Zhang Yi is not sure that he can win. If we continue to delay, maybe the other party will pass on my information. Or even call for reinforcements. What do I do? Contact Fatty Su to come over? Forget it. He has no transportation. And it will be dawn by the time he gets here. At this time, Zhang Yi's eyes were looking at Hua Hua under his butt. I have an idea in mind. Hua Hua, go and force that person out. And then I will support you from a distance with a sniper. Zhang Yi jumped down from Hua Hua, leaned his back on the snow, and said to Hua Hua, Hua Hua understood what Zhang Yi meant and meowed suddenly, her expression a little dissatisfied. It seems to be saying that I will be in danger in the past. Zhang Yi comforted him and said it was okay. You are thick-skinned and he can't hurt you. As long as you let him reveal his position. I promise to kill him in one go. Be obedient and I will reward you with a hundred small dried fish when you return. Hua Hua licked her big paw and then nodded in agreement. Cats have a strong sense of territory and hate two strangers who invade their territory. So it hit it off with Zhang Yi. And with the benefits Zhang Yi promised. It ran in the direction where Lu Ziang was hiding. At first, it was still charging in the snow. But soon, its body rolled up in the snow and turned into a huge black spike ball. The hard black hair all over his body was like a steel needle. Rumbling towards Lu Ziang's position. Lu Ziang originally planned to rely on the terrain to fight a protracted battle with Zhang Yi. And then wait for reinforcements to arrive. But suddenly there was a huge roar in his ears. He carefully took out his cell phone and used it as a reflector to check. What he saw made his pupils shrink in fear. What is this? All he saw was a huge black ball hitting him hard. This thing was beyond his imagination. Soon enough, Lu Ziang lowered his body and quickly moved to the side. Boom! Hua Hua directly crushed the location where he was just now to create a path several meters deep. Lu Ziang just breathed a sigh of relief, but suddenly found that the huge black ball stopped suddenly. Then it turned into a huge black monster not far away from him. Meow! Hua Hua roared angrily. The hair on his body stood up like steel needles. And then he rushed towards Lu Ziang in an S-shaped path. Lu Ziang hurriedly raised his gun and started shooting. However, ordinary bullets didn't do much damage to Hua Hua. The steel needle hitting it sent sparks flying everywhere. Although Hua Hua was in pain, she was not seriously harmed. And she rushed towards him with an even more shrill cry. Lu Ziang once again used his ghostly figure to dodge quickly in the snow. It's really weird that a person's body shape can be comparable to that of a cat. But he could avoid Hua Hua's attack. But there was no way to hide his figure. In the distance, Zhang Yi has been waiting for him with a sniper. As soon as he showed his head, Zhang Yi pulled the trigger. Chapter 245 Devouring After the shot, Lu Ziang was not dead. He is always on guard against snipers in the dark. That ghostly figure narrowly avoided Zhang Yi's bullets. Are there any powers that increase speed and agility? Zhang Yi had a preliminary judgment on Lu Ziang's ability. However, he was not anxious at all, but silently changed the bullets. Let's see how long you can hold on. Lu Ziang needs to face the joint attacks of Zhang Yi and Hua Hua at the same time. Not only does he have to dodge the bullets in the dark, but he also has to dodge the huge monster in front of him. Soon he began to feel overwhelmed. Zhang Yi fired another bullet. And the lethality of the bullet with supernatural powers was so shocking that even a bulletproof vest might not be able to block it. A trace of blood seeped out from the corner of Lu Ziang's mouth. And he forcibly activated the power again. The figure left an afterimage in midair like a ghost. Dodging the bullet. But just when he was rejoicing, a huge black shadow rushed up next to him. Ouch! Hua Hua opened her big mouth and bit him hard on half of his body. Click! There was a cracking sound. And I didn't know if it was the body armor on Lu Ziang's body or the bones. Ah! His shrill scream spread throughout the wilderness. Before he died, he raised the gun in his hand and pointed it at Hua Hua's eyes, wanting to die together. 
But soon, he was shot in the head by Zhang Yi. At this point, the two strangers who invaded Zhang Yi's shelter were all killed. Zhang Yi felt slightly relieved and drove over on his snowmobile. When they arrived at the scene, Hua Hua had returned to normal size, squatting on the woman's body, looking at Zhang Yi eagerly. Meow. Hua Hua opened her mouth and howled loudly. After all, for it, transformation also requires a huge amount of energy. Zhang Yi smiled slightly, took out a few tuna cans from the different space and placed them next to it. Hua Hua skillfully cut the can open with her sharp claws and ate it herself. Zhang Yi went to check the bodies of the two people. A tall man, fully armed and wrapped in thick white armor. But at this time, Hua Hua had bitten a crescent-shaped hideous wound on his body. The armor was not completely shattered. And the material was very unusual. It should be equipment exclusively used by special forces. Unfortunately, it was broken into pieces. Zhang Yi planned to take it back and study it slowly. At this time, Hua Hua suddenly meowed twice at Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi looked back and Hua Hua turned his head towards the woman in a very humane way. Um, what's wrong? Zhang Yi recognized this woman. She was the one who entered his shelter through the wall. If it weren't for her perverted ability, Zhang Yi wouldn't have such a murderous intention. After all, shelter is his greatest source of security at the moment. Absolutely no one is allowed to invade. At this time, her whole body was frozen. But the thin white tights material was obviously unusual, and should also have strong defensive capabilities. But the fact that she was so thinly dressed in this weather must have something to do with her ability. Zhang Yi walked over, intending to search her body. When his right hand just touched her body, his whole body suddenly felt like an electric shock. And an indescribable feeling rushed straight into his brain. It was as if some biological instinct had been awakened. Hua Hua narrowed her eyes and meowed. Zhang Yi swallowed. And he understood why Hua Hua asked him to come over to see this woman. Because there was a voice in his mind telling him that he could rob this woman of her power. Zhang Yi put his right hand on her forehead, and a powerful supernatural power quickly poured into his body along his arm. That kind of happy feeling made Zhang Yi so excited that he almost screamed. This is the first time he has swallowed the power of another alien. After Xie Huan Huan's power was taken away by him, Zhang Yi clearly felt that his power had become much stronger. It's like a hungry person who feels full of energy after eating a full meal. It turns out that the powers of aliens can still devour each other? Zhang Yi looked at his palm and said in disbelief. At this time, Xia Hua Huan's body no longer had that reaction, as if it was a skin that had been hollowed out. Hua Hua meowed twice. The intuition of animals is always more sensitive than that of humans. It discovered Xia Hua Huan's body, and naturally felt that the power could devour it. But it didn't do this and chose to leave it to Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi was particularly moved and couldn't help but pick up Hua Hua and kiss her twice. Hua Hua. Thank you. So good. Hua Hua put her head over and rubbed against Zhang Yi then jumped down impatiently and continued to eat the can. Zhang Yi looked at the man's body with some confusion. Isn't he also a stranger? Why don't I feel this way when I touch him? It's really strange. The current world and the mutated creatures in this world are full of things that are difficult to understand. Zhang Yi took the bodies of the two people into the different space and cleaned up the blood stains on the scene. However, it was impossible to clean up the footprints they left on their way here. After all, they spread for almost five kilometers. I can't control that much anymore. They have discovered my location. If they really want to knock on the door, I will continue. I just want to see who can break into my shelter after this woman, who can walk through walls, dies. Zhang Yi encouraged himself. But he still had to be cautious. These two people were obviously not lone wolves, but came from a powerful organization. It can be seen from their uniforms. And that organization is definitely not just composed of these two strangers. Maybe there are more powerful warriors under his command or even reorganized troops. After I go back, I have to think about how to be prepared. Zhang Yi rubbed his temples helplessly, feeling a little annoyed. Why do people always want to disturb his peaceful life? But to say that I was afraid. I wasn't afraid. After all, now that the city is closed due to heavy snow, even if the opponent comes to attack, they can only be aliens and infantry. Modern large weapons are impossible. As for the more exaggerated strategic level weapons, it is impossible for a city like Tianhai City that is not garrisoned by a large military region to have control. Therefore, even if there is an organized attack by then, they will only be able to use some portable heavy weapons at most. With those things, what could he use to break through his shelter? Let's go back first. There is nothing wrong with sailing with caution and making more preparations. No matter whether there will be an opponent coming next, or what the strength of the opponent is, Zhang Yi will always try his best to respond. 
after all, life is no joke. Chapter 246 Shishan Refuge Zhang Yi and Hua Hua returned home and found that the lights in the living room were on. It turned out that Zhou Kier and the four of them were also woken up by Hua Hua's screams. After getting up, they found that Zhang Yi was not there. So they went to the living room to wait for his return. After all, Zhang Yi is the backbone of the shelter. After Zhang Yi came back and saw them all there, he said that it's just a good thing that you guys are not asleep. It just so happens that I have something to tell you to do. The four women asked out of curiosity. Is there anything they can do for us? Zhang Yi briefly told a few people what happened tonight. They also had worried looks on their faces when they heard that someone was actually able to get through the solid walls of the shelter. Fortunately, Zhang Yi told them later that he had already taken care of them. Zhou Kier hugged her plump breasts, frowning and thinking. But two strangers appeared at the same time, indicating that they must be organized. Dealing with them will most likely trigger a counterattack from the other side. Zhang Yi said that you don't need to worry about this. The shelter was so strong that it could withstand salvos of artillery fire even in times of war. Not to mention that now, there is snow everywhere, and large firearms cannot be used at all. I killed the strange woman who could walk through walls regardless of the consequences, just to eliminate the possibility of various shelters being breached. The four women breathed a sigh of relief. The four of them have no ability to fight, and they all rely on Zhang Yi's protection to live a stable and happy life. No one wants this life to be broken. So when faced with a crisis, they became more and more dependent on Zhang Yi. Next I will assign tasks to you. We may encounter unknown powerful forces, and we don't know how powerful the opponent is. So we must do our best and be prepared for all precautions. Zhang Yi first looked at the mechanical genius Lu Karen. Karen, during this period, you need to make a large number of detonating bombs and arrange them around the house. You tell me the materials you need and I will go out and look for them. As a native of Tianhai City, he knows the locations of the large chemical plants and chemical laboratories in Tianhai City. Finding materials is not a problem. Lu Karen nodded firmly. Don't worry. Brother, leave the weapons to me. After Zhang Yi finished speaking, he took out the bodies of Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang. He took all the electronic equipment from the two people, including mobile phones and other communication equipment, and gave them to Yang Xinxin. Xinxin, you are responsible for helping me look up their information. The more the merrier. I want to know things about the other organization. Yang Xinxin looked calm. Okay. I understand. Zhang Yi looked at Zhou Kier again. Kier, please take these two corpses for a biopsy. It's rare to find the corpses of two aliens and see if you can find any secrets about the aliens from them. Zhou Kier nodded. Okay. Brother Zhang Yi. Several people had completed their division of labor. But Yang Yi was the only one who didn't receive any tasks. She couldn't help but step forward looked at Zhang Yi eagerly and asked Zhang Yi, What about me? I also hope to be able to do something for everyone. Everyone around her was a genius with a certain skill. But she was just a show-off. Of course, the pride in Yang Yi's heart would not allow this. Zhang Yi said, Then you should give Kura a beating. I will also leave the housework to you. Yang Mi looked at the two cold corpses on the ground and felt a little scared at the thought of having to slice them up. But in order to show her role, she still agreed. After arranging the tasks, Zhang Yi himself felt a little tired. So he went back to the room and had a good sleep. At about 9 o'clock the next morning, he woke up from bed and subconsciously used the smart system of his mobile phone to check if there was anything strange around the shelter. After discovering that everything was as usual, Zhang Yi felt relieved. Although he killed two strangers, Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang, it would definitely arouse the vigilance of the other organization. However, if the opponent is an organization with a strict organizational structure, it is impossible for them to fight an unprepared battle and attack rashly. This also gave Zhang Yi time to prepare. Zhang Yi got dressed and went downstairs. He saw Zhou Kier and Yang Xinxin sitting in the living room waiting for him. Both girls looked a little tired, but they couldn't hide the excitement in their eyes. Seeing Zhang Yi coming, the two hurriedly reported their gains to him. Brother, Xinxin discovered very important information. Zhang Yi, I have studied the body parts of those two people, and they are indeed abnormal. Zhang Yi walked over and saw Yang Xinxin holding a computer in her hand. He first asked Yang Xinxin what she had gained. Yang Xinxin turned the computer to him. Through the analysis of the instruments on these two people, I found out that they were from an organization called Shishan Shelter. The place was huge, with thousands of people living there. The Shishan organization has a very strict hierarchical structure and has hundreds of armed forces. And among these people, 
There is also a powerful team called AC Special Forces, which seems to be full of special forces and aliens. Zhang Yi sat next to Yang Xinxin, checking the information she had cracked, and was shocked one after another. Things were not much different from what he thought. Shishan Shelter must be one of several large-scale shelters built by the government in Tianhai City. There are not only abundant supplies inside, but also powerful armed forces. This kind of shelter exists to protect important official figures in emergencies. Today, it is not surprising that it has evolved into a huge force. But what makes Zhang Yi somewhat reassured is that according to intelligence, there are only more than 500 armed personnel in Shishan base. After all, there is no major military region in Tianhai City, and the standing force only has one regiment level unit, even including the police and security personnel. There were thousands of people at most. And these people are not all concentrated in the Shishan organization. It seems that there are still powerful forces outside. But those things have nothing to do with Zhang Yi now. At least he knew how powerful the Shishan organization was. And he was no longer so afraid. Ordinary soldiers, even if they are well trained and armed with ordinary weapons, cannot pose much of a threat to the shelter. As for the so-called AC special team, as long as there is no second wall walking woman, it is basically difficult to cause harm to my shelter. At this stage, most mutants may not be as powerful as fully armed soldiers. Strangers also have flaws and are not invincible. Except for Zhang Yi, who has a cost-free bug-level skill like Dimensional Gate. Everyone else needs to consume huge amounts of energy every time they use their powers. And it is impossible to use them infinitely. Take Fatty Su as an example. With his combat skills, a well-trained special forces soldier could quietly kill him by slitting his throat. In this case, there will be a fight. Zhang Yi finally showed a relieved smile on his face. All along, he had imagined that those unknown forces were too powerful. Intelligence is really crucial. Only by knowing yourself and the enemy can you be victorious in every battle. This shows how important Yang Xinxin, a genius hacker, is in his team. Chapter 247 Studying the Strange Corpse After getting information about the Shishan organization from Yang Xinxin, Zhang Yi felt a lot more at ease. What people fear most is the unknown. If you know the strength of your opponent, you can at least have the means to deal with it. Zhang Yi touched Yang Xinxin's head and praised Xinxin with a smile. You are so awesome. Yang Xinxin raised her chin proudly. This kind of thing is just a small problem to me. Brother, just wait and see. I will invade all the networks of that Xishan base. Zhang Yi smiled and nodded. That's great. I'm looking forward to it. After chatting with Yang Xinxin, Zhang Yi looked at Zhou Kier who was beside him and was already eager to try. After Zhou Kier saw Zhang Yi praising Yang Xinxin, she couldn't wait to show off her research results after staying up all night. Kur, what have you gained here? Zhang Yi asked with a smile. Zhou Kier stood up, took Zhang Yi's hand and said, Come with me to the laboratory. I have made a great discovery. Yang Xinxin was not interested in the cut and broken corpses. So she did not follow them. Zhang Yi and Zhou Kier came to her laboratory. This room was specially prepared by Zhang Yi for Zhou Kier. It was said to be a laboratory. But in fact it was also an operating room. He put in all his medical equipment. But he still kept the important drugs in his own hands. Today's laboratories are equipped with all kinds of equipment. And it is not a problem to perform even one operation. Even if there are missing utensils. Lu Karen can help make them. Zhang Yi walked into the laboratory and saw two corpses lying on the bed. Their bodies had been dissected. And many parts had been sliced. Zhang Yi was used to seeing corpses, so he didn't find it scary at all. Zhou Kier pulled Zhang Yi and walked excitedly to the test stand. She pointed to the slices under the microscope and said to Zhang Yi, By studying the corpses of these two people, I found that their cells had mutations. Cell activity is dozens of times that of ordinary people. Moreover, the energy generated by the glycogen reaction is also released in unusual ways. Zhou Kier picked up two slices of human brain. In particular, the response of brain cells is the most significant. This may indicate that the main source of superpowers is the brain. Zhang Yi couldn't help but think that when he absorbed Xia Huanhuan's powers, he did so through her brain. This is indeed an interesting discovery. Zhang Yi nodded, smiled and praised. But obviously, this information is not what he cares about most. He is not engaged in scientific research. He only cares about what he can gain. But of course Zhou Kier could see through this perfunctory comfort. She curled her lips angrily. You? You don't understand how important this discovery is. Well, how important is it? Zhou Kier said very seriously that so far, human body mutations are all natural mutations caused by the influence of gamma rays. 
but this group is limited. Moreover, the impact of mutation may not be positive. And even if a superpower is obtained, it may not be useful. However, if someone can study the mutation principle of the alien, or use cell transplantation, maybe he can create an alien. Zhang Yi was much more interested in this statement. According to you, wouldn't the whole world be aliens from now on? Zhou Kier stuck out her tongue nodly. This was indeed a possibility. Only, the probability is only about 0.0000%. 1. She said seriously that with the current medical and biological methods, I am afraid that they still cannot reach the level of perfect reproduction of natural aliens. After all, humans can't even clone humans perfectly. Zhang Yi spreads his hands, and that's it, Zhou Kier said. However, if some radical methods are used, it may happen. Well, how should I put it? It's a very weird effect, she said, looking at Lu Ziang's body on the operating bed. For example, this person has very strange cell mutations in his body. Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows. What a strange method. Zhou Kier picked up his cell slices and said to the woman next to her. Her cells mutated naturally, and the whole thing changed. But for this man, his cell mutations only occurred locally. And a large number of cells had malignant mutations, leading to necrosis and even harming his body. And this damage is intensified every time he uses his mutant abilities. So I suspect that he is probably a man-made alien. So far, it looks like it's just a defective product. Zhou Kier's words aroused Zhang Yi's interest. Artificial alien? Is this okay? But if you look at it this way, some problems can be explained. Zhang Yi had always had several questions in his mind. But now, they were suddenly solved. The first is the problem that he cannot absorb the superpowers of this male. If it were a man-made alien, it would definitely not be as perfect as a natural alien. Secondly, the ability he displayed was really too ordinary. It's just to increase speed and agility. But in this aspect, among the strangers Zhang Yi has encountered, both Uncle Yu and Liang Yu have completely defeated him. It turns out to be a man-made thing. It seems that it is slightly stronger than ordinary people. And the upper limit has been locked. Zhang Yi felt relieved. In this way, most of the so-called ACE special team of Shishan organization, which has a large number of aliens, is also this kind of thing. Gaining strength that is far weaker than that of a natural stranger at the cost of damaging the body is too low cost performance, no matter how you look at it. But the advantage is that it can be mass produced. After all, in the last days, the lives of ordinary people are the least valuable. It's just a consumable in the eyes of the senior management of Shishan base. Zhang Yi gave this kind of alien a very clear definition. At this time, he had a clearer understanding of the strength of Shishan base. And his confidence became more and more abundant. The other party does not have an organized and powerful armed force. Now Zhang Yi has the confidence to defend against their attack. But it's not his character to just be beaten passively. So Zhang Yi went to Lu Karen and asked her to provide a list of materials for making explosives. And prepared to go out and search for them. These materials are not difficult to find. If the target is to kill people, even the most common black powder can cause considerable damage in a large enough dose. Lu Karen made a list for Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi nodded after reading it. Leave these to me. He called Fatty Su and asked the boy to go out with him. With the help of his ability, searching for supplies is not easy. Chapter 248 Remind Fatty Su As soon as Zhang Yi called, Fatty Su ran over in a hurry. He now treats Zhang Yi as his elder brother and obeys Zhang Yi's advice. Because every time Zhang Yi asked him to help, he would give him very generous rewards. Either a pillow figure or a lot of snacks. And what about him? Just follow him and help clear the snow. The most important thing is that Zhang Yi is too cautious in everything he does. Fatty Su didn't need to worry about safety issues at all. Where can I find such a good boss? Zhang Yi drove the car to the riverside. And Fatty Su ran over humming and got into the passenger seat. Phew. It's still warm in the car. Fatty Su opened the zipper and turned on the air conditioner. Which made him feel comfortable. Boss. Where are we going this time? Zhang Yi glanced at him and said to go to the chemical factory to get something. Okay. Just ask. As soon as Fatty Su heard that it was a chemical factory, he lost interest. Zhang Yi started the car, and the snowmobile moved forward at a constant speed in the heavy snow. While driving the car, Zhang Yi chatted with Fatty Su about the discovery of members of the Shishan organization nearby. This place has been targeted by big organizations. Your Xuxia town has such an obvious target. So you have to be careful in the future. So as not to be served in a pot by others? Zhang Yi reminded him. Fatty Su scratched his head. Big organization? 
I didn't notice anything unusual around Xijia Town. When Xie Huan Huan and Lu Ziying passed by, Fatty Su was sleeping at home with his arms around the pillow. And Su Dong Tang and others also deliberately concealed his existence. So he really had no idea. No movement is best. John Yi said. Fatty Su became silly and happy. Boss, I say you are too careful. We in Xiu Jia Town are all farmers and fishermen. What is there to worry about? Zhang Yi looked at the big-hearted Fatty Su and couldn't help but shook his head. But your Xiu Jia Town has a lot of grain reserves. Right? Are you really stupid or pretending to be stupid? Don't you understand how important food is in the last days? When Fatty Su heard this, the silly smile on his face subsided slightly. We in Xiu Jia Town do have the habit of storing grain. But there are more than a thousand people in our town. And it's not that easy for anyone to steal our food. Most people would be scared to run away when they see our number. Right? Zhang Yi drove the car and explained to him in an orderly manner. As I said, ordinary civil organizations are not something to be afraid of now. For us aliens, ordinary people cannot pose a threat. But what if it is a large organization with powerful armed forces? Fatty Su thought for a while and replied that Hua State has such strict control over weapons. Nowadays, only a few people have weapons. As for the powerful armed forces, they must also be official organizations. I don't believe they would attack ordinary people like Xu Jia Town. Zhang Yi's eyebrows were lowered, and some words came to his lips, but he didn't know how to say them. He could only change his angle to help Fatty Su analyze it. But the problem is that the major organizations in Tianhai City are now fragmented. Fatty, now all the major organizations are fighting overtly and covertly for their own survival. No one can represent the official. You can even understand that they are not regular troops. But private armed forces. Do you understand? Since everyone is trying to survive. Then at a certain point. There will be no trace of face. Courtesy or shame at all. If one day. They don't have enough food to eat. Xujia Town is a huge grain storehouse. That they can plunder at will the term for high EQ is expropriation. At that time. What can you do? After some lectures from Zhang Yi. Fatty Su also felt the seriousness of the problem. He crossed his hands tangledly, feeling very confused in his heart. Boss, what should I do if I encounter that situation? Fatty Su is very timid and is most afraid of getting into trouble. Zhang Yi glanced at him. Fatty Su's ability is to manipulate ice and snow. Although the single attack ability is not very powerful, the group combat effect is very powerful, and it can attack and defend. If something happened to Xuja Town, he still hoped that Fatty Su could survive. If you are really scared, you can move to Yonk Manor. The houses next to me are all vacant. So it's not a problem to make one for you. As for food and heating issues, I can help you with that too. Don't let you have any worries. Fatty Su is a useful talent. So Zhang Yi will not treat him badly. But Fatty Su hesitated and did not agree. I, what will happen to the people in the village if I leave? After all, that place was the village where he grew up. The villagers in the village were related to him, and were all relatives, rather than saying that he was reluctant to leave them behind. It was better to say that Fatty Su did not have the courage to escape from the collective. Because in a crowded place, a cowardly person can feel a huge sense of security. Zhang Yi smiled lightly and let it go. You decide this matter yourself. I'm just stating a possibility. And things may not turn out to be the worst. Zhang Yi will not force others to do anything. Having Fatty Su is a help to him. But without Fatty Su, he is still capable of dealing with incoming enemies. Soon after, the car drove to the largest chemical factory in Tianhai City. Zhang Yi and Fatty Su teamed up. One was responsible for clearing the snow. And the other was responsible for collecting chemical materials. The two men cooperated very smoothly. And soon the entire chemical plant was robbed. Zhang Yi followed the principle of taking nothing for nothing. And stuffed everything he could take away into the different space including small and medium-sized mechanical equipment that can be taken away, as well as various experimental equipment in the laboratory. After collecting the supplies, Zhang Yi sent Fatty Su back. Before leaving, it was natural to give Fatty Su some food and his favorite precious figures. In the next period of time, I may not contact you again. Call me if you have any questions. And be careful yourself. Before parting, Zhang Yi reminded Fatty Su meaningfully, because he knew that once people from the Shishan organization launched a counterattack against him, the nearby Xujia town would probably be implicated as well. He gave Fatty Su a chance. But Fatty Su didn't take advantage of it. So he could only rely on himself for what happened after that. Fatty Su was holding a lot of things. With a smile on his fat face. Yeah. Okay. Boss. Just when he was about to leave, 
Zhang Yi said something special about Fat Man. If one day, the Xishan organization or other organizations come to attack me, you and the villagers in Xujia town can choose to remain neutral. But if I find out, you choose to help them deal with me. Then guess what I will do? Zhang Yi had a smile on his face. But Fatty Su shuddered. Boss, no, I will never betray you. Zhang Yi smiled and patted his shoulder. It was just a joke. Don't take it too seriously. I know you won't betray me. After saying that, he got into the car and drove away. Chapter 249 Foolish Person On the way back, Fatty Su thought carefully about what Zhang Yi said to him. And his heart couldn't help but become heavy. If that day comes, what should he do? Zhang Yi is his only confidant now. Apart from Zhang Yi, no one is willing to listen to his nagging. He didn't know that Zhang Yi spent most of the time chatting with him using artificial intelligence. Zhang Yi was very kind to him, and he didn't want to do anything to disgrace Zhang Yi. However, the villagers in Sudong village hated Zhang Yi deeply. If someone from other organizations really showed up, I think the people in the village would be eager for them to kill Zhang Yi. Fatty Su scratched his hair in confusion. Trouble. It's really too much trouble. Even he, the chosen one, didn't know how to solve this problem. After returning to the village, Fatty Su found a brother, Su Ping, with whom he had a fairly good relationship. Su Ping, have any outsiders come to our village recently? When Su Ping heard this, he immediately laughed. I said Chun Lei, come out for a walk when you have time. You don't even know about such a big thing? Fatty Su was shocked. What's the big deal? Su Ping said that two superior leaders came to our village yesterday. It is said that they are all high-ranking officials who came from the army. We don't know their origins, but Grandpa Sik's attitude towards them has become better. Let every household bring out good things to entertain others. Hey, you didn't see how attentive Grandpa Six was to them. Fatty Sue's eyes widened, and his back felt cold. These two people must be from the hostile organization Zhang Yi mentioned, who came here to inquire about information. What did Grandpa Six tell them? Fatty Sue asked nervously. Su Ping curled his lips. What do you mean by that? How am I qualified to ask when they are chatting? But I see that Grandpa Six has been in a good mood these past two days. And he even said that he is now the mayor. Fatty Su was very panicked. Zhang Yi's words kept echoing in his ears. If one day, they don't have enough food to eat. Xujia Town is a huge grain storehouse that they can plunder at will the term for high EQ is expropriation. At that time, what can you do? No, I have to go find Grandpa Six and explain it clearly. Fatty Su ran towards Su Dongtong's house regardless of Su Ping shouting behind him. At this time, Su Dongtang was very proud. He just called the village chiefs of several other villages in Xujia town over today and announced to them that he had been appointed by the superior organization to become the mayor of Xujia town. Although it was just a verbal promise from Xia Huan Huan, Su Dongtang took it seriously. Several other villages were afraid of the powerful strength of Su Dong village, especially the existence of Fatty Su a strange person, and they did not dare to raise any opinions. Anyway, Sudong Village is already the leader of Xujia Town by virtue of its strength, and everyone agrees that Su Dongtong's status as mayor is nothing. Therefore, everyone changed their words and called Su Dongtang the mayor. Su Dongtang was extremely happy to be recognized by everyone. I feel that I have a glorious ancestor and can leave a strong mark on the family tree in the future. At this time, Fatty Su came over in a hurry. Grandpa Six, did you meet two people from outside? What did you tell them? Fatty Su looked anxious, fearing that Su Dongtang said something he shouldn't have said. Zhang Yi said that if people from Xujia village help outsiders deal with him, he will not show mercy. Not long ago, the more than 100 people who died are an example. When Su Dongtang saw that Fatty Su didn't understand the rules, his expression immediately dropped. Su Chunlei, how do you talk to your elders? It's really no big or small. Fatty Su was still a little afraid of the elders in the clan. So he had to say, Grandpa Six, I am too anxious. Just tell me. This thing is really important. Su Dantang looked at him deeply. He has always looked down upon this useless grandson from the bottom of his heart. If Fatty Su didn't have superpowers, he wouldn't even bother to say a word. That's what happened. Two leaders from superiors came to our Sudong village to inspect our work. It expresses full affirmation of our current situation. He puffed up his chest and said proudly, and they also appointed me as the mayor of Xujia town. Fatty Su didn't care about this. He asked Grandpa Six, Have you told them about the grain storage situation in our village? After Zhang Yi's reminder, Fatty Su realized that food storage was a major secret 
and could not be leaked out easily. But Su Dongtang chuckled. Those are the superior leaders. Our food reserves are also the achievements of our village. Why should we hide them? Fatty Su's heart sank. He didn't expect that Zhang Yi would really get it right. He gritted his teeth and continued to ask. Have you ever mentioned Zhang Yi to them? As soon as Fatty Su mentioned Zhang Yi's name, Su Dongtang's expression immediately changed. Snort. That devil killed our number 128 people in Xujia village. He deserved death. We can't deal with him. But there are people who can deal with him. I have already reported his situation to my superiors. The leader said that Zhang Yi will be dealt with seriously. Fatty Su's leg suddenly went weak, and he collapsed on the ground. It's over. Completely over. Fatty Su said with a pale face. He understood that Zhang Yi was a man who was determined to retaliate, and could not tolerate anyone's betrayal of him. Su Dongtong's actions will definitely lead to Zhang Yi's revenge. Seeing Fatty Su's useless look, Su Dongtang snorted coldly, his face full of contempt. What are you afraid of? He is just Zhang Yi. To the regular army in terms of organization. He is nothing. Just wait and see. As soon as the organizational troops arrive, they can eliminate him in an instant. By then, the lives of the 128 people in Sudong village will be avenged. Fatty Su's face turned pale, and he knew that what he said was meaningless. Su Dongtong's arrogance is likely to bring the entire Sudong village into despair. He didn't understand how powerful Zhang Yi was, let alone what the existence of strangers meant to ordinary people. The reason why Sudong village still exists at this time is not because of Zhang Yi's kindness. It's because Fatty Su still has some effect on Zhang Yi. And these villagers don't pose much of a threat to Zhang Yi. So they can be wiped out easily. But once Zhang Yi wants to kill them, none of them will survive. Stop talking nonsense. Go back and have a good sleep. And forget what you said to me today. Su Dongdang stared coldly at Fatty Su on the ground. You just need to be Sudong Village's trump card and obey my orders obediently. You don't need to have an idea of your own. Chapter 250 Superpower Improvement Additional Update After Zhang Yi returned to the shelter, he went directly to Lu Karen's studio. Previously, he gave the armors worn by Xie Huanhuan and Lu Ziang to Lu Karen and asked her to study them and see if they could be copied. The military-style armor is very good. It is lighter and has better defense than the body armor Zhang Yi wears. The demon Kat Hua's full force bite did not bite Lu Ziang's body into two pieces, which shows that its defense power is astonishing. It's a pity that Lu Ziang's piece is cracked and cannot be worn directly. And Xia Huanhuan's piece was too small. And Zhang Yi couldn't wear it. Zhang Yi wanted to ask Lu Karen to try and see if he could make a replica. Or help repair Lu Ziang's armor so that he can keep it and wear it. When Zhang Yi came to the studio, Lu Karen was studying the two white armors. Zhang Yi walked into the room and placed the chemical material she had found in her studio. He plundered so much that the largest chemical factory warehouse in Tianhai City was emptied. So I just took out some of them randomly and filled a corner of the studio. Lu Karen was stunned. Brother, where did you find so many? Zhang Yi just smiled faintly, clapped his hands, and said you don't need to worry about this. I said, I will solve the material problem. You just need to help me turn them into bombs. Lu Karen took a look at the materials and patted his chest with confidence. Don't worry. Brother, it may be difficult for you to ask me to develop some sophisticated weapons. But if it were just a bomb for blasting, it would be too easy to make. In the Ice Age, the enemy could not come with chariots and tanks, but could only attack in the form of infantry. Then, even the most common earth explosives will cause huge damage to them. Zhang Yi's eyes fell on the two pairs of armors. He asked Lu Karen, What do you think? Can you build armors of this level? Lu Karen said with a smile. Of course. No problem. Moreover, the cost of this type of armor also needs to be considered. And its performance is not optimal. Brother, you should understand that mass-produced things are based on cost-effectiveness. Not cutting-edge performance. If I made it specifically for you. Brother, the defense would definitely be higher than these two pairs. But in that case, more materials are needed. Zhang Yi's eyes suddenly lit up when he heard this. Material? The last thing he lacks is materials. Karen. Just go ahead and do it. There is no need to consider the cost. All available materials are added to it. I don't need value for money. I just want cutting edge performance. Got it? Lu Karen was also very happy. As a genius who loves machinery. What she longs for most is to get the sponsorship of such a majestic boss to help her realize all her crazy ideas. Clear. I will definitely build you the best set of armor in the world for you. Big brother. Come on. Brother is optimistic about you. Zhang Yi patted her cheek gently, his eyes full of encouragement. Sure enough, 
Lu Karen's face suddenly turned red. Zhang Yi left at the right time without taking up any of her work time. Zhang Yi went to take a shower. Then changed into light clothes suitable for sports. And then came to the stadium on the third underground floor. When they have free time on weekdays, people in the shelter come here to exercise. But when Zhang Yi came here to practice his powers, no one was allowed to enter. To this day, no one else in the shelter knows what Zhang Yi's special ability is. Zhang Yi closed the stadium door and took out a compound bow from another space. Since absorbing Xia Huanhuan's power, he can clearly feel that the activity of the cells in his body has become stronger, and a positive power emerges from his body. He really wanted to see to what extent his current abilities had been improved. Zhang Yi opened his bow and knocked an arrow. A burst of white light flashed in his right pupil. An invisible and colorless power was wrapped in the arrow. But in his eyes, he seemed to be able to see the existence of this invisible and immaterial power. Faster. Sharper. More powerful. Zhang Yi aimed the arrow in his hand at the target 500 meters away. A distance he had never tried before. The compound bow in my hand was drawn like a full moon. And then the arrow shot. He shot out with a loud sound. A moment later, as far as the eye could see, the arrow target was directly blown to pieces. It wasn't until the target shattered that the sound reached Zhang Yi's ears. The speed of his arrow has actually exceeded the speed of sound. Zhang Yi was shocked by his current superpower. He looked at his hands and murmured to himself, unexpectedly. The power gained through plundering could actually improve faster than my hard training for more than a month. Now the arrows in his hand are more powerful than ordinary guns. With a thought in his mind, Zhang Yi put away the arrows and then took out the sword Long Ming that he had taken from Liang Yu. Twice the speed, the superpower deepened, and Zhang Yi's speed was directly doubled. But this time, Zhang Yi felt that this increase in power was far from reaching its limit. Triple speed, four times the speed, the use of the superpower continued to exert force. And Zhang Yi finally noticed the difficulty when it reached four times the speed. He waved the sword in his hand, leaving an afterimage in the air that blurred his vision. Zhang Yi didn't stop. He took out some wooden dummies for practicing swordsmanship from another space. Uh huh. At four times the speed, the sharp dragon roar directly cut off the calf thick wooden mannequin neatly. And the cut was as smooth as a mirror. Zhang Yi maintained this fighting rhythm and continued to activate his powers. It wasn't until 20 minutes later that he felt his body begin to lose strength. Zhang Yi quickly put away his powers and took out some energy bars to replenish his physical strength. Now, my combat effectiveness is much improved than before. Even if you encounter some warriors who are proficient in fighting, you will still be able to fight. Of course, the greatest use of this ability is running away. My long-distance sniping ability is so stable. Who can compete with them in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Zhang Yi quickly clarified his fighting method. Run if you can and never initiate a close conflict. He usually pretends that he is very weak in close combat. But if you have no choice but to fight hand-to-hand, -hand, hey, then he can definitely give the other party a surprise. It would be better if I could find a master to learn a few tricks in the future. Zhang Yi lamented that he only regretted that he was not perfect enough to be a hexagonal warrior. Because of this, he has always maintained a cautious attitude and will not underestimate any opponent. Even if a lion fights a rabbit, he will use all his strength. He himself didn't know how much panic he had brought to the Shishan base at this time. Chapter 251 You have to go through the process. Additional update. One day ago. Midnight. Shishan base. The information department received a distress message from Special Operations Team member Lu Ziang, and all the personnel on duty in the department entered a state of emergency. This was the first time that a Special Operations Team member went out on a mission and sent a message to the base asking for help. After all, the shelter's internal organizational structure had just been established less than two months ago, and the communication of responsibilities between various departments was relatively loose. So when faced with such a situation for the first time, everyone was at a loss. The staff who received the distress message reported the situation to the minister and requested his instructions. Information Minister Gung Yilin also frowned deeply after seeing this. S.O.S. The Ministry of Information does not have the authority to command the troops and can only continue to report to the leader Chen Xinian and then let Chen Xinian make the decision. But the problem was that it was late at night. Chen Xinian's schedule was very regular and he had already gone to bed. It would be a bit bad to disturb him at this time. If Chen Xinian is upset, he may be removed as the Minister of Information. After all, in today's Shishan base, every word of Chen Xinian is irreversible. And he has absolute power. Seeing Gong Yilin's hesitation, the member said that if we don't report it, if something happens by then, won't we have to bear the responsibility? Gong Yilin's frown deepened. 
He had been in officialdom for decades. Why didn't he understand this? Don't ask for merit, but ask for no faults. You may not know anything, but you must learn to be a non-sticker. The current situation is somewhat confusing. Gong Yilin thought for a moment and suddenly had an idea in his mind. It was not convenient for him to come forward, but he could report the news to Ling Feng, the captain of the special team. Originally, the two field personnel were members of the special operations team, so Ling Feng must have been more anxious than him. So Gong Yilin hurried to the special operations team and woke up Ling Feng through the soldiers on duty. Soon, a group of murderous special operations team members came to Gong Yilin, the AC special forces. The most elite fighters in Shishan base are basically composed of special forces and aliens. However, most of the aliens here are transformed people created by technology and ruthless work. The leader was a short officer with a crew cut. He was only about 1.7 meters tall and his body was not very tall. But under the green short sleeve shirt, the dark muscle lines contained terrifying power. A group of special operations team members who were taller than him at the back had to lower their heads beside him with particularly respectful expressions. But when they saw Gung Yilin, murderous intent spread from their eyes. What happened to Lu Ziang and Xia Huan Huan? Ling Feng crossed his arms and asked. Gung Yilin quickly told them the situation. We received their distress signal five minutes ago. The location where the news came from has been determined. But if you want to take action, you must get permission from the leader. Of course Ling Feng saw through Gung Yilin's little thoughts at a glance. But for the sake of his men, he immediately decided to go to Chinchinian and ask for rescue. After the end of the world, many of their comrades died in Blizzard and the cyborg experiments. Fewer and fewer people survive. Both Lu Ziang and Xia Huan Huan are important comrades in the ACE special team. As the captain, Ling Feng must of course do his best to protect everyone in the special team. He took several of his subordinates and immediately arrived at the first life warehouse. Outside Chen Xinian's residence. But this is also the most heavily guarded location in the Shishan Refuge. No one can enter without Chen Xinian's permission. It can even be said that purely in terms of defense level, this place surpasses Zhang Yi's shelter. Ling Feng came here, but was stopped by Chen Xinian's secretary Guro. Captain Ling, it's time now. Please don't disturb the leader's rest. If anything happens, report back tomorrow. Ling Feng immediately said that two members of the special team, Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang, were out on a search mission. Now they were in danger and had sent a distress signal to the base. I want to report this matter to the leader immediately. When Guro heard this, she just smiled lightly. Captain Ling, I can understand your mood, but you have to understand. No matter how hard your special operations team members work, can they compare to the hard work of your leaders? Leaders work hard every day to ensure the survival of their base. Now that he has just gone to bed, if you wake him up at this time, you will be irresponsible to the entire base. Several special forces members behind Ling Feng suddenly became angry. Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang are probably in danger now. Otherwise, they would never ask for help easily. If they go too late, they might die. Guro still had a calm smile on her face. Believe in your teammates. Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang are both excellent special operations team members with good combat qualities. They can take care of themselves. Several special operations team members looked at the smile on Guro's face. And the veins on their faces popped out with anger. And they wanted to punch her in the face. Ling Feng still had a cold face and said to Guro, Secretary Gu, human life is at stake. No joke. Could you please help me spread the word? Guro smiled brightly. But her tone carried undoubted power. Captain Ling Feng, do you think the safety of the two special forces members is more important than our leader having a good rest? If the leader doesn't get a good rest, problems will occur throughout the Shishan base. And the lives and safety of thousands of our survivors here will be affected. So I hope you can distinguish the importance clearly. The special forces team members were angry. What are you talking about? Don't the lives of special forces members matter? Guro smiled gently and said, that was not what I meant. It's just that at Shishan base. Leaders are above all else. Ling Feng stretched out his arm to stop the team members who were about to lose their anger. He frowned and asked, Can't we really make an exception? Every special operations team member is the most valuable talent at Shishan base. Guro bowed and said, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that I can't do anything. After Ling Feng was silent for a moment, he turned around. Go back. He issued the command from his throat. The special operations team members were anxious. Team leader, they are unwilling to ignore their teammates' calls for help. Maybe at this time, their teammates are facing a life and death crisis. Obey orders. 
We cannot act without permission from our superiors. Ling Feng said with a serious face. A group of special forces members around him had faces full of pain. But they had to obey the captain's orders. They are all soldiers. And it is the duty of soldiers to obey orders. No matter how reluctant they are. The discipline engraved in their bones does not allow them to behave inappropriately. When Garo saw them leaving, she suppressed the smile on her face and stood in front of Chin Qinyan's door in a standard etiquette manner. Chapter 252 Managing Thousands of Chickens a Day At this time, Chin Qinyan's room was separated by a wall at the back. As the leader of Shishan base, his room is naturally the largest and most special. Chin Qinyan is a person who lives a very sophisticated life. So even if he is underground, his quality of life is still very high. The decoration level in the room is no less than that of Zhang Yi's current house. He was lying on the sofa wearing a white cotton pajamas, with a beautiful girl clinging to him on both sides. If you look closely, you will find that they are all members of the group of surviving students from Tianqing College. The one with curly hair and a proud figure is named Mo Ling. The one with long hair and fair skin is called Ming Zixuan. They are all young ladies from well-known families. They have taken good care of themselves in the past 20 years and they don't know how much money they have spent on themselves. Chin Xinyan likes this young body very much, because it makes him feel youthful. At this time, Chin Xinyan had finished doing things with them, and was talking freely about his life and ideals. When he mentioned the current difficulties encountered by the Shishan base, he put on an expression of concern for the country and the people. There are still many serious problems in Shishan base today. Energy supplies could not last long and food was scarce. As a leader, I am very busy every day. I am afraid that if I do something poorly, everyone will distrust me. As he spoke, he picked up a glass of Remy Martin worth hundreds of thousands and drank it slowly. After listening to Chin Xinyan's story, Silence Ling and Meng Zixuan were moved by the wonderful story of this mature old man. Leader, it's not easy for you. It is really hard work for one person to maintain the operation of the entire Shishan base. Chin Xinyan put down his wine glass, smiled lightly and said, I am in my position to pursue my political affairs. If I don't do some things, no one can do them. For the survival and development of the entire Shishan base, I am obliged to work even harder. Chin Xinyan lowered his head and watched the two young and beautiful girls in front of him looking at him with admiration. He enjoyed this feeling in his heart. But that's it for today. He is not young anymore. And he is indeed a little tired from one-on-one. -on -one. Chin Xinyan picked up the mobile phone at hand, opened the door through this smart system, and called Guro to come in. At this time, several hours had passed since Lu Ziang sent out a distress signal. After Guro walked into the room, she said to the two girls, Please get dressed. The two girls quickly climbed up from Chin Xinyan's body and put on their clothes. Guro didn't care about their existence at all. So she asked Chin Xinyan whether the two girls should stay or be sent back. Chin Xinyan thought for a while and said to stay for now. This means that Chin Xinyan may need to use them in the future. Guro understood and ordered two servants to take them to the Second Life warehouse and arrange two rooms for them to live in temporarily. The two girls were very happy. This way, they didn't have to go back and pedal the generator. After seeing off the two girls, Chun Xinyan casually asked someone who just came to see me. Who was it? Guro replied that it was Ling Feng, the captain of the Special Forces team. Oh, why did he come to see me so late? Guro smiled slightly. Two Special Forces members went out to perform a search mission. They seemed to have encountered some trouble and asked for help from the base. Ling Feng came to apply to send someone to rescue him. But I stopped him. After hearing this, Chin Xinyan just nodded lightly. They were just two special forces members. No matter how important they were, they couldn't disturb his relaxation. I gave them the name AC. This means that they are the biggest trump card in my hand. Two ACE team members went out on a search mission and had to ask for help from the base? Did they encounter an opponent who couldn't even escape? Chin Xinyan had some doubts in his heart. After hearing this, Guro asked tentatively if she wanted to send someone over to investigate. It can be regarded as an explanation to Ling Feng. Chin Xinyan smiled. Give Ling Feng an explanation? He is the leader of Shishan base. Even in the past, Ling Feng was just a soldier under him. Soldiers only need to obey orders obediently. How can superiors give explanations to subordinates? Guro realized her slip of the tongue and quickly said I'm sorry. Leader. I said the wrong thing, Chen Xinyan said calmly. Let them send a few people to check it out. At this point, his tone suddenly changed. However, don't send the captain-level combat power of the special forces over. Before understanding what is happening over there, precious combat power cannot be wasted. 
Garou nodded. Yes, leader. Garou immediately set off to the area where the special forces team was located to inform them of Chen Xinyan's decision. At this time, everyone gathered in the conference room in the Second Life warehouse, where the captain-level core members of the AC special team were located. The members of the AC special team are divided into two categories. One is the captain who is born a stranger, with perfect mutation and huge room for growth. There is another kind, which is an alien created using the science and technology of the Shishan base. The second kind of ability is generally weaker than that of a natural stranger, but far more powerful than ordinary people. However, it has major flaws, so it can only be a soldier. Ling Feng called all the captain-level figures over just to deal with Xie Huan Huan and Lu Ziying. He will not act privately until his superiors give orders. But he has to wait here for the leader's order to be issued, so that he can lead people to rescue his teammates as soon as possible. There were not many people in the conference room. Only seven people including Ling Feng. There is also a new face among them. The female teacher Liang Yu who has just joined recently. She was holding a Tang Dao she had just obtained in her hand. Like everyone else. She was ready to go as soon as she received Shin Xinyan's order. The conference room was extremely quiet. No one spoke. Everyone had their own thoughts. The same goes for Liang Yu. Everyone here is unfamiliar to her. Most of the others were old comrades in the army. They were worried about Xie Huan Huan and Lu Ziyang. And their expressions were solemn. Naturally, there was no interest in chatting. Liang Yu is not a sociable person. So he sat alone with a tank Dao in his arms. Captain Ling Feng folded his arms and sat on the other side with his eyes closed to relax. He seemed to have a calm demeanor. But everyone knew that he was extremely anxious inside. He and Lu Ziyang have been old comrades in arms for many years. And they feel like brothers. When Lu Ziyang is in danger, he is actually the most anxious. A group of people were silent, not knowing how long they had been waiting. Suddenly, the sound of high heels came from the corridor. The voice sounded very familiar. There are not many people who can walk in high heels in this place. And Guro is one of them. Everyone's eyes immediately looked outside the door. Chapter 253 The Disappearing Student As expected, Guro came to the conference room. Ling Feng stared at her and stood up slowly. Secretary Gu. Are you here with good news? Garou still had the same smiling face. For your sake, I made an exception and reported the news to the leader. The leader allows you to send people to investigate. But there is a prerequisite. Captain-level figures are not allowed to go out. A group of captains in the room looked at each other with dissatisfaction in their eyes. Can Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziyang feel that they are in danger without sending captain-level figures to support them? Garou smiled faintly and said that Lu Ziyang was just a soldier. Although Xia Huan Huan was the captain. Her ability was good at investigation. Not combat. You all are the most valuable combat power of Shishan base. And we cannot let you take risks easily. The most appropriate approach is to send ordinary soldiers to investigate the situation clearly. Ling Feng can't wait any longer. I understand. I'll send someone else there. Garou nodded. Then adjusted her black rimmed glasses. Turned around and left coolly. As soon as Garou left. Other people behind Ling Feng began to offer opinions. Fong Zun. A lean man, said with dissatisfaction to the captain. Xie Huan Huan and Lu Ziying probably encountered a tough fight this time. Is it okay to let ordinary soldiers pass? Ling Feng glanced at him, suddenly frowned and said to Fang Zun. It's true that you are indeed a stranger born with awakened powers. But in terms of current combat effectiveness, you may not be much stronger than our other brothers. The other brothers are well-trained warriors even without powers. Don't underestimate them. Since it is an order from the leader. We just have to strictly follow it. Ling Feng ignored the dissatisfied expressions of other captains. Took out his communication device. Started to contact other team members. And sent teams to support Xie Huan Huan and Lu Ziyang. When Liang Yu heard that she didn't have to go out. She felt relieved. But at the same time, she felt regretful. After staying in the underground base for a long time. I occasionally want to go out and take a look. The most important thing is that after she was incorporated into the so-called AC special team. She had never actually performed a mission. Ling Feng arranged for other ordinary team members to perform tasks. So these captains did not need to act. Liang Yu carried her Tang Dao and prepared to go back to rest. Someone suddenly tapped her on the shoulder. She turned around and saw that it was one of the other two women in the team. Named Yi Rongwa. Compared with others, Yi Rongwa's figure is a bit thin and does not look like he has a military background. But what impressed Liang Yu more deeply was that her eyes were brighter than the stars always carrying a breathtaking power. Yi Rongwa smiled and said to Liang Yu, Is it because he didn't have the chance to go out to perform the mission? 
So he felt very regretful? Face with Yi Rong was active greeting. Liang Yu also smiled and replied. A little bit. Yi Rong was shook his head. Do not worry. There is no need to expect anything. Once we captain level special forces members are dispatched, we may encounter really difficult problems. Liang Yu shrugged. But I've been here for so long and haven't done anything. I can't help but be a little curious about what I can do for the base. After hearing this, Yi Rongwei explained humorously that our existence is like H weapons. We don't need to use them. But we must have them. The world today is more complicated than you imagined. You have just arrived at the base, and you don't understand many things. You will slowly understand later. Now, the most important thing for you is to spend more time to improve your strength. Superpowers are gifts from God. And no one knows how far they can be developed. Yi Rongwei's words seemed to have meaning. And Liang Yu seemed to understand something. However, she stopped clicking. And after speaking, Sher Shiran left. This girl always gives people a mysterious feeling. Especially after being stared at by her eyes. It makes people feel like their soul is about to sink into her. Liang Yu shook his head and did not think about these troublesome issues for the time being. She didn't really care about Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang's affairs. After all, she was new here and didn't have a deep relationship with him. Liang Yu took the knife and left the conference room. Returning to the living area, Liang Yu took out the key and planned to enter. Suddenly, she caught a familiar figure out of the corner of her eye. Liang Yu suddenly turned around and saw a girl who had just taken a shower opening the door of a room not far away. Meng Zixuan. Liang Yu shouted subconsciously. Isn't that girl her student Meng Zixuan? Meng Zixuan turned around when he heard someone calling him. As soon as he saw it was Liang Yu. He immediately shouted teacher Liang with a smile on his face. Great. I didn't expect to see you here. She ran over happily and looked at Liang Yu. Her eyes full of excitement. Liang Yu was also full of surprise when he saw her. Doesn't Meng Zixuan live and work in the fourth life warehouse like everyone else? You? Why are you here? The second life warehouse is a very high level place in Shishan base. Only Chen Xinian's cronies and special talents like Liang Yu can live there. Meng Zixuan combed his hair and said with a smile. I also have some special abilities of my own. Have you awakened your superpower too? Liang Yu asked curiously. Meng Zixuan's smile became mysterious. She placed her hands on her bulging breasts. In a sense, this was a natural ability. After a while, Silent Ling heard the sound outside the house and came out. After seeing Liang Yu, she frowned slightly and looked a little indifferent. Teacher Liang, she shouted softly. Liang Yu was even more surprised. She asked, Are you both in the Second Life Warehouse? What about other students? After hearing this question, the expressions of both Silent Ling and Meng Zixuan changed subtly. The two turned their heads away, as if they didn't want to mention anything about them. Teacher Liang, we are now people in the Second Life Warehouse. Just stop meddling with the affairs of the civilians in the Fourth Life Warehouse. People are inherently unequal. Once they are no longer in the same class, they will no longer be able to get along with each other as before. Liang Yu looked at the two girls in surprise. And she suddenly became angry. How can you say that? They are all your classmates. After so many years of love. Can you just let it go? But Silence Ling raised her head and looked at her. Sneering at teacher Dao Yang. Are you qualified to say this? Aren't you the one who abandoned us students first? Chapter 254 Secret Silent Ling's words made Liang Yu extremely shocked. I, I have never abandoned any of you. Liang Yu felt a little aggrieved. If she hadn't tried her best to protect these students, how many of them would have survived? Instead of abandoning us, why did you choose to leave by yourself and leave us in that terrible place? Silence Ling stared at Liang Yu and continued. If we hadn't relied on our bodies to get the chance to escape, maybe we would have disappeared like everyone else. Disappeared? What on earth are you talking about? Liang Yu's back felt cold as she was stared at by Silence Ling. That's right. She left the students and came to the Second Life Warehouse. But she sees nothing wrong with that. The division of labor in society itself should be divided according to people's abilities. Those students are not aliens. And they don't have any particularly outstanding abilities. Staying in the Fourth Life Warehouse to generate electricity is the best choice. What's wrong with her? Silent Ling sneered twice and wanted to continue to say something. But her mouth was covered by Meng Zixuan next to her. Okay. Don't say it again. Be careful of getting into trouble. Meng Zixuan warned her. Silent Ling glanced at her. Took her hand away angrily. Glanced at Liang Yu coldly. Then turned and returned to her room. Meng Zixuan looked helplessly at his sister in distress. She bowed to Liang Yu and said apologetically. Teacher Liang. Don't blame her. She just. 
been through some bad things. Liang Yu took a deep breath, feeling unable to calm down for a long time. Could it be said that in the fourth life warehouse, there are still things that I don't understand? Meng Zixuan, tell me, what have you experienced in the fourth life warehouse? Meng Zixuan looked troubled. She bit her lip and said awkwardly, Teacher Liang, after you left, many classmates disappeared. Disappear? Why is this happening? We don't know the reason. But they never came back after they were taken away. Meng Zixuan said apologetically, I'm sorry. Teacher Liang, I don't know anything else. So if you really want to know what happened, you'd better look it up yourself. Or just pretend that none of this happened and stop asking. After saying that, Meng Zixuan quickly turned around and left as if running away. It seems that he doesn't want to be involved in this matter. Liang Yu's mind went blank. The student she had worked so hard to protect for so long disappeared inexplicably at the Shishan base? Could it be a misunderstanding? They were actually said to work elsewhere. But others didn't know it. Cold sweat broke out on Liang Yu's forehead. But she herself knew that this statement was not tenable. The third life warehouse is composed of ordinary soldiers stationed at the Shishan base. The number of people in the second life warehouse is relatively small. And they are all top talents in various fields. Including strangers like her. It is impossible for those students who disappeared to go to the third life warehouse. If they came to the second life warehouse, let alone whether they could meet the conditions of top talents, even if the conditions were sufficient, it was impossible for Liang Yu not to see them once. Therefore, there must be some major secret behind the disappearance of those students. Liang Yu felt particularly uncomfortable. She wouldn't even be able to sleep if the riddle wasn't solved. After all, she is a people's teacher. After taking the students out of Tianqing Academy, she had to be responsible for their safety. Liang Yu took a deep breath. Instead of going back to her room to rest, she turned around and walked towards the fourth life warehouse. The four life warehouses in Shishan base are strictly hierarchical. It's okay to go from a high-level life warehouse to a low-level life warehouse. But the reverse is absolutely not allowed. Today's Liang Yu is the captain of the AC special team. So he can pass without being blocked. Coming to the fourth life warehouse. There are also people working in shifts at night. After all, the base needs power supply 24 hours a day. Liang Yu came to the student's dormitory and woke up several students. After they saw Liang Yu, they immediately hugged her and cried aggrievedly. Teacher Liang, you are finally back. Are you here to take us away? It's so hard here. I'm so tired. Teacher Liang, several students in our class were taken away and none of them came back. Are they dead? What is this place for? Their cries woke up other students. Originally Liang Yu didn't intend to disturb everyone's rest. But now that they knew she was back, the students rushed over as if they saw hope. Everyone cried and begged Liang Yu to take them out of here. Liang Yu could only comfort them first. Then he asked about those classmates who disappeared. Mentioning the missing classmates, the students looked at each other. Some people are afraid. Some are indifferent. And some are even envious. Some people said that they were taken away and used as food. Some people said that they were snatched away by relatives at home and enjoyed happiness in the past. There are people who say anything. Some are optimistic and some are pessimistic. Liang Yu's head was in a mess after hearing this. It was obvious that these students did not understand the specific situation. But one thing is certain. That is, every once in a while, someone will come over and select one or two students to leave. However, no one who left came back. Teacher Liang, I'm so scared. Will it be my turn next time? A girl pulled Liang Yu's sleeve tightly and cried with tears in her eyes. But a boy next to her said nonchalantly, What are you afraid of? We have nothing now. Why do they want to harm us? Those who were missing probably went to work elsewhere. Don't think too much. Liang Yu was also suspicious. It seems that this matter can only be known by asking people in the higher level life warehouse. I will go to Garou tomorrow to ask about this matter. Ask her where she took my students. Liang Yu thought firmly in her heart. As a teacher, she would never allow anything to happen to her students. After comforting these students, Liang Yu walked out of the dormitory. The corridors were all pitch black. In order to save electricity, the power here is cut off at night. As she passed a corner, a low and familiar voice suddenly came from the shadows. Teacher Liang, do you want to know where those classmates have gone? Liang Yu turned her head sharply and looked there. Wu Qingyu. Who else could this voice be if it wasn't squad leader Wu Qingyu? As a class cadre, Wu Qingyu had more contact with teachers. So Liang Yu knew it was him right away. Wu Qingyu walked slowly to Liang Yu. He looked around carefully, then lowered his voice and said, Teacher Liang, 
Come here with me. Chapter 255 Experimental Products Wu Qingyu's body was wrapped tightly in clothes. Although it was not that cold underground. He even zipped his clothes to the top. If it wasn't too dark, Liang Yu could clearly see the bruises on his face and the scars from his nails. Wu Qingyu Liang Yu was wondering why she didn't see him before. Wu Qingyu took Liang Yu to a remote room. The light inside was very dim. And the darkness would give people a sense of safety. Teacher Liang. This base is very weird. You must find a way to rescue us. Wu Qingyu's voice was filled with tears. And his whole body suddenly became unbearable. Liang Yu was extremely surprised and asked while comforting Wu Qingyu. Wu Qingyu. Tell me quickly. What have you discovered? Wu Qingyu wiped away his tears and said that due to certain special tasks, I would occasionally be taken to the Second Life warehouse. One day, I suddenly saw several people wearing white protective clothing carrying two long bags passing by. I was very curious, because those two bags looked very much like sleeping bags. And the figures inside looked like two people. So I followed quietly. And guess what I saw? Wu Qingyu's voice trembled, as if he didn't want to recall what happened that day. Liang Yu couldn't help but swallowed. What do you see? Wu Qingyu said with a trembling voice. I saw them dragging two corpses out of the bags and throwing them into a huge machine. He suddenly covered his head and his expression became distorted. I saw Hu Xiaoyu's tattoo on the arm of a corpse. Liang Yu was shocked. Although she had been prepared for it, she still couldn't accept the reality when she heard the news. She took three hard steps back. Are you sure it's Hu Xiaoyu? Wu Qingyu said it couldn't be wrong. Hu Xiaoyu and I often go swimming together. His tattoos were done by foreign tattoo masters. They are absolutely right. The last trace of luck in Liang Yu's heart also disappeared. This Shishan base actually killed her students. Why? Why on earth would they kill a bunch of harmless students? Liang Yu couldn't understand in her heart. She was angry. She was confused. And she longed for answers. Wu Qingyu cried and begged teacher Dao Yang. Now we can only rely on you. You think of a way to protect us. The number of classmates in the class is now decreasing one by one. If this continues, we will all die. Liang Yu looked at the horrified Wu Qingyu in front of him. Took a deep breath and tried to calm down. She is the teacher. And at this time, she is also the student's only hope. She couldn't panic. She had to do something. Wu Qingyu, have you told anyone else about this? Wu Qingyu shook his head, and I didn't dare to tell them. After all, they couldn't do anything if they knew about it. Liang Yu nodded. That's right. Don't tell anyone about it yet. Even if they are classmates in the class. Tell me where you found them disposing of the body. And I'll go there and investigate. Wu Qingyu nodded and told Liang Yu the place. Liang Yu kept it in mind silently and then asked Wu Qingyu to go back first. Teacher, please hurry up. Otherwise, maybe it will be my turn next. Wu Qingyu begged before leaving. Liang Yu took a deep breath and nodded firmly. She decided to take action tonight. Although they are underground, the people in the first and second life warehouses still maintain good sleeping habits. Except for a few guards. Most people don't move around at night. The most critical thing is that the AC Special Forces, the main armed forces of the Shishan base, are distracted from rescuing Xie Huanhuan and Lu Ziang. Liang Yu left the power factory and planned to investigate. The place Wu Qingyu mentioned is located at the corner where the second and third life warehouses meet. The location is slightly remote, and few people would pass by there on weekdays. Liang Yu came to the second life warehouse. She is very familiar with the security points around here. Liang Yu activated his powers and entered a state of meditation. This allows her to move silently. And even her breath is perfectly concealed. She found the place Wu Qingyu said. Although it was night, there were still two armed guards guarding the door. Liang Yu couldn't help but frown. Dealing with these two people was easy for her. But she didn't want to have a conflict with the Shishan base until she figured out the truth of the matter. After all, doing so is tantamount to seeking death. But if you miss today, it may cause more students to disappear. And you will also miss a perfect time. Just when Liang Yu was in a dilemma, she suddenly heard footsteps in her ears. Liang Yu looked around and quickly found a corner to hide. After quietly looking around, I realized that there were four people wearing white protective clothing walking towards here carrying two body bags. When passing by the bathroom, the two people behind suddenly stopped. After a staff member gestured to his colleagues twice, he let the two people in front of him pass first. He and his companions threw the body bag on the ground and walked into the bathroom. Upon seeing this, his companion wandered outside the door for a few seconds and then walked into the men's room next to him. You're here. Why don't you drop by? Liang Yu's eyes lit up. Wouldn't the opportunity come now? 
she quickly slipped into the women's restroom and knocked the female staff member unconscious from behind. Liang Yu quickly put on her work clothes and walked out silently. The male colleagues outside waited for a long time and waved when they saw her coming out. The two picked up the body bag and walked towards the closed room. Liang Yu followed carefully and walked over. The two guards guarding the door took one look at them and got out of the way. The male colleague knocked on the door and the silver gray metal door opened. The staff inside also wore white protective clothing. After taking a look at the body bag, he smiled and said he failed again. Recently this has been the eighth one. The male colleague said there was nothing they could do because their bodies couldn't adapt. Liang Yu felt confused after hearing this. Adapt to what? She said nothing and silently followed the man in front of her to carry the body bag into the house. There were other staff members inside who quickly took the body bag and took out a hideous and horrific corpse from it. Liang Yu clearly saw that although his body retained half of his human appearance, half of his body was a terrifying scarlet color as if it had been infected with a deadly virus. His muscle tissue was bulging high and his blood vessels and bones were clearly visible. What exactly is this base researching? Liang Yu's pupils suddenly tightened, feeling both curious and frightened. Chapter 256 High Quality Protein Liang Yu looked at everything in the laboratory calmly. The first thing that comes into view is a huge machine which occupies a quarter of the laboratory space and consists of a long pipe and many other parts. I don't know if it's because it's at night, so there aren't many people on duty. Several staff who came to carry the body had already gone to the side to chat, and some even took out a game console to play games. The working atmosphere is extremely relaxed, and there is no sense of seriousness. Everyone was busy with their own business, and no one noticed anything unusual about Liang Yu. The two men carried out the strange corpse then opened a machine similar to an incinerator and threw the corpse in. Only a rumble was heard. After a while, a milky white viscous liquid flowed from a thick pipe next to it. Below is a large iron bucket that collects all the milky white liquid. After Liang Yu saw it, his stomach suddenly turned upside down because this milky white mucus is exactly the same as the white paste she ate on the first day she came here. Doesn't that mean that what she ate that day was actually... Liang Yu covered her mouth desperately and spent a lot of effort to suppress her urge to vomit. She felt that her outlook on life had been completely destroyed. She originally thought that Shishan base would be a paradise of a lost world. But I didn't expect it to be a terrifying devil's cave. They actually made dead people into food and fed them to people? No. To be precise, it is only for people in the fourth life warehouse. The first to third life warehouses all enjoy normal food. Several staff members walked over and divided the white viscous liquid into several parts as usual. Then I added some other stuff to it. Is there any banana flavored flavoring available? A little bit, but not much. Let's go back and let the lab do some more. This thing is high in protein and rich in nutrients. If you don't know what this thing is made of, it is actually very effective in replenishing energy. Hey, you put it lightly. Maybe one day you die and you will end up in someone else's belly. That's good. At least it saves the burial. It's considered a contribution to the base, isn't it? The staff were talking and laughing, and looked very relaxed, as if they were not dealing with human corpses, but pigs and dogs. Liang Yu's expression was distorted. Now she can confirm that her disappeared students were also disposed of in such a silent manner. Hatred for the Shishan organization arose spontaneously. But why did they kill my students? Is the food shortage at Shishan base already so great? Isn't a young workforce more important to them? There is still something that Liang Yu cannot understand. At this time, the door of the next room suddenly opened. A tall man walked out carrying a wooden box with great difficulty. Then he came to the machine and opened the lid of the wooden box. A whole box of densely packed black things appeared in front of Liang Yu. Liang Yu almost screamed. Everything in that box was actually full of cockroaches. The man was so used to it that he poured the cockroach into the machine. Rumble. Just as it had done with the man's body. The machine was willing to accept whatever came. Several cockroaches emerged and crawled under Liang Yu's feet, scaring her so much that she took several steps back. After a while, another large plate of white protein was produced. Liang Yu felt that his stomach had reached its limit. Although she knew that cockroaches were indeed a food with a very high protein content, she still felt disgusted when she saw them being made into rice. Liang Yu suppressed her nausea and quietly walked to the next room and looked inside. The scene you see next can definitely become a lifelong nightmare for countless people. In a huge and warm room, there are countless wooden boxes. Those dark and crawling things are all huge cockroaches. Gudu, gudu. Liang Yu's throat kept making noises, and the contents of his stomach were already regurgitated. 
she quickly walked out of the laboratory and rushed to the bathroom. The other staff members laughed when they saw the scene. After all this time, she still can't get used to it. It's no wonder that women have a natural fear of cockroaches. From now on, women will not be allowed in that room. It is better to let them help control the machine. Liang Yi rushed to the bathroom, took off her protective clothing, and started vomiting into the sink. She didn't recover until she had vomited everything in her stomach. If I had known it would unfold like this, I would have stayed at Tian Qing Academy. At least that monster only eats people. So it's not too much to deal with. But this place is clearly a devil's cave. Liang Yi was desperate inside. Now, even if she wanted to take the students away, she couldn't. Can't stay in this place any longer. You must find a chance to leave. But, once I leave here, where can I take my children? Liang Yi felt very confused. She could only pretend that she didn't find anything. Continue to lurk. And wait for the opportunity. After a while, she came out of the bathroom. In the bathroom, the female staff member, who was knocked unconscious by her, was put back into protective clothing by Liang Yu. Liang Yu's attack speed was so fast that she didn't notice it at all. Maybe after waking up, she just thought she was too tired and fainted suddenly. After all, if you live underground for a long time and work in such a working environment, it is not surprising that you will have physical problems. Even if there is suspicion, there is no evidence to point to Liang Yu. At the Shishan base, after some arrangements by Ling Feng, a 30-man special force team set off. Although the two people leading the team this time were not born strangers, they were also well-trained and powerful warriors. One was named Shen Hong, and the other was named Yu Lang. They were both soldiers brought out by Ling Feng. The two people led the team and rushed to the source of Lu Ziang's signal on a sleigh. After several hours of trekking, they finally reached the battlefield. It was already past 10 o'clock in the morning. Ten hours had passed since Lu Ziang's request for help. At this time, the place had been cleaned up by Zhang Yi. Not to mention the bodies of Xie Huan Huan and Lu Ziang. Not even a drop of blood was left here. Before leaving, Zhang Yi specially made Hua Hua roll on the ground a few times to erase most of the traces. Plus internal issues at their base delayed things for a while. If Shui does this again, it will be extremely difficult to find traces of the battle at the scene. A group of people couldn't use professional equipment. But the sled dogs they brought had very good noses. Smelled the smell of blood. And kept barking in one place. Chapter 257 Attacking the Sanctuary After Shen Hong, Yu Lang and others searched the scene. They all had a very bad premonition in their hearts. Because there was no blood left at the scene. It was clean too clean. There are only two possibilities. Either Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang were captured alive. Or it means that both of them have been killed. And the other party even left after cleaning up the battlefield with ease. Whatever the outcome, it's not good news for them. At this time, a soldier discovered the tracks left by the snowmobile during the search and ran over to report the matter to the two men. Head, I found snowmobile marks. Shen Hong and Yu Lang looked at each other. Let's go and have a look. The two went over to check. And sure enough they found snowmobile track marks on the snow that were not completely covered by the flying snow. The two of them suddenly felt happy. As long as you follow this, you can find the residence of the person who did it. Without further ado, let's hurry over before the traces are completely covered by the heavy snow. The two men immediately gathered all the soldiers and rode the sled to follow the snowmobile track. Human traces are very rare on the vast snow. So this track is as clear as a road sign. Not long after, they arrived outside Yunk Manor. Stop! Shen Hong ordered everyone to stop outside the manor and tie up the sled dogs. That person must live in this manor. Everyone spread out in a three-person team formation and followed the footprints on the ground. There was no need for anyone to speak. The tacit understanding formed over the years allowed them to immediately form a battle formation and advance slowly and cautiously with their guns in hand. The road they took happened to be the one leading to the west gate of the manor, not the one on the south side. Therefore, the traps on the road are relatively well preserved and have never been used. When Johnny came back, he would inevitably leave deep and shallow footprints on the ground pointing directly to Villa Number 101. The soldiers at Shishan base followed the footsteps cautiously. Suddenly, a soldier stepped on something. He quickly raised his feet and couldn't help laughing when he saw clearly what was underneath. He he. Others also looked over. I saw him pulling out a nail plate from the bottom of his thick military boots. How old is it? And there is still such a trap? The soldier held the nail board and said with a playful smile. The colleagues around him couldn't help but smile. The soldier smiled and said, that it seemed that the enemy he was facing this time did not have high combat literacy. When Shen Hong saw the clumsy trap, 
his expression softened a lot. But he still said to be careful. After all, the other party defeated our two warriors. However, Shen Hong himself also knew that Xia Huanhuan was not a fighting type alien. If there were many people hiding in this manner, it would indeed be possible to subdue them through the superiority of numbers and weapons. But this time, they came with 30 fully armed warriors and two team leaders who had transformed the aliens. There is no way it will fail. The soldiers continued to move forward, and someone stepped on a nail again. However, the nail had been buried for a long time. The snow gradually became hard, and its lethality became much weaker. They were military boots specially designed for special forces, which are extremely puncture resistant and cannot hurt the soles of their feet at all. Everyone was talking and laughing, but they regarded this as a joke and couldn't help but relax their vigilance. At this time, when a soldier was advancing, his leg suddenly encountered a slight resistance. The steel wire buried in the snow was touched, and the ring of a grenade was torn off. He felt something and lowered his head to look. Boom! A grenade immediately exploded under his feet. The soldier was immediately thrown away. The members of the rescue team were shocked. Shen Hong and Yu Lang came over to take a look. The soldier's face was as red as pig liver, and blood was already spilling out of his mouth. Su Wei! Shen Hong shouted his name sadly. Although Su Wei was wearing full armor, the grenade exploded in front of him, and the powerful impact caused him serious internal injuries. Someone came over immediately and wanted to rescue him. But external injuries are easy to treat. But internal injuries are the most difficult. They didn't have a military doctor accompanying them. And it was too late to even bring someone back. Someone took out the adrenaline they carried with them in an attempt to keep him alive. But it was in vain. After a while, Su Wei vomited blood and died on the scene. Everyone's eyes are red. After the end of the world, the relationship between these old comrades has become closer and closer. They are all brothers who have died. How could they not hate when their brother died in front of their eyes? Damn bastard. Someone gritted his teeth and cursed, while holding a rifle and glaring at Villa 101 in front of him. The footsteps didn't disappear until here. There is no doubt that the murderer lives in this house. Immediately, someone picked up a gun and started shooting at the shelter. But when the bullet hit the glass on the wall, it was like a bullet from a toy gun, leaving no trace at all. Not even a white spot appeared on the glass. However, a series of noises outside had alarmed the people in the house. Johnny had just walked up from the basement and heard the sound of grenades exploding and the sound of rifles. He suddenly realized that it was someone from the Shishan organization who was coming. In the living room, Zhou Kier and Yang Mi looked out the window nervously. They saw a group of people wearing white combat uniforms from a distance, holding firearms and shooting at them. Zhang Yi shouted to the artificial intelligence of the shelter to turn on the optical protection device. Receive. Turn on. As soon as the sound ended, the glass of the entire shelter became one way, and only the outside could be seen from the inside. While when looking from the outside to the inside, it was pitch black. Zhang Yi has not used this function before, because it will slightly affect the lighting in the room. But now, what he has to face is a real armed team, and there is no room for any carelessness. Zhang Yi walked to the window, looked at the dozens of people outside, and murmured to himself that finally a decent opponent had appeared. This is good? If I don't have to face such professional soldiers, wouldn't it be a waste for me to have such a high-end shelter? He looked back at Zhou Kier and Yang Mi, who were a little nervous, and said with a smile that if you are afraid, you can go to the basement first. When Zhou Kier heard this, her slightly frowned brows suddenly relaxed. She walked up to Zhang Yi and said with a smile, We have come together in the big wind and waves. What else do I have to be afraid of? As long as Zhang Yi is here, she won't be afraid of anything because she knew that this man would not fight an unprepared battle. Yang Mi also mustered up the courage to walk next to Zhang Yi and looked out at the dense gunfire. We are one now. No matter what kind of danger we must face together, she said with firm eyes. Zhang Yi smiled lightly and was dangerous. Are you exaggerating? He squinted his eyes and looked out the window, crossing his arms confidently. These people alone are not qualified enough. He could already tell that none of these people carried heavy firepower just some rifles or grenades. There is no need for Zhang Yi to end personally, just relying on the defensive power of this shelter. They couldn't break it for a year. Bring me a chair. Zhang Yi let the bullets roar from the outside, but calmly asked Yang Mi to bring him a chair, then sat in front of the window, crossed his legs, and watched their attack leisurely. Yang Mi and Zhou Kier admired this calmness, even if they knew that the windows were specially made and could even block large explosions. 
they would still be frightened by the dense firepower net. At this time, the people from the rescue team outside also discovered something was wrong. This? What kind of house is this? Why does it feel like a fortress? We have been shooting for so long. Not to mention breaking the doors and windows. Not even a single piece of glass was broken. A group of soldiers felt like they were facing a formidable enemy. They knew they were in for a tough fight this time. Shen Hong and Yu Lang looked at each other. Shen Hong said that the opponent this time is not easy. I am now completely convinced that the people here have the ability to capture or even kill Xia Huan Huan and Lu Xiang. Yu Lang sneered and looked at the one-way glass with cold eyes. Isn't that just right? What are we here for? Are you here to save people? The tasks assigned to us by the organization must be completed. Moreover, if we kill our brothers, they must pay with their lives. If Zhang Yi heard this, he would definitely scream innocent. It's none of my business if your people trigger landlines and die on their own. Shen Hong ordered everyone to stop meaningless shooting. Be careful there are other traps around. Let's get rid of the trap first. He didn't want his people to suffer the same casualties again. Upon hearing this, a group of soldiers immediately put on tactical goggles and began clearing mines. If they hadn't been careless at the beginning, they wouldn't have been killed by the grenade. The modern army has very complete means for Yodi. Soon, they found the grenades hidden in the snow. Not only the grenades, but also the explosive anti-tank mine that Zhang Yi buried deeply was found. But it's a pity it can be found. But it may not be possible to sort it out. When they found the landmine, Zhang Yi pressed the remote control in his hand. The power of this mine is different from that of a grenade. The two closest soldiers were blown away directly. Even though they were wearing combat uniforms with the most advanced military technology, their limbs were blown to pieces. Not only them, but three people nearby were also thrown away by the shock wave. When others wanted to come over for first aid, several of them also suffered serious internal injuries. And their internal organs were probably shattered. Shen Hong's eyes were almost bleeding. Who is he? And why does he have something that is only found in our army? He hates it. These soldiers are all the best among the best. If the information is sufficient, no one will die in such a miserable way. It's a pity that we are in the Ice Age now. And many high-tech weapons and equipment cannot be used, leaving them with nothing but the way they fought a century ago. This suffocating feeling made Shen Hong want to vomit blood. Chapter 258 It's terrible. Five more brothers were killed. But until now, they haven't even seen what the man in the villa looks like. This huge sense of frustration created a strong haze in the hearts of the other 24 people in the rescue team. Yu Lang, the deputy captain of the rescue team, stepped forward and persuaded us, saying that we didn't know anything about this enemy, and we didn't carry advanced weapons or ED equipment. It's better to report to the base first, and then apply for support. Yu Lang is very rational, and he has already realized that they alone may not be able to successfully complete the mission this time. But Shen Hong dismissed his opinion without thinking. Absolutely not. We ourselves are the team that came to rescue us. If we still need to apply for support from the base, wouldn't it be embarrassing? But? Nothing but. If we continue to attack, I don't believe that this villa really has no weaknesses. Yu Lang quickly advised Shen Hong. Don't act out of anger. Shen Hong looked gloomy and gritted his teeth and said, I'm not motivated. We don't have any information about this place. If we don't fight, other brothers will fight too. This time, let us serve as the vanguard and get some information about this villa first. When Yu Lang heard what Shen Hong said, he immediately stopped talking, because he realized that Shen Hong had regarded this battle as a war. He gave his opponent full recognition. Although six soldiers have been lost, all explosive weapons outside the villa have been eliminated. Shen Hong immediately asked everyone to disperse and search the huge villa from all angles. The purpose is to obtain complete information about the villa. It would be even better if you could find the weakness. It's just a bastard cover. As long as we can break through, we will kill the bastards inside. Shen Hong gritted his teeth and said, He will not rest until he kills his brother. So the remaining people spread out and began to investigate the entire shelter from all directions. Seeing this scene, Yang Mi worriedly asked if they would really find a loophole in our place by doing this. Zhang Yi held his cheek with one hand and took out a bag of potato chips to eat at some point with the other hand. I inspected this shelter carefully when I first arrived, and routine inspections are required every three days. There are no external vulnerabilities. Yongmi looked at the soldiers operating outside inside, but being searched so unscrupulously still made her feel scared. Don't be afraid of 10,000. Just be afraid of what happens. She hesitated to speak. Zhang Yi saw her thoughts and asked with a smile. What do you mean? It would be great if we could take the initiative to attack. Right? Yongmi smiled shyly 
which indeed meant this. Zhang Yi smiled lightly and said that it was actually very simple to attack them. But I prefer to play defensive counterattacks. Don't worry. Let's see what offensive methods they have first. The reason why Zhang Yi was not in a hurry to counterattack was because he knew that this was just a vanguard force and its firepower was not very strong. Zhang Yi is not very clear about the weapons and fighting methods of modern troops. It would be great if we could learn some information through this experiment. He turned on the big screen in the living room and asked the smart system to play the surveillance video from outside. These monitors are also hidden behind bulletproof glass and cannot be destroyed from the outside. But you can see the whole exterior of the shelter. Every move of those soldiers was caught in Zhang Yi's eyes. The rescue team carefully investigated the shelter. But after they investigated, they didn't find any breakthrough. A group of people summarized and came to a conclusion. This is an iron bastard with astonishing defensive power. And the materials used are no less than those of a modern warfare fortress. Its only drawback is that it does not have any means of attack. This is a blessing. It can even be said that it is an apocalyptic survival shelter built purely for defense. After the soldiers investigated, Yu Lang made this conclusion. It is not surprising that similar buildings appear in such a wealthy area. After all, those people are panicking when they have too much money. Or they do too many immoral things. And they are afraid of revenge from their enemies. So I spent a lot of money to build such a house. After hearing this, Shen Hong, who was leading the team, frowned and thought for a while. That's why they put so many traps on the road. Now that the trap has been dismantled, they only deserve to be beaten. Hey, now it's easier. We use explosions to blow up a corner of this house. And then rush in to kill them. Yu Lang said that he just didn't know how much explosives would be needed. Shen Hong sneered. Even if it is a fortress on the battlefield, the explosive yield is enough to blow it open. Could this kind of privately built shelter be stronger than a fortress? Concentrate your firepower and attack a little. And you can definitely do it. So everyone concentrated their explosives. The amount of explosives carried by 30 people is not a small amount. Shishan base is short of all supplies. Except for weapons and equipment. When Zhang Yi went to the military camp, he found that most of the weapons had been taken away. A large part of it is in the hands of these soldiers. Various high-energy bombs and grenade explosives were gathered together and piled in the corner by a soldier. When Zhang Yi saw this scene, he immediately turned on the sound isolation system. Excessively loud sounds can also cause damage to their eardrums. And he himself sat up from the chair. You guys are here to watch the show. I'm going to teach them a little lesson. Zhang Yi also felt a little itchy after always letting them attack. He walked up to the second floor and took out a large sniper. After the soldiers placed the time bomb, they quickly ran back. The explosives for 30 people are so powerful that they can even directly destroy a two-story building. All of them hid far away. Thinking that even if the blast couldn't penetrate the wall, it would still blast a big hole. As long as they understand the defensive strength of the wall, they can use larger explosives to blow through the shelter next time. 321. Explode. Shen Hong hid behind a wall and counted in a low voice. Everyone covered their ears to prevent their eardrums from being blown out. But even so, the next moment, they heard a deafening explosion. Not just one sound, but a series of explosions. The huge explosion set off air waves, even overturning several meters of snow on the ground forming a snowstorm that flew into the distance. Such a violent explosion made Shen Hong and Yu Lang eager to see the effect. Their expectation is that at least one layer of the wall will be blown off. But when a group of soldiers looked over, their jaws dropped in shock. A huge pit appeared in the blasted corner, and the snow and underground soil were overturned. Then the dark wall was still as smooth as new, and the unknown dark material looked like marble and metal. Still so smooth and hard. How so? Not even a trace was left behind? One soldier's eyes widened, and he couldn't believe what he saw. What a sturdy shelter. Yu Lang took a breath of cold air, because he saw that the lower level of the shelter that was blown out was covered with this kind of dark and hard material a few meters away. In other words, we can't get in with a strong frontal attack. Even if you want to dig a tunnel? Shen Hong and Yu Lang looked at each other. How can they attack such a defensive shelter? Faced with this seemingly huge explosion, Zhang Yi didn't even bother to look at it. Only he knows best how strong the defense of this shelter is. The shelter that claims to be able to prevent H attacks is not just talk. Shen Hong gritted his teeth and said that it might not be possible to rely solely on the weapons in our hands. Ask for support and ask the captain and others to bring the demolition team. No matter how tough the bunker is, it can be destroyed as long as the firepower is enough. As a rescue team, they were not fully prepared. So it was understandable that they could not breach the shelter. 
but Shen Hong believes that Shishan base has the foundation to capture this shelter. If blasting doesn't work, maybe you can let me give it a try, Yu Lang said in a deep voice. Now they have almost given up their plan to attack by force. But enough intelligence must be obtained to pave the way for subsequent troops. He waved to the side, and a soldier who specially carried a gun for him handed over a black metal box. Yu Lang opened the metal box, and a dark and heavy heavy sniper rifle was revealed inside. Shen Hong couldn't help but said, Do you want to use it? Yu Lang nodded. Not bad. This heavy sniper of mine can destroy a tank with one shot. He assembled the heavy sniper very skillfully, and he used such a heavy weapon very easily. Set up a sniper, and then loaded with special armor-piercing bullets. Even if it's bulletproof glass. Can it stop my shot? Yu Lang aimed at the glass of the shelter. Everyone also looked forward to it. Their blasting methods were not professional. Because the explosives prepared were not specially prepared to destroy the fortress. But a heavy sniper combined with armor-piercing bullets can threaten the fortress. It can penetrate even the thick armor of a tank. Yu Lang pulled the trigger. And a huge gunshot sounded. Zhang Yi was on the second floor. Preparing to counterattack. When he suddenly heard a harsh friction sound. He came closer to the glass and took a look. And saw a white scratch on the extremely strong bulletproof glass. Heavy sniping? Zhang Yi instantly guessed what weapon the other party used. Except for the kind of heavy sniper that can resist armor. There is no way that any firearm can leave scratches on the glass of a shelter. Terrible. Zhang Yi took a deep breath. The bulletproof glass was only 80 centimeters thick. But he actually left a scratch on it. What if he fired hundreds of thousands of bullets and cracked the glass? Chapter 259 Surrounding the Area for Reinforcements After the shot, Yu Lang fell into silence, looking at the untouched bulletproof glass. After more than 10 seconds, he suddenly slammed the wall next to him. When I used this gun to attack bunkers, I knocked down a large piece of steel and concrete. What kind of crappy shelter is this? Why does it have no weaknesses? Although he knew that this shot could not break the bulletproof glass, the reality in front of him was so cruel that Yu Lang couldn't help but curse. Shen Hong took a deep breath and said that the defense power of this shelter is probably more terrifying than our Shishan base. We can't break it with the weapons in our hands. So we should report this news to our superiors. The soldiers of this rescue team were completely desperate for the shelter in front of them. They swore that this was the most speechless fortification they had ever encountered in their lives. So much so that the tactics and marksmanship they have learned over the years have become useless for slaying dragons. Retreat. Shen Hong gave an order. And a group of people evacuated in an orderly manner from behind the bunker. Yu Lang handed the heavy sniper rifle to the soldier carrying the gun and prepared to evacuate. Little did they know that Zhang Yi had been waiting for them to show up. The dimensional door is open. Little love. Open the window. Zhang Yi gave an order. And the intelligence system slowly opened the window in front of him. Revealing a hole. The dimensional door blocks the opening. Forming a seemingly loophole, but actually indestructible barrier. The dimensional gate is one way. That is to say, all attacks from the outside to the inside will be absorbed. But it will not be affected from the inside to the outside. The rescue team retreating in an orderly manner discovered the movement of the window opening. Captain, the window on the second floor is open. While reporting the news, the two soldiers raised their guns and shot without hesitation. As the most elite soldiers, their marksmanship is very accurate. They press the gun with one hand and shoot three consecutive shots accurately at Zhang Yi's face. But their bullets disappeared in front of Zhang Yi's eyes, like mud cows entering the sea. Zhang Yi also pulled the trigger in his hand while they were shooting. He was targeting the soldier carrying the iron box. Zhang Yi likes that heavy sniper very much. Even in the army, this kind of weapon is not accessible to ordinary people. Compared with the sniper in Zhang Yi's hand, it is many times more powerful. But in Zhang Yi's hands, its power will be quite astonishing. Therefore, Zhang Yi wants to keep it. Boom! A bloody hole was opened directly on the soldier's head. And even his helmet could not stop the sniper's fire. Shen Hong found that Zhang Yi had opened the window. And he could see Zhang Yi's handsome face through the window. And he couldn't help but smile. You came just in time. This time you are seeking death yourself. Shoot me. Ignoring the dead soldiers, he immediately raised his gun and aimed it at Zhang Yi. More than 20 people raised their guns in unison. And bullets formed a huge barrage and shot at Zhang Yi. R. Zhang Yi fired unhurriedly. Boom. 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 He fired at a leisurely pace. Firing off one shot and then another steadily. But every shot is a precise headshot. Those soldiers were well equipped and their helmets were bulletproof. But Zhang Yi used a sniper rifle. The bullets were equipped with the ability to shoot accurately. 
and their power could directly penetrate their well-prepared preparations. A moment later, six people died under Zhang Yi's gun. No. 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 Why can't you kill him? Finally, some soldiers discovered something was wrong. After Zhang Yi opened the window, his whole body was completely exposed to their firepower. There was no defense. Not even decent equipment. But no matter how they shot, Zhang Yi remained intact. Not even his clothes were damaged. Shen Hong's pupils shrank suddenly. And he finally understood what happened. He is a stranger. Yu Lang's eyes widened, and he looked at him in disbelief. Could it be that he was immune to our attacks? Strangers themselves are existences that ordinary people cannot understand. And because everyone's mutations are different. Others have no conditions for reference. The unknown about Zhang Yi's abilities gave them great panic. Retreat. Retreat quickly. This person is not something we can deal with. Shen Hong gave a loud order for the soldiers to retreat quickly. This enemy is so terrifying that the captain of the special operations team must come over to defeat him. Moreover, the other party has such powerful fortifications that even a captain-level attack would not be enough. You can only be beaten passively and have no way to fight back. How can you fight like this? Shen Hong and the others were so angry that they wanted to curse. This is too bullying. How could they not be angry that such an elite force fought such a useless battle? Some soldiers wanted to leave with the bodies of their dead comrades. However, if they stay for one second longer, the result will be death for them. Don't worry about the dead people for now. Hide. Hide quickly. Shen Hong roared anxiously. Zhang Yi discovered Shen Hong and Yu Lang. Two people who looked like team leaders. He turned his gun and pointed it at them. Boom. A shot was fired at Shen Hong's head. But at this moment, a scene that was extremely familiar to Zhang Yi appeared again. Shen Hong's body suddenly blurred, leaving after images in midair, and then narrowly dodged the bullets he fired. Um, another artificial alien? Even the superpowers are so similar. Zhang Yi pointed his gun at Yu Lang again, and found that this man's reaction was the same as Shen Hong's. Their superpowers are almost the same. Is it really possible to use drugs to create aliens? Or are their abilities copied from a certain person? Zhang Yi couldn't help but sigh at the miracle of biology. But those who deserve to be killed will still be killed. Two of them have special powers. But not everyone has them. However, this time, Zhang Yi suddenly changed his mind. He saw that the soldiers had abandoned the bodies of their fallen comrades and hid behind the wall one by one. There are also many luxurious villas around the shelter, which are enough to provide them with shelter. From Zhang Yi's perspective, his attack range cannot cover the entire battlefield. But Zhang Yi didn't want them to escape so easily. He wanted to kill a few more intruders. A cold smile appeared on Zhang Yi's lips. He shot at a soldier who had not had time to take cover. This time, instead of aiming at his head, aim at his right leg. Boom! The soldier's right leg burst into a cloud of blood mist. And the power of the sniper rifle caused his leg to be directly broken and bloody. Ah! He yelled in pain and fell to the ground. Zhang Yi used the same technique to knock down another soldier who had not had time to hide. The two men fell to the snow, wailing in pain. Even a strong warrior cannot bear the severe pain of shattering limbs. Lu Hongtao. Chao Jiayu. When the comrades saw the miserable condition of their brothers, their eyes were all red, and they wanted to rush out to save them immediately. They could bear the pain and leave the bodies of their dead brothers behind. But they can't do it without saving the brothers they live with day and night. No one is allowed to move. This is a siege to support me. No one is allowed out. Shen Hong roared angrily and stopped every soldier who wanted to go out to save people. His heart was bleeding. But he knew that he had to stay calm at this time. Otherwise, he would just fall into that person's trap. Give me smoke bombs and incendiary bombs. After Shen Hong gave the order, someone immediately came to their senses. Since Zhang Yi is using sniping techniques to surround the spot for reinforcements, he should interfere with the opponent's line of sight. As soon as the smoke bombs and incendiary bombs were thrown out, white smoke billowed and flames shot into the sky near the two wounded soldiers. In this way, no one can be seen even when wearing tactical eyepieces. Shen Hong took the opportunity to send several soldiers to rescue people. Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows. He was indeed a professional soldier. And his combat qualities were high. Now, he couldn't carry out a precise strike. A sneer appeared at the corner of Zhang Yi's mouth. The direction of the dimensional gate was reversed. And the next moment, the ammunition that had just been swallowed by the different space was tilting toward the area like a violent storm. In the blink of an eye, the two wounded and the four soldiers who went to rescue were enveloped in iron rain. Even if he is wearing the best combat uniform, he cannot withstand such a terrifying blow. After a few seconds, 
everyone was beaten into a sieve. Shen Hong and others' eyes were almost bleeding, and they shouted the names of their dead comrades in grief. They were extremely angry, and at the same time extremely afraid of the person in the dark, because they had no way of understanding the methods Zhang Yi used. He is not human. We can't fight him. A young soldier held a gun with a look of horror on his face. The fighting qualities of these warriors are indeed very high, but there has been no war in China for too long. Encountering such a terrifying opponent for the first time, and watching a group of brothers die tragically, it is inevitable that some people will have a mental breakdown. Captain, should we ask for help? Please send someone from the base? A soldier said to Shen Hong. The muscles on Shen Hong's face jumped. His face flushed with excitement. And he gave him a kick. Shut up. We came here for rescue. But now we are turning back to the base to ask for help. Do we still have the face to see people? But? That man is terrible. No. He is not a human. He is a devil. Otherwise, how could he not be beaten to death? The soldiers were extremely frustrated. No matter how powerful they are. They can't kill people who can't be hit by guns. If you retreat, you will be targeted with a sniper rifle and attack. But you will not be able to attack the opponent's impregnable fortress. Calm down. Yu Lang growled. That person didn't come out. So he was obviously still wary of us. Don't be too afraid. The soldiers were all frightened by Zhang Yi's strange power. But Shen Hong and Yu Lang were both transformed aliens and knew that this was not the power of a ghost. But a supernatural power they did not understand. Unknown things are often the scariest things. But after you have some understanding, you won't be too afraid. Shen Hong asked in a deep voice. What should we do? His marksmanship is as good as yours or mine. As long as we show our heads, there is a possibility of being sniped. The villa area is relatively open. Although there are houses to hide in. If you want to escape, you will definitely expose yourself. After Yu Lang made some gestures on the snow with his hands, he pointed at a curve and said, Punch through the several houses in front of you, and then follow this route to escape. As long as he has no vision, no matter how good his marksmanship is, he can't do anything to us. Chapter 260 Fight off the attack Yu Lang's proposal was recognized by everyone. It's definitely impossible to beat them. The strength gap between the enemy and ourselves is not of the same magnitude at all. If we fight again, we will die in vain. We can only escape and wait for support. Shen Hong immediately decided to blow up the hole in the wall of the house on the way to retreat, and then escape from the hole in the wall. Zhang Yi was lying at the window, and he probably guessed how they were going to escape. But he had no intention of leaving the shelter and chasing him out. Among the group of people who came this time, there were only two artificial aliens similar to Lu Ziang. His strength is mediocre, far behind the real alien abilities. As long as Zhang Yi doesn't go out, they can't pose a threat to Zhang Yi. But once they get out, this group of soldiers with high combat literacy may kill Zhang Yi. His dimensional door can only open on one side, which is also a flaw. Go call some stronger people. Only when we kill you all are scared. You damn guys will probably stop, Zhang Yi said lightly. If he wanted to end the dispute, he could only end it with war, and he would have no illusions about his enemies. Explosions occurred one after another, and soon after, Shen Hong and Yu Lang took the remaining troops and escaped from Yunk Manor with difficulty. After confirming that they had left, Zhang Yi walked out of the shelter. Now, he needs to clean up the battlefield, since this group of soldiers came for temporary rescue. The weapons they carried were all portable light weapons and did not have heavy firepower. However, Zhang Yi didn't mind it and took off all the weapons and equipment on their bodies. There was one weapon that he liked very much, and that was the heavy sniper that he was specifically eyeing. This kind of anti-material equipment can tear the armor of small tanks through the power of the gun itself. If used in conjunction with Zhang Yi's superpower, the power can even penetrate heavy armor. After cleaning the battlefield, Zhang Yi did not clean up their bodies. If it were in the past, he might have buried these people's bodies. But now, leaving these corpses behind may serve as bait. Zhang Yi knew that the people at Shishan base would not be so willing to give up. In two actions, he killed a natural stranger. And there were also a large number of ordinary soldiers. They would definitely come for revenge. The bodies of these soldiers are still on the road. Which is a deterrent and affects the mentality of the opposing soldiers. Secondly, if the other party wants to collect the body, it will become Zhang Yi's living target. Zhang Yi returned to the shelter after cleaning the battlefield. The women at home are waiting for Zhang Yi to come back. They looked at Zhang Yi as if they were looking at their patron saint. Several women knew in their hearts that without Zhang Yi's protection, it would be difficult for them to survive in the apocalypse. 
especially after experiencing such a crisis of being invaded. Zhang Yi. It's great to have you here. Yang Mi came over excitedly and hugged him. Her choppy figure mercilessly squeezing Zhang Yi's chest. During the gunfire exchange just now, she was really scared. After all, it was the regular army that attacked this time. Not the farmers in Sudong village. She was hiding in the basement. Genuinely afraid that her shelter would be breached. Zhang Yi gently patted her buttocks. Look at you. Are you scared? I told you. Nothing will happen. Joker pulled her away with some sourness. Okay. Okay. Look at how timid you are. Yang Xinxin. A talented girl sitting in a wheelchair with a weak body and strong will. Said. However. Judging from the strength of the troops who came this time. They did not seem to be ready to attack here. The weapons are all light weapons. The most powerful ones being heavy sniper rifles and some grenades and small bombs. If the opponent really only has this level of firepower, that would be okay. I'm afraid these people are just the vanguard. Coming to investigate, she frowned slightly and said with some worry that no matter how strong the shelter was, if it really faced a professional soldier with a full set of weapons and equipment, it would be difficult to deal with it. Yang Xinxin's mind is very smart. And she immediately analyzed the key to the problem. Zhang Yi nodded. You are right. The strength of this team is indeed not impressive enough. I guess they were just here to investigate. After all, I killed two of their people. And they couldn't imagine that there was such a powerful shelter in a mere villa in a residential area. The next time they attack, the firepower level will be increased by several levels. Zhou Kier said worriedly. Can we stop it? There are professional explosive devices in the army. And we can only defend passively. And actually don't have many means of active attack. After following Zhang Yi for a long time, everyone has learned to be prepared for danger in times of peace. Zhang Yi was very satisfied with this. If the opponent continues to invest a large number of soldiers and firepower in the attack, it will only be a matter of time before they can break through the shelter. However, this process is destined to be very long. Zhang Yi had a nonchalant smile on his face. As if he didn't care about this, the shelter is indeed very strong. Even if the city is attacked by H, it will not be completely destroyed as long as it is not at the center of the explosion. The important thing is that it is a multi-layered structure. Zhang Yi took a look at the shelter. A high-rise building with two floors above ground and three floors underground. In fact, the three underground floors are the true form of the shelter. In order to consider the comfort of life, the two floors on the ground gave up defense to a large extent. But once the ground is breached, Zhang Yi can go directly underground. The three underground floors are at least twice as strong as the two above ground floors. In addition to the special alloy, a large amount of reinforced concrete was used throughout, let alone a large yield explosive. According to the instructions, even direct fire from an aviation missile cannot penetrate it. There is no fortress in this world that cannot be destroyed. But if they want to break through the two-story building above ground, they will need to spend a lot of time and lives as a price. Once the surface is breached, we will completely abandon the surface and go underground. Zhang Yi spread his hands and said with a smile that although he will no longer be able to see the sky, the living facilities underground are also very complete. No need to worry about quality of life. After Zhang Yi's explanation, everyone finally felt a lot more relaxed. So that's it. Let me just say, the construction cost of 1 billion US dollars, known as the world's most expensive shelter, can't be that simple. Luke Karen smiled heartily. Showing 16 white teeth, Zhang Yi came over and lightly tapped her on the head. You, don't be in a hurry to be happy. Zhang Yi squinted his eyes and said that abandoning the two-story building on the ground was only a possibility and would not be implemented unless it was absolutely necessary. They want to attack my house? I have to let them shed a layer of skin. Make the explosives for me. I have to let them drink a pot. Chapter 261 The Secret is Discovered Here Zhang Yi is strategizing and is ready for a protracted war. On the other side, Shen Hong and Yu Lang retreated far away with the remaining soldiers in great embarrassment. There were 30 people when they came, but now nearly half of them are dead, leaving only 18 people. This is not the scariest thing. The scariest thing is that they didn't even hurt each other's hair. Even if you concentrate all your firepower, you can't knock down a single wall of that shelter. A group of people were disgraced. Shen Hong, who led the team, also had a frustrated face and didn't know how to report the news to Shishan base. Yu Lang came over and patted him on the shoulder, saying that he should report the news here to the base immediately. This is no longer an enemy we can defeat. Shen Hong's mouth was bitter, and he didn't know what to say. The grief and guilt in his heart made him speechless. 
Yu Lang had no choice but to ask. If you don't know how to say it, then I will say it for you. After all, the mission is urgent. Shen Hong nodded. Yu Lang immediately took out the communication equipment and reported the results of the operation to Shishan base. Since the Shishan base is located underground, individuals cannot contact each other. Only the network information department of the base can receive it. As soon as the news came from the rescue team, Information Minister Gung Yilin immediately reported to the leader Chen Xinyan. This information first reached the hands of Secretary Guro. She glanced briefly, and her face suddenly became serious. Twelve soldiers were killed. There are only more than 500 soldiers in Shishan base. These people are basically elite soldiers and special police before the end of the world. Every death in battle is irreparable and a huge loss. Twelve people were killed in one battle, which was definitely news that would make Chen Xinyan angry. And the most unbelievable thing is that Vice Captain Yu Lang's report mentioned that they met a very terrifying opponent. A strong fortress that is ineffective against gunfire. And a powerful alien. This has undoubtedly become a nail in the Shishan base's sphere of influence. Seriously affecting their rule over the surrounding areas. Guro did not dare to neglect and quickly reported the news to Chen Xinyan. When Chen Xinyan finished reading the report, no expression could be seen on his face. But he read the report back and forth three times before very slowly placing it in front of him. Guro was shocked. She has been Chin Xinyan's secretary for five years and knows his temperament and habits very well. At this time, Chin Xinyan was definitely not as calm as he appeared on the surface. Guro stepped forward and said to the leader, Shen Hong and Yu Lang acted poorly and failed to live up to the expectations of the leader and the organization. I think it should be severely punished as a warning. It can be said that Shen Hong and Yu Lang's tasks were completed perfectly. They were originally asked to lead the team to rescue Lu Ziying and Xia Huan Huan. Even if they fail to complete their mission, they can at least come back with some useful information. But now, they only found the residents of the person who attacked Lu Ziying and Xia Huan Huan. As a result, they obtained very little information about that person and lost a large number of soldiers. If it weren't for the current shortage of manpower at Shishan base, Chen Xinyan would really want to execute them both. Chin Xinyan raised his eyes and glanced at Guro lightly. Just this glance made Guro feel as if she had fallen into an ice cellar. Chin Xinyan withdrew his gaze and said calmly that he had encountered a difficult enemy and they could not be entirely blamed for this matter. Now is the time to employ people. We will talk about this later. However, I am very curious about that mysterious shelter and its owner. Is there any information on this? Intelligence? Still intelligence. Only by knowing yourself and the enemy can you fight without danger. Chin Xinyan has been staying at the Shishan base and will not go out. If he does not have enough information, he cannot make a decision easily. Guro can become Chin Xinyan's secretary not just because of her face and figure, but also because of her real talent and learning. She was prepared before she came. As soon as Chin Xinyan asked a question, she immediately took out a tablet and handed it over. Above is a map of Tianhai City, which she placed to enlarge the area around the Shishan base. According to the reports of Shen Hong and Yu Lang, it was discovered that the location of the shelter was at Yunk Manor on the edge of Lujiang River. Combined with the intelligence we received before, I think the most suspicious person is the man named Zhang Yi. As for this shelter, I also found out. It was built by Wang Siming ten years ago. No one paid much attention to it at first. But according to our engineer's speculation, the defense of this shelter may not be weaker than that of our Shishan base. Chen Xinyan frowned Zhang Yi. Who is it? He has to deal with many things every day. So naturally he can't remember such an ordinary person's name. Guro reminded him that he was the man who was suspected of being in charge of the stolen materials from the Walmart warehouse. She was afraid that Chen Xinyan wouldn't remember it. So she added that it was the little warehouse manager. At this point, Chen Xinyan had some impressions. It's him. Well, if you put it this way, things seem to make sense. He frowned slightly and said with some surprise, that he was an inconspicuous little person with no academic qualifications and no background. He actually has superpowers through mutation. And now he has become a big trouble. Ha uh ha. -huh. This kid is really lucky. Chen Xinyan was a little more impressed with Zhang Yi, but still didn't take him seriously. After all, he has always been a big shot in the upper echelons of Tianhai City. In his opinion, Zhang Yi was just a little guy who had some bad luck and good luck. However, Chen Xinyan feels that even if a small person gains power, he will be limited by his own shortcomings and vision. Not only will he not be able to master the power, but he will be counterattacked by the power. He is incomparable to a big shot like him who comes from a well-established family. Chen Xinyan stood up 
picked up the report again and studied it carefully. He felt that several clues were connected together. And he caught something in his mind. Ready to come out. Walmart warehouse supervisor. A congenital stranger. The ability to ignore bullet attacks. Ability. Stranger. Jin Xinian thought for more than 10 minutes. Suddenly, he finally realized where the problem was. If he was just an ordinary awakened person. When meeting Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang, he should choose to please or escape. Even praying to join our Shishan base. After all, it is difficult for a person to survive when the outside world lacks supplies. But instead of doing this, he wanted to kill Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang at the risk of offending the Shishan base. This could only mean that he has a secret that must not be discovered. But this secret may be discovered by Xia Huan Huan and Lu Ziang. A glint flashed in Chen Xinian's eyes. He slapped the table hard. What else could be the biggest secret in the apocalypse? Only supplies. In other words, the huge amount of supplies that Walmart lost was actually in his hands. He used his special power to hide it. Chapter 262 AC Special Team By analyzing the intelligence obtained in the past few days, Chen Xinian concluded that Zhang Yi had tens of billions of supplies in Walmart's hands. For a moment, he was so excited that he couldn't sit still and walk back and forth in the room. This must be the case. Only in this way can all his actions be explained. In this case, we must capture this Zhang Yi. Guro next to her was also greatly surprised when she heard the news. At the same time, she said happily, Congratulations, leader, for finding a large amount of supplies for our Shishan base. Chin Xinian nodded with satisfaction. And this credit will naturally be recorded on his head. Nowadays, the supplies in our base are dwindling, especially in terms of food and energy. They have been in a state of net expenditure and cannot be effectively replenished. But if we can get the supplies from the world's largest warehouse, we can maintain a life of abundant supplies for at least 10 years. Chen Xinian threw the document on the table and made a quick decision to call Ling Feng over. Not long after, Ling Feng, the captain of the AC special team, came to Chen Xinian's office. Chen Xinian only told Ling Feng that he should break through Zhang Yi's shelter at all costs and capture Zhang Yi alive. As long as you can build that shelter, you can apply to use all the resources in the base. Chen Xinian was extremely generous. Out of military habit, Ling Feng did not ask Chen Xinian why he did this. He only knows that it is the duty of a soldier to obey orders. And the leader's orders are even more absolute. Yes, guaranteed to complete the task. Ling Feng's expression was as determined as a piece of black iron. As if there was no task he couldn't complete. Guro kindly reminded that it was said that the shelter cost 1 billion US dollars to build and was extremely strong. If you want to break into it, I'll have the engineers and demolition experts at the base help you. The most indispensable thing in our base is weapons. Ling Feng nodded, with a glimmer of bellicosity in his eyes. It had been too long since he had loosened his muscles. Finally, an interesting opponent appeared for him to show off his fists and kicks. Ling Feng left Chen Xinian's office and actively made preparations for the war. Chen Xinian took a deep breath, leaned on the chair, and rubbed his forehead. We must win this battle. The base's supplies can last up to half a year. If we can't win, we can only optimize our internal personnel, or relieve internal pressure by waging war against other shelters. Guro bowed down to comfort the Taoist leader. Please don't worry. He is just a little Zhang Yi. How can he have three heads and six arms by himself? We will definitely win. By the way, what do you want to eat for lunch today? I see that you have been tired recently and look a little bad. Would you like the kitchen to make a ginseng steam pot chicken for you? Chen Xinian nodded. Then just eat whatever you want. Guro smiled slightly, took out the communication device, and informed the kitchen that the leader wanted to eat chicken today. Chen Xinian suddenly had a flash of inspiration. Shioga, regarding the problem of insufficient food, I suddenly had another good idea. Can you see if it works? Guro thought. Every time Chen Xinian comes up with a good idea, he will keep the people below busy for a long time. Regardless of whether the plan works or not, they will try their best to experiment. For example, Chen Xinian had an idea to process corpses and make them into high-protein food. However, Guro still looked happy and said with admiration, Leader, what good ideas have you come up with? Come on, let me hear it. Chen Xinian smiled slightly and said with a confident look, Isn't there a shortage of food in the base? Then I think we still have room for improvement. You see, we have solved the problem of food and clothing for many people before by raising American cockroaches and reusing human remains. We have to keep up our efforts and think about the energy wasted in this area. For example, 
Can feces be reused? After all, digestion is not complete. There was a nauseating impulse in Garou's throat. But she swallowed it in time. She still kept an adoring smile on her face. And at the same time she clapped her hands and said in surprise, Leader, this proposal is simply great. Why didn't we think of that? I will go to the experts in the biological laboratory and ask them to come up with a plan on how to rationally use excrement to make high-quality food. Chen Xinyan laughed. Well, I just made a suggestion. Go and see if it's possible. Guro smiled and said, I will lead you to take a long-term view. This idea is simply brilliant and can greatly reduce the food pressure on the base. It must work. Ling Feng, on his side, went immediately after receiving the order, mobilized the combat department, and began to prepare for the next tough battle. He ordered Chen Hong, Yu Lang and others to station themselves nearby, and then conduct a detailed investigation around the shelter to pave the way for the arrival of large forces. As for the station location, it was no surprise that it was decided on Xuzhou Town. There is plenty of food there. There is a living environment. And it is very close to Yonk Manor. Then, he summoned the captain-level aliens and asked them to be on standby and ready for battle. The opponent we are facing this time is also a stranger. And according to the intelligence, he is very powerful. Xia Huanhuan and Lu Ziang were both in his hands. And more than a dozen of Shenhong and others were killed by him. We can't be careless. In the corner, Liang Yu listened to Ling Feng's combat deployment. And her mind suddenly moved. Zhang Yi? Isn't it the same person who broke into Tianqin College and took away Yang Xinxin? Liang Yu suddenly thought that there were two strangers beside Zhang Yi. But Ling Feng didn't mention this. The difference in combat power between one alien and three aliens is not even a tiny bit. Liang Yu frowned slightly. But there was a strange light shining in his eyes. She had no intention of reporting this important information to Ling Feng. Because of this damn Shishan base. She didn't want to stay any longer. However, it is easy to get in. But very difficult to get out. After leaving, you still have to find a suitable place to live. Liang Yu suddenly had a bold idea in his mind. Maybe you can contact Zhang Yi and ask him to help you. After all, Yang Xinxin is Liang Yu's student. Liang Yu thinks that he has protected Yang Xinxin for so long. And relying on this relationship, he has a way to talk to Zhang Yi. So she took a deep breath and took the initiative to say to Ling Feng, Captain, this time I hope to go out with the team. Chapter 263 Infernal Affairs Ling Feng is still deploying action personnel. After all, they can't bring all their combat power out and they still need to leave a considerable number of people to protect the safety of the base. Staying means no need to take risks. But if you go out, you may die in battle. Zhang Yi can kill Xia Huanhuan and Lu Ziang. And it is equally possible to kill them. Liang Yu's initiative to ask for help made many people turn their attention to her. Ling Feng was also slightly surprised. After all, Liang Yu is new here. His relationship with them is average. And he doesn't have much communication with other people on weekdays. Ling Feng said that speaking out was not a child's play. He would face life and death. Moreover, the outside environment is not as comfortable as the base. You have to think carefully. Are you really ready? Liang Yu nodded slowly but firmly. I have just arrived at the base and have not made any achievements. But I enjoy relatively high treatment in the base. So I hope to be given a chance to prove myself. Ling Feng nodded happily. Okay, I will take you with me for this operation. Ling Feng pointed out two more people. Zheng Xuerong and Shirdeong. You two should also go together. The two men immediately stood up and said, Okay, with a military salute. Captain. Captain. When do we set off? The two people's eyes were intense. They eagerly hoped to go over. Destroy Zhang Yi's fortress. And then avenge Xia Huanhuan and Lu Ziang. At this time, they all understood that there was basically no possibility of survival for these two people. Ling Feng said not to worry yet. That place is a very strong fortress. Shen Hong and Yu Lang have already tried it. It is difficult to leave traces with ordinary explosives and heavy snipers. I asked Shen Hong and the others to collect intelligence first, and then ask engineers and blasting experts to make calculations. Be sure to be fully prepared before setting off. Although everyone here is a stranger, Ling Feng doesn't dare to make excuses. Being an alien does not mean being invincible, at least at this stage. Except for a pervert like Zhang Yi who has space powers. Other aliens still need to be cautious when facing hot weapons. Soon, Ling Feng gave instructions to Shen Hong and Yu Lang's team. They were ordered not to come back for the time being, but to go to Xuzha Town on the other side of the river to investigate the surrounding area while waiting to receive follow-up troops. After Shen Hong received the order, he immediately led the team to Xuzha Town. 
The appearance of more than a dozen heavily armed soldiers immediately attracted the attention of the entire Xuzha town. But Su Dongdang was unhurried and ran over to greet him as the mayor of Xuzha town. Everyone, are you from Xishan? Shen Hong nodded. Yes, we are here to perform a mission. I'm going to stay with you for a while now. Su Dongtang nodded repeatedly. Very welcome. It is our honor for Sudong village that you can come to our Sudong village. People in other villages originally wanted to please the soldiers of the rescue team. But Su Dongtang was the most powerful, and they did not dare to provoke them. So they had to go back to the village and bring all the good things from home to entertain the soldiers. These soldiers were particularly curious about the attitude of the villagers. They don't understand why these people are so enthusiastic about them. But in this way, it saves them from using the barrel of a gun to speak. Which is naturally a good thing. The appearance of these people caused too much noise. So much so that Fatty Su noticed something was wrong. During this period of time, because of Zhang Yi's warning, he was worried every day. Fearing that one day he and the entire village would be implicated because of the Shishan base. But the more afraid he is of something, the more likely he will come. When Fatty Su saw the dozen or so armed soldiers entering the village, surrounded by his beloved villagers and clans, his heart felt twisted. It was as if something had stretched it hard and then tied it into a tight knot. Fatty Su sat on the floor with a painful look on his face. Oh my god! Aren't you looking for death? Why bring these disasters here? Fatty Su couldn't understand Su Dongtong's desire for organization. He only knew that the appearance of these people would bring huge disaster to Sudong village. Once Zhang Yi discovers that they are entertaining soldiers from Shishan base, Zhang Yi will never let them go with his behavior. Fatty Su hesitated again and again, and finally made the smartest decision contact Zhang Yi. Even if it were to be liquidated in the future, he could still save a small life. After a while, the call was connected. Zhang Yi's calm voice came from over there. Fatty Su sat on the ground, covering his cell phone with his hand, and whispered, Boss, come out. Problem occurs. In the shelter, Zhang Yi frowned slightly. It seems that it must be related to the Shishan base. Since they can find their own shelter, there is definitely no reason to let go of such an obvious target in Xuzha town. Have people from Shishan base found you? Boss, you are so smart. A group of soldiers just came to our village. Zhang Yi understood. Calculated according to time. They must be the group of people who were beaten away by him. Zhang Yi's tone couldn't help but become serious. Fatty Su. You must be careful. I warned you. These people are not an official organization. The entire Tianhai city has been divided by forces. So they are not bound by moral laws. You have to be careful about them robbing your village of food. Be more careful about your own life. Fatty Su swallowed. Feeling scared in his heart. Don't worry. Boss. If I want to run away. They won't catch me that easily. His ability and life-saving methods are also first rate. Now they have become our distinguished guests and every household is welcoming them warmly. No one will listen to anything I say. Zhang Yi smiled lightly and left them alone. Good words can never dissuade a damn ghost. You just need to protect yourself and the important people around you. But Fatty, I still have to remind you of one thing. Zhang Yi's voice turned cold. I treat you as a brother and have always valued you. But if you dare to do something sorry for me, you know what will happen. Fatty Su is a coward and very timid so much so that he himself didn't even know how powerful he was. The power that can manipulate ice and snow, if developed in depth, will become an extremely terrifying power in the future. Zhang Yi finally accepted such a young brother, and didn't want him to rebel like this. In that case, he would have to cut it with his hands. Fatty Su quickly said, Boss, don't worry. My heart has always been for you. Zhang Yi nodded. That's good. Zhang Yi originally wanted to tell him to come to the shelter, as soon as possible to avoid being in danger outside. But when the words came to his lips, he suddenly had an idea and changed his mind. Fatty, just stay in the village for now. I need someone to help me find out information so that I can keep track of those people's movements. Chapter 264 Hidden Line Shishan Base is more than 50 kilometers away from Yonk Manor. It was impossible for them to always travel such long distances in the ice and snow. Therefore, if you want to conduct a long-term offensive against Zhang Yi, you must have a base nearby. Then there is no doubt that Xuzha town is the best choice. There is free labor and materials stored by the villagers, which can be used as they wish. However, Shishan base can think of using them. And Zhang Yi also has the same idea. Why not let Fatty Su stay and be his undercover agent to help him find out the truth about those people? Fatty Su was a little reluctant when he heard about it at first. 
I can't do things like infernal affairs. Boss. Those soldiers were all murderous. And I was scared when I saw them. Zhang Yi was speechless towards Fatty Su. Obviously possessing such strong combat power. As long as Fatty Su was willing. It would be easy to kill ordinary soldiers. But he is so cowardly. Zhang Yi said. Don't worry. I don't need you to have a head on conflict with them. You just need to help me find out about them quietly. Fatty Su is too timid. If there is a conflict, he will be killed easily. Zhang Yi didn't want to kill him. Zhang Yi still liked Fatty Su. A fat man. At least he's cute and silly. After you succeed, I will not give you less rewards. Fatty Su immediately relaxed a lot when he heard that he didn't have to fight. That's it. That's good. As long as you don't let me fight. Boss, I can say anything. Zhang Yi walked to a game collection room on the second floor while making a phone call. This is what Wang Siming left behind. The space of more than 80 square meters is filled with various rare figures, many of which are limited editions of less than 10 sets worldwide, or even out-of-print treasures. Zhang Yi casually picked up a golden saint warrior figure made of pure gold, took a photo, and sent it to him. As long as the trouble is solved successfully this time, I will give you a complete set of solid gold figures of the golden zodiac. Fatty Su received the photo sent by Zhang Yi, and his eyes immediately went straight. This, this is the golden zodiac figure released in 2035, made of pure gold. It is said that there are only five sets on sale globally. Boss, I will definitely handle this matter beautifully for you. Fatty Su's face was filled with fat. In the past, this thing could be sold for more than 3 million Chinese dollars, let alone a complete set. He couldn't even imagine it. The joy of being an otaku is so simple. Zhang Yi hung up the phone, feeling a little regretful that he could not get Fatty Su to the shelter. With the help of his abilities, it will definitely be much easier to deal with the Shishan base. However, he also has his own relatives. Zhang Yi cannot force him. If he insists on it, it may be counterproductive. Zhang Yi doesn't want people with double ambitions to appear in his shelter. It doesn't matter. Leaving you there might be a better choice. However, if you think that the soldiers at Shishan base can live in harmony with you, the consequences may be very heavy. Zhang Yi shook his head and lamented that the people in Xujia town were still too naive. They really treat Shishan base as an official organization. Zhang Yi couldn't say anything. After all, not everyone has access to higher level information like him. Ordinary people in China have always been accustomed to being managed. On the other side, after Fatty Su finished chatting with Zhang Yi, he knew in his heart that he could no longer lie down. Only by following Zhang Yi's instructions and providing Zhang Yi with sufficient information can we ensure that we and even the people of Sudong village will not be settled by Zhang Yi. After thinking about it again and again, Fatty Su decided to go to Su Dong Tang to have a good talk. Fatty Su put on his woolen hat and walked out of the house. Just when he was about to go find Su Dong Tang, his eyes suddenly lit up. And out of the corner of his eye, he saw a beautiful figure running towards him from a distance. Su Lily. Fatty Su's heartbeat accelerated a little, and a happy smile appeared on his face. This is the first young girl to greet him in five years. From that moment on, Fatty Su's heart was completely occupied by her. Brother Chun Lei. Su Lily happily ran to Su Chun Lei's side, patted her chest, took a breath, and then showed a bright smile. Lily, why did you come out? On a cold day, I don't want to stay warm at home. Fatty Su asked with concern. Su Lily looked in the distance in the direction of Su Dongtong's house and said to Fatty Su that six grandpa had told every household to provide food for the soldiers. My parents brought the bacon they had cured at home and I stopped by to bring you something. With that said, Su Lily took out a pair of cotton gloves from her pocket and handed them to Fatty Su. I knitted this myself, Su Lily said shyly. Fatty Su was shocked. These gloves looked quite ugly. It looked like they were hand sewn. Fatty Su felt even more moved when he thought that the girl in front of him would do such a thing for him. She really fell in love with me. Fatty Su felt very happy. Lily, thank you. You are so kind to me. Fatty Su said with a silly smile. Su Lily smiled sweetly and said, As long as you like it, come on. Put it on and try it. Fatty Su put on the gloves and tried them. Although they were a little tight, his heart felt warm. Brother Chun Lei, do you think the coming of these soldiers will be a good thing or a bad thing for our village? After a few words of greeting, Su Lily suddenly frowned and asked in a low voice. Fatty Su was also moved. Lily, why did you think of asking this question? Su Lily sighed and said that in times like these, life is difficult for everyone. But before the soldiers came, we relied on the food stored at home. So at least we wouldn't go hungry. But as soon as they show up, 
we have to support these dozens of families. One or two meals is okay. I'm just afraid of them. Sue Lily did not continue speaking, but looked around cautiously. What the villagers are afraid of is the permanent presence of these soldiers. And they are even more afraid that they will snatch food. After all, they have gun barrels in their hands. When Fatty Sue heard this, looking at Sue Lily's frightened expression, his machismo emotions emerged. He looked at Sue Lily and said firmly, Lily, don't worry. No matter what happens in our village, I will definitely protect your safety. Sue Lily happily said thank you. Brother Chun Lei, I knew you were a good person. Then you will also protect my parents. Right? Well, of course. I won't let anyone hurt you. Fatty Sue thought to himself that your parents will be my parents from now on. So of course they must be protected. Chapter 265 Strong Enemy After getting Fatty Sue's promise, Sue Lily was very happy, thanked him and went back. Fatty Sue looked at Sue Lily's leaving figure, clenched his fists, and said firmly, I must protect this family. He mustered up the courage to go find Su Dong Tang. At this time, Su Dong Tang was diligently arranging people to serve the rescue team soldiers at Shishan base. Not only did they arrange accommodation for them, but they also asked every household to take out grain and prepare food for them. His beaming expression looked particularly like that of a traitor and a scoundrel from a century ago. Of course, he harvested not only the villagers in his own village, but also the entire five or six villages in Xuzhou town. On the contrary, in order to show their loyalty to the Shishan base, the village chiefs of other villages took the initiative to increase the amount of food and materials they offered. So when Fatty Su arrived, he found that the door of Su Dongtang's house was packed with people. Su Dongtang stood on the snow in front of his house with a proud face. He didn't know it but thought his son had won the first prize. Fatty Su took a few deep breaths to cheer himself up. He came to Su Dongtang and called Grandpa Six. When Su Dongtang saw Fatty Su, his expression changed slightly. How did you come? He scolded with a frown. Fatty Su is their secret weapon in Sudong village. And Su Dongtang does not plan to let people in the Shishan base know of his existence for the time being. The main reason is that they are worried that the people at Shishan base will take Fatty Su away because of his talent. And then Sudong village will lose a top tool man. Come with me. Su Dongtang took Fatty Su to a secluded place and said seriously that the fact that you are a stranger is the secret of our Sudong village. Don't let others know. Don't go out casually in the future. Wait for my orders. Fatty Sue smiled and said, Grandpa Six, do you think you can keep this matter a secret? Now you have brought the entire Shijia town down. If you don't say it, people in other villages won't say it. The fact that I am a stranger will be revealed sooner or later. So I might as well admit it openly. Su Dantang kept a straight face. And after a moment of silence, he stared at him and said Chunlei, Now that your wings are strong, you have your own ideas. Right? Fatty Su didn't speak. Just stared into his eyes. Su Dongang was helpless and taught that it's okay if you want to climb high. But don't forget that you are from the Su family. Fatty Su said. Grandpa Six. I actually don't think about anything else. I also want to help you share the pressure. At least let me enter the inner circle of our family. Right? For example, when I received the leaders of the superior organization, you did not inform me. You really treat me like an outsider. Hey. I'm very sad too. When Fatty Su first bargained with Su Dong Tang, he was still a little scared. After all, the opinions of the clan elders over the years have left him. And Otaku, without the courage to speak back. However, when he opened his mouth, he realized that things were not as difficult as he thought. The most important thing is that he found that Su Dong Tang was really afraid and backed down. This boosted his confidence. All the clan elders nodded and bowed in front of the soldiers at Shishan base. He, Fatty Su. Is a stranger after all? But is he any worse than those people? Seeing Su Dongtong's hesitant expression, Fatty Su took a step forward and said, Even if you want to hide me, the people at Shishan base will sooner or later discover that there is a stranger in Sudong village. At that time, people will still think that you are hiding something. Why don't you just let me meet them directly? Which can be considered a sign of your sincerity. In order to obtain information about the troops at Shishan base, Fatty Su had to get close to them. Su Dongtang hesitated for a long time and said uneasily that they will take you back after they know your abilities. Chun Lei, my good grandson, the Su family needs you. Fatty Su's vanity was greatly satisfied. The patriarch of the family was so polite to him, which he would never have dared to think about in the past. Don't worry, Grandpa Six. I won't leave the Su family. He still has his beloved Lily here. How could he leave? 
Su Dongdang could also tell that Fatty Su's mentality had changed and was no longer something he could control easily. So he had no choice but to say, Okay, I'll introduce you to the superior officers, but you have to remember your promise and not leave them. Fatty Su naturally agreed. Su Dongtang reluctantly led Fatty Su to meet Shen Hong, Yu Lang and others. At this time, Shen Hong and his team were repairing inside the igloo. There was a fire in the middle of the igloo, and a group of people were sitting around the fire, eating and warming themselves up. Seeing Su Dongtang coming in with a fat man, the soldiers looked over one after another. When Su Dongtang saw them, his face was filled with a flattering expression. Sirs, are you satisfied with the food we prepared? Shen Hong nodded. Not bad. Yu Lang smiled and said thank you very much. Uncle! He pointed at Fatty Su. Who is this next to you? After Fatty Su entered the door, he did not forget to help Zhang Yi collect information. So his eyes looked at everyone present. This weird look naturally caught Su Lang's attention. Su Dongdang smiled and stretched out his hand to introduce that this is my grandson Su Chunle. He is a stranger. And I will introduce him to all the officers. As soon as they heard that Fatty Su was a stranger, the dozen or so soldiers on the scene immediately stopped what they were doing and looked at Fatty Su with surprise on their faces. The probability of finding aliens in the outside world is very low. Most people die after mutating. Only a few show positive mutations and become aliens with powerful powers. Even in the entire Shishan base, there are not many born aliens today. Although everyone present was a well-trained warrior, none of them was born a stranger. As for Shen Hong and Yu Lang, they only became transformed strangers after paying a huge price. So after they heard that Fatty Su was a stranger, their eyes were full of curiosity, envy and jealousy. Shen Hong stood up immediately and walked in front of Fatty Su. Are you a stranger? What special powers do you have? In order to gain the trust of these soldiers, Fatty Su said that I can control some ice and snow. You see, I built the entire igloo in Sudong village. As he spoke, he gently moved his right hand and the snow on the ground immediately floated up, condensing into a snowball in the palm of his hand. Shen Hong and others' eyes widened, and they no longer had any doubts in their hearts, especially Shen Hong, who walked over excitedly, hugged Fatty Su's shoulders, and shook him vigorously. Okay, okay, I didn't expect that there is a talent like you in this small village. Finding an alien is a huge achievement. In this way, his fault for failing to lead the team can be offset. Can Shen Hong be unhappy? Chapter 266 Intelligence Not only Shen Hong, but all the soldiers enthusiastically called Fatty Su over to eat, drink and chat with him. He is a natural stranger, and as long as he enters the Shishan base, he will be treated like the captain of the ACE team. That will be their leader from now on. Everyone hopes to have a good relationship with Fatty Su. Lao Su, go and ask someone to prepare more food and wine. We are going to have a good drink with this brother today. Shen Hong waved his hand towards Su Dong Tang and asked him to prepare something to eat and drink. Su Dong Tang's face was full of embarrassment. He saw that his superiors had a mediocre attitude towards him as the mayor, but were extremely enthusiastic towards his otaku grandson, who he despised. This huge gap made Su Dong Tang very uncomfortable, but he didn't dare to refute. So he could only smile and nod in agreement. Fatty Su himself never expected that these soldiers would treat him so enthusiastically. But after everyone talked, he knew the cause of the matter. It turns out that people like him are the focus of training at Shishan base. Shen Hong said that people born as strangers have unlimited potential. Let's talk about our captain. The difference between his original strength and ours was not that exaggerated. But since he awakened his superpower, his strength has grown by leaps and bounds. And now it's easy for one person to sweep through our entire company. Shen Hong's tone was full of envy. He patted Fatty Su on the shoulder. Brother, when you get rich, don't forget our brothers. Fatty Su quickly smiled and said for sure, while pushing cups and changing cups. Fatty Su carefully inquired about some information about Shishan base. And what about Shen Hong and others? They knew about the grudge between Su Dongsuan and Zhang Yi. But they didn't know about the secret deal between Fatty Su and Zhang Yi. So they determined that the entire Sudong village had a sworn hatred against Zhang Yi. Therefore, they did not have the slightest doubt about Fatty Su and readily told him some news that was not trivial or serious. That Zhang Yi is really difficult to deal with. We, the frontline troops, were not fully prepared and suffered a big loss. But don't worry. Bro, our Shishan base has strong troops and capable people. It was easy to capture his little sanctuary. When Fatty Su heard this, he smiled and praised. That's right. You are all professional soldiers. How can he compare to an ordinary person? Shen Hong nodded. 
it is indeed impossible for his personal strength to compete with a powerful base. It's a pity that due to the ice and snow, many of the large-scale weapons we want it cannot be used. Otherwise, his shelter will be blown up in a matter of minutes. Thaddeus gave Shinhan a glass of wine and asked with a smile, When will your large army come? I can't wait to see Zhang Yi being dealt with by you. Hey, this Zhang Yi has committed a heinous crime and killed more than a hundred people in Sudong village. I really want to sleep on his skin and eat his flesh. Shin Hong shook his wine glass and smiled confidently. Brother Su, don't be anxious. His bastard cover is so strong that even if we want to blow it off, we still need time to prepare. Oh, so troublesome? Wouldn't it be enough to get more explosives? Fatty Su asked curiously. At this time, Yu Lang next to him explained to him that it is not as easy as you think to carry out a fixed point blasting task. We first need to conduct a detailed survey of the terrain. The data is then uploaded to professional engineers and blasting experts. Through analysis, we can study the appropriate blasting point and the amount of explosives to be used to achieve the best blasting effect. Whether you use too much or too little, the results will be affected. Fatty Su nodded. So that's what happened. Professional. Really professional. He kept the words of several people in mind. As soon as he returned after finishing his meal, he immediately passed all this information to Zhang Yi. After Zhang Yi found out what happened, he couldn't help but look at Fatty Su twice. Unexpectedly, this fat man gradually became smarter. Is this the power of love? What damn love power? I understand. Thank you for the information. But Fatty, do you really not consider joining their Shishan base? Choosing to follow me may not be the best path. Zhang Yi said to Fatty Su with a hint of fun. Fatty Su smiled calmly. Boss, I trust my instincts. Although he and Zhang Yi had not known each other for a long time, Fatty Su could feel that Zhang Yi was at least relatively honest with him when getting along with him. But those soldiers at the so-called Shishan base always made Fatty Su suspicious. Especially the way the soldiers looked at the villagers in Sudong village. They always felt like they were looking at domestic animals. This made Fatty Su very uncomfortable. Fatty Su felt that Zhang Yi was not a gentleman. But at least, he was a person with a true character. At least, he is much more reliable than the unknown Shishan base. You won't regret your choice today. Fat man. Zhang Yi said with a smile. If Fatty Su betrays Zhang Yi one day, Zhang Yi will not be surprised. But if Fatty Su chooses to trust Zhang Yi and be loyal to Zhang Yi, then Zhang Yi will definitely not treat him badly. Okay. Then you continue to observe. Your current information is very important to me. Don't forget to report any trouble to me. Yes. Boss. Zhang Yi hung up the phone. And based on the information he had received so far, he began to think storming and try to figure out how to deal with it. Explosions are indeed their best means to deal with me at the moment. I believe that there must be a large amount of explosives stored in the Shishan base. And it will not be a problem to blow up 10 shelters. But under current conditions, people still need to carry out the blasting task. Then they would have to plant explosives close to the shelter. In this case, I have plenty of ways to deal with them. After all, this is my home court. Zhang Yi didn't have too much fear in his heart. Given the strength of the shelter, the opponent would have to spend a lot of explosives if they wanted to blow it up. Moreover, he could completely retreat underground and abandon the two-story building above ground. The structure of the three underground floors is stronger than that on the ground. Not to mention explosives. Even missiles are difficult to penetrate. Zhang Yi thought for a moment and made a decision immediately. He called all the women at the shelter over and told them the current situation. The Shishan base will come and attack us soon. For safety reasons, the two-story building above the ground is temporarily abandoned. Everyone moves underground. When several women heard the news, they couldn't help but become a little nervous. But you don't have to worry. I'm here for everything. Zhang Yi comforted him with a smile. Don't worry. I know the strength of Shishan base well in mind. They cannot threaten our safety. Through the large amount of information obtained so far, Zhang Yi has a rough judgment on the Shishan base. Tianhai City does not have a large military area and the number of soldiers stationed there is limited. So the armed forces of Shishan base will not be too strong. This can be seen through the strength of the rescue team yesterday. Coupled with the extreme cold and blizzard weather, their biggest reliance heavy firepower equipment was eliminated, and their combat power was sharply reduced. The only thing they can rely on now is their numerical advantage, and a large number of weapons and equipment. But Zhang Yi has already thought of ways to deal with this. Chapter 267 Combat Uniform Seeing Zhang Yi's confident look, the women in the family felt a lot more at ease. Everyone collected the things on the two floors together. 
with the help of Zhang Yi's different space collection ability. This process is very fast. Soon everyone cleaned out a new room underground and moved all the belongings there. Zhou Kier and Yang Mi were responsible for cleaning and tidying up. Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen, on the other hand, continued their busy work according to Zhang Yi's instructions. Zhang Yi called Yang Xinxin over and asked her about the progress of hacking into the Xishan base network. Yang Xinxin frankly said that the other party's network security is very good. I have tried many intrusions, but they have blocked them all. Zhang Yi was not surprised by this result. After all, they are better prepared, both in terms of network equipment and the number of network experts. The people in Xishan base are all the highest ranking figures in Tianhai city. Zhang Yi did not comment on their conduct, but their minds and vision were definitely not comparable to those of ordinary people. Therefore, there are various experts in Xishan base engaged in various tasks. Even if Yang Xinxin is a top hacker, it is not that easy to break through other people's network security defenses. However, Yang Xinxin felt that Zhang Yi was looking down on her, and she bit her lip in dissatisfaction. Brother Zhang Yi, Xinxin is not inferior to them. It's just that it's hard for a clever woman to make a meal without rice. If you want to hack into their network, you must have a media to do it. They use a local area network internally. Unless I can connect to their internet or implant a Trojan virus into their equipment, how can it be so easy to invade? Seeing her aggrieved look, Zhang Yi quickly smiled and comforted her by saying, I don't mean to blame you. As long as you can ensure that our network is not invaded, that's enough. As for whether it can counter invasion, it's best to have it. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't. Zhang Yi has no such thoughts for the time being, such as counterattack. He wanted to protect the safety of the sanctuary first. That was the most important thing. As for connecting to the internet of Shishan base, or implanting Trojan viruses or something, just think about this kind of thing. There is no way he can do it. Yang Xinxin puffs up her not so majestic chest. You can rest assured. As long as I'm here, no one can break through the shelter's network. Yang Xinxin installed a firewall on the shelter's network, and all incoming and outgoing network information will be filtered, coupled with her own surveillance. The possibility of network intrusion was eliminated. Zhang Yi left the network control room and came to Lu Karen's studio. Can be burned. I have a question I would like to ask you. Lu Karen put down his work and quickly pushed over a chair for Zhang Yi to sit down. She wiped the sweat from her forehead. Although she was wearing a sweatband, her face was still covered with beads of sweat after working in this environment for a long time. Brother, what do you want to ask? Zhang Yi crossed his arms and asked seriously what was going on. I would like to ask, if Shishan Base wants to blast our shelter, what method does it usually use? Lu Karen answered without hesitation that the general method for blasting buildings is to use TNT explosives with detonators. This method is used when demolishing old buildings in China. Our shelter is built extremely solidly. And if they want to break through, they can only use this method. Zhang Yi nodded. Then can you estimate how much explosives would be used to blow a hole in our shelter? This problem is not difficult for the genius Lu Karen. Based on the building materials and wall thickness of our shelter, we would need approximately 300 to 800 kilograms of explosives. Lu Karen smiled and scratched his head. But since I haven't measured it specifically, I can only give a rough range. Zhang Yi touched his chin. In other words, about 500 kilograms are needed. With such a large weight, their destination must be very obvious. Do you think it would be feasible if I used a sniper attack to detonate it halfway? Zhang Yi hopes to prevent the other party's blasting behavior through the root cause. But after Lu Karen heard Zhang Yi's thoughts, he immediately shook his head. Brother, I advise you not to have such thoughts. Oh why? TNT is a very stable explosive that cannot be detonated by shooting with bullets or burning with fire. It must be detonated via detonator. Zhang Yi immediately gave up his plan of sniping and detonating. So this is all. It seems that we can only stay at home and carry out defensive counterattacks. Zhang Yi smiled faintly and thought to himself that he had to use the second plan. He looked at Lu Karen. How are you preparing the things I asked you to prepare for me? When Lu Karen heard this, he quickly turned around and showed Zhang Yi what he had made. Brother, look at these things. Are you satisfied? During this time, Lu Karen has been busy preparing weapons and equipment for Zhang Yi. Among them, explosive bombs were the best to make, and she made many. In addition, there are two other things that Zhang Yi is particularly concerned about. One is the heavy sniper that Zhang Yi just captured. The effective range of this heavy sniper is up to 1,850 meters, and one shot can penetrate an armored vehicle. And after Zhang Yi uses the power of precision shooting, 
his effective range can be increased to a terrifying distance of 5,000 meters. In other words, Zhang Yi can kill his opponent from 10 miles away. But there is also a problem that comes with it. Zhang Yi's ability can reach a distance of 5,000 meters. But his gaze cannot. Therefore, he asked Lu Karen to modify an optical sight for him. With this thing, Zhang Yi can really transform into the sixth god of war and snipe from a long distance. In addition to encountering opponents like Lu Ziang who have high agility and extremely fast movement capabilities, or monsters with astonishing defensive power, ordinary aliens are also destined to die if they are targeted by him. For example, Xia Huan Huan, who can walk through walls. The scope was relatively easy to make, and it only took me half a day to make it. And this combat uniform really took me a long time. After Lu Karen finished speaking, he pulled out a black iron box from under the workbench. She struggled to carry the box to the workbench and opened it in front of Zhang Yi. What was displayed in front of Zhang Yi was a set of pure white combat uniforms that were no different from those of Lu Xiang, Shen Hong and others. Zhang Yi's eyes lit up immediately after seeing this combat uniform. Because this combat uniform is so beautiful. After all, it is a combat uniform style specially equipped for special forces. And it looks very beautiful. Especially in the ice and snow. The stealth effect is excellent. Lu Karen was very proud to say that the materials and equipment were all made of special alloys. It is no exaggeration to say that it is difficult for ordinary sniper rifle bullets to penetrate it. Its material cost is at least 20 times that of the soldiers at Shishan base. Hee <laughs> hee. But brother, your family has a big business. So you don't need this little material. It's just that I don't understand. Brother, why do you have to make it the same style as the soldiers at Shishan base? Lu Karen asked curiously. Zhang Yi picked up the combat uniform. A mysterious smile flashed in his eyes. This is very important. You'll understand then. Chapter 268 Luxurious Lineup Zhang Yi took the explosives made by Lu Karen and walked out of the shelter fully armed. Before the large troops from Shishan base arrived, he had to make all defensive preparations around him. The first is to place a large number of bombs around the shelter, even if the other party knew that he had a trap. If he tried to get close, he would have to pass through the bomb-covered area. This is tantamount to a conspiracy, although he didn't know how much damage it could cause to those strangers. Zhang Yi was willing to give it a try as long as there was a possibility of killing the enemy. In a short time, he had buried more than 50 bombs in the snow around the shelter. He can detonate it at any time via the detonator. Then, there is the layout of the monitoring system. The most indispensable thing in Yunk Manor is cameras. After all, the security facilities in this top-notch luxury villa area are still top-notch. However, due to long-term abandonment and lack of stable power supply, the monitoring system was abandoned. Zhang Yi rearranged the circuits and connected the power supply systems of these cameras to the shelter. Then Yang Xinxin was asked to hack into the security system so that Zhang Yi could control the movements of the entire community. In this way, Zhang Yi's preliminary arrangements are basically completed. The next struggle with the Shishan base will be a process of seeing one move at a time. And no one can clearly predict what will happen. He didn't tell Uncle Yu about this. After all, it involves a high fire attack at the troop level. And Uncle Yu may not be able to help much. It's better to leave him outside. It might be an unexpected surprise if necessary. Two days later, Ling Feng led the team to leave the Shishan base and set off towards Xuzha town. In this operation, he brought 50 members of Team A, 12 of whom were reformers. Counting him, there are four powerful captain-level aliens. The members of Team A are all elites, either the best special forces in the military camp or elite talents in other fields. This time when they went to attack Zhang Yi, they received the order to conquer the shelter of Yunk Manor and kill Zhang Yi. However, Ling Feng and others were all confident. With their current lineup, it would be easy to fight against a team of thousands of people, let alone a wild stranger. Among the crowd, only Liang Yu came out with a secret thought that no one knew about. It is definitely not her purpose to defeat Zhang Yi. In fact, she was preparing to escape with the students later. After leaving the Shishan base, you must find a suitable place to survive. And Zhang Yi is also a partner she is considering. If Zhang Yi can withstand the attack from Shishan base, she will consider cooperating with Zhang Yi. But if Zhang Yi can't withstand the attack from Shishan base, she will have to find another way out. More than 50 of the most elite soldiers from the Shishan base set off in a mighty manner. Most of the people were riding sleds. And Chin Xinian approved the only snowmobile in the base to drive away. At a time when gas is hard to come by, this snowmobile means a lot to the Mountain West base. But if you want to pull the large amount of explosives they prepared, you must use it. 
The snowmobile carried two heavy boxes, so much so that the body of the snowmobile was dented into the snow, even if it is a model specially prepared for snow. Driving is still a bit difficult. It can be seen from this that the explosives prepared by Shishan base to deal with Zhang Yi this time are very powerful. Along the way, Ling Feng and others moved forward slowly. At noon that day, they arrived at Sudong village in Xujia town. As for Shen Hong and others, they had been waiting for their arrival outside the village. Fatty Su, as a quasi-member recognized by Shen Hong and others, was also called over. Shen Hong's attitude towards Fatty Su has been particularly good recently. In order to make up for the mistakes he made in this operation, he had to take out Fatty Su and use it as his own merit to gain forgiveness from the organization. The group of people had been waiting for a long time, and Fatty Su was almost impatient. Then he suddenly saw a flash of light and shadow on the horizon. Among the ice and snow, more than 50 soldiers slowly appeared. They were all wearing white combat uniforms, and the weapons in their hands were wrapped in white cloth. When a team of more than 50 people appeared in Fatty Su's eyes, it actually gave him a very powerful pressure. Perhaps, he has realized that these 50 people are about to set off a violent storm in Yunk Manor. Fatty Su swallowed a mouthful of cold saliva, and could only pray secretly in his heart that this storm would not swallow up the entire Xujia town. Members of the special force came to Zijiakin. Shen Hong and Yu Lang quickly stepped forward to salute. Captain, you are finally here. Su Dong Tang and other speakers from Xujia town also followed behind, waiting to be summoned by the Captain Ling Feng. Fatty Su's eyes wandered among the crowd. He knew that there were many powerful masters among these people, especially aliens. But there are more than 50 people. All of them are elites. And even the most ordinary soldiers are veterans, who have been on the battlefield for a long time. None of them are simple. Fatty Su couldn't tell which ones were strangers. At this moment, the snowmobile behind slowly stopped. The soldiers of the special forces cleared a path. A short soldier wearing a white combat uniform walked down. There were three people following him. One was unusually tall. Almost two meters tall. One has a slender figure and is obviously a woman. There was another one with a fur collar around his neck, brown red leather gloves, and holding a black tang knife. The short soldier walked up to Shen Hong and Yu Lang and slowly took off his bulletproof helmet, revealing an ordinary face with Chinese characters. Good job, brothers, Ling Feng said to the soldiers of the rescue team with a faint smile on his face. But when Shen Hong and others heard Ling Feng's words, they looked stunned. This time they were dispatched as a rescue team. But not only did they fail to save anyone, but they lost soldiers and generals. How could they have the shame to talk about the hardship? Ling Feng said lightly that that person was not that easy to deal with. We had misjudged him in the past and were unclear about his strength. So you don't need to blame yourself too much. Shen Hong and others' eyes were filled with emotion. Captain! Ling Feng's eyes suddenly turned cold, as if there were two sharp knives in his eyes. But I will never let the person who killed my brother have a good end. This time we are here. His ending is already determined. Shen Hong straightened his body. After seeing the group of people behind Ling Feng, he also believed that there would be no second possibility for Zhang Yi's ending. Of course, this is his retribution. Chapter 269 Battle Plan While Ling Feng was chatting with Shen Hong, he noticed the fat man next to him. Ling Feng looked curious, pointed at Fatty Su and asked who he was. Shen Hong quickly introduced Captain Dao. This is the stranger I found. His name is Su Chunlei. He has the ability to manipulate ice and snow. And his potential is endless. Once they heard that Fatty Su was a stranger, Ling Feng and others couldn't help but look at him a few more times. Liang Yi recognized him at first sight. They had met him at Tianqing College. However, Liang Yi did not reveal his identity. Because at this time, she was not on the side of Shishan base. Fatty Su swallowed with a flattering expression on his face. But there was a bit of nervousness and fear in his eyes. Even because of his status as Zhang Yi's undercover agent. His legs were shaking. This scene naturally cannot escape the eyes of Ling Feng and others. As tough guys with military backgrounds, they despise those who are timid and afraid of getting into trouble. Moreover, Fatty Su's image, at first glance, looked like that of a useless fat man, which made these soldiers despise him. Ling Feng crossed his arms, and asked what your superpower is? Controlling ice and snow? Yes. Look, I built these houses. Fatty Su pointed at the house in Zijiakin and said, Ling Feng had long noticed that the houses here were made of ice and snow. And he wondered what was going on at first. Now I finally understand. But he didn't even look at Fatty Su. For him, a man who is cowardly will never be allowed. Let alone join his team. Ling Feng thought to himself, take it back 
and let the leader see if it has any effect. But he won't be needed in this operation. Ling Feng walked over and slapped Fatty Su on the shoulder with his right hand. He originally planned to say H, Lo. But how could Fatty Su, who had been emptied of his body by the notebook, be able to withstand his strength? Fatty Su was knocked to the ground on the spot, causing everyone to burst into laughter. Ling Feng's eyes widened. He was wondering how could there be such a weak man. However, out of courtesy, he still reached out and pulled Fatty Su up. Sorry, bro. That. You are a stranger. Right? Not bad. When our operation is over, I will report your situation to the base. At that time, we may be able to get you a qualification to join our base. Ling Feng didn't care too much about Fatty Su. After all, his main focus now is on dealing with Zhang Yi. So after a few simple greetings, Ling Feng took everyone to a combat meeting. As for Su Dong Tang and other talkers in Xuzha Town, there was no chance to talk to them. But a soldier came over and told them to prepare shelter and food. Su Dong Tang was obedient and did not dare to complain. He could only laugh with others and let others meet their requests. More than 50 people from the special operations team and a dozen members from the rescue team crowded into a room and started a lively combat meeting. Professional engineers took out their computers and projected the 3D modeling of Yonk Manor 101 on site. Ling Feng said to everyone, Next, our goal is to capture this strong shelter. According to the careful calculations of our engineers, blasting can be carried out from this position. He pointed to a corner behind him. The equivalent of TNT required to blast this wall is 500 kilograms. We have prepared 1,000 kilograms this time. So we have two opportunities to do it. Ling Feng spread his hands and told everyone with a relaxed expression. If these two operations fail, our base will still store a large amount of explosives. So there is no possibility of failure. It is just a matter of the number of times we perform the task. Relaxed and happy smiles appeared on everyone's faces. Shishan base has strong troops and sufficient weapons and ammunition. It is not easy to attack a mere shelter. Liang Yu held Tang Dao and frowned slightly when she heard these words. She was worried about the safety of Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen. After all, her two students were in Zhang Yi's shelter at this time. Zhang Yi, can you survive this crisis? Liang Yu thought secretly in his heart. However, according to Ling Feng, Qin Xinian's request was to capture Zhang Yi alive. In this way, the shelter will not be destructively blasted. When the time comes, she will take action and save her two students. Ling Feng continued, Next, there is another uncontrollable variable. And that is this strange person named Zhang Yi. When he said this, his eyes glanced at Shen Hong Yulong. The abilities of aliens are all kinds of strange and different. Only by mastering the opponent's abilities can we know his weaknesses and deal with him smoothly. And according to the intelligence you reported, this person is first of all a sharpshooter. However, according to the results of our investigation, Zhang Yi does not have any military training background and is just an ordinary warehouse manager. Therefore, this should be some kind of superpower he possesses. The marksmanship is definitely not terrible. But if it is a special ability that can lock the attack, it will be terrible. Shin Hong immediately said that fortunately his attacks would also be affected by sight. We can prevent him from using this ability by interfering with his line of sight. Ling Feng nodded. Yes, this is easy to fix. When we attacked, we released a large number of smoke bombs and incendiary bombs in advance so that his abilities could not be used. However, he also has a second ability. That is the ability to ignore bullet attacks and even rebound attacks. Ling Feng laughed and said that this ability is quite abnormal. In other words, long-range attacks may be ineffective against him. Therefore, in this operation, we will not have direct contact with him. Instead, he quietly covered his gaze and then sneaked over to place the explosives. Ling Feng said confidently, I don't believe that one person can have such comprehensive powers. If he is a master of long-range combat, then there must be flaws in close combat. So, we just blow open the shelter and rush in. Then you can take it down in minutes. The rest of the people kept nodding and approving of this plan. As long as they fight in close quarters, with Ling Feng around, any opponent will be quickly dealt with. Everyone present except Liang Yu probably knew how terrifying this military king and the top combat power of Shishan base was. Shen Hong continued to say that Zhang Yi is very cunning. He has placed quite a few traps around the sanctuary. And this needs to be taken into account. At that time, he killed several of our people with landmines because of their carelessness. Ling Feng just smiled faintly when he heard this. He put his hands behind his back and said, You guys, you still haven't experienced a real battlefield and lack actual combat experience. 
if he arranged mines and bombs? Wouldn't it be great if we cleared them for him? The blasting expert in the special force looked at Shen Hongyulang and said, Leave this matter to me. The bomb trap laid by a non-professional is just child's play. And there is nothing difficult to solve. Chapter 270 Waiting for Battle Shen Hong and Yu Lang felt ashamed and happy at the same time. They were ashamed of the failure of their operation. But happy that the base had strong troops, sufficient firepower, and abundant talents. There will definitely be no problems dealing with Amir Zhang Yi this time. After the combat meeting, Ling Feng said, Okay, let's set off now. Try to end the battle within three hours. Or even one hour. Ling Feng's face was filled with a relaxed smile. He didn't take this mission too seriously. In the face of absolute strength, all arrangements are meaningless. They are a group of well-equipped and well-trained elite warriors. Is it possible that you really can't deal with an ordinary person with some special powers? That is absolutely a big joke. Ling Feng said about arranging his 50 people to be responsible for various tasks of carrying explosives and sealing off the entire Yonk Manor. As for the rescue team of Shen Hong and others, their individual combat skills were not as good as those of the special force members. So they were left to stay in Xujia town. We'll be back soon. Shen Hong and Yu Lang led us. There is no need for others to follow. They can just help us look after things here. Ling Feng said to Shen Hong Yu Lang and others. Shen Hong and Yu Lang immediately said yes. However, Yu Lang approached Ling Feng and quietly asked if the higher-ups had said what to do with the residents of this town. Ling Feng glanced at Zujiazen and said casually, There's no rush. There are so many of them. And they can't escape. Let's settle the matter with Zhang Yi first. And then ask the leader for instructions later. Shen Hong and Yu Lang nodded without any further expression. Ling Feng led the team. And the soldiers held weapons, explosives and various equipment on their backs. And began to move towards Yunk Manor. They were all dressed in white clothes and armor, and the weapons in their hands were all wrapped in white cloth, like a group of ghosts in the ice and snow. If you don't look carefully, you won't even notice their existence. Arriving at the outskirts of the manor, the tall gatehouse was still standing, and the four gilded characters of Yunk Manor were flying in the air. Shin Hong said that the shelter was right in the center of the villa area. Very conspicuous, but they have snipers, so it's not appropriate for us to rush over there. Last time, their number 30 was tortured terribly by Zhang Yi. Especially that kind of precise marksmanship. Which can blow off a person's head from hundreds of meters away. If they hadn't relied on the many houses here to escape, they would have ended up here that day. Ling Feng nodded, and then looked at several soldiers. You go find a good location and lock that house for me. Immediately, three soldiers carrying large snipers stood up. And the three people dispersed, and went to different locations. The sniper point had been determined through modeling before they arrived. Seeing this, Shen Hong whispered, but the gun seemed to have no effect on that person. Ling Feng took a deep look at Shen Hong and said to him, Shen Hong, you were not born a stranger, so you don't understand the characteristics and shortcomings of a stranger's abilities. Don't just take it at face value. I don't believe that anyone can really ignore bullets. Maybe that's an ability that you and I don't understand. If it was his ability instead of him becoming a transparent monster, it would be convenient for everyone to seize the opportunity and kill him with one shot. Ling Feng's words made Shen Hong suddenly realize. And at the same time, he felt a little regretful. How he wished he could become a natural stranger like Ling Feng. Ling Feng was on the outskirts of Yunk Manor. But he arranged for a methodical attack on the shelter. They had plenty of time. Manpower and ammunition. So there was no need to rush. At this time, the upper two floors of the shelter were basically emptied. And except for things that were difficult to move. Everything else was moved underground. There is no shortage of energy in the shelter, and the fluorescent lamps illuminate every corner brightly, without giving people a dark feeling. Zhang Yi was sitting in the living room on the basement floor, flipping through a paper book in his hand, and the screen in front of him was playing various surveillance systems inside and outside the shelter. After the end of the world, since there was no need to work, Zhang Yi entered a slow rhythm in terms of life. It also made him gradually fall in love with reading. Some of them were taken back from the library and some were from Wang Siming's previous collection. The book in Zhang Yi's hand is The Ordinary World by Lu Yao. Reading this book at this time still makes people feel a little sad. Those ordinary days will eventually go away, and the ordinary world has become a world buried in ice and snow. But the same thing is that humans, creatures with tough character, will work hard to survive no matter how difficult the environment is. Zhou Kier sat next to him with her bare feet and curled up legs, quietly nestling on his shoulder, enjoying the quiet and warm moment with him. But suddenly, 
Zhang Yi noticed something unusual out of the corner of his eye. He raised his eyes to the TV on the wall. Among the hundreds of surveillance cameras, a thick plume of white smoke suddenly appeared, attacking the shelter from all directions. Snapped. Zhang Yi slowly closed the book in his hand and said lightly that they are here. R. Seeing this, Zhou Kier quickly walked over, took Zhang Yi's sneakers, squatted in front of him, and helped him put them on. But Zhang Yi was surprisingly calm. He just put on his equipment, took out the big sniper from another space, and carried it upstairs. You all stay here and don't come up, Zhang Yi said to Zhou Kier. What follows is a man's war, and women do not need to intervene. Zhou Kier looked at him and nodded vigorously. She knew there was nothing she could do for Zhang Yi at this time, and it is best that her only ability should never be used on Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi walked up to the first floor. At this time, there was thick smoke everywhere outside, which had obscured the nearby view. He couldn't see anything except a meter or so around the outer wall. Are you afraid of me? But it is indeed a good idea. After all, he was facing professional soldiers with very high combat literacy. So any situation was possible. Then the next step should be to come over and blast the shelter. A meaningful smile appeared on John Yi's lips. That was the only thing that threatened him. But he has already figured out how to defend against this kind of thing. It was obvious that the enemy had no idea what his abilities were. Since devouring Xie Huan Huan's superpower, John Yi's superpower has been greatly enhanced. The size of his dimensional gate also became larger. The shock wave generated by the explosion can also be swallowed up. He tested this with a grenade in the basement. That's why he was able to have the confidence to compete with such a militarized organization. Chapter 271 Where is my explosive? Ling Feng's team threw a large number of smoke bombs and incendiary bombs at Yonk Manor to prevent Zhang Yi from sniping at the demolition team. The second step is to arrange for EV personnel to begin dismantling the bombs around the villa. Their method was very simple and crude. They did not dismantle it manually, but used detonating cords to detonate it directly. This is a commonly used detonation method among the army. Chain explosives are used to cover a large area and detonate surrounding explosives through explosions. Zhang Yi turned on the active noise reduction function at the highest level, and the noise outside was immediately isolated, in order to prevent the subsequent explosion from being too loud and damaging his eardrums. Zhang Yi also wore professional-grade noise-canceling headphones, although this made him almost deaf. But when he thought that the other party might use 500 kilograms of TNT to blast the shelter, he believed that it was completely necessary to do so. Fires exploded outside one after another. The bomb traps Zhang Yi had laid out for a long time were all detonated by the other party. Zhang Yi said with emotion that professional soldiers are professional soldiers. There are regrets, but not many. After all, you have to be mentally prepared to play against such a professional player. The reason why Shen Hong and others were able to be blown up last time was partly because of stealing the chicken. This time the other party is prepared. So naturally it is impossible for them to stupidly walk over and step on the trap. After all the traps on the outside were eliminated, Ling Feng ordered the blasting team to move in. Everyone else gets ready for cover. Behind him, three captain-level strangers, including Liang Yu, were also ready. Once they find signs of Zhang Yi showing up, they will attack immediately. But now, due to the existence of the shelter, none of their skills have any use. As for Liang Yu, she secretly expected Zhang Yi to bring her a surprise. At this time, Zhang Yi was not impatient at all. No matter what the other party does, he can let them do it. After all, the essence of a shelter is defense, not offense. But if the other party wants to attack his shelter, they can only use blasting. He looked at the monitor in his hand. Although the entire community was shrouded in thick white smoke, it was not enough for him to completely lose his sight. Because if the fog is too thick, the opponent's demolition soldiers can't see clearly the location of the shelter. So this white smoke is just to make it impossible for him to snipe. But through the monitoring system of the entire community that had been connected for a long time, Zhang Yi could see those hazy figures approaching the shelter. Coming! Zhang Yi's eyes became calm and sharp. Next comes the main event. If you want to defend the shelter, the most important thing is to block the opponent's blasts. Use extra dimensional space to absorb the shock wave generated by the explosion. Therefore, Zhang Yi did not make any attack move, but just judged the blasting point chosen by the opponent, and then followed him. A few minutes later, he found the location of the demolition soldiers through the remaining surveillance cameras outside the wall. Each of these demolition soldiers carried heavy explosives on their bodies. And when they arrived at the wall, they placed the explosives under the wall. The detonators are then installed for deployment. Johnny stared at them intently. In a short while, 
This group of well-trained demolition soldiers placed 500 kilograms of explosives. And then they quickly evacuated. Zhang Yi's eyes widened, staring straight at the pile of TNT explosives outside the wall. Just leave like that? But that's right. If they don't leave, they won't be able to stay and be blown to death. You must wait until the person reaches a safe distance and then detonate via remote control. But for Zhang Yi, this was a speechless event. He touched his chin and murmured that maybe from the beginning. I thought things were too complicated. On the other side, after the demolition soldiers placed a large amount of explosives, they immediately left Yunk Manor as planned. After all, this is 500 kilograms of TNT. Its power can destroy a building dozens of stories high. They had to escape to a safe distance before they could detonate. At this time, Ling Fong and others also came to a small hill not far away, looking at the shelter shrouded in smoke from a distance. The voice of the demolition soldier came over the intercom. Captain, the explosives have been deployed and our retreat is complete. Ready to detonate at any time. A smile appeared on Ling Feng's lips. Receive. He took out the detonator and told several teammates next to him that this mission was easier than we thought. I originally thought that this Zhang Yi must have some ability to kill so many of our Peo's brothers. After speaking, he gently pressed the detonation switch with his right hand. Everyone covered their ears, waiting for the earth-shattering explosion. But a few seconds passed and nothing happened? Um, why didn't it explode? Liang Yi frowned and said curiously. Ling Feng also felt a little strange. So he picked up the remote control again and pointed it in the direction of the shelter and pressed it several times. But there was no reaction at all. How is this going? R. Ling Feng frowned and used the walkie-talkie to contact the people in the demolition team. Why didn't the explosive explode when the detonation switch was pressed? The people in the demolition team over there were also puzzled. Impossible. We checked it carefully, and there was nothing wrong with the arrangement. Ling Feng was a little angry. They were all elites under his command. But they could make such a low-level mistake. It was so embarrassing. But the current situation is that I press the switch. But nothing happens. Go check it out right away. If you have any problems, let me take care of them at once. Yes. The people in the demolition team were wondering. There was no way they could have made a stupid mistake. But the detonation failed. Something must have gone wrong. So several team members ran back to the scene again, intending to check if something was wrong. But when they arrived at that place, everyone was dumbfounded. A pile of explosives originally piled in the corner suddenly disappeared inexplicably. Huh? Where's my dynamite? The members of the demolition team were so confused that they even thought they were in the wrong place. On the opposite side of the wall, Johnny looked at the 500 kilograms of explosives in his own alien space and fell into deep thought. Yes or no? Too simple? He doesn't want to be so relaxed. In fact, the other party gave it completely for free. Put a bunch of explosives into his corner. And then he left. Zhang Yi sighed and said, They are all good people. On the hill, Ling Feng was stunned as he listened to the news coming from the walkie-talkie. What? No more explosives? How could the explosives be gone? Didn't you personally arrange them? Could it be that you saw a ghost? Or did you eat the explosives? Chapter 272 The friends were all shocked. When Ling Feng learned about the disappearance of the explosives, he was so angry that he cursed his mother. Everything was going smoothly, except for the last step, which was to detonate Zhang Yi's shelter. But in the end, someone suddenly told him that the explosives disappeared out of thin air. Isn't this funny? Why was the explosive gone? Was it stolen by Zhang Yi? Ling Feng asked through gritted teeth. Although a failure made him angry, it was not the most terrifying thing. There is no shortage of weapons and ammunition in Shishan base. And the amount they brought this time is enough for one use. The most important thing is to figure out why. The people from the demolition team said it was impossible. That was 500 kilograms of explosives. And he couldn't move it that fast. Besides, even if it is moved away by him, an explosive device has been installed inside. And it will definitely explode as long as you press the button. But now, there's not even a movement. I, I don't know what's going on. Weird. This is really weird. These demolition soldiers have been engaged in demolition tasks for many years and have also demolished large buildings for some important projects. But this was the first time I encountered such an incredible situation. Ling Feng asked, Could it be that you got the wrong place? Go search the entire shelter area again. I have searched them all. And there is no way that such an obvious target will be lost. Ling Feng completely lost his temper. He put away the walkie-talkie and frowned. Unbelievable situation. Right? 
It seems that Zhang Yi must have used his superpower to prevent the explosive from being detonated. According to the current preliminary judgment, his superpower is spatial ability. By the way, this is only reasonable. The explosives are stored in another space. Even if I press the switch, the explosives cannot receive the signal and cannot explode. Ling Feng quickly analyzed Zhang Yi's abilities. But I know that how to solve this problem has still become a huge problem. If they want to blast the shelter, they can only transport explosives there and then conduct remote blasting. But once the explosives are shipped, Zhang Yi can take them away. What about blasting from a distance? For example, missiles or something. Don't be ridiculous. Tianhai City doesn't have that much authority to mobilize missiles to attack Zhang Yi's shelter. And Ling Feng didn't know whether Zhang Yi's space ability could contain all the missiles. If his ability is really like this, then things will be difficult. A haze appeared in Ling Feng's heart. Only then did he realize that things were not as simple as he thought. That's right. From the time they came here until now, they haven't encountered much tough resistance from Zhang Yi. Even the explosives placed outside the shelter were easily detonated by them. However, the most powerful thing about Zhang Yi is not his offensive methods, but his defensive abilities an indestructible shelter, a perverted space power that can absorb almost all forms of attacks. How to fight this? A century's problem was placed in front of Ling Feng. Behind Ling Feng, Sher Deong, who was as strong as a bear, came over and said, Captain, I have an idea. Since if we use explosives, they will be stolen by him. We might as well just use cannons. Ling Feng looked at Sher Deong's dark face and couldn't help but tilted his head and asked, Let me ask you, can we fire the large caliber cannon over now? Go and carry it. Sure, Deong said rocket launchers would also work. Although the speed is a bit slow. As long as we continue to attack a gap, we can always break it. We have plenty of time to spend with him. Didn't the leader also say that as long as we can capture Zhang Yi's shelter, it will be worth it no matter how much time and ammunition is spent? Ling Feng looked at the upright guy in front of him, took a deep breath angrily, turned his head, and didn't want to talk to him. Zhang Xuerong who was standing next to him, sneered and walked over to Sher Deong and said, let alone the power of the rocket launcher, how long would it take to blast away such a thick wall? Didn't Shen Hong say that before? Weapons in the ordinary sense have no effect on him. I guess they were all transferred to other dimensions by him. Speaking of this, Zheng Xuerong himself couldn't help but frown and said what a perverted ability. This person's superpowers are really terrifying. And his defense is almost invincible. Sher Deong argued. Then we will let dozens of people attack from all directions and angles. He is just one person. There is no way he can guard against so many angles. Right? Zhang Xuerong rolled his eyes. Do you really think his house is just ordinary reinforced cement concrete? If it was so easy to be breached by rocket launchers, would we still have to spend so much effort on surveying and modeling? And then bring a large amount of explosives? A dispersed attack wanted to break through this shelter. Even if their Shishan base had sufficient ammunition, they could not afford such a large level of consumption. Only Liang Yu stood behind the crowd with Tang Dao in his arms, with a strange light shining in his eyes. This Zhang Yi. I didn't expect to have such strength. Thinking about it this way, Liang Yu had a lot more expectations for Zhang Yi. But the thought of her beloved sword Long Ming being taken away by Zhang Yi made her grit her teeth. Ling Feng realized that Zhang Yi was a difficult opponent and did not dare to underestimate the enemy. He called the demolition team over, and discuss with them how to capture the shelter. Now we still have 500 kilograms of explosives on hand. In other words, we only have one chance left for this operation. You must think carefully about how to successfully explode this iron bastard. The people in the demolition team were very depressed when they found out that Zhang Yi had used his powers to take away their explosives. If you want to blast, in principle, you can only do it from a distance. But there are exceptions. That is, artificial detonation. One of the warriors suggested. As soon as these words came out, the atmosphere at the scene became awkward. Manually detonating 500 kilograms of explosives? Let's not talk about whether that person will die or not. I am afraid that even the bones and dregs will not be found. And he will be cremated on the spot. Ling Feng glanced at him and said coldly, I can't possibly let my brother die. Everyone was silent. If one person could be sacrificed to break through Zhang Yi's shelter, it would undoubtedly be worth it. But the question is, who is willing to sacrifice for it nowadays? The Shishan organization is just an armed force. And everyone wants to stay together and survive together. If they defend their homeland and fight against foreign enemies, they are not afraid of death. But they were unwilling to let them die just to attack a private house. 
Ling Feng added that since Zhang Yi had the ability to put away the explosives, even if he sent someone there, would he definitely not be able to do it? Too many people went, and the sacrifice was too great. There are fewer people going, so I don't think they are necessarily his match. After all, this is a very powerful enemy. Therefore this plan will be discarded and other options will be rethought. Chapter 273 Throwing At this time, the engineer from the demolition team stood out from the crowd. He pushed up his glasses and said, I think there is another way that you can try. Everyone looked at the engineer. He was previously an academician of the Tianhai Institute of Physics. He was a cutting-edge talent and was specially recruited to the Shishan base. Academician Wu, please share your thoughts. Academician Wu said that the space power of the man named Zhang Yi may prove the theory of the multiverse. But as we all know, energy is conserved, and the energy generated by the explosion will not disappear for no reason, can only be transferred. So his ability is just to absorb the materials or energy that originally existed into other places. And once the energy absorbed is too large, what will be the consequences? Academician Wu's explanation was simple and easy to understand. And Ling Feng gave the answer immediately. A crash will occur. Academician Wu nodded. He just stole our explosives. But he may not dare to take action when the explosives are in detonation state. After all, that is 500 kilograms of TNT. Sure, Daeong asked what if he could swallow the power of the 500 kilograms of TNT explosion. Academician Wu took a deep breath then said with his hands behind his back. If that happens, even if we use all the strength of our entire Shishan base, we will not be able to do anything to him. He also told the truth. If that happens, all thermal weapons will be ineffective against Zhang Yi. So you want to break through that indestructible fortress relying solely on artificial intelligence? It's just a fool's errand. Even if Zhang Yi allowed them to destroy it, they would not be able to spend a lot of manpower and time to destroy the shelter in such a low temperature environment. Ling Feng said firmly that we must try this matter to know the answer. And I don't believe that his ability is so strong. Tianhai City does not allow such an awesome person to exist. He immediately formulated a countermeasure, bundled the remaining 500 kilograms of TNT explosive and set it to detonate for 30 seconds. Finally, throw the large bundle of explosives over it. We have no better way now. So we can only try this. The demolition team immediately began to bundle the remaining 500 kilograms of explosives and set the detonation mode. Ling Feng did not rush to take action. Instead, he ordered his soldiers to fire intensively at the shelter from all directions and angles in order to divert Zhang Yi's attention. Soon, soldiers everywhere received the order and began to fire violently at the shelter. And what is Zhang Yi doing now? He was in the room, waiting for the next move of the soldiers at Shishan base. Zhang Yi knew that these people would be very confused after discovering that the explosives they had worked so hard to transport had been stolen. However, they will definitely not give up so easily and will definitely take the next step. However, Zhang Yi didn't know how they would attack again. It wasn't until the surveillance showed that the entire shelter had been violently attacked by gunfire from several directions that Zhang Yi took a closer look. Gun? Don't they know that this thing isn't even a tickle for my sanctuary? Zhang Yi suddenly laughed when he saw the fire attacks from all directions. It seems to be for cover, which means there is a real attack method behind. Okay. Let me see what other methods you have. Johnny had a smile on his face. But his eyes were very cautious, and he did not dare to be careless in the slightest. After the gunfire rang out, a large bundle of explosives weighing 500 kilograms was finally ready on a low mountain two kilometers away. It's just that it's very difficult to throw such a heavy explosive to the shelter from this distance. Without the help of tools, ordinary people can't even think about it. Ling Feng walked to the explosives, reached out and patted it, and looked at each other with Sher Daeong. Sher Daeong grinned, and then quickly took off his combat uniform. Liang Yu looked at him in surprise, wondering what this big man wanted to do. In such a cold weather, he took off only his boxers. But the next moment, Sher Daeong told her the reason for doing this. Every muscle in his body began to twist as if there were worms crawling on it. Then the whole body slowly expanded, and a layer of silver hair grew out of the pores. Fangs sprouted from its mouth, and its fingers turned into sharp claws. Sher sure, Daeong turned into a two-foot-tall silverback giant ape. Liang Yu secretly thought that his ability is to transform into a giant ape. Sher sure, Daeong and Ling Feng hugged the bundle of explosives. After Academician Wu set the time, he gave them a signal, and the two of them worked together to throw the explosive towards the shelter. Ling Feng's body was less than one-third of Sher sure Daeong's body after transformation. But when he threw the explosives, there was no effort at all. The explosives flew toward the shelter like cannonballs. 
according to Academician Wu's calculations. It can explode when it reaches 50 meters around the shelter. This yield, even if it cannot directly blast a hole in the shelter, can still cause huge damage. As long as they can succeed this time, they can continue to carry out such attacks in the future. After all, they have enough explosives in their base to consume. The bundle of explosives flew from a distance, and the target was so clear that Zhang Yi noticed it at a glance through the surveillance camera. So that's what I plan to do. Zhang Yi instantly understood what the other party's purpose was. He came to the direction where the explosives were flying, and a flash of white light flashed in the pupil of his right eye. Then, a huge dimensional door opened above the shelter, which was dozens of square meters in size. At the same time, he also divided the different spaces. Separate the area where supplies are stored from the area where explosives are to be received to prevent this energy from blowing up the family property that you have worked so hard to save. The bundle of explosives accurately fell into the alien space in the form of a parabola. With a thought in his mind, Zhang Yi observed the internal changes. The sight surprised him, because the large bundle of explosives had begun to expand and undergo violent energy reactions. The flow rate of time in different spaces is much lower than that of the outside world. But time still passes. So to the outside world, there is no difference in this process. And everything that should happen will still happen as usual. The next moment, Zhang Yi's dimensional door was directly shattered. The turbulent energy spread over the shelter. And the sound of the explosion was deafening. Even Liang Yu and others, who were two kilometers away, couldn't help but cover their ears. But Ling Feng and others were full of joy. It worked. It really worked. Chapter 274 Can't Devour the explosion outside the shelter was as terrifying as a volcanic eruption. And the raging fire shot into the sky. The terrifying explosion would make people feel frightened even if they looked at it from a distance. The entire shelter was shaking. And Zhang Yi was shaken so much that he almost fell to the ground. He stabilized his body with difficulty. The sudden change did not even occur to him. The alien space was unable to withstand the excessive expansion of force and was forced to release part of the pressure. Which caused an external explosion. And this result also caused Zhang Yi to be unable to open another space in a short period of time. He could feel that his superpower was slowly being drawn out. Repairing the door to the different space. Most of the power of the explosion was sealed in the alien space in the form of pure energy. This thing will come in handy in the future. The explosion caused smoke to fill outside. Zhang Yi took a deep breath. Stabilized his body. And quickly observed the changes in the shelter. There were actually a few cracks on the glass outside. Although it was not deep. It was still several centimeters. He took out his cell phone. Shall I? And reported the extent of damage to the house. Okay. An analysis of the entire house has been completed. Damage was found in the southwest corner. With a damage level of 22.6%. Since the explosive is an air explosion and most of the force is absorbed. The damage caused is still within an acceptable range. If you look from the outside at this time. You can see that a large layer of wall skin has fallen off the outer wall of the shelter. With the same attack, they had to accurately blast three more times at the same location to have a chance of blowing up the fortress. This also requires that they attack from the same position. However, they have already consumed 1,000 kilograms of explosives. The explosives in hand should not be enough to launch the next round of attack. Got it. Is there still such an attack method? Okay. Okay. I do have some abilities. But you won't be able to successfully use the same method a second time. Johnny stared out the window at the direction in which the explosives were flying. He had already confirmed the location of the enemy. It is rude to come and go without reciprocating. We can't really let them think that Johnny will only be beaten passively. Right? If you want to accurately throw explosives from a distance. That low mountain is indeed the best place. However, Johnny can't use the different space now. So he can't counterattack yet. But he knew that after these guys tasted the sweetness, they would continue to attack with the same method. There is an upper limit to the attack energy that can be absorbed by different spaces. This reminded me. However, this problem is not too big. Because the dimensional gate is destroyed. But it does not affect the ontology of the different space. You just need to use the special powers in your body to slowly recover. Zhang Yi glanced at the low mountain in the distance. And then slowly retreated underground. Next. Even if the soldiers at Shishan base blow up the ground above the ground. Zhang Yi will not come out. He has to wait for his different space gate to recover. Which is his most powerful defense and counterattack method now. On top of a low mountain. Ling Feng looked through the telescope and saw obvious scars on half of the walls of the shelter. A large part of the wall has fallen off. But the hole is still strong. With no signs of collapse or cracking. 
Ling Feng gasped. That was 500 kilograms of explosives. Even a 30-story building will be destroyed in an instant. Academician Wu came over, took a look at it, and said leisurely that this is unscientific. According to our calculations, it cannot be just this effect. But he couldn't change his words throwing the explosives manually is a primitive method in itself and cannot achieve the best effect of the explosives. There is another possibility that most of the power of the explosion was also swallowed up by Shang using his supernatural powers. After listening to Academician Wu's words, everyone around them had horrified looks in their eyes. Devour? Can he swallow such a large amount of explosive power? Sure, Deong. Zhang Xuerong and Liang Yu's eyes were full of surprise. They are all aliens. And they are all very powerful aliens. But they know that they will definitely die if they are in the center of such a terrible explosion. Not to mention swallowing up part of the power of the explosion. Zhang Yi is indeed extraordinary. Liang Yu thought to himself. Zhang Xuerong looked at Ling Feng worriedly. If this is true, doesn't it mean that it will be difficult for us to capture the sanctuary? That's not the case. Ling Feng handed her the telescope which had a good effect. It just takes a few more attempts to completely open a hole. Moreover, you don't need to be too afraid. This person's defense is very strong. But he has been hiding inside and dare not come out. He can only use a sniper rifle as an offensive method. This shows that he is good at defense. But not good at offense. Everyone nodded. Thinking that Ling Feng's analysis was very reasonable. If a person is capable of both offense and defense and possesses heaven-defying abilities, then he simply shouldn't exist in this world. So what do we do next? The explosives brought this time are not enough. Sure Deong asked. Their only transportation was a snowmobile and a dozen dog sleds. Transporting 1,000 kilograms of TNT explosives at one time is already difficult. Ling Feng said there was no rush. We would go back first and then send someone to the base to get explosives. Leave a few people to take turns watching the surroundings to prevent the people in the shelter from escaping. Let's spend it slowly with him without explosives. There was nothing that could be done about the shelter. Ling Feng knew this very well. Tough battles often last for a long time. So he still has some patience. So Ling Feng began to arrange the special teams. 24 hours a day, groups of three take turns monitoring the movements of the shelter. Because the outside temperature is too cold. It is impossible to squat all the time even if you are wearing cold-proof clothes. So personnel must be rotated. On the other hand, Ling Feng went back to escort the explosives himself. As for the others, they will return to Sudong village to rest for a while. Everyone acted separately. Zhang Yi temporarily abandoned the two-story building just in case. In this way, even if the opponent still has explosives in their hands, the most they can do is break through the surface. But it is impossible to break through the underground space with even more amazing defense. After arriving underground, the women at home came over nervously to ask about Zhang Yi's battle situation. Brother Zhang Yi, what's going on outside now? The sound just now sounded like the sky was falling. Zhou Care came over and asked with a worried look. Several other women also looked a little uneasy. This was the first time in their lives that they experienced such a horrific explosion. Even though it was in the basement and filtered by the noise reduction function. The entire shelter was shocked by the explosion. Causing obvious vibrations. Chapter 275 Uncle Yu wants to help. Zhang Yi comforted them and said there was no need to worry. The underground defense was stronger than the two layers above ground. They cannot threaten this place in a short time. I guess they don't have much explosives left. And their attacks on us are about to stop. As for when they attack again in the next round, I already know how to deal with them. Zhang Yi's smile made them feel at ease. However, Zhang Yi did not explain the issue of different spaces. His ability is a secret. And he will not tell anyone unless absolutely necessary. Zhang Yi waited in the basement for a long time, but did not feel the other party's attack again. Not to mention explosive attacks. Even ordinary gunfire is gone. Zhang Yi was finally sure that the explosives in the opponent's hands had been exhausted. There is a distance of more than 50 kilometers from here to the Shishan Refuge. Even if they go back to pick it up now, it will take most of a day if they carry a weight of thousands of kilograms. Zhang Yi was sitting on the sofa in the living room, observing the outside world through the monitor while asking Yang Mi to prepare food and replenish his physical energy. The energy source of superpowers is mainly food. Now that Zhang Yi's dimensional gate is destroyed, superpowers must be consumed to restore it. So Zhang Yi has to eat a lot of food. Another point is about the monitoring of the outside world. After that huge explosion, more than a dozen surrounding villas were reduced to rubble by the shock wave, and the surveillance cameras were also completely destroyed. 
Only the majority of the surveillance built into the shelter's walls is still functioning. Fortunately, the area of the wall damaged by the blast was not too large and would not interfere with Zhang Yi's field of vision. In this way, the other party would have no way to turn Zhang Yi completely blind. Zhang Yi looked at the hundreds of surveillance images on the screen, looking coldly in the direction of the short mountain. Next time you come again, I won't deal with you so easily. After finding out the details of the opponent, Zhang Yi can attack. Yang Mi brought over a lot of food, while Zhou Kira came behind him and rubbed his shoulders to relieve the pressure. At this time, the security of the entire base rests on this man. Women are also becoming more and more attended to him. Zhang Yi took out his cell phone and sent a message to Fatty Su, asking him about the movements of the troops in Xijia town. It didn't take long for Fatty Su's news to come back. Boss, what happened there just now scared me to death. With the sound of the explosion, I even suspected that Yunk Manor had been blown up. Huh. Luckily you're fine. Lucky me. Many of those soldiers came back. And I saw some people leaving the village and heading west. After Zhang Yi saw the news about Fatty Su, he immediately understood that the situation was what he thought. They went back to get explosives. What are others doing? What else can you do? Come back and rest. Gone. Judging from their current state, they plan to stay here for a long time. And they will need food and drink as soon as they come back. Fatty Su's complaints made Zhang Yi reveal a deep smile. If this shelter cannot be conquered for a long time, then the whole Xuxia town will be the most unlucky, because it has been regarded as its stronghold by Shishan base. And they will ask everyone in Xuxia town to provide food and drink for these more than 60 people. Zhang Yi didn't sympathize with him, but instead looked forward to whether they would break up and start a quarrel. Very good. You continue to help me find out the information. Zhang Yi said to Fatty Su. Fatty Su said with some worry. Boss, their troops are quite elite, and there are several strangers among them. Can you handle it? Certainly, Zhang Yi said calmly, his tone full of confidence. I have completely figured out their offensive methods. What Zhang Yi was most fortunate about at this time was that he made a decisive decision that night and killed a strange woman who could walk through walls. Otherwise, the impregnable shelter he relies on most will become a complete joke. As for other aliens, what can they do no matter how powerful they are? Can it be compared to 500 kilograms of TNT explosive? Let him be strong when he is strong. Let him be strong when the breeze blows on the hills. And let him be when the bright moon shines on the river. I'm not going out to fight you. So who cares how good you are? Come in if you can. John Ego felt at ease. He reminded Fatty Sue again that Xuxia Town is not safe. And you must remember to be wary of those people at all times. If one day you sense danger, you can come to me at any time. Brother will protect you. Fatty Su was such a useful and obedient tool. Zhang Yi was reluctant to let him get into trouble. And with one more stranger by his side, he will have more fighting power. If one day, there is a need for a head-on conflict, Fatty Su's ability to stir things up will definitely make the other party miserable. Fatty Su nodded excitedly. Thank you. Boss, if such a day comes, I will definitely go over and join you. The implication is that it is not possible yet. After all, Fatty Su still had someone he was attached to Sue Lily. The girl he thought of as by Yue Duong after only seeing her a few times. It's up to you to figure this out. Zhang Yi didn't force it. It was just up to him to decide on this matter. The two ended the call. Zhang Yi was eating while enjoying the service of the two beauties beside him. After a while, he received another call from Uncle Yu. It turned out that Uncle Yu heard the sound of the explosion from far away. So he called to ask about Zhang Yi's situation. Zhang Yi smiled lightly. Uncle Yu was one of the people he trusted most. And the two of them really had a lifelong friendship. He didn't hide anything and told Uncle Yu that Shishan Base was attacking his shelter. What? Why should they attack you? Uncle Yu was filled with indignation after hearing this. Isn't their duty to protect us? As a veteran, Uncle Yu could not suppress his anger when he heard the troops were attacking Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi smiled lightly and said disapprovingly, Uncle Yu, they are different now from you back then. Many things can be changed in the last days. The surviving group of people are just armed organizations. And they are only loyal to their own organization. Do you understand? Except for the stricter organizational discipline and the fact that the official organization was born before the end of the world. They are no different from the Trina gang and the Mad Wolf gang that we destroyed. In order to live a better life, everyone will compete with each other for supplies and even fight. I'm used to it. Zhang Yi said it calmly. But Uncle Yu fell into silence. For him, this incident was a big blow. After a while, he said firmly, John Yi, wait for me to come over. 
when you encounter such a big thing. I have to help you. Chapter 276 Support from Shijia Town Even though he knew that he was in huge danger here, Uncle Yu still came to help without hesitation, which made Zhang Yi feel warm in his heart. Uncle Yu, thank you, but you better stay away for now. There are many soldiers guarding the area. If you come, you will definitely have a conflict with them. A good man cannot stand up to a pack of wolves. They were numerous, well-armed, and had several strangers. I'm afraid you are in danger. Uncle Yu said that it was you who saved my life in the first place. And it was you who gave me such a stable life now. I can't watch you get into danger and ignore it. Don't worry. No matter what. I also worked hard in the army for many years. Uh-huh. I'm not bragging to you. I was actually on the battlefield back then. Nowadays, I really don't take these child soldiers seriously. Seeing Uncle Yu's kindness, Zhang Yi thought about it for a while and then said, Let's do this. Uncle Yu, I'm pretty safe right now and they can't get in. But I may launch a counterattack later. You wait for my news. When I need your help, I will notify you and let you act as a surprise force. What do you think? Upon hearing this, Uncle Yu nodded and agreed. Okay, I'll wait for your news. But Zhang Yi, please remember to tell me if you encounter any problems. Don't treat your Uncle Yu as an outsider. Zhang Yi couldn't help but feel warm in his heart. Uncle Yu is a sincere person. That's necessary. Uncle Yu is a person with physical enhancement abilities. Zhang Yi has seen his abilities before. And he can catch Wahua's full speed impact with his bare hands. Ordinary firearms cannot cause harm to him. Such a powerful melee player must be placed in the right position to be able to play a huge role not needed yet. To defend and counterattack. I have to defend first. Johnny leaned on Joe Keir's soft chest, squinting his eyes, enjoying and thinking at the same time. The civic cat Hwawa jumped on his lap, scratched his trouser legs twice, then narrowed his eyes and sat down on his feet with a purring sound. Johnny stroked its soft hair. He, Uncle Yu, and the demon cat Hwawa. The three strangers are a powerful fighting force. The other party doesn't know the existence of Hua Hua and Uncle Yu, which can be regarded as a hidden trump card for him. However, it would be better if Fatty Su could also join this battle. There's no rush. It's just a matter of time. Zhang Yi stroked Hua Hua's head with a smile and ran his right hand along its forehead all the way to its tail. It felt comfortable and raised its tail high. I don't believe that the soldiers at Shishan base can live in harmony with the villagers in Shijia town. Ling Feng took his people back to transport the explosives while most of the remaining people remained in Sudong village. Since Ling Feng had told him to prepare for a long war, Sher Deong called Fatty Su and Su Dantang over. He told the two of them, we will live here for a while, and you will free up some houses for us to live in. Also remember to prepare meals for 65 people every day. Fatty Su's heart skipped a beat. Meals for 65 people? He has seen these big-headed soldiers eating. Which one is more edible than the other? In the apocalypse, the villagers in Shijia town only seek food and clothing and dare not waste any food, just to survive for a while. But according to the appetite of these 65 soldiers, at least one person can eat food for five of them. If things go on like this, their Shijia town really can't afford to entertain them. Su Dongtong's eyes also changed again and again. He thought for a moment, then smiled and said, That's natural. It is our honor for Shijia town to have all the superior leaders come to guide us. But, I wonder when the murderous maniac Zhang Yi can be subdued. Su Dongtang originally thought that these soldiers from Shishan base were here to deal with Zhang Yi. As long as Zhang Yi and the others are dealt with, they will leave. He never expected that Zhang Yi could withstand their attack. Now he only hopes that the offensive of the soldiers at Shishan base can be faster. Sure Da Young's attitude towards Su Dongtang was relatively cold. How to act and how long to act. These are our military secrets. It's okay. Don't come and inquire. You villagers just need to provide us with food and accommodation as required. After all, we are also helping you get revenge. Right? Sher Dayong's voice and body shape were so oppressive that Su Dongtang didn't dare to fart in front of him. So he could only nod his head and agree. After Sher Dayong left, Su Dongtang straightened his back and told Fatty Su Chunlei, Hurry up and build the snow house. These houses are prepared for the leaders of Shishan base. You must be careful. After giving orders to Fatty Su, Su Dongdang called the village chiefs of each village and asked them to prepare food and offer it to the soldiers. After everyone heard this, they didn't think much about it. They just thought that these soldiers at the Shishan base would leave after a day or two. And they rushed to offer good things from the village, hoping to leave a good impression on them. 
Only in this way can they seek an official position in the future. Fatty Sue looked at this scene and felt very worried. But now, he has learned to be smart and didn't say a word again. Because he knows that no matter what he says now, these people will not wake up. In their eyes, no matter how strong I am, I'm just a useless fat nerd. He he. Fatty Sue smiled mockingly and didn't bother to worry about it. He only hopes to protect himself and Sue Lily's family. On Zhang Yi's side, in order to prevent soldiers from Shishan base from sneak attacks while he was sleeping, he arranged for personnel to take turns guarding the monitoring equipment. He concluded that the opponent's next attack would definitely be in the same position as the previous attack. So he locked the direction of the short mountain. Although the ultra-clear camera cannot clearly capture images two kilometers away in the wind and snow. But if the other party wants to transport heavy explosives, there will be obvious movements, which will be observed by the camera. In order to prevent the women from not observing carefully enough, Johnny assigned Lucarin, the most reliable of the four, to take charge of this task. She also asked Hua Hua to accompany her. Cats have much better insight than humans. Hua Hua understands human nature. And Zhang Yi used several boxes of dried fish as a price to successfully get him to accept the job. At other times, Zhang Yi himself was responsible for guarding. However, that night, the Shishan base did not take any action against the shelter. Although night raid is a very good choice. But both the above ground floors of the shelter have been cleared. And there will be no light. Ling Feng and Sher Deong had amazing physical abilities, but they were unable to accurately drop the explosives to the last location in the dark. Chapter 277 I Will Kill Myself In the early morning of the next day, Zhang Yi was woken up by the sound of Hua Hua. Zhang Yi opened his eyes suddenly and climbed up from the sofa. In the past few days, he slept with his clothes on, just to be able to deal with emergencies at any time. He walked to the surveillance camera and took a look. And sure enough he found something moving on the other side of the short mountain. Do you want to attack me while I'm sleeping? What a thief! In the early morning, everyone was very sleepy. Ling Feng planned to take advantage of Zhang Yi's sleep to launch an attack. Although he didn't know if this method would be effective. It was worth a try after all. Zhang Yi noticed the movement over there and immediately ran upstairs. For such a large bundle of explosives, it will take a certain amount of time to bundle them properly. After all, it was 500 kilograms of explosives. If anything went wrong, more than a dozen people on the scene would be blown into ashes in an instant. The people in the demolition team were also extremely careful. Each person carried 50 kilograms of explosives on their backs, then lowered them down and began to assemble them, then installed detonators and set time detonations. We have to throw it more accurately. Ling Feng joked to Sher Deong next to him and said that if the throw misses, I will have to run several times back to get the explosives. Sher Deong laughed and felt relieved. Head, when our military district competed, I took first place in throwing grenades. The expressions of the two were relatively relaxed. Finding a way to deal with that shelter was tantamount to seizing Zhang Yi's lifeline. As long as the turtle SH. L is broken. Zhang Yi inside the SH. L turns into a mollusk in their eyes. After all, they are all top experts in close combat. And they are not afraid of failure. Once they make a mistake, they can do it a second time a third time, or a fourth time, until the sanctuary is completely captured. Zhang Yi came to the second floor of the shelter, took out his telescope and looked at the short mountain. Under the cover of one way glass, Ling Feng and others saw that the shelter was completely dark. They couldn't see anything inside, and they couldn't find Zhang Yi's location. But Zhang Yi could see their location. The straight line distance is about 2,400 meters. They knew that Zhang Yi was a sniper with terrible marksmanship so they kept a safe distance. But they didn't know that Zhang Yi's marksmanship was more than just accurate. With the blessing of supernatural powers, his attack range and power will be greatly improved. At this time, Zhang Yi's dimensional gate has been completely repaired. And he can fight back with confidence. But he was not in a hurry. He did not dare to open the window rashly now. Otherwise, the subsequent explosion may cause greater damage to the wall. He is waiting for the other party to make the first move. Zhang Yi watched the movement on Aishan's side behind the glass. Ling Feng's eyes suddenly condensed, and he turned to look here, across the one-way glass. Their eyes seemed to collide in the air. Zhang Yi narrowed his eyes. What a terrible intuition. Ling Feng also crossed his arms, and said with a playful expression that he is looking at us. Sher Deong and Zheng Shuerong followed Ling Feng's gaze, and looked over. Ling Feng's intuition has always been terrifyingly accurate. It's just that they didn't expect that he could feel someone commenting on him from such a long distance. What is he doing? Waiting to die? 
Or do you want to make a last-ditch effort out of desperation? Zheng Shuerong said lightly. Her eyes were a strange ice blue. If she didn't have the appearance of a yellow race, it would be easy for people to think that she was a mixed race. Who cares? Probably because I'm scared. But what's the use? Sure Daeong chuckled and put his two strong arms in his pockets. The superpower he relies on cannot resist the explosion of TNT. Besides watching us blow up his house. What can he do? Ling Feng said at this time that if possible, I would really like to include him in our team. After all, his ability is very promising. Although it was only a brief encounter, Zhang Yi's ability aroused Ling Feng's strong interest. Hearing this, Sher Deong frowned slightly and asked, What about our dead brothers? It is our fate as soldiers to die in battle. This person was named by the leader to be captured alive. He understood how important a powerful alien was to the organization now. Ling Feng said calmly. When the word leader was mentioned, Sher Deong immediately shut his mouth and did not dare to refute. He looked at the explosives being assembled by the demolition team and secretly prayed in his heart that it would be best if Zhang Yi was killed directly. After some preparations by the demolition team, another giant bundled explosive was finally assembled. Several people followed suit, hoping to blow up part of the shelter like they did yesterday. Sure Deong transformed into a giant ice ape, and Ling Feng picked up the explosives and threw them away from the shelter. Zhang Yi looked at the giant explosives flying from a distance, took a deep breath, and then opened his right hand in front of him. The explosive had just flown half the distance, and Zhang Yi didn't plan to wait any longer. Because if you get any closer it will explode. He didn't want to take such a big risk. Dimensional gate. Zhang Yi shouted to Zhong Er. Luckily there was no one around. Otherwise he would have died on the spot. A huge door appeared above the shelter. Invisible and without substance. But Zhang Yi could clearly feel its existence. But this time, he didn't want to collect the explosive. Experiments have proven that different dimensions cannot withstand the explosive energy generated by such a large amount of explosives. But, he can release. Most of the power of the last explosion was still in the different space. And Zhang Yi was saving that unstable energy for use at this time. Boom! There was an earth-shattering explosion. However, this power was not generated by the explosion of the explosive, but spewed out from a different space. Under the influence of the huge shock wave, the explosives that were supposed to fall towards the shelter were thrown upside down. The direction of flying back is of course the direction where the members of the special forces team are. The smiles on the faces of Ling Feng and others quickly disappeared. Hidden. He let out an angry roar and quickly fell to the ground. The 500 kilograms of explosives were pushed back to the short mountain by the turbulent air waves in midair, and then rolled quickly on the ground for a distance. The stability of TNT is very good. Even after receiving such an impact, it did not explode in midair. But after a few seconds, when the set time is up, it will be detonated by the detonator. The next moment, the flame soaring into the sky drowned everything in sight. And the violent explosion completely melted the snow covering thousands of meters in radius. The heat wave rushed to the low mountain in an instant, knocking out a few people who had not had time to hide. And they are lucky. Because there are still many soldiers lurking behind a large bunker at the foot of the mountain, waiting to attack the shelter at any time. They were only a few hundred meters away from the explosion point of the 500 kilograms of explosives. The fire shot into the sky, and the ruthless flames and shock waves were centered on the explosion point and swept away quickly. Those soldiers who didn't know the situation were engulfed by thousands of degrees of heat in the blink of an eye. What kind of special combat uniforms? Body armor and weapons were directly burned under such high temperatures. Their skin and flesh also burned in an instant. Call. Flames swept across all directions and the special operations team members, who were lying in ambush at the foot of the mountain and were waiting to attack were almost completely wiped out. Zhang Yi looked at the fire from a distance. Because the effect was so good, he was so happy that he couldn't stop laughing. Originally, he just wanted to use the absorbed energy to bounce the bomb away and prevent it from harming his shelter. But looking at the effect, it must have killed a lot of those special forces members. Thermal weapons are indeed awesome. Zhang Yi couldn't help but sigh. I use it better than they do. Zhang Yi only released a part of the energy. But the main damage was actually caused by the huge explosive. The success of this experiment indicates that this method can continue to be used to deal with them in the future. Unless they are not afraid of killing more people. This method of throwing can no longer be used. The temperature in that direction of the low mountain rose to an unimaginable level. A large area of ground beneath the foot of the mountain turned into coke. Behind the low mountain, a huge ice surface suddenly cracked. Zheng Shuerong stood up with a weak look. Fortunately, 
she built a piece of ice in time to block most of the heat. Otherwise, they would also have been killed or injured. But constantly maintaining the ice surface was also very draining for her. Ling Feng broke through the ice and walked to the short mountain. When he saw the terrifying scene at the foot of the mountain, his whole body went numb. Everyone else climbed out one after another to inspect the scene of the explosion. Everyone was stunned and had no idea what to say to describe the scene in front of them. They just saw that the explosives that were supposed to land in front of the shelter as planned were pushed by a strange force while still in midair and flew back to them. At such a long distance, the power of the explosion is completely different. Just relying on the power of the shock wave will not have any impact on the shelter. On the contrary, it was their direction that withstood most of the force of the explosion. This time the operation failed. Not only was it a failure, it was also a disastrous defeat, resulting in a large number of special forces soldiers dying under their own explosives. Everyone who was originally confident had a look of confusion and frustration on their faces. Sudden changes occurred, and no one understood what happened. They don't even have the spare brain to feel anger. Ling Feng, the captain of the special forces team, looked at the burnt corpses below, his body trembling slightly. These people are all his life and death brothers. A group of people finally survived to the end of the world. A few minutes ago, everyone was talking and laughing. But in the blink of an eye, these brothers were all dead. Dead in their own plans? No! Ling Feng roared in pain. His eyes were about to burst. And he looked like a madman. Sher Deong also knelt on the ground in pain and smashed the ground angrily. Ah! He didn't know what to say. But he was heartbroken. You can't resent your opponent for being too cruel during a war. Right? It was their method to deal with Zhang Yi. But Zhang Yi turned against them. If they really wanted to resent themselves, they could only resent themselves for being too stupid to think of such a method. However, how could they imagine that Zhang Yi would fight back in this way? Chapter 278 The Strength of Captain Level Aliens In the battle just now, a total of 23 soldiers of the AC Special Forces team were killed, including three cyborgs. It's very funny to say, each of them is the elite among the elite, with impeccable capabilities in both individual combat and collaborative combat. Such a character should have made great achievements in the last days. But in an extremely funny way, he died under the explosion of explosives thrown by his own people. Until the end, they didn't even know what Zhang Yi looked like. Human life is so fragile. No matter what kind of genius you are, or what kind of noble figure you are, you will always be a worthless corpse when you die. Zhang Yi looked at this place from a distance because the fire was soaring into the sky. He could not confirm how much damage the explosion had caused to the people in Shishan base. Only by waiting to see if they will take the next step can we make a basic judgment. For Ling Feng and others, the atmosphere at the scene was terrifyingly depressing. Ling Feng looked like he was about to eat someone, and his eyes were scarier than a wounded beast. What was that power just now? Ling Feng frowned and looked at Academician Wu. He tried hard to keep his expression calm, but everyone could feel that he was almost unable to contain his anger at this time. The captain of the AC special team at the Shishan base personally led the team, but he couldn't secure a shelter for several days. Not only that, but a large number of his elite soldiers were killed in battle. Each of these people is a valuable combat force for Shishan base. Even if one person dies, it is extremely difficult to make up for it. He was almost disgraced. Everyone can feel that Ling Feng's patience is reaching its limit. He boasted that he would end the battle in Haikou within three hours and capture Zhang Yi alive. But it's been a day. Not to mention capturing Zhang Yi alive. Not even breaking through the opponent's shelter. However, now that their latest method has been cracked by Zhang Yi, what else can they do? Is it really necessary to use people to detonate explosives? That's pretty stupid. If a person wants to get close to the shelter, Zhang Yi's counterattack is not just for show. Besides, no one wants to die. Academician Wu pushed up his glasses and analyzed that based on our previous speculation. His space can absorb the opponent's attack and then rebound. Shen Hong and others were dealt with in this way by him. And he also absorbed part of the energy from the last blast. By releasing this part of the force, the thrown explosive is knocked away. Ling Feng took a deep breath. And now I'm asking, what can we do to avoid being affected by his ability? With Ling Feng staring so hard, Academician Wu coughed in embarrassment. According to my calculations, most of the energy from yesterday's explosion was actually absorbed. Otherwise, with the energy of 500 kilograms of TNT explosive, a wall can definitely be destroyed. In other words, he may still be storing some energy. He may have only used part of the power of the explosion just now. After all, his purpose was not to attack us, 
but to deflect the explosives thrown at us. So, continuing with this plan is basically unworkable. Although Ling Feng had already expected it, he couldn't help but twitch the corners of his eyes when he heard what the professional said. The expressions on other people's faces were also quite strange. This won't work. That won't work either. Is this Zhang Yi so difficult to deal with? Ling Feng took two deep breaths and tried to calm down. He only regretted that he didn't have missiles in his hands. Otherwise, he would have fired one directly at Zhang Yi's shelter. And everything would have been over. However, he may not know that even ordinary missiles can only destroy buildings on the surface at one time. Ling Feng remained silent, trying to control his anger. He thought hard about what other means could be used to destroy the shelter. Then kill Zhang Yi with the most brutal means to avenge his dead brothers. Gun? Useless. Gun? Large caliber ones cannot be transported. And small caliber ones are useless. So can we attack from underground through earth excavation? Ling Feng proposed another idea. Dig under the shelter. Then pile up a lot of explosives and send them straight to the sky. Academician was said helplessly. Captain, generally speaking, such apocalyptic shelters are built underground. Therefore, the part below the surface will only be stronger than the part above the surface. Because there is no need to consider lighting and beauty below. Only solidity is enough. So if we can't break through from above, below, that's harder. Ling Feng stared at him and said word for word. What we are afraid of is not difficulties. But the mission will fail. Academician Wu lowered his head and was silent for a moment. Then slowly said to him. With the conditions we have now, we simply can't do this. The tools they have now are more difficult than they were a few hundred years ago. At least at that time we could still use steam locomotives or cattle and horses. And what about them? Tunnels can only be dug manually. Just break the thick layer of permafrost on the ground. Can you dig one out by hand and show it to me? Even if you are not afraid of hard work and dig out the frozen soil. You will have to transport the soil out as you dig forward. Right? Do you need ventilation when working underground? Tunneling requires concealment. And it will be useless if Zhang Yi discovers it. Because it is easier to destroy than to build. Considering all the conditions. Building tunnels and blasting underground is also a dream. Sher Daong suddenly said in a sinister voice. Isn't there more than a thousand people in Xujia town? Just let them come over to work. Academician Wu asked back. No matter how many of them there were. In such an extremely cold low temperature state. Asking them to use primitive methods to dig would be equivalent to asking them to die. There are so many people. If they are not organized well. It is easy to cause a big disturbance. Do you think Zhang Yi is blind and can't see anything? Sher Daong suddenly didn't know what to say. He could only clenched his fists and looked in the direction of the shelter with a look of resentment. Only Ling Feng, with a bright light in his eyes, seemed to have not completely given up on this plan. There is only one thing in his eyes, and that is to complete the tasks assigned by the leader. As long as the mission can be successful, even some sacrifices are worth it. At this time, the smoke and dust from the explosion outside slowly dispersed. Zhang Yi looked out the window. At this time, the snow on the ground had melted completely and many houses and frozen trees behind were burning. The surrounding air must be unusually warm. After the ice and snow melted, it did not turn into a swamp. The high temperature of thousands of degrees Celsius, or even tens of thousands of degrees Celsius in the center of the explosion caused the water to evaporate into steam. Most of the most luxurious villa area in Tianhai City, Yonk Manor, was destroyed by these explosions. Only a few villas are still standing alone. After your turn is over, it's my turn. After confirming that the opponent's attack was ineffective, Johnny let go of the last trace of fear in his heart. He is not someone who allows others to attack without fighting back. The dimensional door. Open! Zhang Yi blocked the dimensional door at the window. And then ordered Xiao Yi to quickly open the window inward. And he himself set up the newly modified heavy sniper and aimed at a few people on the low mountain two kilometers away. Ling Feng and others were distraught and were thinking about how to break into the shelter. Suddenly, the sniper's very urgent voice came from the intercom. Captain, he's targeting you with a sniper rifle. Ling Feng's pupils shrank slightly, and he felt a strong wind coming. He looked forward, and the time in his field of vision seemed to slow down. And a bullet mixed with supernatural powers was shot between his eyebrows. Whoosh! Ling Feng's head tilted, and the bullet passed by his ear. Nothing happened. He turned his head to look at the shelter, and then he saw Zhang Yi behind the window. Ling Feng's eyes became more bloodshot showing unforgettable hatred. Zhang Yi. When Zhang Yi saw this scene, his eyes became more serious. Sure enough, he is worthy of being their head, although it was a bit regretful not to kill him. 
Zhang Yi was not too surprised. In the Shishan base, many warriors have the ability to increase their physical strength. Some are speed, and some are strength. He has seen this before from Lu Xiang, Shen Hong and others. However, he had upgraded the firearms he used, and his powers were more powerful than before. However, Zhang Yi was still surprised by how easily the leader dodged his bullets. Obviously, Ling Feng is much stronger than Lu Xiang, Shen Hong and others. He is a cruel person. Zhang Yi didn't beat too much, and immediately turned his gun and shot at the ice giant ape next to him, which had the most obvious target. After Ling Feng dodged the bullet, he warned those around him to be careful. There was a sniper. No one could imagine that they were two kilometers away and the other party could snipe at this distance. Just because they didn't understand Zhang Yi's abilities, they judged the range of the sniper rifle based on conventional theories. Everyone received Ling Feng's warning and instinctively evaded quickly. But Sher Daong was not an agile alien. Just as he was about to dodge, he was already shot between the eyebrows. Blood splattered and his head fell back. However, Zhang Yi did not see him fall. It hurts. Bastard. Sher Daong's forehead was covered with blood. He angrily picked out a bullet that was still on the ground, staring in the direction of the shelter. As expected, they are all fighting type aliens. The defensive power is really amazing. Zhang Yi couldn't help but sigh. That monster's defense is as strong as a chariot. These people are the core figures of the Shishan Operation Force. And as expected, none of them are easy to deal with. It seems that ordinary thermal weapons will be difficult to cause harm to aliens in the future. But Zhang Yi is not qualified to criticize others. His ability is even more abnormal. Before Zhang Yi could fire the third shot, those people had already taken cover and disappeared from Zhang Yi's sight. Whoosh! Whoosh! Two sharp sounds pierced the air. They were bullets from two sniper rifles, shooting at Zhang Yi from two different directions. Then he submerged into Zhang Yi's different space. There are snipers. Without thinking, Zhang Yi immediately changed the vector direction of their bullets and counterattacked back the same way. Those two snipers are top-notch. So their marksmanship is very accurate. But the bullets fired back were equally accurate. Because of the influence of gravity, the bullet did not return to the barrel, but was shot into their chest cavity. Neither man knew until the moment they died that the bullets that killed them were fired from their own guns. Chapter 279 Extraordinary Physique Zhang Yi is still looking for prey with a sniper rifle. But this group of soldiers were all the best among the best. As soon as they discovered that Zhang Yi was sniping at them, they immediately began to hide. After all, Ling Feng had reminded them before that Zhang Yi's marksmanship was very powerful. The only misjudgment was their common sense as soldiers which made them not expect that Zhang Yi's sniper rifle could shoot two kilometers away and still maintain strong lethality. After a round of inspection, Zhang Yi did not find any other targets. He felt a little disappointed in his heart. But this disappointment is not because more people were not killed. Ordinary miscellaneous soldiers could not pose any threat to him. What he really wanted to kill was the alien who led the team. It's a pity that one of the two bullets was dodged by the short captain, and the other was held by the beast-shaped ice and snow giant ape. Although it is a heavy sniper, the power of the bullet is still weakened too much when attacking from a distance of more than 2,000 meters. But if it's not a long-range attack, I'm not willing to fight them at close range. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, Zhang Yi will not be afraid of anyone. With a dimensional gate there, anyone who wants to rush over and give him a blow will be easily dragged into a different space by Zhang Yi. As long as he is locked up for a period of time, even the stranger will be suffocated to death perhaps because of a mental breakdown in the extremely slow passage of time. But there were many people on the other side, so he chose to remain silent. While Zhang Yi was thinking about how to kill the opponent's stranger, suddenly his eyes flashed. Um? Zhang Yi looked at the ground in the distance. A wisp of smoke suddenly rose up from Lao Gao, as if something was rushing toward him at great speed. Zhang Yi couldn't see what it was, but he could feel that it must exist. That speed is so fast that it is difficult to catch it with the naked eye. What the H, L. The moment Zhang Yi was talking to himself, the thing suddenly came under the wall of his shelter. And then without slowing down, it slammed into it. Boom. There was a loud noise. Zhang Yi was lying on the window. So he felt a slight vibration. But it is obviously extremely difficult to shake such a strong shelter. Zhang Yi lowered his head and saw clearly what it was. Not exactly a thing, but a person. A man wearing a white combat uniform with a crew cut and dark skin. Six seconds ago, Zhang Yi's sniper rifle was aimed at his head. What a pervert. Zhang Yi looked down at him and said this. Ling Feng raised his head and looked at Zhang Yi. 
Zhang Yi saw anger and arrogance in his eyes. R. Ling Feng, on the other hand, saw indifference and boredom in Zhang Yi's eyes, as if everything that had happened so far was a game under his control. Then Zhang Yi turned the gun and aimed it at Ling Feng's head. At such a close distance, even if his head was made of steel plate, it would be blown apart. But before Zhang Yi could pull the trigger, Ling Feng disappeared from the spot like a ghost. That speed was faster than Zhang Yi's imagination of animals. Probably only insects can rival it. In Zhang Yi's ears, a reminder came from the shelter's artificial intelligence Xiaoyai. The walls of the shelter were damaged. With a damage level of 0.028%, Zhang Yi couldn't help but look deeply at Ling Feng in front of the shelter. This kid is indeed a pervert. In addition to having super high movement speed, he also has perverted strength. As expected, he is the captain of the Shishan base action team. Ling Feng looked at Zhang Yi from a distance, pointed at him, and said coldly, I will break your turtle sh. L sooner or later. Zhang Yi sneered. Come if you have the guts. He pointed the gun at Ling Feng and shot him again. Ling Feng's speed was too fast. When he moved, he was like a ghost. Everything seen by the naked eye was blurred, and his position could not be captured at all. Zhang Yi was also very vigilant. Fortunately, he was in a shelter. Otherwise, it would have been very dangerous if he met this person outside. This is not to say that Zhang Yi cannot beat Ling Feng. Ling Feng's speed is both an advantage and a disadvantage. As long as Zhang Yi correctly determines the direction of his attack and deploys the dimensional gate along the path, Ling Feng, who enters the different space, can only be at the mercy of Zhang Yi. However, if Ling Feng avoids the direction of the dimensional gate, then the loser will probably be Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi believes that in a life and death showdown between two people, the outcome will be 50 to 50. However, what reason did Zhang Yi have to leave the shelter? As long as he doesn't go out, he will be invincible. Zhang Yi did not stop attacking and continued to shoot bullet after bullet at Ling Feng. He knew he couldn't kill Ling Feng, but he wanted to see how long Ling Feng's ability would last. After Ling Feng dodged a few times, he seemed to understand Zhang Yi's intention. He raised his head and glared at Zhang Yi fiercely, then disappeared in front of the shelter in a flash. Zhang Yi held up his sniper rifle and wanted to continue searching for a few enemies to kill. However, the members of the AC special team had received the news and would not reveal themselves easily. So he did not find this good opportunity. Ran? Or are you waiting for the next opportunity to attack? Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows. He only knew that after experiencing this failure, it was basically unlikely that the opponent would use the same method to attack again. The two sides are trying to defeat each other. And he also wants to see what other powerful methods the other side can use. But for Zhang Yi, he is not afraid of wasting time. He could stay in this shelter for the rest of his life. But how long can the Shishan base continue to devote a large number of troops to the shelter? Ao Zhang. It depends on who can't hold on first. Zhang Yi lay on the window, changed into a comfortable position, and then adjusted the distance of the optical sight. He set his target on the burnt corpses of soldiers at the foot of the low hill. If people from the special operations team go to collect the bodies, they must be prepared to die. There were so many corpses. If Ling Feng went to collect them, would the energy in his body be able to last that long? After Ling Feng returned, he gave the order to the special forces to retreat. Let's go back to Xuxia town to rest for a while, and then discuss the battle plan again. The failure of today's mission has already dealt him a huge blow. But he can be a captain. So he is obviously not a reckless man, who only knows how to act on his own initiative. The war situation is unfavorable, and there is no point in continuing to waste it. The battle plan must be reconsidered. Zheng Shuerong breathed a sigh of relief and said, I was scared to death. When I just noticed you rushing over, I thought you were mad. Ling Feng shook his head and said, Do you really think there was something wrong with my brain when I just rushed over? I just wanted to make sure the walls of the shelter were strong. He raised his fist and told everyone that I had discovered a new way to cause damage to the wall. Zheng Shuerong's eyes widened, and he said speechlessly, Captain, you don't mean your fist. Do you? Ling Feng's fists are indeed very terrifying. This is a fact recognized by Shishan base. But if you punch through the thick walls of the shelter, you have to wait until the year of the monkey? Ling Feng lowered his voice and said that we must try any possible method, because guns and explosives have lost their effect on him. Perhaps the most primitive means of attack are the most effective. Why don't you think about it? When the demolition team went over to place the explosives, he didn't take the people in the demolition team along with the explosives? Everyone looked thoughtful after hearing this. Indeed, if his ability was so easy to use and could collect anything, 
Then he could have swallowed up our entire demolition team at that time. Academician Wu analyzed it carefully. But he didn't do that. Instead, he waited until we left before taking away the explosives. In other words, is his ability limited to humans? Ling Feng said that I just went over for two purposes. One is to confirm the defensive power of the wall. And the other is to try out whether there are any other attack methods with his powers. He smiled coldly. It turned out that his space ability had no active attack effect. Damage can only be caused by sniper rifles and rebound attacks. Therefore, it is completely feasible to destroy his house by manpower. Zhang Yi's ability was quickly analyzed by the members of the special team. After all, compared to Zhang Yi, they are experts in the field of superpower research. At the Shishan base, there is even an institution that specializes in studying aliens. Sure Deong said excitedly that this would be easy to handle. We have no shortage of strength-enhancing aliens. Let's just take turns and smash his wall. Sure Deong looked at Liang Yu, who had been silent. Teacher Liang, your swordsmanship is also very strong. When the time comes, the three of us will take action together. Liang Yu raised her eyebrows slightly and said softly, You can just make up your mind. I have no objection. She already had an idea in her mind. However, in front of Ling Feng and others, she still had to show her cooperation. Academician Wu hurriedly said to everyone, Are you serious? Even though you are all strangers, you are powerful. But if you want to break through that wall with your fists and swords, I'm afraid it will take years and months of hard work. Ling Feng squinted his eyes, looked at the standing black shelter, and murmured that if that was the only feasible way, then we would do it, whether it's for the future of the entire Shishan base, or to avenge the dead brothers. Ling Feng knew what a huge amount of resources Zhang Yi had in his hands. As long as it can be obtained, the material crisis in Shishan base can be greatly alleviated. So even if there is a slight possibility, he will not let it go. Let's go back. Ling Feng touched his belly. He was very hungry now. What to do with the bodies of the brothers? Sure Deong couldn't bear it. Those soldiers who had just died in battle were all his brothers. Ling Feng said cautiously that in the past, he would only be surrounded by corpses to help him. So don't be impatient. Wait until we capture the shelter. Then collect their corpses. Chapter 280 New Information Ling Feng returned to Sudong Village with the members of the special team. How high-spirited they were when they left. And how embarrassed they were when they came back. The group returned to the village. And Su Dongtang and others quickly came to greet them. Su Dongtang said with a flattering look. Captain Ling, did you win a big victory? Did you kill that villain Zhang Yi? Behind him, a group of talkers from each village also agreed. Saying, yes, yes, I just heard such a loud explosion. It must have destroyed his house. Right. Has Zhang Yi been blown to ashes? As expected of Captain Ling, he achieved a great victory as soon as he took action. It was really awesome. Captain Ling is mighty. And our Shishan organization is mighty. A bunch of worthless rainbow farts gushed out. But the more the people in the special operations team listened, the more ugly their expressions became. Their mission had just failed and nearly half of the Peo's brothers were killed. So they were already in a bad mood. So when I heard the praise from the villagers in Xijia town, it felt like a mockery. Sure Deong scolded coldly. Shut up! His voice was very loud. And this roar made everyone look at him in astonishment. At this time Su Dongtang also reacted. These soldiers don't look like they have won the battle. The big guy shut his mouth and didn't dare to say anything. Ling Feng stepped forward and said to Su Dongtang and others that we are a little hungry. Please prepare more food. A little more than usual. After saying that, Ling Feng walked towards the house where he temporarily lived. Sher Deong stared at Su Dongtang and the others fiercely and said that we had a hard time fighting today. So we should prepare better food. Remember? Ah. Yes, yes, yes. How dare a group of people go against their will? After all, everyone in the special operations team carries a gun. But after they walked away, the villagers couldn't help but start muttering. It looks like we have lost the battle. Ah? No. These soldiers can't deal with Zhang Yi? Ouch. How can this be accurate? Zhang Yi is a very vicious devil with cruel methods. But at least, they can be considered regular troops. Look at this outfit. It's armed to the teeth. It's a bit embarrassing that so many people can't do anything to one person. The villagers didn't talk loudly. But the hearing of these soldiers was different from ordinary people. And they could hear everything in their ears. Their expressions were extremely shameful and angry. But they could only pretend not to hear. After all, it is a fact that we have lost the battle. If we go to argue with others, we are just slapping ourselves in the face. 
Sure Daeon gloomily asked Ling Feng. Are these villagers too insignificant? Let me teach them a lesson. Ling Feng glanced at him and said coldly, No need. Keeping them can also provide us with food and labor. If you really want to deal with them, you have to wait until Zhang Yi is finished. Ling Feng walked into the igloo and said lightly that the base also needed to add some labor force. When the time comes, let them go over and contribute to the organization. Sure Daeong nodded after hearing this. Good luck to them. If it had been before, according to my temper, I would have killed several of them. Every one of the soldiers at Shishan base has been on the line between life and death. Although none of them have been on the battlefield in peacetime. It is no joke to say that they have killed countless people. At the beginning of the end of the world, many people around Shishan base got the news and wanted to break into the shelter. What can be done about these people? In order to survive, everyone does everything possible. Some people even want to attack by force. Ling Feng and the others were all cold machines. With Chen Xinian's order, they killed all those who tried to break in. Later, due to the unfair distribution of resources at the Shishan base, there was a riot in the fourth life warehouse. They were still the ones to suppress it. To this day, their hands are stained with the blood of countless people. Killing people is no different from killing fish in their eyes. On the other side, Su Dongtang was surrounded by many villagers. The villagers are now starting to get a little anxious. Mayor, didn't you say before that they would stay for two days and then leave? It's been several days now. I don't think it's that simple. They have lost the battle, and this battle must continue to be fought. I don't know when it will end. But these soldiers also eat too much. The food one person eats in a day is as much as our family of four. If this continues, our Xuja town won't be able to afford it. Su Dongtang frowned, feeling a little confused in his heart. However, in order to maintain the situation, he could only comfort the villagers in each village and tell everyone not to worry. Among the crowd, Fatty Su looked at the scene and could only sigh helplessly. What Zhang Yi said back then is coming true step by step. Su Dongtang welcomed these soldiers from the Shishan base with joy. He was afraid that it would be easier to invite the gods than to send them away. And in the end, he was involved. However, hearing that the Shishan base's attack on Zhang Yi's shelter failed made Fatty Su determined to follow Zhang Yi. Fatty Su ran back to his home and took out his cell phone to contact Zhang Yi. Boss, those people at Shishan base are back in disgrace. I think the number of people is less than half compared to when I went there. Was he killed by you? Zhang Yi learned from Fatty Su's situation that all the soldiers at Shishan base had retreated. He put away his sniper rifle and closed the window. I was the one who beat him away. How do they look now? Is their mental state normal? Through the other person's expression. You can tell whether they have thought about their next plan. It is very important to grasp the opponent's mentality. They looked like wild dogs that had lost a battle. Each one looking gloomier than the last. And as soon as he came back, he clamored for food. Bah! How shameless. Fatty Su also feels sorry for the villagers' food. Although Xuja Town is known as an important agricultural and fishing town. Every household does not have much food storage. Which can last for a year and a half at best. But now they have to feed a bunch of big-headed soldiers who can eat. And they have to eat well even if they open their mouths. The villagers are also overwhelmed. Zhang Yi said, Where are you following this? This is just the beginning. And they will still be polite to you. Slowly. Maybe people won't treat you as human beings. A smirk appeared on Zhang Yi's lips. Fatty. How are you doing in history? So so. Fatty Su scratched his head. Boss. Why do you ask this? Zhang Yi said calmly. I just want to remind you that these soldiers at Shishan base are all people with countless blood on their hands and a disregard for life. In ancient history, this kind of extreme food shortage occurred frequently. Those who serve as soldiers usually capture people and use them as food rations. There are many living people in your Xuja town. Right? I would like to call it a large meat factory. Zhang Yi's words scared Fatty Su to the point where the hairs on his body stood up. Damn it. Boss, stop talking. It's so permeable. Them. It shouldn't be to this extent. Right? Fatty Su looked at the meat on his body. It was so fat and abundant that he couldn't help but associate it with the pigs in the meat factory. Zhang Yi suppressed his joking smile, but thought of the month he spent in Yuelu community. That kind of cruelty is unimaginable to the villagers of Xuja town, who have plenty of food. When a person is in a state of extreme hunger, he can do anything, whether it will reach that point. I don't know, but if I were in your kind of environment, with a sneer on Zhang Yi's lips, I must have run away long ago. Silly fat man, you have such a powerful power. You can live a good life no matter where you go. 
Why are you guarding these stupid villagers? Thaddy Su swallowed, hesitant in his heart. Zhang Yi comforted him and said, Don't worry. You have special powers. They should be reluctant to touch you. If one day you really feel that something is not right, come to me. Brother is covering you. Zhang Yi now hopes that Fatty Su will stay down and work as an undercover agent for him. So we have to give him a shot of cardiotonic first. After Fatty Su got Zhang Yi's promise, he felt a little more at ease. Okay, boss. I'll listen to you. If such a day comes, you must help me. Certainly. You should pay attention to their movements and report any disturbance to me. Remember? Must. After Zhang Yi hung up the phone, he asked Xiao Ai to show him the 3D structure diagram of the entire shelter. How is the external damage today? Xiao Ai showed him a certain part of the wall. When attacked by a firearm, the damage level is 0.00001%. Impacted by an unknown object, the damage degree was 0.028%. Zhang Yi retrieved the part impacted by the unknown object. The 3D image showed that it was a shallow fist mark. Is that Ling Feng? What a monster. Zhang Yi once again expressed such emotion. At Shishan base, Ling Feng, captain of the ACE Special Forces team, and Fatty Su told Zhang Yi his name. However, Zhang Yi was also greatly shocked when he saw his strength with his own eyes. There is no doubt that this is the most powerful alien that Zhang Yi has ever seen so far. Both speed and strength have reached monster level. Could it be that the Shishan base has special means that can help foreigners improve their strength? Zhang Yi thought of Lu Ziang who had been dissected. Lu Ziang is an ordinary person who was forcibly mutated, giving him powerful powers. But that also came at a price. Due to the mutation, his body had terrible hidden injuries. Gaining strength comes at the expense of health and even lifespan. I just don't know if Ling Feng's abilities are so powerful. Is he born with it? Or has he undergone some kind of transformation? Zhang Yi had a strong interest in Shishan base. If there was such a method, he would also like to try it. But the thought was fleeting. He won't take risks just to make himself stronger. If it weren't for ensuring his own safety, he would rather be an ordinary person and spend his whole life in peace and happiness. After Zhang Yi returned to the basement, Zhou Kier was the first to rush up. Zhang Yi, are you injured? She hurriedly checked his body, fearing that something had happened to Zhang Yi. I'm fine. They are. Zhang Yi said with a smile. When Zhang Yi came back here and looked at them, his mood became happy. Facts have proved that it was a wise choice to accept them to live with him. After experiencing a big war, he desperately needed the comfort of the opposite sex. Physically, secondly, and most importantly, spiritually, Zhou Kier carefully checked Zhang Yi's body. And after confirming that he was not injured at all, he breathed a sigh of relief and put his head on his chest. Zhang Yi patted her back then sat on the sofa to rest. Yang Mi took out beer and braised food from the refrigerator for him. Zhang Yi looked at Lu Karen and asked Karen. The outer wall of our shelter was hit. And now part of the wall has fallen off. Is there any way to fix it? Lu Karen sat on the chair and rolled his eyes upward. Um, I understand how to make this kind of rigid and strong alloy. But it requires some special materials. And even if the material problem is solved, you still need to go out and repair the exterior wall. At this time, you can't go out to search for materials and repair the walls. Right? Zhang Yi smiled and said that as long as you say it can be repaired, it will be easy. We are not in a hurry. It would be a pity if such a good shelter was destroyed like this. Zhang Yi doesn't want to move around all the time. Hey, no one knows how long they will fight. Yang Mi sighed, with a sad look on her face. Then you have to be prepared for a protracted battle. Zhang Yi poured a glass of beer and handed it to her. And Yang Mi took it with both hands with a smile. Seeing this, several other girls also came over to ask for it. After the battle, it is rare for everyone to have a short period of leisure. In fact, compared to Zhang Yi, the other four girls were more nervous. Zhang Yi knows his trump card very well, so he doesn't have too much fear. Others can only hide in the basement and pray that Zhang Yi can win. As everyone enjoyed lunch, the conversation gradually became lighter and other topics were discussed. After a while, Yang Xinxin's cell phone suddenly rang. The sounds around her suddenly stopped, and everyone turned their attention to her. Because at this time, it is basically impossible for anyone from the outside world to contact them. And once someone gets in touch, it's usually not good news. Yang Xinxin calmly took out her phone. As a top hacker, she wasn't worried about being hacked into the shelter's network via her phone. After she turned on her phone, she raised her head and glanced at Zhang Yi. 
then handed the phone over the table in a sensible manner. You got news. Zhang Yi didn't show any pretense. He turned his phone around and looked at it. Xin Xin. I am teacher Lian Yu. My classmates and I need your help now. Can you let me talk to Zhang Yi? When Zhang Yi saw the name Lian Yu, he couldn't help but think of the stranger he saw holding a tank sword. Did she come here too? Zhang Yi was very vigilant. It seemed that after he took Yang Xinqi away, Liang Yu and others contacted the Shishan base and joined them. Chapter 281 Liang Yu's Request for Cooperation Zhang Yi looked at the message from Liang Yu and fell into deep thought. He still remembered that female warrior with fierce sword skills. At that time, she had been hungry and exhausted for a long time. But she was still able to force herself up and fight with Hua Hua. If she were in her prime, she would definitely be more powerful. Not long after joining the Shishan base, she was able to follow the special operations team to perform missions. It can be imagined that her status in the Shishan base is not low. But, what does she mean by looking for Yang Xinxin? Need help? Zhang Yi didn't know what the situation was like at Shishan base. Let alone what kind of person Liang Yi was. It cannot be ruled out that this is a trap. For example, when Ling Feng and the others found that they couldn't get out of the shelter by storm, they began to use strategies to induce Yang Xinxin to open the door to Liang Yu. Zhang Yi crossed his arms. Usually this gesture represents a defensive mentality. He looked at Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen and asked seriously, Can you talk to me about this Liang Yu? Lu Karen and Yang Xinxin immediately told everything they knew about Liang Yu. Liang Yu, 27 years old, a national martial arts master who is proficient in more than 300 martial arts and more than a dozen fighting techniques from various countries. He is best at swordsmanship and grappling. He once served as the bodyguard of a certain sea and was the personal bodyguard of a certain female leader. Later, he was recruited by the board of directors of Tianqin College with an annual salary of 3 million and served as a martial arts teacher in the school. She is a woman who is cold on the outside and hot on the inside. Wait a minute. After Zhang Yi heard this adjective, he curiously asked Lu Karen, Are you talking about physical characteristics or personality characteristics? Lu Karen didn't understand and scratched his head curiously. Clam? Yang Xinxin said with a smile that it is really difficult to explain this aspect of the body without trying it yourself. But Karen is probably talking about character. Zhang Yi felt a little regretful. Oh, then go ahead. Lu Karen and Yang Xinxin continued to add. Liang Yu has practiced martial arts since she was a child and is a top martial artist. So she has a relatively pure personality. This person has a good personality, but is a bit stubborn. Still, it's clear she's a good person. Otherwise, when the apocalypse came, she would have been able to live well on her own without having to take the dragsters in her class with her. Yang Xinxin tilted her head and said, If it weren't for Teacher Liang, those people in our class would have become Hua Hua's dinner. Hua Hua, who was still sleeping in broad daylight, opened her mouth wide and yawned at the right moment. Her mouth full of fishy smell. Zhang Yi crossed his arms and thought slowly. Both Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen have known Liang Yu for a long time. As a teacher, there is no need for her to disguise her temperament for so long. Being able to go through the test of the end of the world is enough to prove that she has a very good character. And if he just chatted with her, Zhang Yi wouldn't lose anything. Then let's see what her purpose is. Maybe it will be beneficial to me? After Zhang Yi finished thinking, he said to Yang Xinxin, If I use your mobile phone to chat with her, is there a risk of her implanting a virus and destroying the shelter network? Yang Xinxin said confidently, Brother, don't worry about this. The defense level of my mobile phone is not inferior to that of the computer in the control room. Zhang Yi nodded. That's good. I'll use your mobile phone to chat with her. Yang Xinxin said she had no objection. Zhang Yi took Yang Xinxin's mobile phone and sent a message to Liang Yu. I'm Zhang Yi. What do you want to talk to me about? At this time, Liang Yu was staying in her own house in Sudong village. As a captain level alien and a woman, she has a separate room Fatty Su built it specially for her. After seeing Zhang Yi's strength, Liang Yu also made up his mind and planned to cooperate with Zhang Yi. After all, time is not on her side. If it continues to drag on, students may be killed every day. Liang Yu was extremely excited when she received Zhang Yi's reply. She quickly replied Zhang Yi, I hope to cooperate with you. My students are at the Shishan base now, and their lives are in danger. I want you to help me. Zhang Yi remained vigilant and asked, Do you want me to help you? You shouldn't have to worry about food and clothing at Shishan base. Right? Aren't the students at Tianqin College all superior to others? Zhang Yi's tone was slightly sarcastic. Because those who can enter Tianqin College 
except for geniuses like Yang Xinxin and Liu Karen, are all top-notch young ladies in society who are either rich or noble. Liang Yu said that you should know that at this time. Your past identity and status are worthless. I really want to cooperate with you. Now I am inside the Shishan base. As a captain of the special operations team, I think you might need my help. In exchange for this, you help me and my students escape from there. What do you think? Zhang Yi touched his chin and analyzed the profound meaning of Liang Yu's words word by word. Liang Yu's words made him feel very strange. Very strange. Isn't the Shishan base a large underground shelter? Will their lives be in danger there? But I think Liang Yu is doing well now. And she is a powerful stranger. She can't even protect a group of students? Zhang Yi knew nothing about the internal situation of Shishan base. So he didn't understand why Liang Yu asked her for help. But one thing is for sure. It is absolutely impossible for him to take the initiative to attack the Shishan base. With his strength, he can protect himself. But attacking a shelter with strong armed forces and complete industrial facilities is too dangerous. So Zhang Yi didn't rush to answer whether Liang Yu agreed. Instead, he asked, I know nothing about Shishan base. If you want me to help you, you must at least tell me some of the internal conditions. Regardless of whether the transaction is done or not, it would be good to at least get some information about the other party for free. Liang Yu thought for a while. She did know some information about Shishan base. But she was not sure whether it would be useful to Zhang Yi. But in order to gain Zhang Yi's trust, she decided to speak out. Well, I can tell you. You can risk your life to save Xinxin. I believe you are a kind person. Zhang Yi felt a little funny when he saw this news. If it weren't for the fact that he needed a network expert, he wouldn't have saved Tianyang Xinxin. Okay. Tell me. Liang Yu then told Zhang Yi everything she had learned about the Shishan base during this period. She felt like there wasn't much secret left in those situations. And she couldn't access the core secrets. So there wasn't much to hide. When Zhang Yi and Liang Yu communicated, they did not go behind anyone else's back. So everyone has finished listening to Liang Yu's description of the Shishan base. During this process, everyone's expressions also changed again and again. The layout of the four-story life warehouse at Shishan base is fairly normal. After all, there are so many people in the entire base. And there is always someone at the bottom who is responsible for working to support the people in the upper life warehouse. But when they heard that what these people were eating turned out to be protein liquid made from cockroaches and corpses, they all looked disgusted and wanted to vomit. Perhaps only Zhang Yi listened to everything she said calmly. There was no fluctuation in Zhang Yi's heart because he had been peeling off the cocoons and extracting useful information from Liang Yu's words. The fourth life warehouse of Shishan base requires edible protein liquid. It is not unusual to use cockroaches to make it, but it is a bit disgusting to use corpses to make it. This means that the total amount of materials they store is not very sufficient. Those people who claim to be in the upper class, even if their morals are not that good, will not give up their bottom line so easily in order to maintain their dignity. Unless conditions do not allow them to maintain their quality of life, they will squeeze down without any lower limit. The corpse mentioned by Liang Yu is what Zhang Yi is most concerned about. People in the fourth life warehouse will be taken out periodically and then disposed of. Liang Yu discovered that there were mutations on the corpse, which seemed to have been injected with drugs or stimulated by high radiation. In other words, is the other party conducting experiments on mutants? Zhang Yi's eyes swayed, and he couldn't help but think of the appearance of the stranger next to him. They and themselves both experienced strong stimulation and even awakened their abilities when they were on the verge of life and death. Probably Shishan base used a large number of people to conduct experiments in order to obtain powerful alien troops. In this way, the question makes sense. Those missing students were taken away and used for human experiments. It's ridiculous. The probability of strangers appearing is so low. It is estimated that not many students who go will come back. But they don't waste it. The dead bodies are still high-quality protein after being processed. Zhang Yi said with a sneer. Yang Mi and Zhou Kier both subconsciously approached Zhang Yi. At this time, their whole bodies were covered with cold hair, and they were trembling with fear. This Shishan base is a complete H. L. They treat the people in the fourth life warehouse like this. But if all the people in the fourth life warehouse die, who will work for them? Hearing their discussion, Zhang Yi smiled disapprovingly. Although there are very few living people outside, that is only relative to before the end of the world, based on China's population base. Even if only 5% of the people survive, the population density will still be among the highest in the world. Zhang Yi looked in the direction of Xujia Town. Aren't there thousands of ready-made living people there? If I guess correctly, a large number of these people will be taken away. 
kindly let them experience the method of artificial mutation. Several women had happy looks in their eyes. If they hadn't met Zhang Yi and been taken in, if they had fallen into the hands of such an organization, who knows what kind of fate they would have had. Lu Karen couldn't help but murmured. I thought they would live a better life if they went to Shishan Base. Now that I think about it, I might as well stay at Tianqing College. In fact, if they had stayed at Tianqing College instead of going to Shishan Base, their living standards would not be very bad. After all, as soon as Yang Xinxin left, the demon Cat Hua, Hua also left. But they don't know this. It's all a coincidence. Zhang Yi understood the reason why Liang Yu begged him. However, he still told Liang Yu that you are very clear about the security strength of Shishan base. It is not possible for just a few people to rush in and rescue a bunch of helpless students. If you ask me to go over and save people, you think too highly of me. I can only protect myself. Although Liang Yu felt a little disappointed, Zhang Yi's answer was within her expectations. After all, there is no relationship between Zhang Yi and these people, and there is no reason for them to take risks for them. If you can withstand the attack from the Shishan base, it proves that you have strong strength. If I can show enough value, can I convince you? Zhang Yi chuckled lightly. I suggest you give up this idea, but you realize the crux of the matter. Whether I help you, and how much I help you, depends on the value you provide me. She said, I understand. I will prove this, and try my best to lead them to escape from the West Mountain base through my own strength. If possible, I hope you can give me some help when the time comes. If we escape, can you accept us and give us a place to live? Zhang Yi frowned, with a look of disbelief on his face. You? You mean living in my shelter? Liang Yu said that your shelter is so big. There is no problem in housing dozens of people. I believe you don't want to see these young children tortured at the Shishan base. Right? Zhang Yi took a deep breath and slowly sat up straight. He said to Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen, I have finally realized how crazy your teacher's brain is. Zhou Kier smiled. She is really naive. Yes, the shelter does have room for dozens of people. But the question is, why? There may be many kind-hearted people in this world who are selfless enough to sacrifice some of their own interests for others. But there is absolutely no Zhang Yi's name among these people. Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen looked at each other. Yang Xinxin smiled, and Lu Karen scratched his head helplessly. This is indeed something their teachers can do. Zhang Yi picked up the phone and rejected Liang Yi bluntly. Sorry, my shelter won't let anyone in. After a while, Liang Yi sent another long text, trying to persuade Zhang Yi. We will not be a burden to you in the past, and can also do many things for you. These children at Tianqing Academy have learned more knowledge and skills than ordinary people since childhood. They are very capable. Zhang Yi said, that this matter was not negotiable. To be honest, Teacher Liang, we don't seem to have any friendship. Right? I'm even less familiar with your students. It can even be said that there are still some conflicts between us. Why do you think I would be kind enough to take you in? Zhang Yi still remembers that at Tianqing College, he snatched Liang Yu's longing sword and killed several students who tried to kidnap Yang Xinxin. What did those people think of him? It won't make a good impression anyway. Seeing that he failed to persuade Zhang Yi, Liang Yu was not really a fool, so he could only slow down his tone. So, you can always provide us with shelter and some living supplies. Right? Zhang Yi smiled and said that if these conditions were met, there would still be room for negotiation. Zhang Yi looked at Yang Xinxin and asked Xinxin with a smile. Have you said before that as long as a Trojan horse can be implanted into the network of Shishan base, you can invade their entire network system? Yang Xinxin suddenly realized what Zhang Yi wanted to do. Brother. Do you want to use Teacher Liang to launch a counterattack on Shishan base? Zhang Yi said lightly, I can't always be passively beaten. At least once you control their network, you can understand their true strength. Just in case I need to use it one day, this will become a very important trump card in my hand. Chapter 282 Choosing to Negotiate Zhang Yi immediately discussed with Liang Yu and agreed to cooperate with her. But the condition is that Liang Yu assists him in secretly dealing with the Shishan base. This is naturally not a problem for Liang Yu. She has long hated this evil place and wished it was destroyed. So the two hit it off. As for how Liang Yi brings those students out, that is her own business. At best, Zhang Yi would provide some assistance, and it was impossible for him to go there and help her save people. However, Zhang Yi was also curious. What exactly did Liang Yi plan to do? He repeatedly confirmed with Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen. How is your teacher Liang's mind? The two laughed and said to her, Her IQ is still online. You shouldn't do anything stupid. 
Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows and said with a playful look, Right. Then I am somewhat looking forward to seeing what means she used to bring out so many students. Xu Jia Town. After Liang Yu got Zhang Yi's promise, she felt a little relieved. At the very least, she has arranged a way out for the students. The next thing to think about is how to take them out of the Shishan base. If it were just one or two people, with her current status as the captain of the special forces team, it would not be difficult to take them out. After all, the people in the fourth life warehouse are now just labor force and experimental subjects. But taking away more than 30 students at one go is a bit difficult. You have to find a suitable time. Liang Yu thought secretly in his heart. It's best to have an opportunity to shake the entire Shishan base. She couldn't be too impatient. It would be terrible if things were revealed. She stuffed her phone into her white boots. She has two cell phones, which is a secret of hers. She had just entered the Shishan base and handed in her mobile phone for inspection. Liang Yu doubted whether surveillance software had been implanted in it. Luckily, she has two cell phones. So she handed in one, but secretly hid the other. And it was this one that she used to contact Zhang Yi. On the other side, Ling Feng, Shi Deong, and several other cronies were in another snow house, eating and discussing the next attack plan. Ling Feng and Shi Deong were both relatively powerful ability users in Shishan base. As top warriors, their physical fitness and combat literacy are many times stronger than ordinary people. So after awakening, he becomes even more powerful, coupled with the various technologies and ruthless assistance provided by the Shishan base. Ling Feng was created to be a perfect super warrior, but the only drawback is that it consumes too much. Although Ling Feng is not tall, he can usually eat as much as four soldiers by himself. And today, he ate even more. After all, he spent too long using his abilities. Ling Feng grabbed a piece of grilled fish, stuffed it directly into his mouth, and bit off most of the body in one bite. While eating, he vaguely told a few people around him that judging from the current situation, ordinary attack methods were useless against that shelter. So put away your weapons for the time being and be responsible for guarding the surrounding areas. It's up to us to deal with Zhang Yi. Hearing this, several soldiers asked curiously, If we don't need to deal with Zhang Yi, then who else do we need to guard against? Ling Feng looked at them and said with a half smile that Tianhai City is more than just a refuge for us in Shishan. We have made too much noise in the past few days, and there may be other forces coming to join in the fun. In addition, I think the villagers in Xujia Town are starting to have problems with us. You have to guard against them. Several soldiers laughed when they heard this. You mean these villagers? Captain, stop joking. Do they have the guts? Ling Feng said unhurriedly that these stupid people can easily do stupid things when their brains get hot. So it's always good to be on the defensive. As long as they dare to resist and shoot a few to death. The rest will be honest. The soldiers nodded. This was not the first time they had done this. They were very skilled. At this moment, a female soldier suddenly walked over. Captain, the leader wants to talk to you. Hearing the word leader, the atmosphere at the scene suddenly solidified. They have been out for two days and received a large amount of explosives from the Shishan base. But in the end, the shelter was still intact. But they lost nearly half of their soldiers. Once this kind of result is reported, their leader will definitely be furious. Everyone couldn't help but sweat for Ling Feng. However, the person involved, Ling Feng, put down the fish bones in his hand with a calm expression, stood up and walked over calmly. It's not that he wasn't nervous in his heart, but as the person in charge of this operation, he had the awareness to take responsibility for it. Ling Feng came to the communicator next door. A communicator is a special computer device, but its functions are much more complex than ordinary home computers. Through it, you can communicate with the Shishan base located several hundred meters underground. Through the screen, Ling Feng saw Qin Xinian's gentle yet majestic face. Ling Feng gave a military salute to the leader. Qin Xinian nodded. Ling Feng, how did you complete this mission? Two days have passed. Is there any progress? Qin Xinian did not ask Ling Feng whether he had completed the task. Because according to Ling Feng's usual style, if the task was completed, he would have reported it as soon as possible. So Qin Xinian also knew that Ling Feng had encountered a difficult problem. Ling Feng, with a square face like black iron, carefully reported the battle situation to Qin Xinian one by one, without hiding anything, including the abilities displayed by Zhang Yi and the fact that more than 20 elite soldiers were killed. After hearing this information, the smile on Qin Xinian's face slowly faded, and a cold light flashed in his squinted eyes. Those are more than 20 members of the special operations team. They are not ordinary warriors. 
but the elite among the elite. And there are even artificial aliens, who have been transformed with great difficulty. Was he killed just like that? This caused serious losses in the combat power of the entire Shishan base. Ling Feng knew that Qin Shinian must be very disappointed and angry. He quickly said that although we had made great sacrifices in the past, after these two days of exploration, we have figured out Zhang Yi's abilities. Next we will be able to break his shelter. Please rest assured about this. Qin Shinian was silent for a moment. He had to calm down. Otherwise he would definitely scold Ling Feng. But facing his most powerful fighting force, Chen Xinyan couldn't scold him. After all, he still had to be used. Even if you want to criticize, you have to wait until he completes the mission and returns to the base. Chen Xinyan asked, what are you going to do? Ling Feng said that ordinary thermal weapons will not work on him unless we can ask for help from the upper level military region and mobilize missiles to attack his shelter. Chen Xinyan couldn't help but take a deep breath, stared at him and said that this plan was too difficult to implement and would not be considered for the time being. And I said, what I want is Zhang Yi alive. What use do I need from a dead man? What he wants is the massive supplies in Zhang Yi's space. But once Zhang Yi is killed, it is completely unknown whether he can still get those materials. Ling Feng also knew that Chen Xinyan would answer this way. So he slowly made his second suggestion. The second suggestion is to use several of our captain level strangers to continuously launch attacks on Zhang Yi's shelter. The disadvantage is that it may take a little longer. Chen Xinyan calmly asked how long it would take. Ling Feng thought for a long time before slowly spitting out two words. Half a year. Ling Feng wasn't sure about this figure. But he knew that Chen Xinyan was very angry and didn't dare to talk any longer. However, the length of half a year was already incredible to Chen Xinyan. You mean, we need to spend half a year and invest so many captain-level aliens to attack that sanctuary? Doesn't that mean that the defense strength of our Shishan base will be gravely weakened within the next six months? What if someone invades? What if there is an internal commotion? Can you provide support in time? Ling Feng said. Leader, we are stationed in Xujia town and do not need the base to provide supplies. Moreover, we have confirmed that Zhang Yi is a person with space ability. He must be the one who stole tens of billions of supplies from Walmart's warehouse. As long as we can capture him, we can maintain the operation of the base for at least five years. Qin Xinyan leaned back on the swivel sofa chair and slowly tapped the table with his right hand. Not long after, he slowly said to Ling Feng, But have you ever thought about what will happen in five years? Ling Feng was stunned for a moment. Five years from now? He really hadn't thought about such a long-term matter. After all, after the end of the world, most people can only live one day at a time. Qin Xinyan said that materials in the outside world are not scarce now. But most of them are stored under the ice and snow. And we are unable to obtain them. But I am very interested in Zhang Yi's ability. He is a natural warehouse. If we can let him join our base, it will definitely be of great benefit to the base. In the future, let alone five years, we can maintain it even for 50 years. Everyone knows that there are a lot of materials buried under the ice and snow. After all, China's production capacity is very strong. And there are so many domestic materials that it must be exported abroad. As long as the materials under the ice and snow can be dug out, many people can survive. The problem is, however, that the ice age made many modern tools unusable. For example, cars. There is only one snowmobile available for use in the entire Shishan base. But the loading capacity is not enough. It's not like they didn't send troops to search the surrounding warehouses and large supermarkets. And what if you find the location? What do they rely on to dig? After it is excavated, how will it be transported to the Shishan base more than 10 kilometers or even dozens of kilometers away? These problems, which are not problems at all in modern society, have now become big troubles faced by Shishan base. Jun Xinyan took a fancy to Zhang Yi's ability. He told Ling Feng that the materials in Zhang Yi's hands were very precious. And I also valued him as a person. If you can't take him down quickly through force, then in my opinion, it would be good to have a talk with him. Qin Xinyan was unwilling to delay for another half year. What's more, what Ling Feng said in half a year may not come true. Do you want to negotiate with him? The muscles on Ling Feng's face twitched. And there was a burning fire in his heart. Dozens of brothers from their special forces team died. Can this matter be brushed aside lightly? Everything is for the development of the base. Ling Feng, we must put the overall situation first. Qin Xinyan put his hands in and said to Ling Feng in an irresistible tone. Ling Feng did not dare to disobey Qin Xinyan. After all, this was his old leader during his military days, and now he was the leader of Shishan base. 
As a soldier, Ling Fong was very disciplined. Yes, I obey all your orders. Chin Qinian nodded with satisfaction. Okay, don't stop your attack on Zhang Yi's shelter in the next few days. And increase the firepower. Strive for strong terms for our negotiations. Of course, it is impossible for Chen Qinian to negotiate with Zhang Yi now. Because Zhang Yi was the winner at this time. When he went to find Zhang Yi, he was at a disadvantage in terms of momentum. Therefore, Ling Feng must be led to put enough pressure on him before he comes forward to recruit people. So in the next few days, instead of stopping the actions of the AC special team, they intensified their offensive efforts. They were divided into three teams and carried out harassing attacks on the shelter 24 hours a day, throw grenades, and set off firearms to attack. This offense does no real harm to the shelter, but it looks like they are determined to take over the shelter at the Shishan base. Little did they know that Zhang Yi and others were staying in the basement at this time. After turning on the active noise reduction, all the movement outside was isolated, unless he discovered that they were making large-scale movements. Zhang Yi ignored ordinary gun attacks. He had Liang Yu and Fatty Su as internal agents. And he already knew that the other party was bluffing. Because in the past few days of the attack, their captain-level figures had taken turns to supervise the battle. But they will not go into battle in person. What the H, L are these people trying to do? What other conspiracy is there? Zhang Yi was not sure what the meaning of their actions was. However, compared to those special operations teams who struggled to attack in the ice and snow, he lived a very comfortable life in the basement. A warm and comfortable room. Accompanied by a cute and sexy woman. Plenty of food. And a hot bath. This is something that no one outside can even imagine. As long as he thinks of these, Zhang Yi's heart is filled with happiness. But three days later, Zhang Yi received a video call request from Shishan base. Dialogue means negotiation. Zhang Yi finally understood why the opponent still pretended to step up the attack even though he knew the attack was ineffective. After thinking again and again, and confirming to Yang Xinxin that the network insecurity would not be affected. Zhang Yi answered the video call from Shishan base. A middle-aged man wearing a Chinese tunic suit and neatly combed back hair appeared on the screen. Chapter 283 Don't Play by the Rules This is the first meeting between Zhang Yi and Chin Xinian. However, Zhang Yi's personal information had long been delivered to Chin Xinian's desk. So Chin Xinian knows Zhang Yi relatively well at least Chin Xinian is very clear about the information before the end of the world. Therefore, Chin Xinian, who has read Zhang Yi's personal information, is very confident in recruiting him. In Chin Xinian's view, Zhang Yi is just an urban youth with average education and some courage and courage. He has no political experience, has never been a senior corporate leader, and is not even a white-collar worker. In the past, such a person would not have been qualified to even contact Chin Xinian. Chin Xinian's confidence is reflected in his calm smile. As soon as he saw Zhang Yi, he showed a gentle smile and said H. Lo. Hello. You are Zhang Yi. Right? Zhang Yi doesn't have a good impression of Chen Xinian. Although this middle-aged man looked kind and kind. After listening to Liang Yu's inside story about Shishan base, he realized how ruthless the person in front of him was. Are you the leader of Shishan base? Don't know what to call it. Zhang Yi's tone was calm. And he also had a warm smile on his face. My name is Chen Xinian. Hello. Mr. Chen Xinian. I wonder if you come to me this time and have any advice. Zhang Yi asked with a smile. The smile on Chin Xinian's face became even stronger. He suddenly opened his eyes, and a sharp look appeared on his originally kind face. Just this look made Zhang Yi feel a chill. A while ago, two soldiers from our Shishan base went out on a mission. Later they disappeared near your shelter. According to the information sent before they disappeared, the last person they came into contact with was you. Mr. Zhang Yi, did you kill the people in our base? Chin Xinian started questioning him as soon as he came up, trying to suppress Zhang Yi first. But Zhang Yi is not scared. The other party has been in the officialdom for many years and is very good at playing with power and interpersonal relationships. Zhang Yi would not be stupid enough to fight in the opponent's territory. So he decided to break the other party's rules and bring Chen Xinian into his own field, then rely on his rich experience to defeat Chen Xinian. Without saying a word, Zhang Yi took out a saber from another dimension and stuck it on the table. This move made Chen Xinian frown. Such rude behavior is completely inconsistent with the negotiation methods he has always understood. Zhang Yi pointed to the saber and said, Do you recognize the saber? It's your people who stayed in my house. Even in peaceful times, breaking into a house privately and leaving a murder weapon behind can be regarded as a legal intrusion and will be shot directly. What's more, in today's apocalyptic world, 
everyone is in danger. Your people dare to threaten me. So what if I kill them? Zhang Yi's way of dealing with Qin Xinyan is not to follow the rules. He is a young man and doesn't like the old man's and officialdom's hidden agendas and intrigues. If you insist on pretending to be serious, you will only be tricked by Qin Xinyan in the end. Therefore, Zhang Yi simply failed. Yes, I did it. What do you think? Anyway, everyone knows what's going on. So why not play with a bright card? Chen Xinyan felt very contemptuous when he saw Zhang Yi's reckless appearance. What's the difference between his behavior and those who don't understand education? Vulgar. Chen Xinyan also tried to explain his theory to Zhang Yi. They are not hurting you. They are just greeting you this way. Let you know there are other survivors around. In fact, our West Mountain base often assists survivors as they are discovered. The mark is left for your peace of mind. This will make it easier for us to assist you in the future. How can you repay kindness with hatred? Well, Zhang Yi looked at Qin Xinyan's distressed look and sneered in his heart. What happened to Liang Yu and those students has proven how bad the Shishan base is. Qin Xinyan, you are really good at acting. Zhang Yi waved his hand. I don't want you to think that. I want me to think that. I say they are intruders. They are intruders. No matter what. I will kill them. Zhang Yi looked like he was in trouble. But Chen Xinyan couldn't fix it. According to Chen Xinyan's idea, he should reason with Zhang Yi and then get around Zhang Yi through his skillful deception. But what about Zhang Yi? Just tell him directly. I am the one who killed him. What will happen to you? I don't care what they want to do. In short, if I say they are bad people, they are bad people. Don't even think about playing moral kidnapping with me. As long as I have no morals, I won't be kidnapped by you. Chen Xinyan's face darkened. And he said seriously, no matter what, isn't it a mistake for you to kill people before you figure out the facts? Of course not. Zhang Yi said confidently that I can kill them if I want. As long as I think there is a 1% chance that they will harm me, I will do it even if there is only 1% chance. With that said, Zhang Yi pointed at Chen Xinyan and said, You are true. But just a few people died so it wouldn't be such a big fuss. He punched the old master to death. Zhang Yi's performance completely exceeded Chen Xinyan's expectations. This sense of nonsense is driving Chen Xinyan crazy. He also lost his patience and said with a cold face, So, are you determined not to admit your mistake? Zhang Yi also sneered and said, What's wrong with me? You have already sent a large army to my door. They keep attacking my house with guns, bombs and explosives every day. And now they say I'm at fault? You can't be so shameless as a human being. Right? Zhang Yi has no plans to make peace with Shishan base. Because he knew that the initiative to make peace between the two parties had always been in Chen Xinyan's hands. Zhang Yi is just the defensive side. If the other side withdraws its troops, peace will come. According to Liang Yu, Zhang Yi also understood that Chen Xinyan was a thoroughly smiling person with a black heart. It is impossible to have any hope for this kind of person. And you absolutely cannot be moved by his sugar-coated bullets. The reason why I accepted the conditions of the call was just to take the opportunity to test the other party and see how many cards they had not used. Chen Xinyan put away the fake smile on his face, leaned on the swivel chair on the sofa, crossed his hands, and looked at Zhang Yi with a cold and indifferent look. It was a look that made Zhang Yi very disgusted. I remember that when I was working before. The big leaders in the company looked at him with this look. The feeling of being so high above him, looking down at him, made him nauseous. What are you so arrogant about? It's the end of the world. And you're still carrying on like a leader. With a disdainful expression on his face, Zhang Yi suddenly raised his legs on the table. From Chen Xinyan's perspective, two big feet wearing black socks were hitting his face. You? Chen Xinyan was furious. When had he ever been insulted like this? Zhang Yi said lightly, You better get back here. Otherwise, I will make sure none of these people from Shishan Bay survive. And I will also contact other forces in Tianhai City and tell them, that the defenses of the Shishan base are empty. Do you think they will take the opportunity to go over and do something? What Zhang Yi said was just a bluff. In fact, he didn't know anyone from other forces in Tianhai City. But Zhang Yi knew that in a city as big as Tianhai City with a population of more than 20 million, there must still be survivors. Qin Xinyan knew this very clearly. He couldn't help but feel a little nervous. But on the surface, Qin Xinyan still pretended to be calm. Alas, Zhang Yi, you, you are so young. Chin Xinyan pointed at Zhang Yi inside, thinking about solving problems in a rough way. In fact, I came to you hoping to negotiate peace. I know that you had all the supplies in Walmart South China Warehouse. So many supplies. 
You can't use it up in 10 lifetimes. So why keep it in your hands? Johnny immediately and decisively denied that I didn't. It wasn't me. Don't talk nonsense. Even if the evidence was solid. He would never admit it. If you enjoy good things secretly. That's fine. Don't make it public. People are afraid of being famous and pigs are afraid of being strong. Chin Shinian laughed. I already know it. There's no point in hiding it. I just want you to think about the bigger picture. There are thousands of survivors in our Shishan base. If you can provide these materials, you can keep these thousands of people alive for many years. Zhang Yi sneered in his heart. In terms of feelings, the official is using himself as a second currency? Liang Yi once said that the four life warehouses at Shishan base are four different classes. The higher you go, the higher the quality of life. The fourth life chamber at the bottom can only eat protein liquid made by cockroaches and corpses. Are there any supplies that are not enough? It's just uneven distribution. If everyone took protein liquid, he believed that Shishan base would be able to support more than twice as many people without any pressure. I eat delicacies from the mountains and sees every day and enjoy young and beautiful female students. But I come here to talk to Zhang Yi about dedication? How ridiculous. However, Zhang Yi did not say these words. Because once he said this, Qin Xinian knew that someone at Shishan base had contacted him. Zhang Yi just said lightly, What does that have to do with me? Sorry. I'm not that great. The life and death of others has nothing to do with me. So many people have died in the last days. This is natural selection and survival of the fittest. Chin Xinian frowned. You? 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 How could you have such selfish and shallow thoughts? Could it be that all the education the country has given you over the years has been wasted? It is the duty of every citizen to sacrifice oneself for public service and contribute to the country and the people. What's more, you are still an adult male. Do you know how many old, weak, women and children there are in Shishan base? It is difficult for them to even have enough to eat? What about your sense of responsibility? Qin Xinian did not give up brainwashing Zhang Yi. In his opinion, young people like Zhang Yi are passionate. As long as he is brainwashed with national justice and feelings of family and country, it will be easy to impress him and make him stand up and contribute. But he didn't know that after experiencing two lives of human H. L. Zhang Yi's heart was harder than steel. R. He just wants to live well by himself. But helping others now would mean bringing danger to himself. And he would never do it. Stop talking here. Zhang Yi said to Qin Xinian with a sneer. If I were really the kind of person you said, I would have died at the beginning of the end of the world. It's not like Zhang Yi has never seen such a person before. At the very least, Uncle Yu in his previous life died because of his dedication. He gave all his food to the old, weak, women and children, causing himself to die of cold and hunger. There are also kind-hearted young people who have done similar things for the sake of justice in their hearts, including Zhang Yi himself. He also has a kind side. It's just that that part of kindness is not suitable to be preserved in the apocalypse and has been sealed by himself. And that part of kindness and gentleness is only shown to those around him who are trustworthy. Zhang Yi's lack of food and salt made Qin Xinian a little angry. He finally realized that the cold-looking young man in front of him was not that easy to deal with. If playing the emotional card doesn't work, the only option is to talk about interests. Chun Xinian said to Zhang Yi again, Actually, my main purpose of calling you this time is to invite you to join our Shishan base. Zhang Yi was unmoved and just sneered, Join your Shishan base? I'm afraid I have to pay a big price. Chin Xinian said that I can lower the standard. As long as you take out half of the supplies in your hand, you can keep the remaining half for yourself. But believe me, what you can give will definitely be more than what you pay for. Zhang Yi sneered and said that the materials in my hands were all collected by me after the end of the world. And they were only enough for the few of us to live for a few months. Are you concerned about such a small amount? Chin Xinian sighed. You are not honest now. I already have the exact information. So you don't need to play tricks on me. Zhang Yi just sneered twice. What I told is the truth. It's up to you whether you believe it or not. But I'm a little curious. Why do you think I would give up my current shelter and go to your base? Zhang Yi didn't know where Chen Xinian's confidence came from. How comfortable is his life now? The shelter has all kinds of living and entertainment facilities. Plenty of food. And a group of lovely women to accompany you. This is a heavenly life. As for the Shishan base. According to Liang Yu, it is just a giant fortification deep underground. Both the comfort level and living conditions are far inferior to those in shelters. Chen Xinian showed a meaningful smile. Zhang Yi. So you are still young. Do you know what is the greatest happiness in this world for a man? Not money. Not women. But having power. 
Qin Shi Nian clenched his fists and said proudly to Zhang Yi, As long as you come to Xishan base, I can make you my second in command. By then, in the entire Xishan base, you will be inferior to one person and superior to 10,000 people. If you think about it, you can control the fate of thousands of people. Everyone will bow their heads sincerely when they see you. And everyone will do everything possible to please you and cater to all your preferences. Even if you fart, there will be people chasing your butt to smell it. Whatever you want. You don't even need to open your mouth. Just a look and someone will solve it for you. Any wealthy woman will be within your reach. Don't you think such wonderful things are tempting enough? Chapter 284 Coaxing and Threats Although Zhang Yi hated Chen Xinyan, Zhang Yi had to agree with what Chen Xinyan said. Zhang Yi recalled a series of things he experienced when he was working as a warehouse manager. When you are a junior employee, you have to be careful to please your leaders and senior employees. Even if it was just a supervisor one level above him, he had to carefully consider the other person's ideas and then act according to his wishes. After a few years, he also became a supervisor, supervising seven or eight people. That was the first time he felt how wonderful power felt. Others have to work hard to complete the tasks assigned by just a casual sentence. When eating together, you always have to order dishes based on his preferences, and you have to point the fish head at him. When singing, girls always sit next to him. And this is just the power advantage that a warehouse supervisor can have. The higher you go, the greater the charm of power. And it can even come close to the legendary ability to follow your words. Just move your mouth, or even make a similar hint, and someone will arrange everything for you. Zhang Yi listened to the beautiful blueprint described by Chen Xinyan. To be honest, he really missed those days in his heart. However, he did not hesitate at all and decisively rejected Chen Xinyan. What you said has no appeal to me now. If it were before the end of the world, I would be happy to be a small leader with power. Because under a mature social system, the benefits of being a leader far outweigh the risks. But now, risks and benefits coexist. I'm not in the mood to interfere with that mess at your Shishan base. I have no interest in being someone's second in command. Zhang Yi is not an ambitious person. Maybe his biggest dream in life is to have a few girlfriends with childlike faces, big breasts and A4 waists. And then he can have enough food and clothing for the rest of his life. And that's it. This kind of flat-footed temperament is destined to make him unable to be the leader of too many people. He is not Chen Qinyan. He can blacken his conscience and eat delicacies by himself. And then let most people at the bottom eat protein liquid made from cockroaches and corpses. Moreover, he didn't believe Chen Qinyan. Going to Shishan base? Someone else's territory? Then when the time comes, people will work as swordsmen and others as fish and meat. But it won't be as wonderful as what we are talking about now. I reject. Zhang Yi said coldly. I enjoy my current life very much and will not join any force. Nor do I want to be controlled by anyone. If you withdraw your troops now, I can forget about the past and let us keep our peace from now on. What do you think? Although he was attacked many times by Shishan base, Zhang Yi did not suffer any losses. On the contrary, many people died from the opponent. Therefore, Zhang Yi has no intention of revenge. If it can end like this, he will be happy. However, Chen Xinyan was not happy. Seeing Zhang Yi's lack of food and salt, he finally changed his expression. It's too soft. He's going to be hard. Snort. Do you think you can just forget it after killing so many people in our Shishan base? Zhang Yi. I gave you a chance because I cherish you as a talent. If you don't know how to praise me, I won't hold back anymore. With the strength of our Shishan base, it is only a matter of time before we capture your little shelter. Zhang Yi sneered and said, is it just a matter of time? You sent so many people here, including guns and explosives. But ask them, did they hurt me? Zhang Yi, even a hair? On the contrary, they suffered heavy casualties. Now it's not you giving me a chance, but I giving you a chance. Old Chen, stop it. You have no chance of beating me. The sound of Old Chen showed Zhang Yi's contempt for Chen Xinyan and made Chen Xinyan's heart boil with murderous intent. He stared at Zhang Yi and said in a sinister tone, Do you really think that I can't do anything to you if you are hiding in that bastard's cover? I only need to mobilize a missile to turn you and the shelter into ashes in an instant. Zhang Yi's heart moved. Missile? This is a big killer. If the shelter really faced a missile attack, it would never be able to absorb the terrifying power with its extra-dimensional carrying capacity. Even the shelter will be severely damaged. Not only the ground will be destroyed, but the underground may also be violently impacted. However, Zhang Yi had a relaxed expression on his face. Oh, is it so? 
This is the first time I heard that Tiahai City has the authority to mobilize missiles. Awesome. Really awesome. Zhang Yi clapped his hands as he spoke, with a joking smile on his face. Tiahai City does not have a large military region. Even if there is a missile base for defense, authority cannot be delegated to local governments. Especially now that the end of the world is approaching. That kind of big killing weapon will definitely be firmly in the hands of higher levels. Are you? Chin Xinian? A piece of shit? You're just the head of a local separatist force. So you're qualified to mobilize missiles? Zhang Yi concluded that Chin Xinian was just bluffing. And he didn't believe it at all. Chen Xinian said with a gloomy face. What do you? A little warehouse manager. No. I just don't want to see you and those materials burned. So I just want to give you a chance. Zhang Yi. Please don't make a mistake. Otherwise, when the missiles come over, there will be no place for you to cry. Zhang Yi didn't say it completely. Oh. Is it so? Since you are so powerful, why not give me one to see? Show your strength. Jin Xinian sneered and said missiles are so precious. You can just hit them if you want? Zhang Yi spread his hands and said, You actually don't have any evidence to prove that you have the right to launch missiles. Right? Believe it or not. But when the moment comes, you won't have a chance to regret it. Chen Xinian continued to threaten. But when had Zhang Yi ever been threatened by others? A disdainful sneer appeared on his lips. I like to have fun sometimes. Otherwise, I'll take a gamble with you. I bet your base doesn't have missiles. If I lose the bet, I will give you my life. But you will get nothing. If I win the bet and my life is saved, you will have nothing to lose. What do you think of this bet? Chin Xinian's face was terrifyingly gloomy. Zhang Yi is very single. Chin Xinian could not win this bet no matter what he did. What he wants is the materials in Zhang Yi's hands and Zhang Yi's personal space power. However, even if he can really mobilize the missiles, what happens after they are blown up? He gained nothing and instead wasted a missile. Not to mention, his so-called ability to mobilize missiles was also a lie to Zhang Yi. Although there is a way he can try, it will come at a huge price. Just to let out a sigh of relief is not worth it. Zhang Yi, I advise you young people not to be too arrogant. What a joke. Can you still call yourself a young person if you are not full of energy? Zhang Yi did not retreat at all. He knew that there was no room for compromise between the two parties now. If he takes a step back, he will lose everything. But the other party can still accept a step back. The most classic prisoner's dilemma is to put yourself to death and survive. Chin Xinian stared at Zhang Yi and said word by word. Fine. If you want war, then I will give you war. Zhang Yi quickly responded, You started the war. And all the blame lies with yourself. This unpleasant conversation ended hastily. Chin Xinian was furious. He could not tolerate his dignity being provoked by a warehouse manager. Zhang Yi, on the other hand, looked calm. He knew that the opponent did not have many trump cards that he could use. Otherwise, the leader of Shishan base would not take the initiative to negotiate with him. But the missile he was talking about, is it true or false? Zhang Yi frowned, feeling a little worried in his heart. Although according to common sense, Tianhai City cannot have the power to control missile launches. But it's better to be careful about this matter. Zhang Yi immediately informed everyone to temporarily move to the stadium on the third floor of the basement. With this depth and the strength of the shelter, even a missile attack cannot destroy it. Of course, except for the one carrying a special warhead. However, this possibility is infinitely close to zero. Qin Xinyan does not have such broad authority to mobilize missiles carrying special warheads. Even if there were, it would be impossible for anyone to agree to let the entire Tianhai city be buried with Zhang Yi in order to confirm whether there were missiles in the Shishan base. Zhang Yi sent another message to Liang Yu and asked her to help confirm. However, Liang Yu said that he had no authority to access that level at all. The time she went to Shishan base was too short, even though she received special treatment because of her superior military strength. She was not qualified to contact the core levels of Shishan base. Yang Xinxin gave Zhang Yi a suggestion. If you can hack into the internal network of Shishan base, you can know whether what Chen Xinyan said is true or false. She handed Zhang Yi a black and gold chip and asked if she could find an opportunity to connect it to the internal network of Shishan base. I can take care of the rest. Zhang Yi took the chip and said with a smile that if he wanted to enter the Shishan base, he probably had to go through Liang Yu. After thinking about it for a while, he already had a plan in mind. Shishan base. After Chen Xinyan was rejected by Zhang Yi, his face looked gloomy as if a dark cloud was hanging over his head. He sat on the chair without saying a word. But the gloom in his eyes was like a pool of dirty stagnant water. 
Secretary Garou carefully brought a cup of hot tea. Leader, have some tea. There is no need to be angry with such a short-sighted little person. Chin Xinyan took the cup and took a sip of hot tea. The pleasant temperature of the tea made him feel slightly relieved. No matter what, Johnny must win. I originally thought he was a talented person and wanted to take him under my wing. But I didn't expect him to be so ignorant of praise. Since he can't be used by me, let's destroy him. Chin Xinyan sighed with regret. Inform Ling Feng that no matter what methods he uses or the price he pays, he must take down that shelter for me. Johnny himself. No matter life or death. Guru bowed and said, Leader! As for how Ling Feng would do it, Chen Xinyan didn't care. He is the leader. And the leader's job is to see the overall situation. As for fighting, it is the responsibility of Ling Feng, the captain of the special operations team. It is enough that the leader will give orders. Guru conveyed Chen Xinyan's order to Ling Feng. The negotiations broke down. And Zhang Yi stubbornly opposed the Xishan base regardless of the leader's cherishment of talents. The leader orders you to capture Zhang Yi's shelter at all costs. No matter life or death. After receiving the leader's order, Ling Feng showed a relieved smile on his face. To be honest, he was really worried about Zhang Yi agreeing to the peace talks. In that case, Zhang Yi's status will definitely be higher than Ling Feng's when he enters Xishan base. Ling Feng could only endure his status as a loser and could not avenge his dead brothers. Yes, I promise. I will take down that shelter. Ling Feng was smarter this time and didn't give a time limit. He had suffered enough from Zhang Yi and didn't want to be slapped in the face again. Guro was naturally aware of his little thoughts. But she didn't deliberately point them out. Ling Feng has the highest combat power in Xishan base. Even Chen Xinyan is very polite to him. There is no need to be too harsh on him. That night, Ling Feng called his most trusted people to his room. Let's discuss together how to deal with Zhang Yi. After the previous hard battle, they have fully realized that this is an extremely difficult opponent to deal with. So they have to go all out and even do whatever it takes. After a whole night of discussions, they came up with a new plan. Time comes the next day. Ling Feng called Su Dongteng over and asked him to call everyone in every household in Xijia town. Everyone must arrive. He has something very important for everyone to do. Su Dongteng was curious, but he didn't dare to ask any more questions. He could only arrange for the village chiefs of several villages in Xijia town to go door to door to notify them. An hour later, more than a thousand people in Xijia town who were still alive gathered in the snow square in the center of the town. After they arrived here, they found that the atmosphere was a bit serious. Dozens of soldiers in white combat uniforms, armed with rifles, were on alert around the scene. They had straight faces, without a trace of smile, and looked at the villagers as if they were looking at a group of prisoners. It turns out that what they were on guard against was not that enemies were attacking, but that these villagers were disobeying orders. What are they going to do? Why do I feel a little scary? The timid villagers whispered. I'm timid. So don't scare me. We have satisfied all their demands. So they shouldn't hurt us. Right? Don't think too much. It won't happen. Someone was startled and quickly stopped that person from continuing to speak. Because if that person continues talking, others will be scared to death. Everyone was muttering in their hearts and very nervous. Ling Feng stood at the front, standing on a high platform with his hands behind his back, looking down at everyone. He asked the village chiefs of each village to confirm one by one to ensure that everyone was present. After confirming that everyone in Xijia town was present, he picked up a loudspeaker and shouted, The villagers of Xijia town, as you all know, we are here to help you all. Just on the other side of the river, there is a demon named Zhang Yi who has killed countless people. This man was extremely cruel and killed hundreds of people in Sudong village. It is simply too numerous to describe. In order to kill this beast, we now need everyone to cooperate with our work. From now on, everyone must hand over all communication tools such as mobile phones and computers. This is to ensure that our battle plan will not be leaked. When Zhang Yi is eliminated, we will return these things intact. After speaking, Ling Feng looked at Su Dongtang and the village chiefs of each village. Everyone, this is a problem for you. Everyone's communication equipment must be put away. Once any hidden behavior is discovered, it will be dealt with as a crime of collaborating with the enemy. I hope everyone will stop making small moves. It would be bad if there is a misunderstanding. Chapter 285 Death Order The villagers in Xijia town couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when they heard that only communication tools were confiscated. Everyone's faces were filled with smiles. Although without mobile phones, they would lose their way of entertainment. They did not think there was anything wrong with what the special forces did. 
the greatest advantage of people in this land is that they are obedient. Of course, even if there are more things that infringe on their interests, as long as they don't let them die, they can mostly tolerate it. Therefore, the scene was in order, and the villagers were very cooperative in handing over their communication equipment. Among the crowd, Fatty Sue's heart was beating fast, and he was extremely nervous. Others are not afraid, because they have no contact with Zhang Yi. And Fatty Su is Zhang Yi's undercover agent, who stayed in Xuzhou town. Fortunately, he is very afraid of death. From the day he started Infernal Affairs, he had been fully prepared for this moment. He deletes the chat history with Zhang Yi every day, and even has a shortcut key for deleting friends. When Su Dongtang brought someone over to collect his cell phone, Fatty Su quickly deleted Zhang Yi's friends. At this time, there was no trace left by Zhang Yi in his mobile phone, unless the other party does data recovery. But this probability is extremely low. There are thousands of people in Xuzhou town. And it takes who knows how long it will take for each one of them to recover. What's more, they may not have the professional equipment to operate it. Su Dongtang and others walked up to Fatty Su. Chunlei, is it your cell phone? Fatty Su quickly put his cell phone into the box. My computer is at home. I'll get it later. Su Dongtang's attitude towards Fatty Su is pretty good. After all, Fatty Su is someone who will have the opportunity to go to Shishan base in the future. Well, wait until Captain Ling finishes speaking before you go back. After Su Dongtang left, Fatty Su felt that he had shed a lot of cold sweat. Although he escaped, what should he do to contact Zhang Yi in the future? Could it be that the people at Shishan base have discovered that they have a traitor in their midst? After everyone's equipment was confiscated, Ling Feng began to arrange the following tasks. Everyone in Xuzhou town was asked to enter a wartime state and assist them in attacking Zhang Yi's shelter. We hope that everyone can cooperate with our work. This is also for your own safety. As long as you get rid of Zhang Yi, the murderous devil, your tomorrow will be happy. All the villagers were at a loss when they heard this and were extremely frightened in their hearts. Doesn't this mean we should attack Zhang Yi's sanctuary? I don't want to go. So many people have died before. We are just a group of farmers and fishermen. So what can we do to fight with others? That's right. With professional soldiers like you here. Why are we allowed to go to war? The villagers were very unhappy at this time and raised their opinions. Ling Feng reassured everyone that they don't need you to charge into battle. But they just need your help in some engineering work. Don't worry. We are here to handle the direct confrontation with Zhang Yi. He patted his chest hard and said, Believe us. Protecting people's lives is the bounden duty of soldiers. The heads of the villages represented by Su Dongtang also spoke up to support Ling Feng. The villagers were more or less dissatisfied. But no one was willing to take the lead and stand up to oppose. Even if this matter is settled like this. In fact, what they think doesn't matter at all. Ling Feng just informed them and asked them to cooperate in the work. They had to agree whether they agreed or not. Fatty Su felt very uneasy. Firstly, he was worried that his undercover identity would be exposed. And secondly, he felt that what Zhang Yi said was about to come true. At first, the special operations team from Shishan base came to Xuzhou town and only asked them to provide food. Later, it evolved into a large number of troops stationed permanently, needing shelter and food, as well as providing them with Zhang Yi's information, which put the villagers of Xuzhou town in danger. Until now, they began to ask the villagers of Xuzhou town to join the attack on Zhang Yi's shelter. According to Zhang Yi's character, as long as he can get through this level, everyone in Xuzhou town will definitely be liquidated in the future. Over at the Shishan base, Fatty Su was not sure whether they would take more extreme actions against Xuzhou town in the future. Behind Ling Feng, Liang Yu stood next to Zhang Xuerong and Sher Daeong, feeling somewhat fortunate that she had prepared two mobile phones. If she is asked to hand over her mobile phone, she can perfectly avoid the search. However, Ling Feng did not doubt her yet. Firstly, Liang Yu's strong strength was recognized by the entire special operations team. Secondly, Ling Feng could not imagine that Liang Yu had any reason to betray the Shishan base. What Liang Yu enjoys at Shishan base is the treatment of the Second Life Warehouse. According to Ling Feng's brain circuit, it was unimaginable that someone could give up a good life in order to save some unrelated people. Liang Yu looked at Ling Feng, feeling wary in her heart, because there was no warning for Ling Feng's move. He did not inform her in advance. Whether this cast suspicion on her or whether there was some too secret of action, she couldn't tell. After thinking for a while, Liang Yu decided to ask Ling Feng. After all, as a member of the special operations team, it wasn't too much for her to ask about the battle plan. Captain Ling, are we taking any big action in this big battle? 
Ling Feng glanced at Liang Yu, smiled lightly, and said that a death order had been issued from above, and Zhang Yi's shelter must be taken down. So now, we must mobilize all the power we can mobilize in order to prevent Liang Yi from feeling isolated. Ling Feng said that this plan was something I came up with last night. Because of the urgent time, I didn't notify you. Liang Yu said calmly that it doesn't matter. You are the captain. You can make up your mind. Ling Feng asked his soldiers to go over and assign tasks. And then he called Liang Yu, Zheng Xuerong, and others to the house. He told several captain-level figures about his plan. And the think tanks of the special operations team already knew about it. We have now conducted several attempted attacks on the shelter. Although the losses were huge, we have basically figured out what Zhang Yi's abilities are. Ballistic weapons such as firearms and rocket launchers cannot be used as they will be absorbed and bounce back. However, his attack methods are limited. He can only attack with a sniper rifle. But he does not dare to come out of the shelter. Therefore, my plan is for a few of us to use superpowers to continuously attack from the blind spot of his shelter. Ling Feng pointed to the 3D model of the shelter and said, The shelter was large and not all sides had windows. So there were many blind spots. My plan is that the next few of us will take turns to appear and use our powers to attack the shelter. Sure Daeong and Zheng Xuerong looked indifferent. Obviously they had known about it for a long time. These words were actually meant for Liang Yu to hear. Liang Yu frowned slightly after listening to Ling Feng's words. Is that all? I'm afraid it's not that simple. She said calmly that although using supernatural powers to attack can produce results, even if the four of us take turns, it will probably take a year and a half to be effective. I don't think the base can allow us to spend so much time here. What's more, if you just let us take action, why did you mobilize so many villagers? When Ling Feng heard this, he immediately smiled and nodded. Teacher Liang, you are indeed very smart and worthy of being a teacher. Liang Yu crossed her arms and said lightly, I'm sorry. I'm a physical education teacher. Ling Feng waved his hand. It doesn't matter what kind of teacher you are. Anyway, there is nothing wrong with what you said. But in fact, our superficial attack was just to attract Zhang Yi's attention. It was a bait. His hand pointed underneath the 3D model, where the dirt was below ground level. Our real method of attack is to blast from underground. A look of determination flashed across Ling Feng's face. Facts have proven that TNT is the most effective against such solid fortifications. Liang Yu instantly understood Ling Feng's entire plan. Her body felt cold, and a layer of white sweat appeared on her back. You? Are you going to let the villagers of Xijia Town die? Blasting from the ground was a method they had discussed before. However, the general view is that it is extremely difficult to achieve this in the absence of modern excavation machinery. After all, the surrounding area of the shelter had been completely blown away by several explosions. The view nearby is too wide. And even digging a tunnel must start from a more distant place. The distance to dig the tunnel must be at least 1,500 meters. In such cold weather, allowing villagers to engage in high-intensity underground excavation operations will definitely cause a large number of villagers to freeze to death from exhaustion. Ling Feng said coldly, I am doing this all for their sake. Before that, Zhang Yi had massacred hundreds of them. And once we leave this land, they will be unable to fight back when facing Zhang Yi. The sacrifice of some people is necessary for the final victory. We are soldiers. And the first discipline of a soldier is to obey orders. Since the leader asked me to take down Zhang Yi's shelter at all costs, I will spare no effort to complete it. Liang Yu clenched her fists angrily, her body trembling. No matter what the cost, it's the expense of others that you sacrifice. Although she knew where the Shishan base was, she didn't expect these soldiers to be so cruel. I'm not a soldier. I cannot do it. Ever since you joined the special forces team, you have been. Ling Feng stared at Lian Yu coldly, his sharp eyes like two knives. Unless you have a better way to breach the shelter, then just follow the orders. Lian Yu's breath was suffocated. What could she do? Now that she has formed an alliance with Zhang Yi, she hopes that this sanctuary will not be captured. But, can she just watch the villagers of Xujia town being sent to die? Lian Yu's eyes were full of grief and anger and her sense of justice made her unable to bear such a thing. But she also knew that her resistance was in vain. Although she had never fought against Ling Feng, judging from the attitudes and rumors of other captain-level strangers towards Ling Feng, Ling Feng was so powerful that she had almost no chance of winning. Secondly, there are two other powerful aliens here, as well as dozens of elite warriors. Once you take action, it is tantamount to asking for death. Seeing that the atmosphere at the scene was a little tense, Zheng Xuerong, 
who was also a woman, came over and took Yang Yu's arm. There is nothing we can do about it. Zhang Yi holds in his hands materials that can support the survival of thousands of people, which is crucial to the Shishan base. Now is the end of the world, and only a few people can survive. Instead of showing mercy to others, it is better to protect yourself and those around you first. For example, your students. Liang Yu suddenly calmed down when he mentioned his students. It would definitely not be a good thing for her and the students to have a stalemate with Ling Feng and others now. When Zheng Shuerong saw Liang Yu's expression relaxed, he smiled and persuaded them again, and he only asked them to dig tunnels, not to be cannon fodder. If they are really all frozen to death and exhausted, where will we get the labor? Don't worry. We are not sweatshop overseers. Liang Yu took in a breath slowly, and then spit it out gently. You have arranged it yourself, but I hope you can put people first, and try not to let them die from overwork. Ling Feng smiled and said, Don't worry. We have everything planned. There are so many people in Xujia town. So digging tunnels and letting them take turns on duty ensures that no one is too tired. Liang Yi looked at him deeply, but did not answer his question. Immortality is impossible. The excavation was fine at the beginning. But as the excavation progressed, problems such as lack of oxygen, exhaustion, and extreme cold would definitely cause many people to die in the tunnel. Liang Yu secretly thought to herself that she should go back and inform Zhang Yi of the news. If he could destroy the tunnel in advance, he could stop Ling Feng's plan. Liang Yu left Ling Feng's house holding Tang Dao. She didn't want to stay here anymore. Otherwise she was afraid she would be impulsive. But when I came outside, I heard the noisy discussion of the villagers in Xujia town. What? Let us go to work. Why? They come here to eat our food, drink our food, and live in our food. Now we are still being treated as coolies. Isn't this bullying an honest person? Hey, guys, don't make a fuss. Don't make a fuss. This organizational arrangement is also for our own good. If the devil Zhang Yi is not eliminated, will our Xujia town have peace? Master Lu, but we don't want to do this now. Yes, Zhang Yi hasn't harassed us for a long time. Everyone kept scolding each other, and their lives were peaceful. Is it necessary to start a war with him again? The villagers were very angry and complained in the square. Liang Yu looked at this scene, expecting them to fight for his own interests. But when she thought about it carefully, she felt that it was not practical. At this point, it is no longer time for them to decide. From the moment Ling Feng decided to force them to dig a tunnel, they had to either agree or not. Just die. We must discuss this matter with Zhang Yi quickly. Otherwise, I don't know how many more people would die. Similarly, this is also to inform Zhang Yi. Only when Zhang Yi successfully withstood the attack from Shishan base, could she have the confidence to escape with her students. Liang Yu quickened his pace and walked towards his house. Chapter 286 Wait for me. Ling Feng guarded everyone in Shijia town, including Fatty Su, but he did not expect that there was a spy in the special team. After all, when Liang Yu entered the Shishan base, her personal information had been clearly investigated. She had no contact with Zhang Yi, and there is no record of that brief contact with Tianqing College on the internet. But because of this oversight, the battle plan that he had been thinking about was leaked in less than a day. After Liang Yi returned to the room, she immediately conveyed this information to Zhang Yi. The special forces team plans to dig tunnels and blast from underneath your shelter. They summoned villagers from the entire Xujia town, and the construction site was far away from the shelter, making it difficult for you to find it. But as long as you pay close attention, you can definitely detect the clues. After Zhang Yi received the news from Liang Yu, he was slightly surprised. Blasting from the ground? Don't tell me. He has thought of this method himself. However, the construction progress will be quite long, and given the strength of the underground fortifications, the amount of explosives required will be extremely large. Therefore, precautions are needed, but no special consideration is needed in the short term. After all, this method can be easily solved just blow up the tunnel, and it will be done in the original construction method. If you take precautions in advance and get a detector, you can detect underground movements. Zhang Yi said to Liang Yu, I understand. Thank you for the reminder. I'll pay attention. Ling Feng's main focus was a sneak attack. But once the intelligence was leaked, this plan would become less lethal and extremely insulting an insult to themselves. Liang Yu suddenly asked, What are you going to do next? Zhang Yi smiled disapprovingly. They like to waste their effort so much. So just let them work hard. It's freezing outside right now. And since it's already the middle of winter, it's actually the coldest season of the year. If they choose to break ground at this time, 
many people will definitely die. Not to mention the villagers in Shijia town. Even the well-trained soldiers at the Shishan base cannot withstand it. If you like to work, then do it well. I don't want you to exhaust yourself to death. Zhang Yi had a wicked idea in his mind. That is to let them dig more than half of it first. Wait until they are 300 meters away from the shelter. And then blow up the tunnel. At that time, the expressions on the faces of the special forces and the villagers of Xujia town will definitely become particularly interesting. Zhang Yi was immersed in his wonderful plan. But after listening to this, Liang Yu said anxiously, No! They did not do it themselves but ask the villagers of Xujia town to dig the tunnel. In this way, even if they are sacrificed, it will still be the innocent villagers who die. Zhang Yi, you'd better take action as soon as possible to avoid killing innocent people. Zhang Yi sneered at Liang Yu's words. Although he admitted that Liang Yu was a kind-hearted person, Liang Yu had no idea about his grudges with Zijiazen. Let's not talk about Xujia town's previous attack on the shelter. Let's just say that later on, those people who chose to provide aid to the soldiers at Shishan base were already on his opposite side. Zhang Yi wished those people would die as a result of retribution. Watching them be forced to work and then die miserably in the tunnel was the ending Zhang Yi longed to see the most. Zhang Yi lazily said to Liang Yu, Teacher Liang, you are right. But if I quickly destroy their tunnels, wouldn't that be equivalent to exposing you? As you said, everyone in Xuja town has had their communication equipment confiscated. Only you and the special operations team at Shishan base have the ability to contact the outside world. So once things are revealed, they will definitely doubt you as soon as possible. I can't sacrifice you for the lives of those villagers. Zhang Yi crossed his arms with a joking smile on his face. Alas, otherwise, let me give you a suggestion. Go talk to their Captain Ling Feng and ask him to give up this plan. Or you can fight with him and force him to agree to your opinion. This is a little more realistic. At least he won't kill you if you fail. It's better than being discovered as a spy. Right? Don't you agree? Zhang Yi's words left Liang Yu speechless. She just thought of saving those innocent villagers. But she forgot that once the matter was exposed, she would be in danger immediately. If she was alone, she could just walk away. With her ability, it was still very possible to survive in the apocalypse. But in that case, the group of students staying at Shishan base will definitely die. You can think of how Shishan base will treat traitors with your toes. Could it be? Do we really just have to watch them die? Liang Yu's tone was full of intolerance. But Zhang Yi just replied very calmly that the person who asked them to die was from the Shishan base. Not you. You don't need to blame yourself. Zhang Yi's comfort relieved Liang Yu's guilt a lot. Of course she couldn't sacrifice herself and her students for the villagers of Shijia town. Hey, we can only hope that their casualties will not be too serious. Liang Yu sighed helplessly. Zhang Yi originally wanted to ask about Fatty Su's situation. But if you think about it carefully, please don't contact me on this line for the time being. Anyway, with Liang Yu as an undercover agent, he can still keep track of the movements of the soldiers in Shishan base at any time. By the way, let me ask you a question. Which house is yours in Shijia town? Zhang Yi changed the question. Liang Yu was a little confused and subconsciously looked into the distance. From this direction, it is impossible to see Villa 101 of Yunk Manor which is several kilometers away. Why are you asking this question? Do you still want to come to me? Who knows? But if there is a chance, I need you to do something for me. Zhang Yi's mysterious smile is the key to whether you and your students can escape. Liang Yi used Fatty Su's gorgeous two-dimensional castle as a reference and told him the room where he lived. Great. I get it. Liang Yi couldn't help but ask what exactly do you want to do? Zhang Yi said mysteriously that you will naturally know when the time comes. Don't worry. I can't covet your beauty and risk my life by running over and attacking you at night. Liang Yi rolled her eyes. At a time like this, he actually still has the heart to make fun jokes? If you have the courage to come here, what can I do if I accompany you for a while? She said provocatively. Okay. Okay. Just wait for me. Zhang Yi answered unceremoniously. He has always accepted such requests. Chapter 287 Digging a Tunnel Under Ling Feng's command, the entire AC special team and people from Xujia town were mobilized. Ling Feng and Liang Yuxiu Deong were responsible for launching the attack on the shelter. They saw that the alien space had no active effect on the human body. So they wanted to open a hole through brute force. Of course, they were just showing a life-threatening attitude. But in fact it was just to confuse Zhang Yi. They even mobilized a large number of special operations team members to carry out fire attacks from a distance in various ways except for not using large-yield explosives. 
the offensive in other aspects was very sufficient. If Zhang Yi hadn't gotten the inside information in advance, he might have thought they were stupid and crazy. On the other side, on the river embankment about 1,500 meters away from the shelter, special forces members held guns and began to supervise the excavation work of the people in Xuzha town. Everyone from Xuzha town came over with tools, but no one knows what they are going to do. This was Ling Feng's order. They couldn't let them know from the beginning that they were going to dig a 1,500 meter long tunnel. Otherwise, these villagers will definitely be in turmoil. Ling Feng didn't want to kill a group of people first to establish his authority. He cherished every labor force. After all, most of these people will be sent to Shishan base to work in the fourth life warehouse in the future. Since these villagers didn't know what to do, and saw that the whole town was divided into many groups, all of whom wanted to work, they didn't feel so sad and angry. There are professional engineers in the special operations team who will guide them and tell them how to dig. Three underground levels of the shelter. Zhang Yi was sitting on the sofa, wearing loose sportswear. The four women next to him were dressed more casually, all in pajamas. Zhang Yi had already told them their plans. So when they learned that there would be no large-scale attack for the time being, they felt at ease. Through the camera embedded in the wall, Zhang Yi could clearly see Ling Feng and others roaring and attacking the back wall. It was a blind spot for shooting. And Zhang Yi could not use a sniper rifle to attack. But Ling Feng's punch only left a shallow mark on the solid and thick wall. Sure Da Young's attack marks were shallower. Although he looked terrifying after his transformation, his strength was still much inferior to Ling Feng's. Lian Yu, on the other hand, wielded the newly acquired Tang Dao and struck hard, leaving a slightly deep but very fine scratch. Lian Yu swung the knife and did not stop. She looked tired and quickly retreated. Among the four captain level figures, Zheng Shuerong was not a powerful alien. So he was only responsible for plundering the formation and did not actually take action. According to their progress, even if they don't stop for 24 hours, it will take a year and a half to achieve results. Zhang Yi sat on the calfskin sofa, crossed his legs, and stared at the screen intently, as if he was enjoying a good show. Next to him were Zhou Kier and Yang Mi, who were wearing sexy pajamas. They were on each side, peeling melon seeds and pecans with their delicate hands and stuffing them into his mouth. Water. Zhang Yi spat out a word, and Yang Mi quickly brought a glass of warm water to her. Zhou Kier, who was half a step slower, looked at her angrily. The two women competing for favor made Yang Qingqing and Lu Karen feel strange in their hearts. Lu Karen scratched his head, breaking the awkward atmosphere. These aliens are so awesome. Their attack power has exceeded that of many thermal weapons. Are all aliens so strong? While Zhang Yi was eating nuts, he said that these people are all the elites of the Shishan base. And it is not surprising to have such strength. Immediately, he said to the women around him, Look, the outside world is so dangerous. And there are such perverted aliens. We must never go out casually in the future. Isn't it beautiful to have something to eat and drink right here? Hearing this, several women nodded in agreement. In the past few days, they had been listening to the gunshots and explosions outside. And they were really on tenderhooks. Yang Mi asked Zhang Yi curiously. Although we knew their battle plan. But we have no way to get out. So how do we know how far they have dug? Zhang Yi smiled slightly and looked at Yang Xinxin. Who was sitting there very ladylike. Xinxin, please explain it. Yang Xinxin glanced at her cousin, raised her chin proudly, and replied that sound propagates faster in solids than in air. Since they were digging from the ground, the vibrations they could feel were even more obvious. As long as there is a receiving device, I can use a computer to analyze their construction distance. She gracefully took a sip of the coffee in her hand. This was just a small trick. Yang Mi suddenly realized. So, we don't have to do anything right now. The only task is to wait. Zhang Yi nodded. Yes, basically, nothing needs to be done. Because all they do is a useless waste of time. Let's recharge our batteries and watch them waste our time and our lives. It's not that Zhang Yi doesn't want to do something. Rather, as a defensive party, it is the wisest choice to let the opponent take action first and expose the flaw before he takes action. All he needs to do is to always pay attention to the other party's movements and not miss any suspicious movements. After all, he couldn't rule out the possibility that Liang Yu was a double agent. The first day passed peacefully. In order to cooperate with their acting, Zhang Yi showed his face and fired a few bullets with a sniper rifle. But soon he returned to the basement, bored and playing cards with the women at home. Under his guidance, the women in the family can now at least use their poker skills to play a game of cards. 
especially Yang Xinxin. Her mind is so smart that she almost has a photographic memory. So soon, she became the person with the best poker skills in the shelter. When playing cards, since there is no point in gambling, everyone adds some other jackpots. For example, the loser has to put on a show or tell about embarrassing things in the past. Zhang Yi and the others lived a plain and interesting life, but people outside were not as comfortable as they were. Ling Feng and other soldiers at Shishan base are not tough either. Even if you wear a special combat uniform with strong anti-low temperature effect, you cannot completely ignore the extremely cold temperature. After performing a two-hour mission, ordinary soldiers also need to take a shift and return to the house to recover their body temperature. As for Ling Feng and the other strangers, they found a corner and built an igloo. The igloo was built by Zhang Xuerong. Her ability is different from Fatty Su's. She can condense water molecules, or ice, and snow condensation in the air out of thin air to shape entities. The two have similar abilities, but they are fundamentally different. Fatty Sue's ability is more terrain dependent and can only be used in areas with ice and snow. However, his ability covers a larger area, and because it uses local materials, the power consumption is also smaller. Zhang Xuerong can create a frozen environment and an environment without ice and snow. Therefore, the igloo she built was stronger than Fatty Sue's. If she wanted to, the igloo could even defend against small artillery sh. ls. Inside the igloo, Several people lit a fire to keep warm, and waited until their body temperature recovered before harassing Zhang Yi. At the end of the day, they only left shallow marks on the outer wall without causing any substantial breakthrough. But Ling Feng was very patient. While he was warming up the fire, he took out the bacon he got from Zhejiakin and roasted it to replenish everyone's strength. During the barbecue, with the crackling flames and the rich smell of meat, he began to tell several people the story of his time as a soldier in Xichuan. When not fighting, Ling Feng seems to be a very humble person. He is not tall and does not look like a decisive and decisive special forces captain. But beneath this unattractive appearance, there is an extremely pure heart of a soldier. When I first joined the army, the company commander taught us a lesson. He said that a good soldier does not need to have his own thoughts. Of course, this does not refer to combat thinking, but to strategic thinking. In war, the most taboo thing is that individual will override collective will. Even if you clearly know that something is wrong, everyone must move in the same direction. Only then can victory be possible. If everyone acted according to their own ideas, it would be completely over. When Ling Feng said these words, his eyes looked at Liang Yu with a smile. Splits from within any organization are always the most fatal. Liang Yu glanced at him, reached out, and threw a piece of firewood into the fire. But wouldn't it be even worse if you knew it was wrong and still continued to do it? You should understand the opposite. She alluded to Ling Feng's disregard for the lives of the villagers in Xujia town and forced them to dig tunnels. Ling Feng humorously drew a circle with his hand. But don't forget, this planet is round. If we go in one direction, even if the direction is wrong, we can come back sooner or later. After the sophistry, he said in a deep tone, but the team's morale was dispersed. If everyone's strength is not used in one place, even if they find the right direction, it will be difficult to succeed. We have tried so many times, and we can no longer afford to lose. There was no need for Ling Feng to say this to Liang Yu. Just like no matter what he does, there is no need to explain to Zhang Xuerong and Xu Deong. However, he still showed enough patience to Liang Yu. Because she is not a professional soldier, and she has outstanding abilities, he wanted to make this subordinate convinced of him, so that future management would be easier. Liang Yu remained silent. After a long time, she looked at Ling Feng and asked in a playful tone, are you sure that our operation will be successful this time? If we fail and so many people die from overwork and frostbite, who will be responsible for this? The atmosphere in the igloo was a little dull. Ling Feng lowered his head and thought for a moment, then slowly said, I'll be responsible. The next moment he raised his head with a bright smile on his face. I will remember those who died and live a good life together with them. Chapter 288 Management Measures Ling Feng's explanation left Liang, you completely speechless for this man. She didn't even know how to describe Ling Feng, because he has his own set of behavioral logic when doing things. It was such a pure emotion that no matter what he did, he would never feel that he was wrong. Even if he sacrifices others to achieve his own goals, Ling Feng has a way to justify himself. The key is that Ling Feng is not quibbling. He truly believes that he is right. Pure good or pure evil are both things that scare people. Liang Yu kept silent and stopped communicating with Ling Feng. At night, the temperature plummets. Ling Feng told Liang Yu and others 
that we should go back and rest first in the evening. Now that his vision has deteriorated, he is not worried that Zhang Yi will notice anything unusual. He took the special forces team back and passed by the tunnel excavation site on the way to inspect the work. There are more than a thousand surviving residents in Xijia town. And nearly a thousand laborers can be dispatched. However, it is impossible for so many people to excavate this thing at the same time. It must be divided into batches. With 20 people working in each batch. Then, there are shift handovers every half hour. The initial digging was the most tiring. Because a certain depth beneath the surface is frozen into permafrost. It is very difficult to excavate solely by manpower. Ling Feng came over with the captains and asked Academician Wu who was in charge of the project. How was it? Did the first day of work go well? Academician was said that everything went according to the original plan. If nothing goes wrong, with this non-stop digging day and night, we will be able to open this 1,500 meter long tunnel in a month. And then, boom! Academician, we made an explosion gesture and said with a smile that we will use 2,000 kilograms of explosives to send Zhang Yi's shelter flying into the sky. Ling Feng nodded with satisfaction. He looked at the construction site, which looked very busy. There were several soldiers with guns guarding the area. Not far away. The people waiting to hand over their shift were already waiting with shovels and bamboo baskets in their hands. Suddenly, Ling Feng frowned. He quickly walked up to a villager and stopped him. You, look up and let me take a look. The villager's face was wrapped in a scarf. But he was thin. After hearing Ling Feng's order, he pulled off his scarf, revealing a childish face. Ling Feng's eyes suddenly widened. How old are you? I am 13 years old. The boy answered honestly. Ling Feng suddenly became furious and shouted at Su Dong Tang and Academician Wu who were nearby. Didn't I say that children under the age of 16 should not be allowed to work? Do you know that children are the future and hope of the nation? Su Dong Tang hurriedly stepped forward and said to Team Ling. We are all farmers. Even though he is only 13 years old, his hard work is no worse than that of adults in the city. Ling Feng said angrily. I said no. I just can't. No matter how tight the project is, we must have a bottom line when doing things. He pointed at the boy and took him back to me immediately. This is a battlefield. No children allowed to join. Su Dongyang quickly pulled the child aside. Yes. Yes. I will take him back right away. The boy looked at Ling Feng with a look of gratitude and admiration in his eyes. Not far away. Liang Yi witnessed this scene and felt even more speechless. She really didn't know how to evaluate Ling Feng. Ding Crab? Liang Yi was speechless. But the two people were indeed very similar. Su Dong Tang asked someone to take the child away. Ling Feng told him that in order to speed up the progress of the project, our tunnel must not be stopped for 24 hours. Mayor Su, I hope you will take the lead and let everyone work hard to overcome this. Su Dong Tang was stunned when he heard this. Ling Feng had never told him about this matter. No. Ling Feng never considered his and the opinions of the villagers in Xijia town, including coming to dig tunnels. These people don't know what the purpose is now. Su Dongtang was shocked when he heard that he had to work 24 hours a day. Team Ling, is this workload too much? Ling Feng asked. Is it big? There are 40 people in two shifts per hour, and about 1,000 people a day. Isn't this reasonable? Su Dongtang argued. But in this kind of weather, even if you only work for half an hour a day, ordinary people's bodies can't stand it. Not to mention, if it really continues, we don't know how long this project will take. Captain Ling, what on earth are you going to do? Su Dongtang summoned up the courage to ask. Ling Feng did not explain to Su Dongtang, but lightly patted his shoulder with his hand. Lao Su, you just need to cooperate with our work and it will be okay. Do you understand? Everything we do is for the good of your Xuja town. If you don't get rid of the devil Zhang Yi, you will all die in the future. Be smart and don't think I'm harming you. After Ling Feng finished speaking, he turned around and left without giving Su Dongtang any chance to bargain. In other words, in his eyes, Su Dongtang was not qualified to bargain. Let's go back and rest. I will continue to come here tomorrow. Ling Feng smiled and said to Liang Yu and others, as the main force in Frontal Fane attacks, they launch supernatural attacks, which consume a lot of money. Liang Yu saw through Ling Feng at this time. So she followed him across the river back to Xujia town without saying anything. After returning, someone immediately ordered the women in Xujia town to quickly prepare food and deliver it to them. Not long after, a table of food was placed in front of Ling Feng and the others. The main foods are steamed buns and grilled fish. After all, these two foods have the largest reserves nowadays. 
Ling Feng ate big mouthfuls, and he could bite off most of the handmade steamed buns with just one mouth opening. For a while, life became plain and boring. Ling Feng and several strangers feigned attacks around the shelter, as usual every day. Then on the other side, the villagers in Xijia town all became coolies, working hard to dig tunnels. Because Fatty Su is a stranger and will be brought back to Shishan base in the future. No one asks him to participate in the work. But after losing the communication equipment, he also completely severed contact with Zhang Yi. Time comes on the third day. The tunnel was successfully excavated to more than 100 meters. At this time, the difficulty of the working environment became apparent. The deeper you go, the thinner the oxygen becomes. There is no oxygen supply equipment. So the only way to transport air inside is through rubber tubes. Similar to the most primitive diving device. Air is pumped into the tunnel through artificial shaking from the outside. However, this method is obviously far less effective than modern equipment. Coupled with the cold temperature and high degree of labor. Someone finally fell down first. There were screams in the tunnel. And everyone carried the person out in panic. There was a military doctor in the special operations team. After checking it out, he shook his head. Acute myocardial infarction. Hopeless. The man who died was Su Yoji. 52 years old. And a construction worker. Elderly people are most likely to have myocardial infarction and cerebral infarction when exposed to low temperatures. This disease is not impossible to treat. But it needs to be quickly sent to a place with a good medical environment for bypass surgery. Shishan base has such medical conditions. But there is no need to go to such trouble for an ordinary villager. So Su Yoji was directly pronounced dead. The villagers in Shijia town looked at Su Yoji's still warm body, feeling sad and angry. Su Yoji is not dead yet, but he is already dead, and he risked his life working for the Shishan base. A young man shouted to the surrounding special forces members that what you are doing is inhumane. This is treating us like cattle and horses. I won't do it anymore. As he spoke, he angrily dropped the shovel in his hand. Seeing this, the surrounding Shujia town villagers also dropped their tools and shouted to give them an explanation. The supervisor, Shen Hong, frowned and said coldly that organizational orders cannot be violated. Everything we do is to avenge you. Now that we have come to this point, anyone who dares to back out will be equivalent to a deserter. The word deserter was bitten hard by Shen Hong. He shook his assault rifle and pointed the muzzle loomingly at the group of villagers. This simple action was like a basin of cold water poured on their heads cooling the blood in everyone's bones. Su Dongdang sighed and carried the person back. Substitute. With sadness in their eyes, the villagers could only carry Su Yoji's body away and prepare to take it back to Xujia town for burial. However, when one person dies, things get out of hand. As the tunnels were dug deeper and deeper, the conditions and intensity of the work rapidly changed. The second, the third, the fourth. More and more villagers in Xujia town died during the process of digging tunnels. Some people were working and suddenly fell to the ground. There are also people who come home from a day's work, lie in bed, and never wake up. The human body is inherently fragile. They have tried their best to survive in the extremely cold temperatures. Now they are forced to work in harsh conditions, which is like the straw that breaks the camel's back and makes them lose their lives. At the back, several bodies were taken out of the tunnel every day. The mood of the villagers in Shijia town also became violent as the number of corpses increased. Although they did not dare to directly conflict with the special forces armed with guns, there were constant verbal conflicts and small actions in private. After Ling Feng learned about this situation, he became unusually calm because everything was within their expectations. Just pick out a few leaders and beat them to death. Some people don't know fear until they see blood. In addition, we only require that the progress of the project be managed by their own village chiefs and town mayors. They are the best at managing their own people. Better than us. Chapter 289 Negotiation Requires Strength Conflict comes quickly, but disappears just as quickly. There is a group of young and energetic villagers who plan to attack the special forces and seize their weapons to resist. But what can these villagers do against well-trained soldiers? A group of people were immediately captured and the three leaders were shot to death in public seeing with their own eyes the blossoming heads of the three people, and the red and white liquid flowing on the snow. Steaming hot, this also made the villagers of Xijia town sober up. They are not qualified to challenge Shishan base. They realized that Shishan base was not the ideal organization. Many people regretted their warm reception to these people. Most people were cursing the leaders headed by Su Dongtang. But they didn't think about it. Even if they refused to receive the members of the special forces, would the result really be different? 
No, it won't. Ling Feng didn't mind firing a few more shots and teaching them to behave with blood earlier. So, life continued as usual. The hearts of everyone in Xujia town are covered with a layer of haze. If they continue to dig tunnels, they may die at any time in the suffocating depths of the tunnels. But if you don't cooperate with the work, you will be beaten to death by the supervisor of the special forces team immediately. After Ling Feng executed the prisoner, the relationship between the two parties was now on the table. They did not bother to continue to cover up and directly use force to dominate the entire Xujia town. Time flew by and 10 days passed. 32 people in Xujia town died. And this number is increasing every day. The excavation depth of the tunnel has also reached about 500 meters. The number of shifts has increased. After digging for more than 10 minutes, I have to come out for air. According to this progress, can we dig to 1,500 meters? Leon Yu asked Ling Feng. Judging from the remaining physical strength of these villagers, if they were asked to climb 1,500 meters in the tunnel, they would be exhausted. Not to mention continuing to work. Ling Feng said coldly that we have no choice. In the absence of modern tools, this is the only way. Since you have chosen to sacrifice, then keep going. When the time comes, I will help them get rid of Zhang Yi, which will be regarded as revenge for them. Liang Yu felt extremely speechless at Ling Feng's divine logic. Now the people in Xijia town probably hate you even more than Zhang Yi. I really don't have any self-consciousness as a human being. Liang Yu sighed in his heart. Every meter of excavation progress required to be filled with human lives. Inside the shelter. Through conversations with Liang Yu, Zhang Yi grasped the situation outside in real time. Liang Yu's mentality has also been tempered and calmed down a lot. After all, she saw people dying of exhaustion every day, listening to Ling Feng's self-justifying theory. It was hard for her to be disturbed by anything else. According to the current progress, it will take them more than half a month to dig to the designated location. But by then, at least hundreds more villagers will have to die. Zhang Yi, aren't you planning to take action yet? Be careful if things get out of hand. It will not end well when the time comes. Zhang Yi smiled faintly. Of course I have my own plan. Don't worry about that. No matter what I do, I will definitely be able to do what I promised you. You don't need to worry about other aspects. The implication is that you have too many things to take care of. We are just partners for cooperation. You are not mine and have no right to direct me to do things. Liang Yu frowned slightly. I'm just kindly reminding you. Well, I'd really like to thank you. Zhang Yi asked casually. By the way, in recent days, I have found that there are fewer and fewer people attacking the shelter. There are only a few of you strangers. Where have the others gone? Do they have other tasks? Liang Yu replied no. Most of them are on standby in Xujia town. After all, they can't help with anything right now. Well, if I insist on saying it, it does have one effect, which is to maintain law and order in Xujia town. Liang Yu couldn't help but laugh as he spoke. The purpose of maintaining law and order is just to worry about the villagers in Xujia town rioting, so that they can be suppressed at any time. Zhang Yi nodded and said a long tone. I understand what you mean. The two ended the call, and Zhang Yi had a plan in mind. After waiting for so long, it was time for him to take action. Presumably after a long confrontation, Ling Feng and others had relaxed their guard against him. At least they felt that Zhang Yi could do nothing but huddle in the shelter. It's time to give them a little shock, Zhang Yi said with a smile. Xujia Town. Ling Feng was in the room, eating a lot of food, while discussing the follow-up actions with Shi Daong and others. There was a large table in front of him, and the food was piled up into a mountain. And these are just the food intake of the five of them. Ling Feng. Shi Daong. Zhang Xuerong and Shen Hong Yuling. Strangers usually have much larger appetites than ordinary people. Because most of the power they release from supernatural powers comes from the transformation of food. Since they have launched faint attacks on the shelter every day in recent days. The food they consume has also increased exponentially. Each person eats as much food as a dozen ordinary villagers. This also made the villagers of Xujia town feel miserable. Their hearts bleed when they see the food they have worked so hard to hoard being wasted by others. And if they continue to consume at this rate, their food reserves will be exhausted within a few months. So Su Dongdang came to Ling Feng's residence and planned to talk to him about the matter. Su Dongdang walked into Ling Feng's house through the guard's notification. After entering the room, he saw the table full of food and couldn't help but stare. The food consumed by these five strangers was equivalent to a meal for 70 or 80 people. Ling Feng glanced at Su Dongdang and greeted him with a warm smile. Lao Su, you are here. Come on. Come on. Let's have some food together. 
Su Dantang quickly waved his hands and said no. He had already eaten when I came. Oh! Why are you so polite? If I ask you to come and sit, just come and sit, Ling Feng said enthusiastically. He completely forgot that he was a guest in this place. And others were the masters. Su Dongtang had no choice but to carefully walk to sit next to Ling Feng. Lao Su, you have worked hard recently. Ling Feng looked at Su Dongtang and said sincerely, You must be under a lot of pressure. Right? I understand your hard work. But who made you the mayor? With great ability comes greater responsibility. You have to continue to work hard in the future. Do you understand? Su Dantang smiled awkwardly and nodded. After a few simple polite words, Su Dantang got to the point. Team Ling, how long will it take for you to capture Zhang Yi's shelter? Hearing Su Dantang's question, everyone looked at him. Sher Deong asked angrily, Don't you want us to stay here anymore? Ling Feng immediately glared at him and said coldly, Old oh, Sher, what are you talking about? Is Lao Su this kind of person? Besides, we are here to help them. Why would he drive us away? Do you think so? Lao Su. Ling Feng looked at Su Dantang with a smile. Yes. Yes. Of course I didn't mean that. Just recently, a lot of people have died in the town. And there is a shortage of food. Su Dantang means that you eat our food. Live in our house. And let our people die as coolies. So I hope you can leave as soon as possible. But before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Ling Feng. By the way, when it comes to food, I have to say something to you. The quality of food has been getting worse day by day lately. Ling Feng picked up a grilled fish. Look, we have been eating fish for almost a week. Although this thing is good when grilled. I still get tired of eating it all the time. We are all soldiers and need to charge into battle. Don't be vague about what you eat. Come back and bring in more red meat. Su Dantang was stunned. He came here to ask Ling Feng and others to reduce their food consumption. But why did he still think the food was not good enough? Team Ling. Me. The reason I came here this time is to see if the food aspect can be made simpler. We don't have much food in stock in Sudong village. So every household depends on the fish in the Lujiang River. Now that you have arrived, most of the fish will be given to the soldiers. Ling Feng raised his eyebrows slightly after hearing what Su Dantang said. Oh, so you don't have enough food now. Right? Su Dantang nodded bravely. It is indeed a bit difficult for us. Ling Feng put down the fish in his hand. And after a moment of silence, he said, I can understand your difficulties. After all, nowadays, life is difficult for everyone. Su Dantang breathed a sigh of relief. Captain Ling, it's good that you can understand us. Ling Feng patted his thigh. So be it. Since you are working so hard now, we might as well not bother you. Tomorrow I will leave here with my team and go back to Shishan base. Why is Su Dantang so surprised? Are you taking someone back? There was some excitement and joy in his heart. It is easy to ask the gods, but difficult to send them away. If we can send away these great gods, Xujia Town will not have to live such a miserable life. Living under a gun is very torturous, Ling Feng said. But after we leave, you have to take more precautions. After all, we have stayed in Xujia Town for so long. And Johnny also knows it. We continued our attack on his shelter for several days, destroying everything around it. With this person's character, he won't be so willing to give up. We can still intimidate him while we're here. But if we all leave, who do you think he will seek revenge on? Ling Feng turned his head and stared at Su Dongtang old Su with a half smile. What do you think? A bone chilling chill enveloped Su Dongtang's whole body. How could he not understand that once John Yi learned that they had helped the Shishan base? Xu Jia Town would definitely be liquidated in the end. They have learned from past mistakes. Chapter 290 Give them a little shock. Su Dongtang's whole body was stiff and tense and he didn't know how to answer Ling Feng's words. Ling Feng smiled and said to him, So you see, we still can't leave. I must stay here to protect you. So starting from tomorrow, the food portion will be doubled. We must maintain our physical strength to face the enemy. Su Dantang looked stunned. What? Double it? In this case, our villagers may not have enough to eat and may starve to death. Ling Feng stared into his eyes, his dark gray pupils as cold and indifferent as stainless steel. The villagers are dead. But your Sioux family can still live here. But if we soldiers die, not even a single blade of grass in Xujia town will survive. So, there is no problem with my request. Su Dantang opened his mouth and didn't say a word for a long time. Nowadays, he appears to be the mayor of Xujia town. But in fact, he is just a puppet supported by the Shishan base. He does not have any power to negotiate with Shishan base. 
That night, Su Dongtang notified the villages of the incident in as diplomatic a way as possible. The curses continued all night, and everyone wanted to kill the members of the special team with a thousand knives. But after the scolding, no one took any action. The next day, they faithfully served Ling Feng's request. Even if the food is plundered, it doesn't matter. At least they can still eat a little and won't starve to death. Even if you are forced to work in extremely cold temperatures and face the threat of death, it doesn't matter. After all, you are not 100% sure to die, as long as they are not forced into a corner. The most they can do is curse in their hearts. And few people dare to stand up and resist. The group of people who dared to resist have been executed in public, so that the bones of the surviving people have been broken. Their heads lowered, like ostriches, enduring all injustices. Time passes slowly, and there are the same movements around the shelter every day. In order not to make Zhang Yi suspicious, Ling Feng would still come to the shelter on time every day to attack. Where is Zhang Yi? Occasionally he would come out, pretend to be angry, curse, and then shoot randomly with a gun. But he will never come out of the shelter. Most of the time, he, Yang Mi, Zhou Kier and others lived a very leisurely life in the shelter. Food is plentiful and entertainment is not lacking. In fact, as long as there are enough people, it won't be boring. After they finished playing Landlord, they scored 100 points. And after finishing playing 100 points, they scored 100 points. Sometimes we even go to the stadium on the third floor underground to play badminton together. The underground space is large enough. And activities with a larger number of people can be held as long as they are willing. Slowly, more than half a month passed like this. R. According to monitoring, the tunnel's excavation progress has reached 700 meters outside the shelter. The number of people who died for this in Xujia town has already exceeded a hundred. The villagers were so numb that they even forgot the purpose of digging this tunnel in the first place. They were just held at gunpoint by the special forces every day and went to work. Day after day, 24 hours a day, no breaks. As for Zhang Yi, Ling Feng and others almost all believed that Zhang Yi could only hide in the shelter and did not dare to come out. An environment that is too comfortable will inevitably make people relax. Then the only ending waiting for him is death. Another morning, Zhang Yi got up very early, lifting the quilt. Hua Hua stretched lazily, opened her eyes slightly, looked at him, and then yawned. Woke up. How about taking you out for a walk? Zhang Yi touched Hua Hua's head and said. Hua Hua was a little reluctant, but she still slowly got up, stretching her body like a noodle. Zhang Yi sat by the bed, and began to change clothes in an orderly manner. He was not wearing everyday casual clothes, but a complete set of pure white clothes taken out from another dimension. Two sets inside and outside. The inner lining is the kind of clothes-fitting clothing that Xia Huan Huan wears. It is completely white. The zippers and decorative buttons are made of pure gold. There is a golden sword logo on the chest, which looks simple and noble. After putting on the lining, the next step is to put on the combat uniform. The combat uniform and lining are matching both in color and style. The difference between the two is that the outer combat uniform focuses on defensive capabilities, while the inner lining focuses on thermal insulation. There is a constant temperature system and battery built into the clothes, and there are heating modules at various locations on the body. This is the key to ensuring body temperature. This style is completely imitated from the Special Forces Combat Uniform of Shishan Base. But the workmanship and materials are many times more delicate than the original. This suit of clothing is not complicated to wear. After all, combat uniforms need to take into account various complex combat situations. If it is complicated to wear, it will not be conducive to performing emergency missions at night. Zhang Yi got dressed and put on white combat boots. In addition, he also had a matching combat helmet, bulletproof, equipped with communicator and tactical eyepiece anti-fog functions. Then, he checked all the firearms and bullets in his hand. This process lasted more than half an hour. Zhang Yi took a few high-end cat cans and placed them beside the bed. Hua Hua cut open the cans with her sharp claws and enjoyed the food alone. Zhang Yi finished checking the weapons and equipment, took out a beef cheeseburger from the different space, and went to the kitchen to heat up a cup of soy milk. He ate his breakfast unhurriedly, then put Hua Hua on his shoulders and walked towards the third underground floor. Most sites prepared for evacuation will have emergency exits. This emergency exit is very secret, and is prepared to avoid abnormal situations such as being invaded by enemies. There are also emergency exits in this shelter. Only Zhang Yi knows about its existence. It is located on the third underground floor, under the floor in the left front corner of the stadium. It is a 2.5 kilometer long underground tunnel. 
From here you can go directly to the back of the low mountain to the north of Yonk Manor. The exit is in a very hidden forest. After Zhang Yi figured out the action patterns of the special forces, he decided to take the initiative and give them a little shock. The strangers in the special forces team would come over every day to faint attack. In order to prevent Zhang Yi from suspecting, they had to come over. Therefore, the soldiers left in Xuzhou town are just ordinary soldiers, with at most a few reformers. But these people pose no threat to Zhang Yi today. After all, Zhang Yi's own abilities aside, for safety reasons, he also brought Hua Hua with him. To be honest, Hua Hua was at least ten times better than him in terms of ability to clear out the soldiers in close combat. Zhang Yi came to the corner of the stadium and opened the floor in the third column and fourth row on the left. The original mechanical lock is still used here. He took out the yellow key and inserted it into the keyhole. After one door opened, a second door opened, and then a third door opened. Although the process is complicated, the security level is very high. The three doors open one after another, and what appeared in front of Zhang Yi was a white staircase. The internal sensor light has automatically turned on. Zhang Yi walked down the steps. There is also a very thick silver gray metal door blocking the exit. The material is the same as the door at the gate, and it has extremely strong defensive capabilities. It can even withstand heavy artillery fire. There is a black motorcycle parked next to the door. After all, such a long passage requires a means of transportation to get out quickly. What's more, leaving here is usually to run away. It's impossible without a car. The people who built the shelter thought very carefully about this. Zhang Yi walked over, recognized his irises and palm prints, and the door rumbled open. Behind the gate, soft light yellow lights lit up in rows on the walls on both sides. Illuminating this long passage, Zhang Yi got on the motorcycle and took a closer look and realized that it was electric. After all, Electric vehicles make less noise. And with the development of new energy technology, the range and speed are not much worse than those of fuel vehicles. There is no key to the car. And the way to start the train is to scan the iris. Zhang Yi got on the tram and sped towards the end of the passage. The passage is slowly upward, just enough to reach the ground at the exit. Soon he reached the end of the passage. There was an alloy door in front of him that opened outwards. Zhang Yi opened the door in the same way. Boom! The door opened inward. And as soon as it was opened, a large amount of ice and snow poured in. Johnny had already been prepared and had already ducked aside with quick eyesight and quick hands. A cold breath came over me. And even though I was wearing combat uniform, I could still feel a slight chill. Wahua on the shoulder shouted very unhappy. Johnny touched its head, then stepped on the snow under his feet, opened the door and walked out. This location is in a forest on a mountainside that is basically completely covered. And the snow is about five meters thick. The trees were all bare, with some branches exposed. Zhang Yi climbed up through the snow and reached out to close the passage door behind him. But when he saw the appearance of the door clearly, he couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. From the outside, it looks like a tall tombstone. It's so hidden. Zhang Yi was speechless. Maybe there was a cemetery forest under his feet. He looked around. It was dead quiet. No one was there. Zhang Yi put Hua Hua down and whispered a few words to it. Hua Hua meowed then reluctantly grew bigger, and then used her big paws to pull up a piece of ice and snow, covering the tombstone, which was the door of the underground passage. After doing this, Wawa returned to her normal body shape. Zhang Yi shook his head at it, and it walked next to Zhang Yi. One person and one cat braved the wind and snow, and walked slowly towards the distance. An hour later, around 8.30 a.m., Ling Fong and others finished their meal, then came outside the shelter as usual and began their daily harassment. An assembly line has been formed on the river bank. The people inside are sending out the soil one basket after another. The people outside are responsible for cleaning up the soil and transporting air inside through hand crank machines. The only people left behind in Xuzhou town are the elderly and children who are really unable to work, as well as some women who cook. Apart from them, the only ones left are the members of the special operations team at Shishan base. Chapter 291 Tower Stealing the atmosphere in Xuzhou town is obviously polarized. The villagers were on tenderhooks, with numb expressions on their faces. Although they do not need to go out to work if they stay in the village, they still have tasks assigned by the special forces to complete. For example, food preparation, or the personal requirements of some special operations team members. In the past, they were all well-trained and disciplined warriors. But after the end of the world, human nature will gradually be wiped out in twisted events one after another especially when you can control the life and death of others. 
the boundaries of morality will become increasingly blurred. The weather was too cold. There were few people outside, and only a few soldiers on duty were on guard duty. But the long period of comfort made them not think that there would be an enemy attack. Who are they? They are the most elite special forces team in Shishan base. Even looking at the entire Tianai city, it is one of the most powerful armed forces. In this mission, we need to deal with a coward who is hiding in a house and dare not come out. Therefore, no one could have imagined that the aliens in that shelter would dare to run out and even go around to the base camp of their special forces team to attack. A soldier on guard stood at the edge of the village with a gun, pacing back and forth slowly. Suddenly, he saw a white figure appearing not far away. When he took a closer look, he discovered that there was a captain's gold star logo on the other person's shoulder. Zhang Yi's combat uniform was modeled after Lu Ziang and Xia Huan Huan. So the captain level logo was also created. The soldier thought it was the captain who was on the front line who had returned, and quickly saluted him with a military salute. Team leader, the man in combat uniform walked over and nodded slowly towards him. Just when he was relaxing, an indescribably fast sword suddenly passed through his neck. Forehead, the vigilant soldier covered his neck in disbelief, and then fell to the snow with a look of horror on his face. Zhang Yi walked over and stabbed his head directly to ensure his death. The fourth. As a result, all the security personnel around Xujia Town died. Zhang Yi said lightly, although with his and Hua Hua's strength, they could kill all the special forces members in the village. But alerting the opponent will complicate the battle and add unnecessary risks. It would even attract several captain level figures from across the river. That is completely unnecessary. Zhang Yi only came here to kill people, not to be a hero. He took the body into the different space. At this point, there was no warning around Xujia Town. He used the snow to clean up the blood on his body, and then walked towards the village as if nothing had happened. In the southwest corner of Sudong Village, a special operations team member suddenly and quickly broke into an igloo. The men of the family were recruited to dig tunnels, leaving only his young wife at home. After the special operations team entered the igloo, they immediately covered her mouth to prevent her from screaming. Sister, I have been working very hard recently. Help! The special operations team members gaze passed over her body with a hint of heat. Although her clothes were too bulky and her face was pale from the cold. She was not very beautiful. But for a special operations team member who had been abstinent for many days, it was enough to quench the thirst. The woman was startled, trembling with fear. You cannot do that. The special forces team member pushed her down on the bed impatiently and roughly tore her clothes. You'd better cooperate obediently. Otherwise, you will not be able to bear the consequences. He didn't want to make a big deal out of it. Although this matter was known to the upper-level officers of the special operations team, they could only criticize him a few times. But being called out for something like this would make him lose face in front of his colleagues. The woman began to sob softly, but she also knew that she was powerless to resist. So she had to close her eyes tightly and let him do what he did. After the special operations team member untied several layers of thick clothes, he finally saw her fair skin, and his breathing immediately became rapid. It's so cold. So cold. Can you put a blanket on me first? The woman's skin was exposed, and she was almost unconscious from the cold. What a hassle. You have to grit your teeth to get anything done in this wretched place. It's far worse than the base, the special operations team member said with some displeasure. However, in emergency situations, we can only make quick decisions and focus on releasing pressure. I'm afraid I won't be able to experience more of the process. Soon, there was a deliberately suppressed whimper and whisper in the room. This caught the attention of passers-by. The shape of the igloo is semi-embedded in the ground. It has no door and is blocked with ice bricks for sleeping at night. But it was daytime now, and the special operations team member was in a hurry to do something. So he didn't cover up. The person passing by lowered his head and saw the movement inside. He smiled slightly and walked in slowly. The special operations team member, who was working, heard some noise. Stopped and looked back. As a result, I saw a well-dressed special operations team member. The only strange thing is that he clearly didn't go out to perform the mission. But he had a helmet firmly on his head. Brother, don't interrupt my good deeds. If you want a woman, go out and find her yourself. I have no interest in a threesome. The special forces member said with a smile. Then he turned around and continued busy without paying attention. But the next moment, a sharp ray of light came out from his left chest, piercing him and the woman on the bed, and nailed him to the bed board. It was a long knife that penetrated the bodies of the two people and passed through the bed board. Steaming blood flowed down the blade. 
Zhang Yi pulled the knife back with a little force and threw it to the ground. All the blood on the knife fell to the ground. The special operations team member, who was doing something evil, had his heart penetrated and died on the spot. The woman under him also had her lungs penetrated. Her mouth was full of blood foam. And she soon lost her vital signs due to excessive blood loss and loss of body temperature. Zhang Yi had to kill her. Otherwise she would scream out of fright. Which would expose him who had sneaked in quietly. Anyway, she is from Xujia town. So there is no such thing as innocence. The enemy's helper is the enemy. In order to avoid alerting the enemy, Zhang Yi put the two corpses into a different space. Then he walked out of the igloo as if nothing had happened and walked towards where the soldiers at Shishan base were. Xujia town has been peaceful for too long. And the soldiers staying here have no sense of crisis at all. In their free time, they gather together to play cards or play some next generation handheld games. He had already asked Liang Yi where these soldiers lived. So there was no need to look for them like a headless fly. Zhang Yi walked struttingly in the village. Although it seemed a bit strange to have a helmet on his head. The white combat uniform he wore made the people around him not doubt his identity. The only strange thing is that he is accompanied by a sturdy tabby cat. Nowadays, cats are basically food because they are not as practical as dogs. Such a muscular civic cat is even rarer. Zhang Yi took a leisurely stroll and came to a snow house where a soldier lived. As I got closer, I heard the lively sounds inside. King, do you want? If you don't want me, I'll run away. Ron, I'll blow you up. Let you drive me crazy. Go ahead. You really have a bomb. It can be heard that there is a lively playing of cards inside. Zhang Yi walked in directly. There were five or six soldiers inside. Four of them were fighting landlords around the table. And two people were watching. Gesticulating from time to time. Someone noticed Zhang Yi walking in. But they just said lightly, Don't you feel bored wearing a helmet? But it's cold outside. So wearing a helmet isn't particularly weird. Zhang Yi didn't say anything. Just walked slowly to their side. A group of people were playing cards enthusiastically. And no one wanted to pay attention to him. Because the bet was on cigarettes. Which were scarce even in the Shishan base. They were all red-faced and focused on the card table. Four times the speed. Zhang Yi instantly activated his supernatural power behind them, and at the same time took out Long Ming from the alien space with his right hand. The sharp sword light flashed through the air, instantly cutting off two heads. The huge head rolled onto the card table, disrupting the game. The remaining six people reacted very quickly. After being shocked, they immediately wanted to take out their guns and fight back. But even a well-trained warrior is still not fast enough in front of Zhang Yi who is four times faster. Zhang Yi's figure was like a ghost. He rushed over and took away two soldiers with two swords. Before the remaining two survivors could pull the trigger. A black shadow flashed in front of them and tore their throats into pieces. Hua Hua landed lightly on the card table. Her eyes flashing with a bloodthirsty red light. In an instant, the six soldiers here were wiped out by it and Zhang Yi. And from beginning to end, they didn't even have a chance to make a sound. Zhang Yi still collected the bodies of the six people and simply cleaned up the blood stains. Combat uniforms are waterproof and blood stains are easy to clean. After doing all this, he walked out of the house leisurely and continued to the next house. It was cold and freezing, and the soldiers were not willing to be outside. So Xujia town seemed particularly quiet. This also made it easier for Zhang Yi to take action. The next room is where the liaison officer and the special operations team lives. These people have average force value, but possess superb computer skills. They are mainly responsible for contacting the Shishan base and solving various network problems for the special forces. There were two female soldiers in the room, and a male soldier wearing gold-rimmed glasses. Zhang Yi walked in. None of the three people doubted his identity, and saluted him respectfully. And Zhang Yi's feedback to them, was to send them on their way without pain. The process is very simple. Pretend to be their teammate. Then activate the ability to kill. And finally clear the battlefield. Then proceed to the next room, as if nothing happened. Call them by name one by one, and kill these special force members at the Shishan base one by one silently. But after Zhang Yi killed more than a dozen people, the strong smell of blood attracted the attention of military dogs in a nearby kennel. They began to roar wildly outside, and the dogs barked in succession, which also alerted the remaining special forces members. Chapter 292 The Gap in Strength The roars of the military dogs attracted the attention of the special operations team members. These well-trained military dogs are very alert, and will never roar for no reason. Once they sound alert, they are definitely in danger. Due to the severe cold weather today, most animals have died. Only sled dogs that can withstand severe cold can still survive 
and have many functions. So they have become particularly precious. However, all the sled dogs raised in Xujia town were brought over to help dig tunnels. The military dogs of the special forces are kept in igloos by soldiers who care about them. Although they are both dogs, there is still a big difference in whether they have formal jobs or not. If necessary, go out and take a look. The remaining soldiers quickly put on their equipment, then rushed out of the igloo with guns and dogs. Woof! 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 The roar resounded throughout the town. After the villagers in the igloo heard it, they shivered in fear and did not dare to go out. These soldiers soon discovered that their comrades in several igloos were missing, but they found bloodstains on the ground that had been hastily covered up. There's an enemy attack. There's an enemy attack. Be alert quickly. A squad leader informed everyone over the radio. These well-trained warriors are immediately alert. Guns in hand. Ready to face any enemy. However, none of them noticed that the enemy they were wary of was standing behind them wearing the same clothes as them. Johnny didn't say much nonsense. He raised his knife and killed two special forces members in an instant. The dragon crying knife made of Adam's metal easily cut their necks. The others reacted and turned back immediately. And gunshots rang out. Zhang Yi has disappeared behind an igloo. He noticed that the only distinguishing mark on the combat uniform was the gold star on the shoulder. So he took it off easily. Then Zhang Yi disappeared from everyone's sight with his ghostly movements. Soon after, he sneaked into another team from another direction. At this time, everyone was nervous to challenge the mysterious man. So they all put on their tactical helmets. In this way, Zhang Yi is like a drop of water blending into the ocean, making it even harder to find. He's wearing our clothes. A team leader shouted on the radio. Everyone should pay attention to the people around them. Ever since, such a strange scene appeared on the white road of Sudong village. All the soldiers raised their guns and pointed them at every comrade around them. No one knows who is a teammate or an enemy under that helmet. Listen to my command and make hidden gestures. The squad leader was very smart. Even though they all wore the same clothes, the gestures of the special forces team were not something outsiders could master. Sure enough, as everyone made gestures in unison, Zhang Yi, who had done nothing, was immediately exposed. Everyone's guns were pointed at him. Without any orders, the soldiers pulled the trigger out of instinct. The sound of gunfire was as dense as a thunderstorm. But these soldiers were horrified to find that when those bullets were close to the man, they were like mud cows entering the sea. Without any effect, he disappeared so strangely. The soldiers suddenly woke up. He is Zhang Yi. He is that Zhang Yi. When Zhang Yi's name was mentioned, a dark cloud appeared in the hearts of these soldiers. Because it was the man in front of them who caused them to suffer setbacks one after another and lost more than 20 comrades in one battle. Isn't he huddled in the shelter? How did he get out and why is he here? Such questions appeared in the minds of all the soldiers. But now was obviously not the time to consider these issues. The intensive firepower had no effect on Zhang Yi. When they realized that the problem was not a ceasefire, Zhang Yi bounced back the bullets they fired. Bullets had no effect on Zhang Yi, but they did on them, even though they were wearing bulletproof combat uniforms. Under such a dense hail of bullets, these soldiers who were caught off guard were beaten into pieces in an instant. The gunshot alerted Fatty Su, who had been staying at home to avoid reality. He opened the window and looked out onto the snow-covered streets. And then, he saw an unusually familiar scene. Boss! Fatty Su was stunned. He rubbed his eyes vigorously, thinking that he had seen it wrong. There is no mistake. That kind of ability is definitely coming from the boss. Fatty Sue was actually a little moved in his heart. Did he come to take me away? I have to say that if people were more confident, they would live quite happily. Over there, the battle between Zhang Yi and the special operations team members continued. Zhang Yi directly killed seven or eight soldiers by rebounding bullets. The soldiers behind them quickly hid to the side with the help of their teammates' bodies, using the igloo as cover. Among the crowd, Zhang Yi saw two ghostly figures. That feeling was extremely familiar to him. It was the same ability as Lu Ziying and others before. Transformation of people. Lu Tao, a squad leader, shouted to his team members not to shoot. His ability can restrain firearms, but it is ineffective against the human body. Use cold weapons. When Zhang Yi heard this, a mocking smile appeared on his lips. Invalid to human body? Is there something wrong in your judgment? It is true that my alien space cannot actively accommodate the human body but that does not mean that your close attacks can have an effect on me. Soon enough, from the four corners, for special forces members holding military spurs suddenly sprang out. The two people on the front left and the two people on the back right are obviously much faster. They are both transformed people 
who have been enhanced with physical strength. A glint flashed in Zhang Yi's eyes. His different space can only be opened in one direction. Yet he faces four people at the same time and attacks from four different directions. It will indeed be a bit troublesome. However, there were many people on the other side. So he didn't come alone. Zhang Yi completely ignored the attacks from behind and opened the dimensional door straight ahead. And in the back, the two special forces members who were charging with military spikes suddenly felt a blackness above their heads. A huge black shadow fell from the sky and two huge claws pressed them directly to the ground. Compared with speed, cats are the best. The two special forces members in front of Zhang Yi quickly came to Zhang Yi raised their thorns, and stabbed Zhang Yi's vitals. Then the next moment, they all entered a different space. Zhang Yi closed the dimensional door. As long as it was closed for a while, they would die inside. Behind him, the huge Hua Hua grabbed the two special forces members, stuffed them into his mouth, and ate them loudly. Transformers are still too weak when facing real mutated life forms. The remaining special forces members were already scared out of their wits. Facing a powerful enemy with completely unequal strength, they lost the courage to fight and fled one after another. Chasing is not Zhang Yi's strong suit. He shouted Hua Hua. Without any further explanation, Hua Hua understood what Zhang Yi meant and chased after him with excitement. Cats love teasing their prey. Not long after, shrill screams came from all directions in Xujia town. The entire Xujia town was filled with blood and corpses on the ground. All the special forces members who stayed here were killed by Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi didn't waste any time quickly found Lian Yu's house, and then put a chip and a mobile phone card under her bed. After doing all this, Zhang Yi knew that he could not stay here for long, so he quickly left the room. Hua Hua. Let's withdraw. The gunfire here must have attracted the attention on the other side of the river. In five minutes at most, Ling Feng and others would be back. Zhang Yi didn't want to face off against four powerful captain-level aliens, bullying the weak and fearing the strong. Zhang Yi's work style focuses on a steady hand. Hua Hua turned into a small form and quickly left Sudong village with Zhang Yi. When they came, they took a long detour to avoid being discovered. Now I plan to take a detour when I go back. Just when they left the village and Zhang Yi was about to take out the snowmobile and leave, suddenly a fat man chased him from behind. Boss, wait a minute. Zhang Yi was stunned for a moment when he heard this familiar voice. He looked back at Fatty Su, frowned and cursed. Are you stupid? Chase me at this time. Be careful if they discover our relationship. Fatty Sue was panting and ran forward and said, Boss, didn't you come here to find me? Zhang Yi gave him a look and let him feel it for himself. Fatty Sue felt a little disappointed. But he quickly smiled and said, Ha ha, I know you must also want to come see me. Right. Go back quickly. I don't have time to talk to you anymore. When they come back, there might be some trouble. Zhang Yi said lightly. Fatty Sue said hurriedly, Boss, but you have killed so many soldiers. They will definitely be furious when they come back. I think there will definitely be danger in staying here. Zhang Yi looked at him. Have you decided to leave with me? Fatty Su's ability is very useful. Zhang Yi can keep him as his little brother. Fatty Su's expression was a little hesitant. I still want to take a few people with me. Zhang Yi's eyes have become impatient. I don't have time to waste here now. Either come with me and leave now, or you can find your own way to find me. He threw Fatty Su a new mobile phone through Lian Yu. He learned the reason why Fatty Su could not contact him during this period. Then Zhang Yi took out the snowmobile and left Xujia town with Hua Hua. Fatty Su looked hesitant and looked at the snowmobile in the distance reluctantly. Being timid and afraid of death, he understood that with so many soldiers killed in Xujia town, there would be a huge storm. He didn't dare to stay here anymore. He had to go. Fatty Su gritted his teeth and ran towards Su Lili's house. He wanted to persuade Su Lili to leave with him go to a safe place, and spend the rest of their happy lives together. Lily must also be willing to leave with me. Fatty Sue thought confidently. After a while, he arrived outside Sue Lily's snow house. But before he went over to knock on the door, he heard conversations coming from inside the house. Chapter 293 Furious Ling Fong Fatty Sue stopped outside Sue Lily's house. He eagerly wanted to tell Sue Lily that Xujia town was very dangerous now. And no one knew what the Furious Special Forces team would do. He wanted to leave with Sue Lily. However, it was only after he arrived that he realized that he had not asked Zhang Yi whether he could take people there. Even if you can bring people there, how many can you bring? If only Sue Lily is taken, what will Sue Lily's family do? While Fatty Sue was struggling, the voices of Sue Lily and her family came from inside the snow house. Mom, a lot of people died outside. Will we be fine? 
Silly girl. What can happen to us? Didn't you see that their own people kill their own people? This matter has nothing to do with us. They always have to be reasonable. Let's treat them to delicious food and drink. And nothing will happen to them. That's right. Otherwise I'll go find that fat man. As long as we say a few nice words to him. He will definitely protect us. 2. Although the fat man is a bit stupid. He is capable and can protect the safety of our family. Lily, why don't you marry him? Ah? Sue Lily's voice suddenly became sharp. Mom, what are you talking about? He is fat and ugly. If you hadn't persuaded me to curry favor with him, I wouldn't have bothered to talk to him. Outside the igloo, Fatty Sue felt as if his heart had been stabbed with a knife. In Sue Lily's eyes, this is what he looked like. It turns out that he is not the hero in Sue Lily's eyes. The discussion in the igloo continued. What do you know? Getting married is about living a good life. Although he is not very good, he can now keep our family alive. Forget it. If I were to lie on the same bed with him, I would have nightmares every day. Looking at that greasy, that face makes me sick to the point of vomiting. But if you don't please him, how can we let him protect you? Don't worry. Mom, that fool is very stupid. As long as I show some kindness to him, he will be happy. Fat nerds are the best to deal with. Their minds are full of fantasies. As long as a woman treats them a little better, she will give you her heart. Outside the igloo, Fatty Sue felt cold inside. All the beautiful illusions at the beginning were shattered at this time. At this time, the people in the room noticed Fatty Sue's arrival. Sue Lily's mother looked a little embarrassed. That one. Spring thunder is coming. Come in and sit for a while. Sue Lily also saw Fatty Sue. And her expression changed slightly. But seeing that the matter was exposed, she didn't bother to pretend. But she looked arrogant. Fatty Sue smiled and said, No, aunt. I'm going to have a word with Lily. Can you let her come out? Sue Lily's mother poked her. And then Sue Lily walked out of the snow house. She smoothed her hair and tried her best to put on a sweet smile so that Fatty Sue would continue to protect her and her family wholeheartedly. Brother Chun Lei, when did you come here? Oh, I just arrived. Sue Chun Lei looked at the girl with a sweet smile in front of him. Feeling a little dazed, he could not imagine that those vicious words just came out of her little cherry mouth. Brother Chun Lei, what do you want from me? Su Chun Lei's lips were a little bitter, but he did not turn around and leave angrily. After all, a pig head who is trapped in a relationship will not give up the fantasy in his heart so easily. Lily, come with me. The village is not safe. So many people have died, and there may be serious dangers in the future. Fatty Su advised. After Su Lily listened, she smiled lightly. Brother Chun Lei, where can we go after we leave the village? Fatty Su didn't tell him that he was going to find Zhang Yi. If you believe me, I will take you away. Don't worry. I'm here to protect your safety. With his abilities, he would probably end up living in a supermarket buried in ice and snow. Supplies and shelter are easy to find. Even if he didn't go to Zhang Yi, he could survive. The world of ice and snow is his world. Su Lily was silent for several seconds. Then she smiled apologetically and said, Sorry, Brother Chun Lei. Is it too risky to do this? This isn't an idle drama. Why make it look like an elopement? The gentle smile on his face and the unhidden pity in his eyes deeply hurt Fatty Sue's heart. It's like an adult woman comforting Brother Chu who can't last long. It was a condescending feeling. Fatty Sue still refused to give up at this moment and was still explaining. But there are so many soldiers dead in the village. What do you think those people will do when they come back? Sue Lily thought for a while and said disapprovingly that this matter has nothing to do with us. Right? It shouldn't have any impact. Besides, she suddenly came forward, smiled and held Fatty Sue's hand, stared into his eyes and said pitifully, Even if we are in danger, Brother Chun Lei, you will definitely protect us. Right? Fatty Sue's body was a little stiff. He didn't know what he said or did in the end. He probably just nodded numbly and then watched Sue Lily return to the house. But when he came to his senses, he turned around and ran towards the outside of the village without hesitation. He must leave here and find Zhang Yi, or hide like an ostrich because he is afraid of death. He has a particularly keen sense of danger. He himself is Zhang Yi's undercover agent, and he doesn't know when he will be discovered. Run away. Escape is shameful, but useful. As for Su Lily, hack Su Lily. Fatty Su called Zhang Yi while running. Boss, I figured it out. I'll go back with you. Across the river, Ling Feng brought several captain-level aliens and some members of the special forces here to harass the shelter on a daily basis. By the way, 
He supervises the work of the villagers in Shijia Town. The sudden burst of gunfire from Shijia Town attracted the attention of the other side of the river. Both the members of the special forces and the working villagers looked back subconsciously. Inside the village. Why are there gunshots? Could it be that someone was setting off firecrackers? How can it be? Who would be bored enough to set off firecrackers at a time like this? When Ling Feng heard the gunfire, his expression immediately became serious. The sound of gunfire means there is a problem in Xujia town. However, Johnny was trapped in the shelter and had no way to get out. So what caused the gunfire? Could it be that there are other forces nearby that have not been discovered by Shishan? Ling Feng immediately asked people to contact people in Xujia town to ask what happened. A team member immediately used a communicator to contact there. However, all the soldiers there were killed at this time. And no one answered the call. The team members reported the news to Ling Feng. And Ling Feng's face instantly became extremely solemn. The special forces team has strict discipline, and it is impossible for such a situation of not replying to messages to occur unless there is force majeure. Come on. Let's go back and see what happened. For captain level aliens and six cyborg warriors are here to pretend to attack Zhang Yi's sanctuary. There are more than 20 special forces left in Zijiazin. But if they encounter a powerful alien, such as a captain level alien, they will have no power to resist. As a top level foreigner, Ling Feng knew this very well. He ordered Cher Daeong and others to stay here and continue to pretend to attack the shelter to avoid Zhang Yi discovering something strange. And he took five soldiers and rushed back to Xujia town on a sleigh. But just after crossing the river, a bloody corpse lay at the entrance of the village. His body was broken apart as if it had been run over by something huge, and it was a mess of blood and flesh. The ground was stained red with blood and condensed into red ice cubes like fried ice. Until his death, he stretched his right hand towards the other side of the river, as if there was some terrifying monster in the village. Ling Feng's eyes suddenly became sharp. Alert. He gave orders to the soldiers around him, and everyone raised their guns and looked around cautiously. But Ling Feng himself strode toward the village. At this time, Zhang Yi had already run away. The corpses of many soldiers were lying on the road in the village. There was blood splattering everywhere. And the tragedy was unbearable to look at. The villagers stood on the roadside, pointing at the corpses and talking about something. Seeing Ling Feng and others coming back, they quickly got out of the way. As Ling Feng led the people along, his face became increasingly ugly and his eyes were bloodshot. Dead? Dead again? These good comrades and brothers for many years died tragically in front of him once again. Ling Feng came out with 50 people this time, plus a dozen people from the rescue team. A total of more than 60 people. The last detonation outside the shelter failed, killing 22 people. Now all the soldiers left behind in Xujia town have been killed, including the captain. There are only 13 people around him, with such heavy casualties. The dead were all the most elite soldiers in Shishan base. How was he going to explain to Chen Xinian? Ling Feng walked to the battlefield with the most killed soldiers and looked at the familiar faces on the ground. The murderous intent in his eyes emerged crazily. Ah! He couldn't help but roared angrily. And it turned into a wave of sound that rushed in all directions. Heavy snow fell. And nearby villagers were shocked and fell to the ground. Who did it? Who killed my brothers? Ling Feng's eyes were blood red. His figure appeared like a ghost. And then he pinched the neck of an old man. Say, who did it? The old man was so frightened that he hesitated for a long time without saying a complete sentence. Click. Ling Feng exerted force and cut off his head from his neck like a rubber man. The villagers looked at this scene in disbelief. Then screamed like crazy and hurriedly ran for their lives. Don't run. I will kill anyone who escapes. Because of the two tragic deaths of special forces members. Ling Feng's sanity was almost wiped away. At this moment, he was particularly bored looking at these villagers shouting like chickens and ducks. Ling Feng dodged a few times and smashed seven or eight villagers into pieces like clay figures. In order to release his emotions, he did not hold back his hands. And the bodies of these ordinary people were really more fragile than mud in his hands. The villagers in Xujia town never imagined that they would die at the hands of these soldiers who were entertained by them with good intentions even though they did nothing. Chapter 294 Doubt Ling Feng killed the villagers of Xujia town wantonly. He has lost his mind at this time and only through killing and blood can he release his inner mania. By the time he felt that his inner emotions were partially relieved, the ground was already covered with broken corpses. He was holding two body parts in his hands, covered in blood, like a demon coming out of H. L. The villagers were forced by other special forces members, and were not allowed to escape. Ling Feng glanced at the trembling villagers, 
and suddenly felt that he had gone too far. He quickly explained, Look at you. I just want to ask you if you have seen the murderer. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I know clearly that so many of my brothers have died. But I feel very bad now. It's okay. It's okay. No need to be afraid. Although Ling Feng felt that it was wrong for him to kill so many villagers. But when he thought that he had such impulse because of the tragic death of his brothers, he felt that this behavior could be explained. He asked the villagers again with a straight face. Now you all will give me an honest explanation. You must have seen the fighting in the village. Tell me, who is the murderer? The villagers looked at Ling Feng's sudden change of expression and felt that this man was a living devil. How could they dare to answer his words? Ling Feng said angrily that if you didn't say anything, it would be you who did it. Then everyone in your town will die. As soon as these words came out, someone was so frightened that they said, I saw them killing each other. When Ling Feng heard this, his eyebrows stood up. You're talking nonsense. He walked over and picked the man up by his neck. It is impossible for our people to fight among themselves. Are you trying to hide the truth? Believe it or not. I will kill you. The old man kicked his legs wildly. His neck was stuck. His face was red. And he looked like he was about to be strangled to death. His daughter beside him couldn't help it. And cried and said that what my father said was true. The people who killed people were wearing the same clothes as you. But he killed everyone else by himself. And by the way, he also brought a strange cat with him that could grow bigger than a house. Ling Feng's eyes widened. Alien? He dropped the old man in his hand, pulled the woman over, pointed at her and said, I am a very fair person. As long as you honestly tell me what you saw, I will not kill innocent people indiscriminately. This statement sounds so ironic. The murder he just committed was justified. The woman trembled and told what she saw. However, the villagers were very scared at the time and could only observe secretly. Women did not see much of the fighting process. Fortunately, other villagers also added some, finally filling in the puzzle pieces of the story. After listening to the villagers' narration, Ling Feng was stunned and took two steps back in disbelief. The space power is Zhang Yi. Isn't he in the shelter? How did he get out? Shen Hong walked up to him and reminded him. Captain, is there another passage? Ling Feng's eyes lit up. Yes, it must be like this. A qualified shelter cannot have only one path. The same goes for their shelter. There must be at least two escape passages, not including the one dedicated to Chinchinian. If we can find that road, we can fight our way into the shelter. Damn Zhang Yi. You have killed so many of my brothers and so many villagers in Xijia town. I must kill you. After Ling Feng said this, he did not forget to tell the villagers in Xijia town. Remember, it was not me, Ling Feng, who killed your relatives today. But Zhang Yi, it was all his fault. I will avenge you. The villagers lowered their heads and did not dare to speak. But in their hearts, they already regarded Ling Feng as a more terrifying devil than Zhang Yi. At the very least, Zhang Yi only fought back after they took the initiative to provoke him. And what about Ling Feng? The members of the special operations team at Shishan base? They tried their best to serve each other. But Ling Feng and others still treated them like pigs and dogs. They regretted it greatly. But now it was too late. Because they simply do not have the strength to fight against special teams. Ling Feng immediately ordered his soldiers to search for signs of Vong Yi's departure. There is heavy snow everywhere outside. And as long as someone passes by, there will be traces left behind. Follow it, and you can find Zhang Yi's way back. Where the secret passage is. At this time, Zhang Yi had already taken Fatty Su away from Xijia town. But before taking him back, Zhang Yi wanted to confirm whether this guy had really given up on the people and things in Xijia town. Fatty, you better think about it. After entering the sanctuary, you must obey my orders unconditionally. Can you really give up your beloved Sue Lily? When Fatty Sue heard Sue Lily's name, he clenched his fists hard. Tears suddenly flew from the corners of his eyes. And he shouted, Of course you can! Women in the third dimension are indeed untrustworthy. I will never believe in love again. That's best. Zhang Yi started the snowmobile and drove back to the entrance of the back mountain passage through a detour. He opened the door of the passage and walked inside with Fatty Sue and Hua Hua. Fatty Sue looked behind him cautiously and then asked the boss. When he came, the wheel marks on the road were too obvious. Will this passage be discovered? Zhang Yi glanced at him. As long as the other party was not a complete idiot, he would definitely find it. Fatty Sue suddenly became a little nervous. This was not a good thing. It would be terrible if they attacked from here. A meaningful smile appeared at the corner of Zhang Yi's mouth. I wish they would come soon. 
Fatty Zoo blinked and understood immediately. Boss, it turns out you have prepared a trap for them here too. I never fight an unprepared battle. Zhang Yi took Fatty Zoo to the door of the alloy door. After unlocking it through a complicated procedure, he entered the shelter with him. On the other side, Ling Feng and others quickly found traces of the snowmobile. Shen Hong was eager for revenge and said through gritted teeth, Captain, let's chase him. Kill that damn bitch Zhang Yi. Ling Feng said calmly, We have fought against that guy so many times. When have you ever seen him suffer a loss? This is an extremely dangerous opponent. He cannot leave such an obvious loophole unless he prepares other means later. Hearing this, Shen Hong nodded in agreement. But we can't miss this opportunity. In half a day, this trace will be covered by heavy snow, and we will never be able to find the passage again. Ling Feng pondered for a moment and said coldly, Of course we have to chase. But we can't be too impulsive. He took a deep breath. His cold tone filled with sadness. We can't afford any more casualties. More than 50 people in the elite team of more than 60 people have died. The remaining 10 or so are either aliens and transformers, or engineers responsible for supervising the progress of the project. The death of one of these people is more serious than the death of 30 ordinary soldiers. Ling Feng stood up and said in a deep voice, Call everyone back. Shen Hong was stunned for a moment. But our tunnel is still being excavated. Can the project be shelved? Ling Feng took a deep look at Shen Hong. And you use your brain to think about it carefully. Why would Zhang Yi dare to come out and attack our headquarters? Shen Hong frowned slightly and began to think along Ling Feng's words. After a moment, he suddenly raised his head, his eyes showing shock. Captain, you mean that there is a traitor among us? It was he who passed our information to Zhang Yi. So Zhang Yi took advantage of the emptiness behind us and came to attack alone. Ling Feng said with a sinister look, Yes, it must be like this. Otherwise, with his level of caution, it would be impossible for him to leave the shelter rashly. If our intelligence is really leaked, do you think there is still any point in digging tunnels? Shen Hong's breathing became rapid. In other words, had their work for more than half a month been in vain? The only good thing is that although they wasted time, the work was done by the villagers in Xijia town. No. Wait a minute. Shen Hong suddenly realized something. And he blurted out. But in this case, who among us is the traitor? They conducted a search on all the villagers in Xijia town. And all communication equipment in anyone's hands was confiscated. Even if someone wanted to hide it privately, members of the special operations team used instruments to retrieve it. What's more, Zujiazin itself has a deep hatred for Zhang Yi and they have no means or reason to inform Zhang Yi. So, are the traitors among the members of the special forces team? But most of the members of the special team are already dead. Or are they among the dozen or so people left? A figure of a person immediately appeared in Shen Hong's mind. Among them, the most suspicious person is undoubtedly Liang Yu, who has recently joined the special forces team. After all, Liang Yu had openly opposed Ling Feng's plan, and she was not close to anyone in the special operations team thinking about it this way. She is definitely the most suspicious. Shen Hong whispered to Ling Feng. Could it be Lian Yu? Ling Feng narrowed his eyes and just called them back. As long as you take Lian Yu's mobile phone and give it to the technicians to search, you will naturally know the answer. Even if she deleted the communication records, they could recover all the data. It is impossible to hide something. So Ling Feng issued an order to everyone on the other side of the river, asking them to return to Xujia town immediately. After hearing the gunfire, people on the other side of the river knew what must have happened. So they rushed back. Lian Yu had some doubts in her heart. But she didn't know anything about Zhang Yi's plan. She only vaguely sensed that the situation seemed a little bad. So on the way back, she secretly hid the mobile phone she used to communicate with Zhang Yi in the hollow of a dead tree. Chapter 295 Constant Temperature Barbecue The people on the other side of the river returned to Xijia town. Seeing the bloody and cruel scene in front of them, Everyone was dumbfounded. The villagers in Xujia town screamed for help, and many of their relatives died in Ling Feng's hands. The atmosphere on the special operations team's side was equally solemn. Sure Dayong's veins popped out, and he almost couldn't control his anger. So he turned into a giant ice and snow ape to cause destruction. Almost all of their people are dead. But until now, they haven't laid a finger on Zhang Yi. This is simply a shame and humiliation. Ling Feng and others walked up to Liang Yi with a bone-chilling chill in their eyes. Teacher Liang, can you give me your mobile phone to check? Ling Feng asked. As soon as these words were spoken, the atmosphere at the scene became tense. Everyone understood that the reason why Ling Feng said this was because he suspected that Liang Yi had tipped off Zhang Yi. 
Liang Yi frowned. Captain Ling, do you mean to doubt me? She was already a little nervous inside. But the warrior's good qualities kept her calm on the surface. Fortunately, she did not use her usual mobile phone when communicating with Zhang Yi. Ling Feng said that we had so many people die. Why did Zhang Yi have the courage to come out and attack our rear? There must be an undercover agent tipping him off. Liang Yu sneered, took out the phone from his pocket, and handed it over generously. If you want to check, you should check it out. After handing over her phone, she stood aside with a sneer on her face, hugging Tang Dao without saying a word. It seemed that he didn't bother to say one more word. This generous attitude made Ling Feng and others a little suspicious. Could it be that they guessed wrong? But at this moment, Sher Deong looked around and suddenly said in surprise, Why is the fat man named Su missing? Fatty Su has superpowers, and was originally a quasi-member of their special team. Once things here are over, he will be taken back to Shishan base. So Fatty Su also had contact with them on weekdays. They had been back for a long time, and hadn't seen Fatty Su. That's why Sher Deong asked. As soon as these words came out, Ling Fong immediately realized something was wrong. Su Chunle? What about others? Someone immediately called Su Dantang over. Lao Su, where is your eldest grandson? Ling Feng asked, staring into his eyes. At this time, Su Dantang felt sad in his heart. After returning, they saw that so many villagers had died in the village, and their deaths were extremely miserable. The corpse was so ravaged that it was impossible to even tell who it was. I thought it was a foreign invasion. But after asking the villagers, I found out that Ling Feng did it all. Su Dantang did not answer Ling Feng's question but mustered up the courage to look into his eyes. Captain Ling, are we in Zujiazen interesting enough to you? Why do you want to kill our relatives? Ling Feng looked surprised. I didn't kill them. They were all killed by Zhang Yi. Lao Su, you are usually quite smart. Why are you confused now? No, you have to be reasonable. If Zhang Yi hadn't come over to kill my brothers, but you Su family people didn't report it, would I have been so angry? So you have to blame Zhang Yi for this matter. You cooperate well with my work. And I will deal with Zhang Yi and avenge you. Ling Feng spoke confidently, and even had a righteous look on his face. This is not a quibble. But he thinks he is right from beginning to end. Su Dongtong's lips were trembling with anger. Faced with such a person, how can you reason with him? He suddenly remembered Fatty Su's previous warning. Too much trust in these people at Shishan base may bring huge danger to Xujia town. And are they really a just organization? Su Dongtang has begun to regret his original choice. But now it is too late. The wolves have moved into the sheep village and cannot leave without eating every sheep. Hey, don't be stupid. Tell me quickly. Where has Su Chunle gone? Ling Feng stared into his eyes and asked. Su Dantang is a little scared. I don't know. Isn't Chunle the person you recruited? He doesn't go to work on weekdays. So how do I know where he is gone? Ling Feng took a deep breath. Everyone, find him. If someone suddenly disappears after Zhang Yi's attack. Then, that person is probably an undercover agent. If that person happens to be a stranger, this possibility is even greater. Su, they found clues. The person who reported Fatty Su was a girl named Su Lily. She personally admitted that she knew Fatty Su was leaving Shijia town. But she didn't know where he was going. By now, the truth has come to light. The person who tipped off Zhang Yi was Fatty Su. Ling Feng took a deep breath and punched an igloo in anger. This damn traitor. I must kill him. Yang Yu secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Fatty Su must have left with Zhang Yi. So he became her scapegoat. Liang Yu's suspicion was cleared. However, Liang Yu still looked dismissive and stood aside coldly. Ling Feng dragged Su Dongtang over and asked with a puzzled expression, Didn't you say that your village has a blood feud with Zhang Yi? Then why are there still traitors colluding with Zhang Yi? Su Dongtang actually knows some inside information. The original peacemaking with Zhang Yi was actually done by Fatty Su. However, in order to take credit, he claimed that he was the one who negotiated the matter. Therefore, others did not know that there was a connection between Fatty Su and Zhang Yi. And now, of course, he couldn't tell the truth. Otherwise, Ling Feng will definitely kill him. He could only say that Su Chunlei was as timid as a rat. A waste who was greedy for life and afraid of death. Nothing he does is surprising. Captain Ling, this matter has nothing to do with the rest of us. We hate Zhang Yi deeply and there is no way we can help him deal with you. Ling Feng had basically determined in his heart that there was something wrong with Fatty Su. But if they want to arrest Fatty Su, the troops they have now are definitely not enough. Besides, they have other things to do. Ling Feng said to Su Dongtang. 
since you said that you and Zhang Yi did not collude. Then prove it to me with facts. Su Dongtang didn't understand what Ling Feng wanted him to do. Ling Feng asked people to gather all the villagers in Xijia town into the square. A thousand people were herded away like sheep by a dozen people, all of whom were very honest and did not dare to resist. Ling Feng randomly selected a hundred people from them. You guys came with me to do something very important. If things go well, I will give you a lot of credit. The rest of the people stay here honestly and do whatever they have to do because there were not enough manpower. And because he was afraid that someone else would be killed by Zhang Yi, Ling Feng decided to take all the members of the special team together. And these 100 people also have a very important use. As for the others, he was not worried at all about these people escaping. Because in this extremely cold world, if you are not adequately prepared, escaping anywhere is courting death. The current Xujia town is a natural prison for the villagers in Xujia town. Ling Feng thought for a while and walked up to Liang Yu who looked unhappy. He explained to Liang Yu, I know you feel uncomfortable, but so many of our brothers are dead, and I will investigate anyone who is suspected. Not just you, but everyone else. Too many members of the special forces have died, and everyone left is precious. Especially for Lian Yu, an elite with superior combat power. Ling Feng naturally had to win over him. Lian Yu said with a cold face. I understand. Ling Feng nodded. Okay, let's go there together. If you're lucky, you'll be able to find the weak point of that shelter. The group left Xujia town and set off along the tracks left by the snowmobile. Zhang Yi made a big circle, covering four or five kilometers. But he has a snowmobile. While people like Ling Feng don't have that many means of transportation at their disposal, the members of the special forces ride on sleds, while the villagers in Xujia town can only walk on two legs. Two and a half hours later, they finally arrived at the back mountain and stopped in front of the large tombstone. It turns out to be here. Ling Feng judged the location of the tombstone and the distance from the shelter, and it was almost certain that it was here. He immediately asked the villagers to come over and open the tombstone. The villagers were all haggard, tired and hungry. But they did not dare to complain at all and could only come to work. Everyone worked together and quickly pushed open the door disguised as a tombstone. Revealing the deep and long passage below, Ling Feng said to the villagers, Please go down and explore the road first. He had been tricked by Zhang Yi so many times that he felt a little scared. The villagers cursed in their hearts. But on the surface, they did not dare to resist at all and could only enter the passage honestly. A special operations team member gave them communication devices and asked them to take them inside so that they could view the scene inside at any time from the outside. One hundred villagers entered the underground passage one after another. I found that the building here is very beautiful. The lights come on after entering, and the walls are also made of silver gray special metal, which looks very solid. The only drawback is that it is not wide enough and too long and narrow, giving people the feeling of a tomb passage. The villagers walked forward cautiously, like a group of sheep being driven forward. Outside the passage, Ling Feng and others were holding instruments and monitoring everything inside. It was very quiet at first. The villagers walked slowly inside, and nothing happened. But when they reached the middle of the passage, there was a sudden rumbling sound. Two metal walls fell from above their heads, cutting off their front and back paths. The villagers suddenly became panicked and shouted hurriedly. But the next moment, Ling Feng and others saw a raging flame spurting out of the wall like a long dragon from the camera. Ah! The scream sounded like they were coming from H, L. And the video ended abruptly here. John E. What a vicious guy. Sure enough, I still have some backup here. Ling Feng said through gritted teeth. If he hadn't been resourceful and knew how to use people from Xujia town to explore the way, wouldn't it be that a few more special forces members would have died? Chapter 296 will love disappear. The screams kept coming from the passage. And the video was cut off. But the sound was still so clear as it spread along the passage to the entrance. Liang Yu felt some pity for the villagers who died tragically. But everything she saw after leaving Tianqing College made her heart become numb and cold. The human heart has a strong ability to adapt. Things that are intolerable at first will become accustomed to them over time. Sher Deong asked Ling Feng Dao to. What should I do? This road is obviously impossible. Ling Feng said coldly that if we can't leave. We will blow up this place. We can't get in. And he can't come out again. They were prepared when they came and brought the remaining explosives with them. At this time, Leon Yu suddenly said, Are explosives really useful? Don't fail to blow up the passage when the time comes. Instead, you will give it to him in vain and become a weapon against us in the future. As soon as these words came out, 
Ling Feng and Sher Daong also frowned. Yes, this possibility cannot be ruled out. At this moment, Zheng Xuerong came over and said lightly that this is easy to handle. Wouldn't it be enough to just block this passage and prevent him from coming out? She walked to the entrance of the passage. A smile appeared on her lips. Then she leaned down and placed her right hand on the passage. Freeze! A dark blue light enveloped her hand. The snowflakes flying in the air stopped for a moment. And then poured into the passage as if guided by something. A thick layer of ice quickly condensed on the silver-gray metal wall. When the ice penetrates deep, it is melted by the blazing heat inside and turns into water. Not long after, Ling Feng and others outside heard the sound of rushing water coming from inside. Smart. So smart. In this way, it is impossible for Zhang Yi to leave the base from here. Academician Wu couldn't help but clapped his hands. This passage goes downwards. As long as it is filled with water. When the temperature drops, ice will form and block the passage. Then the door cannot be opened again. Moreover, even if Zhang Yi wanted to use high temperature combustion to melt the ice and snow, it would be of no avail. Wonderful. Academician Wu did not hesitate to praise him. Zheng Xuerong smiled slightly and said proudly that it was just a small trick. But there was no trace of joy on Ling Feng's face. Although Zhang Yi's secret passage was blocked, they still had no way to break through the shelter. If they can't catch Zhang Yi, they won't be able to complete the mission of the base, let alone avenge the more than 50 brothers of the special forces who were killed in action. As the captain, Ling Feng was still angry and anxious inside. What we want is not just to block him. Instead, break his turtle sh. L and completely eliminate him. Yang Yi remained silent, but watched coldly to see what else they could come up with. But now that Fatty Su has left with Zhang Yi, she needs to be more cautious in her subsequent actions to prevent any abnormalities from being discovered again. The others were also silent, thinking hard about countermeasures. All conceivable methods have failed now. Instead, the special operations team has suffered heavy losses. They don't even have a few men. So what else can they use to fight Zhang Yi? No one in the group had any good ideas. So they could only return to Xujia Town to rest temporarily and then discuss countermeasures. After returning to Xujia Town, the villagers found that the 100 people who had gone with them had not returned. So they asked Ling Feng where they had gone. Ling Feng replied calmly that they were all killed by Zhang Yi. Xujia Town was crying again. At the end of the day, they didn't know how many families had lost their loved ones. Ling Feng said that we are a little hungry. Please hurry up and prepare food and send it to us. Don't delay. Anyway, we have come this far. And he is too lazy to pretend anymore. After all, these villagers have no strength to resist. Just as he thought, the villagers should cry and hate. But they still provide services to them honestly. That night, everyone pulled out white cloths from their homes, hastily burned the bodies of their loved ones, and held a simple funeral. But in a shelter on the other side of the river, a welcoming banquet was held lively. Perhaps it was because they hadn't seen outsiders for a long time. But everyone still welcomed Fatty Sue's arrival. At least that's how it seemed. Yang Mi and Zhou Kier prepared a sumptuous dinner. And Zhang Yi also took out several bottles of fine wine. Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen had already met him before. So they were no strangers to him either. After Fatty Sue arrived at the shelter. Like everyone else. He was so shocked that he couldn't recover at first. In the last days when the external environment is so harsh. They actually live in a palace-like house and enjoy delicious food. They are so happy. Especially Zhang Yi. He was surrounded by four beauties. A sure winner in life. That is who admired Zhang Yi even more. If you are not an extraordinary person, how can you live so freely in the apocalypse? It's just that when facing these beauties, he behaves very reservedly. And even doesn't speak fluently. It's no wonder. After all, he can be so excited that he can't help but face a slightly pretty Su Lily. What's more, the women in Zhang Yi's family are all stunningly beautiful and talented. However, when Fatty Su saw them, he felt a little scared in his heart. He had just suffered the blow of Lovelorn. And now, he was completely disappointed with the third dimension. The more beautiful a woman is, the more she likes to lie. Fatty Su firmly believed in this. Instead of spending time communicating with three-dimensional women, it would be better to spend more time looking at them. At least a two-dimensional girl would never cheat on him. Zhang Yi handed over the wine glass and touched it with Fatty Su. Fatty, now that you are here, we will be a community of interest from now on. No matter what enemy you face in the future, you must fight against them with all your strength. Zhang Yi said to Fatty Su with a smile. This fat house's abilities are very useful. But he is as timid as a mouse and doesn't know how to develop and utilize them. But in the future, 
he became Zhang Yi's follower. And Zhang Yi would naturally help him develop it and become a powerful force in his hands. Fatty Su giggled. I know. I know. There is no such thing as a free dinner in this world. Fatty Su is just a homebody. Not stupid. But while eating, Fatty Su also expressed the questions he had been having. Boss, besides me, do you have other spies in Xujia town? Oh, why do you think so? Zhang Yi looked at him with a smile. Fatty Su chuckled. Boss, I know your character very well. You can't take the risk of leaving a shelter without being completely sure, unless you are very clear about the situation in Xujia town. Zhang Yi didn't hide anything from Fatty Su. Do you still remember teacher Liang from Tianqing College? When Fatty Su heard what Zhang Yi said, he immediately slapped his thigh in excitement. I guessed it was her. And it was so. Not only Zhang Yi, but also several women looked at Fatty Su curiously. How did you guess that? Fatty Su smiled and said, It's actually simple. Didn't we meet her before when we went to Tianqing College to rescue people? Later, she followed the people from Shishan base to Xujia town. When I saw her, I was scared to death because she knows about my relationship with the boss. However, she acted as if she didn't know me and didn't tell anyone else about me. So I guess she is definitely not really loyal to Shishan base. If there is an undercover agent for you, boss, it must be her. Zhang Yi looked at him with some admiration. You are quite smart. Come on. Let's go for this one. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, boss. Fatty Su was very happy to be praised by Zhang Yi and emptied his glass happily. Everyone drank happily. Not because they welcome Fatty Su. But Fatty Su is here. And everyone has a reason to have a drink. Fatty Su drank very boldly. The alcohol content of the red wine was not high. So he didn't feel anything at first. But after a while, the alcohol started to take over. Fatty Su drank and staggered around. His face flushed. Smiling. And suddenly, he lay on the table and started crying. Woohoo! I thought she liked me. But I didn't expect that she took me for a fool. Sure enough. Love will disappear. Right? How shameless. Yang Xinxin held the wine glass and commented lightly. Zhang Yi just smiled and asked Yang Mi to prepare a bedroom for Fatty Su on the first floor. And he and the other girls lived on the second floor below. Letting Fatty Su live in the shelter is only temporary. He doesn't like having other men living in his home. So this is just a stopgap measure. After the problem at Shishan base is solved, Zhang Yi will let Fatty Su live in a nearby villa that was not bombed. Next. What other methods will you use to attack me? Zhang Yi thought as he shook the red wine glass in his hand. The soldiers will block it. And the water will cover it. This time, he took the initiative and dealt a major blow to the special operations team of Shishan base. And their plan to dig tunnels is probably coming to a halt. As for the escape route blocked by Zhang Xuerong, Zhang Yi was not in a hurry to move it for the time being. The 2.5 kilometer long passage was filled with water and it condensed into ice, making it difficult to clean. However, Zhang Yi now has Fatty Su as his helper. With him here, cleaning up the ice and snow is a piece of cake and there is no need to worry at all. Zhang Yi was very excited about the next move of the Chi-Chi team and felt a little nervous and a little expectant. People are always full of curiosity and fear about unknown things. It would be great if Liang Yi could bring that chip back earlier. Zhang Yi glanced at Yang Xinqin and said with a smile. Yang Xinqin was sitting on the sofa seat, wearing a black lolita skirt except that her legs cannot walk. She looks no different from a normal girl. Again, the elegance you feel when drinking red wine never goes out of style. Yang Xinxin showed confidence in Liang Yu. This task will not be too difficult for teacher Liang. Brother, don't forget what she did before. If you just have good skills, you won't be able to be a bodyguard in that place. Chapter 297 Crazy Ling Feng and others returned without success. After returning, the atmosphere was extremely depressing and no one wanted to speak. Ever since they joined the army, they have never suffered such a humiliating loss. However, this is not because they are incompetent. The external conditions are really too limited. Facing the iron barrel-like shelter, there is no way to break through with only these individual combat weapons from half a century ago in their hands. Even in military theory courses, when faced with such a strong fortress, fixed-point bombing is used to solve the problem. It's not the last century anymore. How can a single soldier break through a fortress? But the conditions were here. And the task had to be done. So they had no choice but to bite the bullet. So now, Ling Feng and his special team members have all their abilities. But they can't use them. On a cold night, a huge full moon hung in the sky. Since the end of the world, I haven't seen such a bright moon for a long time. 
Just the cold moonlight shining on the ground was like a pinch of salt on the wounds of Ling Feng and other souls. After the group returned to Xuzha town, they simply finished their meal and Ling Feng asked everyone to go back and rest first. Remember to be alert at night and don't sleep too hard. Everyone nodded, knowing in their hearts that this was not only to guard against Zhang Yi, but also to guard against the villagers of Xuzha town who might rebel at any time. Liang Yi returned to her snow house. But as soon as the person arrived at the door, she frowned. Someone has been to her room. Since contacting Zhang Yi, she has always been wary of her affairs being discovered. So in her room, she made some small tricks. As long as anyone else enters her room, she will be discovered. Liang Yu calmly walked into the room slowly. After carefully checking the few things in the room, he realized that his bed had been moved. Liang Yu reached out and checked carefully on the bed. And sure enough, he took out a dark gold chip and a silver mobile phone card from under the bed board. This is, in Liang Yu's mind, Zhang Yi's words asking about the location of her room appeared. She suddenly realized that this thing was left to her by Zhang Yi. This chip is a storage device and needs to be connected to a computer interface to be used. As for the mobile phone card, it should be used for encrypted calls to prevent the conversation between the two from being monitored by the Shishan base. Thinking of Yang Xinxin's computer technology, it is not difficult to do this. Liang Yu's mobile phone was hidden in the cracks of a dead tree on the other side of the river. So there was no way to contact Zhang Yi and ask him about the function of the chip. She had no choice but to put the chip and mobile phone card into her pocket first. And then wait until she had the opportunity to retrieve her mobile phone before asking Zhang Yi. After doing this, Liang Yu sat on the bed and slept with his clothes on. Early the next morning, after Liang Yu got up, she went over to meet Ling Feng and others for dinner as usual and then discussed the next action plan. But today, the area where the special operations team was stationed was particularly deserted, with not many people in sight. Only then did Liang Yi realize that most of the people had been killed by Zhang Yi, leaving only a dozen or so of them. Liang Yu came to the dining place. At the dinner table, Ling Feng was saying something to Su Dong Tang. All of you will gather together later. I have something to ask you for a favor. Su Dong Tang's face turned pale. His lips were chapped and he looked reluctant. Team Ling, you, what else do you need from us? As long as Ling Feng is looking for him, nothing good will happen. Ling Feng just said coldly, that's all. Just do as I ask. I will tell you when the time comes. Go for it. He waved his hand and told Su Dongdang to leave and not to disturb their breakfast. Ling Feng was not afraid of people from Xu Jia town escaping. Can a monk who can run away still run into a temple? Your Xu Jia town is right here. And only here do you have a way to survive. Once you leave here, where can you escape to? The entire Xuzha town has been regarded as a treasure by the Shishan base and is being tightly controlled. Su Dongtong's face turned pale and his body was trembling as he left the room. A flash of helplessness flashed in Liang Yu's eyes. And then he restrained his sympathy for them and sat down at the table to eat breakfast. It was still the usual white flour steamed buns with pickles and stewed fish. And steaming rice porridge was boiling in another pot. You definitely can't eat the rice because it gets cold too quickly. Liang Yu came to the side of several people and ate silently, still not saying a word. Yesterday, Ling Feng and others had already become suspicious of her. It was only because of Fatty Su's self-destruction that they did not rush to investigate her. However, too many members of the special force had died, and Ling Feng was extremely suspicious at this time. He was afraid that no one would believe him except for a few confidants. Of course, he couldn't trust Liang Yu. After breakfast, Su Dongtang gathered all the villagers in the square of Xuzha town in accordance with Ling Feng's request. Ling Feng walked over and took a look. He clearly noticed that some people were missing. Those who didn't come were basically women and children. Obviously, the people in Xuzha town didn't know the purpose of the special force. So they hid part of the women and children. Ling Feng didn't care. He just told everyone that yesterday, Xuzha town was attacked by the villain Zhang Yi, resulting in heavy casualties. As soldiers, we cannot sit back and ignore this situation. But now we are short of manpower. And we hope everyone can help. Now take a hundred people and come with us to the other side of the river. As soon as Ling Feng finished speaking, all the villagers in Xuzha town panicked. Every time the special teams come to them, nothing good comes of it. For more than a month, their originally stable and happy life has been disrupted. Now they don't have enough to eat. And their lives are at risk at any time. If they weren't afraid of the force of the special forces, they would have resisted long ago. However, as the first batch of resistors were killed, 
the backbones of the remaining people were also broken. As long as the butcher's knife fell on their heads, they did not have the courage to fight. It was a mess down there, and everyone was whispering behind their backs to express their dissatisfaction. But Ling Feng didn't care about them. He just told Su Dongdang to leave this matter to you. I want 100 people. What else can Su Dongdang do? All we can do is comply. But Ling Feng specifically said, there are a few people you have to bring with me. He talked about a few people in Su Dongtang's ears. Su Dongtang thought about it, and nodded helplessly. Liang Yu watched silently from behind, feeling very puzzled as to what kind of trouble Ling Feng was going to make. But she also knew that Ling Feng and others must have made some plans behind her back. Liang Yu didn't ask, since he would know by then. But what can these 100 ordinary people do? Shelter here. In the morning, after everyone had finished breakfast, Zhang Yi took Fatty Su to play games with him. There are a few other women in the family who can play a little bit, but their skills are really poor. After playing for a long time, Zhang Yi doesn't bother to guide them. But now that Fatty Su is a two-thorned ape, he will at least have a good partner when playing games in the future. Fatty Su was greatly moved. Boss, it's great to follow you. I even have time to play games. He originally thought that Zhang Yi, who was under siege, must be holding a gun all day long nervously waiting for a challenge at any time. I didn't expect his daily life to be so easy. Play when you should play, and be busy when you should be busy. As long as there are no troublesome enemies. I actually lie down most of the time, and enjoy a beautiful life. Zhang Yi said with a smile. Not to mention that with their current strength, they can no longer pose a threat to my sanctuary. Why should I waste more time on them? Even though he said this, it didn't mean that Zhang Yi was slacking off. There are people watching the surveillance video outside at all times and Zhou Kier, and the four of them are not just playing. Fatty Su was extremely impressed. He even regretted a little. Why was he so obsessed with it in the first place that he gave up the opportunity to enter the shelter for Su Lily? Just a woman. How can she compare with the latest version of PS15 and thousands of AAA masterpieces? Fatty Su looked at the pile of cassettes under the TV with a greedy look in his eyes. He wished he could play them all in one go. Boss, can I? Hey, hey, hey. Fatty Sue scratched his head and pointed at the cassettes. Johnny understands what he means. Okay, just look for whatever you want to play. Fatty Sue walked over and picked up the cassette. But at this moment, Joe Kier, who was sitting on the sofa and watching the surveillance, suddenly said to Johnny, Someone is coming. They are very, very strange. Joe Kier looked at the surveillance camera with a hint of fear and confusion in her eyes. Johnny's eyes narrowed. What's wrong? He stood up from the sofa and walked over to watch. I feel like a group of zombies are coming this way. Joe Kier pointed at the image on the screen and said. Zhang Yi took a closer look and saw a group of people slowly moving towards this direction a few hundred meters away from the shelter. Their pace was very slow. Like zombies in movies. But if it were really a zombie, Zhang Yi wouldn't be afraid. He could easily defeat it with a thermal weapon. The camera zooms in a little closer. Zhang Yi asked Xiao Ai to zoom in on the camera. After a closer look, he realized that it was not a zombie at all, but a group of humans with pale faces and stiff movements. Zhang Yi waved to Fatty Su, who was rummaging through the cassette over there. Fatty Su, come and see if they are from Shujia town. Fatty Su was slightly startled when he heard this, and then quickly came over. After seeing those people's faces, he immediately said, It's really them. Them. Why does it appear here? Fatty Su's face also turned pale, and a layer of white hair sweat appeared on his back although he didn't know what the situation was. He was keenly aware that this was definitely not a good thing. Zhang Yi carefully checked the surveillance video and could not find Ling Feng and others. It was obvious that they were hiding in secret, and he didn't receive any reminder from Liang Yu, so he didn't know what the situation was. What are they doing here? It's impossible to go into the trap. The nearby mines have been cleared by them long ago. Zhang Yi felt that things were very strange, but when he saw the pale faces and trembling bodies of the villagers, he knew that there must be something fishy. Let's go and have a look. Zhang Yi patted Fatty Su on the shoulder and motioned for him to come together. Chapter 298 Human Bomb No matter what conspiracy the other party has, they are just ordinary people. So just kill them, and that's it. Zhang Yi didn't panic at all, and skillfully changed into a set of equipment, which was a replica and enhanced version of the special operations uniform. Seeing this, Fatty Su asked the boss enviously, What about me? I'm also afraid of death. Is there any protective gear I can wear? From the perspective of fear of death, Fatty Su and Zhang Yi are quite comparable. Zhang Yi threw him the body armor 
he was not wearing and gave him a helmet. Hurry up and put it on. Let's hurry over and see what's going on. Although I don't know what their plan is. This group of people must not be allowed to approach the shelter. The two came to the first floor and through the one-way glass. They could see the slowly approaching villagers of Shuja town. Fatty Su lay in front of the window and looked at each one. Many of them were neighbors he was familiar with. Suddenly, Fatty Su's eyes widened. Lily. Among the crowd, he saw Sue Lily's figure. She had a grimace on her face. Her body was trembling. And she looked like she might fall to the ground at any time. But she didn't dare to stop. As if something behind her was forcing her to move forward. Zhang Yi noticed something was wrong with Fatty Sue's expression. But just glanced at him lightly. We must kill them all. One sentence frightened Fatty Sue to death. Ah? Kill. Kill them? All? The expression on Fatty Sue's face looked like he was about to cry. Although he chose to abandon Shujia town and escape for his life. It was still difficult for him to kill the villagers with his own gun. After all, most of the villagers in Shujia town have the surname Su and belong to the same clan. So just picking anyone out is related to them. Zhang Yi looked at the timid fat man inside. If this sanctuary is breached, do you think we can survive? This is the end of the world. Zhang Yi emphasized one sentence and said nothing more. He didn't want blood on his hands if he could help it. But God has no control over you. If you want to live, someone else must die. Zhang Yi did not force Fatty Su to kill his own clan members. He unfolded the dimensional door in front of the window for protection. Then opened the window, raised a pistol in both hands and started firing. Immediately, five or six villagers fell down like wheat. The villagers' movements suddenly slowed down, and they screamed in fear. However, some people saw Zhang Yi and Fatty Su through the window. Su Chun Lei. It's Su Chun Lei. Su Chun Lei. We are all members of your race. How could you shoot at us? Chun Lei. I am your fourth aunt. Don't shoot. Save us. The sound of pleading and scolding reached Fatty Su's ears, causing him to break out in cold sweat, and he couldn't help but take a few steps back. Especially when he saw Su Lily. She was looking at him with pleading eyes. Brother Chun Lei. Save me. Save me. I beg you. Don't you like me? I can marry you as my wife. Please save me. Su Chunlei was sweating more and more. However, Zhang Yi's shooting speed did not slow down at all. And he was still cleaning up the villagers in Xujia town at fixed points. He was now a little confused as to what the purpose of these people was. It can be determined that it must be people from Lingfeng Shishan base who are causing trouble secretly. Boom! A hole was opened in the head of an old man. Blood splattered and the screams became much louder. Su Chun Lei. What are you doing? I know you're in there. Stop it. Do you really want to watch us all die? Whoa. Brother Chun Lei. I am Gongzi. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Su Chun Lei. You sinner of the Su family. Look what you have done. It was you who caused Xu Jia town to become what it is today. If you hadn't colluded with Zhang Yi, how could so many people in our Xu Jia town die? An old woman cursed at Fatty Su. John Yi frowned and glanced at Fatty Sue. He felt that these people seemed to be here to die, which was very strange. Could it be that Ling Feng was preparing to use their blood to open the door of the shelter? Unfortunately, this is completely impossible. John Yi turned around and continued shooting. But this time, after a corpse fell to the ground, something under the clothes was suddenly exposed. John Yi took a closer look and immediately understood what these people were here to do. There were actually explosives tied inside their clothes. Ling Feng originally wanted to use the villagers of Xujia town as cover to blast the shelter. This time, Zhang Yi stopped shooting. After understanding the other party's purpose, he calmed down. Fatty, do you see what they have on them? Zhang Yi signaled Fatty Su with his eyes. Fatty Su looked over after hearing this and could naturally see the explosives tied to the villagers. His eyes widened in disbelief at these scumbags. Fatty Su didn't have any good impressions of Shishan base. But in his opinion, these soldiers at Shishan base should have the minimum moral bottom line and not kill innocent people indiscriminately. But now, they have turned the villagers of Shujia town into suicide bombs. This is inhumane and worse than an animal. I said before, they betrayed their beliefs and were a group of desperados. So to deal with them, we must be more ruthless than them. Zhang Yi said calmly. Fatty Su's heart was about to collapse. In other words, these people were all victims and had to die here no matter what. And he had to watch this scene helplessly. Unable to do anything. Zhang Yi handed the pistol to him. And now the situation was obvious. You know what to do. Right? Fatty Su struggled for a long time. Then gritted his teeth and took the pistol resolutely. 
since they all end up dead. It's not my fault to send them away. It's all the fault of those bastards at Shishan base. After convincing himself, Fadisu took a gun, pointed it at the crowd, and pulled the trigger. Without the psychological burden, Fadisu shot very decisively. If he was a little sad at first, but after firing the first shot, he felt an unprecedented pleasure in his heart. Boom! The second aunt in their village died. She was his mother's distant cousin. Her family was very powerful in business. She often boasted about her children in front of his parents and secretly belittled Fatty Sue as a loser. After beating her to death with his own hands, Fatty Sue actually felt very happy. In fact, some relatives did not have much affection for him. Subconsciously, Fatty Sue really wanted them to die. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ha ha ha. Fatty Sue laughed softly and his body began to tremble with excitement. The speed of his shooting is also getting faster and faster. As a fat homebody, he had almost no friends in Shijia town, and no one thought highly of him. Later, when the apocalypse came, he had supernatural powers and helped the village do many things. But even then, he still didn't feel that he was respected by others, especially the way others looked at him. That kind of contemptuous, jealous and indifferent look was what made him sad the most. He didn't know how many nights he spent trying to comfort himself that he was overthinking. But is he really overthinking it? Fatty Sue knows better than anyone that it's not like that. They just really look down on him. But now, look, the lives of these villagers who have brought him so much pain are completely in his hands. And right now, he doesn't need to feel any guilt for killing these villagers. After all, even if he didn't kill them, these villagers would be killed by bombs. Then it makes sense to do so. Ha ha ha. A ferocious smile slowly appeared on Fatty Sue's face. Soon all the bullets were fired. Johnny handed him the magazine from the side and motioned for him to continue. Fatty Sue's marksmanship was terrible. But at a distance of more than a hundred meters and the density of people so high, he could kill many people even if he fired with his eyes closed. Johnny asked Fatty Sue to shoot himself. Not to submit a surrender certificate. But he knew in his heart that Fatty Sue had always had low self-esteem and longed to vent. He is obviously a powerful stranger. But he is looked down upon by everyone in the village. And there is not even anyone he can talk to in confidence. It's strange that Fatty Sue doesn't have any problems in his heart. After killing all the villagers who had looked down on him and brought him heavy pressure, Fatty Sue was completely freed. The group of villagers screamed in fright. Some cursed. Some prayed. And some tried to run back. However, the bullets from directly behind were more accurate and penetrated directly into the head of everyone who wanted to escape. Ling Feng and others were behind them, forcing them to approach the shelter step by step. Ling Feng's purpose was to take advantage of the feelings between Fatty Su and the villagers of Shijia Town so that the bombs could get closer to the shelter. These 100 people have enough explosives to complete a blast. Once they get close, Zhang Yi's ability cannot actively collect the human body and loses its effect. In this case, you can blow up the shelter and rush in to take Zhang Yi's life. In order to complete the mission, Ling Fong was completely distorted at this time. Regardless of the consequences, he didn't even mind killing the entire Shuja town villagers. However, the intense gunfire from the front shattered his illusions. They even killed the villagers in Shuja town. They were simply beasts, Ling Fong said angrily, then raised his hand and killed a villager who tried to escape. Liang Yu looked speechless. It was obviously you who forced them to be bombs. But now you actually have the nerve to call others beasts. Ling Feng has his own logic. In his opinion, he killed these villagers out of righteousness. But Fatty Su was worse than a beast by killing his fellow villagers. However, he did not expect that Fatty Su would act so decisively, which even made people feel that there was a bit of personal grudge in it. Zhang Yi saw Fatty Su's rise in killing, and directly took out an assault rifle from another space and handed it to him. Let's use this. Quite enjoyable. Fatty Su took the gun over, and Zhang Yi showed him how to use it. Don't hold the gun but press it with one hand. Its recoil is relatively large. After Fatty Su learned this, he set up his gun on the windowsill and fired at the villagers he was familiar with. Chapter 299 Dedicate All of You 100 villagers who had explosives tied to their bodies were killed by Fatty Su alone. Among them was Su Lily, whom he had a mad crush on in the past. But looking at Su Lily who fell on the ground at this time, he felt very calm in his heart and even had a kind of self-doubt. How could I be obsessed with this kind of woman in the first place? Looking at Su Lily at this time, she didn't look very beautiful. Some of the villagers who fell on the ground were still alive. After all, Fatty Su's shooting skills were really rubbish. And those people were still struggling. 
If you don't do one, you won't stop. Fatty Sue gritted his teeth and went to finish the shots one by one. He even said to Zhang Yi with some embarrassment. Boss, I'm really sorry. My marksmanship is a bit bad and I wasted your bullets. Zhang Yi said very generously that it's okay. Just treat it as a practice for you. He has no shortage of bullets. There are enough materials in different dimensions. And Liu Karen can continuously build them. Many people have an inexplicable awe for firearms and bullets. And always feel that the value of such things must be particularly precious. In fact, their cost is very affordable. Otherwise, they would not be owned by many families abroad. Seeing that more than a hundred people were killed, and no one had time to get close to the shelter. Ling Feng from behind gritted his teeth angrily. Damn it. Damn it. This was his last resort. If it didn't work, he would have to admit that the mission had failed. He pulled out half of the special forces team at Shishan base. And except for a few people, all the rest were killed. And next, it is impossible for Chen Xinyan to hand over the remaining half of the special forces team members to him. As for the ordinary soldiers, they were sent here to be used as cannon fodder. With their combat prowess, they were not even qualified to sniper against Zhang Yi. Ling Feng angrily vented his resentment. And the people around him didn't dare to say anything. Although they were also holding back a fire of anger in their hearts. They wanted to pull Zhang Yi out of the shelter and cut him into pieces. But their strength does not allow them to do this. Captain Ling, let's go back. Academician Wu suddenly spoke. Among this group of people, he was not Ling Feng's subordinate. He was just someone appointed by the senior management to assist Ling Feng because of this mission. So it was most appropriate for him to speak. All our weapons and ammunition are almost exhausted now. And even our soldiers have been lost. There's no point in staying here any longer. Shi Deong, Zheng Xuerong, Shen Hong Yulang and others were startled and quickly looked at Ling Feng. They were really afraid of the proud captain's anger. However, Ling Feng did not make any extraordinary move. He just looked at the shelter standing on the scorched earth like an unbreakable fortress from a distance. And did not speak for a long time. Ling Feng didn't speak. And everyone didn't dare to say anything. They could only let him. The captain. Make up his mind. After all. Ling Feng was in charge of everything in this operation. The waiting time was a bit long. Especially in this depressing atmosphere. But after a few minutes. Ling Feng slowly said. Tell me. Can we still go back? There was a trace of fatigue in his tone. Tired. He was really tired. After so many years as a soldier, this was the first time he encountered such a helpless situation. It can be said that he was a complete failure. The mission was not completed, and so many of his soldiers died. He even felt that he had no face to go back and face Chen Xinyan. Otherwise I will die here. After Ling Feng finished speaking, he suddenly pulled out a pistol and pointed it at his temple. No one expected that he would come out like this. Lian Yu's eyes flashed. She actually hoped that he would really die. She was very aware of Ling Feng's strength. If this person were alive, he might pose a huge threat to her subsequent escape plan. Moreover, the hands of this executioner were stained with the blood of too many innocent people. And he would not regret his death. But of course her Daeong and others would not just watch this happen. Several people quickly snatched the gun from Ling Feng's hand. Captain, please don't be confused. This operation is not your fault. Now in the apocalypse, we don't have modern attack weapons. In addition, Zhang Yi's superpowers are very weird. It's understandable that the mission failed. You are an important guardian of the Shishan base. If something happens to you, it will definitely be an irreparable loss to the Shishan base. A group of people spoke to persuade Ling Feng. It's just that this powerful captain was so easily taken away from his gun, which made Liang Yi feel a little contemptuous. Ling Feng didn't want to die at all. He was just putting on a show for everyone to see. This is the same as when Chao Chao's horses trampled the farmland, and he cut off his hair to replace him. Look, it's not that I, Ling Feng, am afraid of death. It's really hard to refuse everyone's kindness. So I'll just live on. Ling Feng struggled twice and let go. You all, let me go. The task assigned by the leader was turned into this. How could I have the dignity to go back to see him alive? Academician Wu coughed and said, in fact, our trip cannot be regarded as fruitless. As long as we bring these people from Shijia town back, we can give an explanation to the leader. In the apocalypse, villages like Shijia town, which have a large number of living people and are very easy to control, are also very difficult to find. The Shishan base has always been occupied by people. Whether it is used for transformation experiments of aliens or used as a labor force in the fourth life warehouse, there is a huge manpower gap. 
academician Wu continued. Not to mention that the Special Forces team has already suffered heavy losses. If you can't let go of Team Ling, it will be an unbearable loss for our base. So for the sake of the base, you still have to live well. I believe the leader can understand you. Several members of the Special Forces team nearby also echoed and advised him. Ling Feng hesitated for a while before sighing helplessly. In this case, I can only keep this life and go back to apologize to the leader. Although Ling Feng was unwilling to give up, he also knew that this mission could only be declared a failure, and there was no point in continuing to struggle. Let's go back to Xujia Town. Ling Feng's face returned to that indifferent expression. And then he took the lead and walked back. But before leaving, he detonated all the explosives tied to the Xujia Town villagers. The fire soared into the sky, and the dazzling light could blind people's eyes if it weren't for the glass barrier of the shelter. Zhang Yi closed his eyes not to look at the light of the explosion. Although the house was shaking, it was too far away to cause any damage to the shelter. On the contrary, Fatty Su was caught off guard and was stabbed in the eye. His eyes were red and tears were flowing. Never mind. Zhang Yi knew that if this operation failed, it would be impossible for people like Ling Feng to come back in a short time. Even if he wants to come back, he must regroup and bring more and more powerful weapons to compete with Zhang Yi. On the Xujia town side, the villagers in the town were frightened to death when they heard the explosion on the other side of the river. How much do they want to escape at this time? But it was freezing and snowy outside. Without a house and enough food, it would be difficult to survive for three days after going out. When people face a cruel living environment, they will subconsciously hold together for warmth. Even if they die, they will die together. At this time, Su Dantang, as the nominal mayor of Xujia town, was also in deep anxiety. He never dreamed that the people at Shishan base would do such a thing to them. If he had known that this would be the result, he might as well have listened to Su Chunlei's words. But, does he have a choice? Su Dantang frowned. And after thinking for a long time, he discovered an astonishing fact. It turns out that no matter what he chooses at the beginning, today's ending will be difficult to change. Because Xujia town has a large population and food but it does not have the powerful force to protect itself in the end of the world. Therefore, whether they are facing a powerful stranger like Zhang Yi or a powerful organization like Shishan Base, they have no choice but to kill them at the very least. We are no longer a civilized society. And having a big fist is the last word. Ling Feng and the others returned to Xujia Town. When everyone saw that the 100 villagers they had taken away had not returned, they already knew what had happened. But this time, everyone didn't say anything and just looked at Ling Feng and the others with almost dead eyes, like thousands of dead bodies, staring at a group of tomb robbers in the cemetery. Ling Feng walked up to everyone and said, We are leaving here. As soon as these words came out, a light finally appeared in the eyes of the dead villagers at the scene. These devils are leaving. Are the bad days coming to an end? God knows how they got here for more than a month. Although there are only more than 60 people in the special operations team, the food consumed is worth five or six hundred of them. Moreover, those who were directly killed by them, those who were forced to work as laborers died of exhaustion. And more than 400 people were killed for unknown reasons. So much so that Xijia Town, which used to have a prosperous population, did not die of too many villagers due to the extreme cold weather. Instead, they caused the loss of nearly one-third of the population. The villagers' eyes were full of excitement, thinking that the dawn was finally coming. Su Dongtang was also so happy that tears almost overflowed. Oh, good, good. It's been a hard time for you all. That. Do you need our help to pack things? Of course. Ling Feng said to let them pack their daily things and prepare to return to Shishan base with us. By the way, I mean all young people over 16 and under 35. Su Dongtong's smile suddenly froze on his face. Captain Ling, what do you mean? Ling Feng didn't even look at him and said in a commanding tone that not everyone could go to the Shishan base. This is a great opportunity and a gift given to you. So you must grasp it. Su Dongtang was stunned and finally determined that Ling Feng was not joking. He shouted excitedly, Team Ling, these young people are the lifeblood of our Xujia town. If they leave and only some old, weak, women and children are left. How will we survive? Ling Feng finally glanced at him, but his eyes were full of reproach, as if he was looking at an ignorant child. In the end of the world, it is unrealistic for everyone to survive. You should have a spirit of dedication and let those with the best physical conditions live to continue the blood of your family. Chapter 300 Capturing the Strong Man 
Ling Fong was very particular about selecting people to go back to. Whether you are conducting experiments to transform humans or staying in the fourth life warehouse to work, you need healthy humans. If you are too old or too young, taking it back will have no effect and will only be a waste of food. Even if it is used as a protein meal replacement, the price slash performance ratio is not very high. He, Ling Fong, is a conscientious person and will not take people's lives for no reason. Yes, Ling Fong has always firmly believed that he is a good person. From now on, all able-bodied and non-disabled people between the ages of 16 and 35 should pack their things. And we will take you to the Shishan base. It was a place with plenty of food and a comfortable environment. You won't be bothered by hunger and cold when you get there. Ling Fong used a loudspeaker to shout to everyone. After hearing these words, everyone immediately started chattering like a flock of frightened birds. Some people think this is a great opportunity because they have long learned about the existence of Shishan base from the soldiers. Through the soldiers' narratives, it was a refuge with an excellent living environment. As long as you go there, you will be able to survive well in the future. However, some people expressed their concerns. After all, Ling Fong and others had used very cruel methods against them during this period, causing many of their relatives to die. Therefore, there is also a question mark in their hearts whether they can still trust the special forces. However, their opinions simply don't matter. Ling Fong was just telling them to do something, not asking for their opinions. He glanced at his watch and said, I will give you half an hour to pack your things. After half an hour, everyone must gather here. He glanced at the confused people and said in a serious tone that if I find anyone who dares to disobey orders and try to escape, they will be dealt with according to military law. The atmosphere at the scene became tense. A young man had the courage to shout in the crowd, What about our families? Leave them here? As soon as these words came out, they also expressed the feelings of many people whose family doesn't have old people and children. As long as there are young adults between 14 and 40 years old, it means other old and weak children have to stay in such an environment without young adults to fish and protect the safety of the town. There is a high probability that they will die in the extreme cold or be killed by others. Therefore, even though they were afraid of the special forces, the villagers of Xujia town still expressed their dissatisfaction. We can't leave our families. If you want to take us away, take them all. Can you leave your family behind? If that were the case, I would rather stay here and die with my family. Yes, we don't agree. The shouts grew louder and louder, drowning out the wind and snow blowing in the distance. But Ling Feng gradually frowned. Suddenly, a deafening gunshot in the air stopped everyone's commotion. Sher Deong held a gun in his hand and a wisp of smoke rose from the muzzle. Among the crowd, the young man who first protested fell to the ground, and the ground was stained red with blood. This is an order, not asking for your opinion. At this critical moment, if you resist the decree of the Shishan base, there will only be one outcome. Ling Feng said to everyone coldly, there was only one expression on the faces of the villagers' despair. In the face of absolute strength, their resistance was meaningless, and Ling Feng was already broken. The failure of the mission made him too lazy to even do superficial perfunctory things. Anyone who challenges his authority at this time will be killed without hesitation. Ling Feng winked at Sher Deong. Sher Deong walked to the front of the crowd with a gun in hand and shouted loudly that anyone between the ages of 16 and 35, including those between 16 and 35 years old, as long as they are in good health and have no disabilities, please go back and pack your things. Others stayed at the scene and were not allowed to move around. Don't be clever and don't try to escape. Once I find anyone who dares to escape, I will kill them on the spot as a deserter. The scene was completely silent, and the young adults who had planned to resist also lost their courage, hung their heads, and went back to pack their things obediently. Follow them back to the Shishan base, and there is still a chance of survival. But if you act like a bird at this time, it will be a dead end. So this scene appeared in the square of Shijia town. A dozen special operations team members held guns, and ordered thousands of people to obey their orders. It's like a dozen sheepdogs guarding thousands of docile sheep. Some people did not dare to resist the special forces, but they were unwilling to leave their families and chose to self-mutilate, breaking their legs with rocks. But what greeted them was not the forgiveness of the special forces, but a cold bullet. In this way, half an hour later, the villagers in Xijia town were divided into two groups. There are more than 400 young and middle-aged people, all of whom are the backbone of the family and those who can survive in the ice apocalypse until now are all strong and strong, because all those in poor health would have died long ago. 
seeing that their flesh and blood were about to be separated. There was a lot of crying at the scene. They helplessly said their final goodbyes to their families. But they did not even have the courage to cross the line in the middle and hug their wives and daughters. After counting the number of people, Sher Deong came over and said to Ling Feng, Captain, everyone is here. Do you want to bring the food with you? Xujia Town has a lot of grain stores. Although a lot of it was eaten by them. The remaining portion was also considerable. If they can bring a large amount of food back, their guilt can be alleviated. Ling Feng was a little tempted, but finally gave up the plan. Stay here for now. This time the main purpose is to take people back. The journey is far, and it is inconvenient to carry. If we need it later, we'll come back and get some. Sure, Daeong sighed. You are still too kind. Immediately, the members of the special forces escorted the more than 400 young men and women, leaving Xujia town and heading towards the Shishan base. The remaining group of old and weak people watched them go away and didn't start crying until they were far away. A few hours later, Ling Feng led this group of people back to the Shishan base. The soldiers guarding the base were surprised and very happy when they saw that the captain had brought back so many people. Captain, you have found so many survivors. This is a great achievement. The soldier looked at the more than 400 people, not to mention how happy he was. With these people, the supply of soldiers can be replenished, and the labor force of the fourth life warehouse will not be worried. After all, in Shishan base, the fourth life warehouse is consumed very quickly. In addition to the consumable materials that need to be used for experiments, people often choose to commit suicide because they cannot bear the huge psychological gap. This causes great distress to others. After all, without these people at the bottom doing the work, people at the top would not be able to enjoy the supply of various services. Ling Feng's face was still cold. He turned a blind eye to the soldier's compliment and just nodded lightly. This made the soldiers guarding the gate feel a little strange. Due to Zhang Yi's previous massacre, which resulted in the death of all the communications troops, Shishan Bei still does not know that almost all of their soldiers are dead. Ling Feng took these people back to the base, and Liang Yi followed them silently. Although Ling Feng had already doubted her, as a powerful alien, it was impossible to arrest her directly without sufficient evidence. It's not because there are any fair rules in Shishan Base. It's just that powerful strangers like her are the main targets of Shishan Base. If they are not forced to do so, they will not do anything too extreme. Liang Yi wasn't afraid either. Anyway, there was nothing suspicious about the mobile phone she handed over. After a group of people entered the Shishan base, quarantine personnel immediately came to conduct tests on the young people in Xuzha town, just like the procedures that Liang Yu and others had previously arrived at. Chief Secretary Guro was already waiting for their arrival in the basement. Her eyes fell on Ling Feng, with the same professional smile on her face as always. Captain Ling, the leader wants you to come to his office. Ling Feng nodded with a straight face. What is going to come will always come, and there is no way for him to escape. And if he wants to take revenge next, he must get Chen Xinian's support. Sher Deong and Zheng Shuerong were a little nervous. Sher Deong whispered to the captain that he would be fine. Right? Everyone knew clearly that this time the loss was so serious. Ling Feng, as Team Ling, must be blamed. Chen Xinian is a man who knows rewards and punishments clearly. If he was in the military back then, he would definitely punish Ling Feng severely. Zheng Shuerong shook his head. A scolding is inevitable. But now the leader needs to use Captain Ling. Sher Deong felt that what Zheng Shuerong said made sense. So he no longer worried. It was just as they expected. Ling Feng came to Chen Xinian's office and reported to him the status of the mission in detail. After learning that his most elite special forces team had killed more than 50 people, Chen Xinian was so angry that he slammed the table and broke his own water glass. Ling Feng, I gave you half of the elite special forces team. But you gave me such an answer sheet? Do you know how difficult it is to train more than 50 people? They are worth a thousand ordinary soldiers. You are the center of Shishan base. Chen Xinian became even more angry when he thought of how Ling Feng had vowed that he would be able to complete the task when he took it on. Ling Feng stood at attention and allowed Chen Xinian to scold him. When Chen Xinian finished cursing, he slowly knelt on the ground, then held his knees with both hands, lowered his head, and said word by word, Leader, I am guilty. If you think I deserve to die, you can kill me now, but I hope you can give me a chance to make meritorious service. If I don't kill Zhang Yi with my own hands, I will never die in peace. Chen Xinian's chest rose and fell violently. He lowered his head and looked coldly at his warrior. He really wanted to shoot him, but thinking about the current situation, he couldn't do without this handy knife. 
Chen Shinian quickly softened his tone and said calmly, Forget it. I can't blame you entirely for this matter. Write down your mistakes for now and see how you fare later. If he commits the crime again, he will be punished for several crimes.